Unexpectedly, instead of becoming a teacher after graduating from normal school, I traveled through time and became a teacher. After sorting out her memories, Li Muyu complained helplessly in her heart. He felt that he really had a deep connection with the word teacher. In high school, he was considered to be a good student in the art class. So many classmates would ask him questions, and he was nicknamed Teacher Yue. Then, when he applied for college, he slipped all the way to a normal university with the advice of his family. Then I chose the school's relatively strong teacher training major. And then I tutored my roommate in college and was nicknamed Teacher Yue. To everyone's surprise, when she finally graduated, Li Mu Yue rebelled and became a civil servant instead of becoming a teacher. What he never expected was that on his first day at work, as soon as he walked into the office door, he would travel through time in the next moment and become the new teacher of the ninja school who just walked into the office. His current physical name is Hanyu Muyue, and his name is still the same as Muyue, but his surname is different. Alas, this is not a safe world. There are too many psychopaths and paranoid perverts, and they are quite strong. Muyue sighed in her heart. He casually observed the office. It was not much different from the office in the school in his previous life, but the sharp kunai placed randomly on the desk told him that this was no longer the peaceful country of his previous life. What makes Mu Yue feel even more fucked is that he is not only a teacher, but also a ninja at heart. He was originally an orphan raised by Genbu since childhood. The reason why he became a teacher in the ninja school was because of Danzo's order, asking him to observe and record the students of the ninja school and pay attention to whether there are any geniuses. It's not a good place to be under Guo Ying's hands. Just as Mu Yue was thinking about how to survive in this dangerous world, an emotionless mechanical sound suddenly sounded in her head, and a transparent blue panel suddenly appeared in front of her eyes. The teacher system's launched. Congratulations, you have successfully become a teacher. You can get rewards by giving lectures to students. The better the students are, the higher the rewards will be. Excellent students can be recruited as disciples for one-on-one -on -one teaching, and teachers can receive rewards as their disciples. Strength increases PS. Accepting a disciple requires the approval of both parties and cannot be accepted unilaterally. Mu Yue studied the blue panel. Now, there were only two options on it. One was personal template, and the other was master and apprentice. Mu Yue clicked on the personal panel. Name, Han Yu. Mu Yue, age, 18. Chakra, 4,300 skills. Three body technique. Fire release, how fireball technique. Fire release, phoenix fire technique. Instant body technique, Konoha fluid technique. Evaluation, the elite among the Chunin are cannon fodder with a greater role in the war. After reading some heart-wrenching comments, Mu Yue silently closed her personal panel and clicked on the master disciple option. Maybe it was because she had no disciples yet, so it was all blank. Waiting for the school bell to ring, Mu Yue remembered that she had a class in the first period. So she packed her things and walked towards the classroom. Although she is a new teacher, since there are not many teachers in ninja school now, Mu Yue also became the class teacher, leading the freshman class. Mu Yue looked at the class list and saw several familiar people. There are Anko Mitarai and Izumo, the steel god, two future Konoha gate gods. When she saw Uchiha Shisui's name, Mu Yue's eyes lit up. This was an extraordinary genius. Since teachers can get rewards as their disciples increase their strength, the more talented the disciples must be, the better. Mu Yue adjusted her expression before walking into the classroom and walked into the classroom with a sunny smile. The classrooms of the ninja school are designed in a special way, probably to make it easier for students in the back row to see clearly. The height of the student's seats is higher in each row and increases upwards. Mu Yue's arrival made the already noisy classroom fall into silence. After all, they are all five or six-year-old children, and it is their first time to go to school. Most of them are curious and in awe of the existence of ninja teachers. Of course, there are some exceptions. For example, there was a little purple-haired girl with a single ponytail sitting in the front row who said carelessly after Mu Yue came in, Big brother, you are so good looking. Are you our teacher? Mu Yue smiled and nodded and replied, 
That's right. This good-looking little classmate. I will be your homeroom teacher in the future. Hey, hey. The purple-haired little girl who was praised for her good looks immediately felt that the blonde male teacher was a good person. The other students felt a lot more relaxed when they saw the interaction between the two. Although it was their first time to go to school, they had heard some relatives who went to school complain about the teacher being cruel. Mu Yue quickly walked to the podium and wrote her full name in chalk, then turned around and formally introduced. My name is Hanyu Mozuki. From today on, I will be your teacher. I will ask for your guidance in the future. Great, teacher, my name is Mitarashi Anko. The purple-haired little girl was the first to respond. With Anko taking the lead, others responded to Mu Yue, and Shisui followed suit. Mu Yue felt a little disappointed when he felt that the system was motionless. He thought that he could accept Shisui as his disciple in this way. After all, it would be regarded as recognizing the teacher, but it failed because of a bug. Mu Yue did not show his inner emotions on his face. After everyone was introduced, he pressed his hands to signal everyone to quiet down. Before giving the lecture, let me ask you a question first. Do you know where Konoha came from? The classroom instantly became silent again. Everyone looked at each other, not knowing how to answer. Although Shisui, who has received education from the clan, knows a little bit, he doesn't like to be pushy and will not answer proactively unless he is called by name. People covered it up. Uncle thought for a moment and replied, it was indeed built by people. But what you want to know is who built Konoha and why Konoha was built. Mu Yue did not deny Hongdu's words and continued to talk about Hongdu's words. Before the era of Ninja Village, there was the Warring States period, a period of constant war. During that period, even children as old as you might have to take up arms to fight, and a tragic war might break out at any time. Speaking of this cruel history, Mu Yue's voice became deeper, directly placing the cruel reality of the Warring States period in front of the students. Maybe it's because the children in the ninja world are more precocious, or maybe because this is Konoha. Many children feel the heaviness and even the atmosphere of the classroom has changed. At this time, two families stood up. One was the Senju clan, and the other was the Uchiha clan. Mu Yue's tone changed slightly, from low to passionate. I know, I know, the first Hokage Hashirama-sama is named Senju. When Mu Yue talked about Senju, the students immediately felt a sense of participation. They didn't know about the Warring States period, but Senju and the others still knew about it. Shisui felt a little disappointed when he heard that everyone was paying attention to Senju, but no one noticed Uchiha. He didn't quite understand why. They were all the founding ninja clan of Konoha. In order to protect the family's descendants, and so that their children would no longer have to fight with weapons in the future, the two clans worked together to create Konoha, attracting more ninja clans to join and finally ended the Warring States period. And this is how we have Konoha now. Wherever the leaves are flying, the fire's endless. The fire will continue to illuminate the village and cause new leaves to sprout. It is the struggle of our ancestors, who are not afraid of sacrifice, that makes us who we are now, and the ninja school that we have now. This spirit of selfless dedication is also our will of fire in Konoha. After speaking, Mu Yue's expression was a little serious, as if she was still remembering her ancestors. He thought that Shisui would be interested in a teacher who was familiar with history and understood the will of fire. Is this how Konoha came to be? I must pay homage to Hokage Rock next time I pass by. I will become a will of fire ninja in the future and protect Konoha. The students below had already imagined in their minds how their ancestors fought bloody battles to win the country for them. And they all became excited and expressed that they also wanted to learn from their ancestors. Shisui's eyes also lit up, and he felt that this teacher seemed a little special and he began to be more interested in the next life of the ninja school. Originally, he had heard from his family elders that the people in the clan who taught him at the ninja school had already taught him and were planning to graduate early and go to the police department to help. But now it seems that this is not entirely the case. 
So do you know how many attributes of chakra there are? Five types. Water, earth, wind, thunder, and fire. The student with a ninja family responded quickly. Not entirely true. There are seven types of chakra attributes. In addition to the five basic attribute changes of water, earth, wind, thunder, and fire, there are also two special attribute changes of yin and yang. Mu Yue corrected with a smile. This kind of correction after asking questions can leave a deeper memory for students. Immediately afterwards, Mu Yue began to talk about the basic understanding of chakra. And from time to time, he would tell a joke to amuse the children, to make the students laugh. Time passed quickly, and four classes passed in one go. When the bell rang, Mu Yue stopped and said with a smile, School is over. Tomorrow we will talk about chakra refining. Mu Yue announced the end of get out of class very directly and gave a preview of the next class. When they heard Mu Yue say that school was over, the students were stunned for a moment, wondering if the class had just started. How could it be that school was over? Looking back carefully, it seemed that get out of class had already ended four times. Just because of Mu Yue's guidance, they were serious and relaxed in class, so they didn't notice the passage of time. I'm looking forward to refining chakra. After hearing Mu Yue's words, Hong Du couldn't wait to fast forward to tomorrow. None of her family members were ninjas, so they had no prior exposure to this kind of knowledge. Isn't it very interesting to go to class? My cousin actually lied to me and said that school was difficult. When I got home, I told my aunt about stealing money to buy snacks. Gang Zidi looked indignant that he had almost been deceived. Wouldn't it be better if you just blackmail your cousin into giving you snacks? Next to me, Izumo Kamizuki expressed his opinion. Gang Zitai instantly showed an expression of enlightenment and patted Shen Yu Izuyun on the shoulder, admiring, Good idea, brother. If successful, I will share half of the snacks with you. Jisui looked at Mu Yue, who was about to walk out of the classroom, thought about it, and got up and followed. Lecture completed. Settlement will be made. Evaluation of using stories about ancestors to inspire students. Sense of responsibility and enthusiasm. The lecture content is coherent and interactive, and students are highly satisfied. Reward settlement. He felt that there were suddenly many memories in his mind, the most of which was the memory of the practice of changing the nature of fire attribute chakra. That memory was so real that it gave Mu Yue the illusion that she was an old ninja who had specialized in fire escape all her life. Mr. Hanyu, can I ask you a question? Jisui asked respectfully. After hearing Jisui's words, Mu Yue, who was about to take another look at the panel evaluation, stopped, took Jisui to the back of the empty teaching building, and then used the sensory ninjutsu to sense it. There was no particularly powerful chakra aura. Mu Yue felt relieved and said with a smile, Did you not understand that part of the class? Just tell me. Shisui shook his head and said, It's not the content of the lecture, but I have a doubt. Teacher, you know that the Senju clan and the Uchiha clan jointly founded Konoha. But why now everyone only remembers the Senju clan, but rarely talks about Uchiha's contribution? Although he is a child, Shisui is extremely mature and sensitive. When he goes out with his elders, he can detect the strange looks from passers-by on the street when they see the clan emblem on their backs. They are all obviously responsible for building the village. So why is it that Uchiha is not only not mentioned for his contribution, but also seems to be hated by the villagers? Shisui didn't quite understand. Looking at Shisui with a puzzled look on his face, Mu Yue secretly complained in her heart, Senju Hashirama's reputation in Konoha is not the same as Madara Uchiha's reputation in Konoha. Can this compare? You should have only read some of the history of the clan, right? Mu Yue asked. Shisui nodded. All he could access now was the history given by Uchiha. There are a lot of things that happen to make it what it is now, and it's hard to explain clearly in a short time. Mu Yue had a look of embarrassment on her face. Seeing that Mu Yue was in a bit of trouble, Zi Shui felt guilty. It seemed that the problem was more complicated than he thought. Originally, he wanted to forget it, but Mu Yue spoke again. Forget it. If you have time after school in the future, come and see me, and I will tell you the history of this. Mu Yue sighed. 
After all, I should be regarded as owing you a favor to the Uchiha clan. So I should repay the favor. Shisui was a little confused as to why Muyue owed them Uchiha a favor. So he asked directly. My parents were surrounded by enemies during a war and were rescued by a ninja named Uchiha Kagami. Although they died in the subsequent war, I will always remember this life-saving kindness. Mu Yue said nonsense with a grateful look on her face. At this time, he was glad that he had become an orphan long ago. Otherwise, there would be much less room for performance. I have to admit that sometimes the dead are more useful than the living. Shisui's eyes widened and an incredible expression appeared on his face. Uchiha Mir was his grandfather. He didn't expect that he and Mu Yue had such a fate, and he had a wonderful feeling. However, Shisui was not the kind of person who would repay a favor. So he didn't say anything and just thanked Mu Yue. Before Zishui left, Mu Yue gave Zishui an appraisal. Name, Uchiha Shisui. Chakra, 500 potential SS evaluation. Six path bloodline, suitable for practicing fire escape and illusion. Has great potential, recommended to be a disciple. As Mu Yue walked to the office, she sighed that he was indeed a fierce man who could open Susanu with one eye. The two shining golden S's were so dazzling that even the system recommended him to become a disciple. Mu Yue opened her dashboard again to check whether the evaluation had changed. Name, Han Yu. Mu Yue, age, 18. Chakra, 4,300. Evaluation, Proficient in the changes in the nature of fire attribute chakra. What limits your strength is your scarce chakra. If you can make up for the shortcoming, you can be called an elite junin. It seems that the mastery of fire attribute changes is stronger than I thought. Mu Yue felt that she might have underestimated the value of those two words, mastery. I thought it might just be equivalent to a jonin's knowledge of property changes. But now looking at it, in terms of the property changes of fire attribute chakra alone, he may already be at the level of the third generation. After all, he is a person who only knows two fire escapes, three kaijutsu, and a little ordinary taijutsu. At this level, after receiving rewards and increasing his chakra, he can reach the level of an elite junin. An elite jonin must be at the level of Kakashi and Asuma at the beginning of the plot. Mu Yue was originally very happy that her strength had greatly increased, but when she thought that she still had a first-level identity, Mu Yue couldn't be happy anymore. First, he has a curse mark on his body, which makes him feel very insecure. Second, Danzo, the old Biden, likes to let his subordinates deliver it, which makes him even more insecure. He had to recruit some disciples quickly and improve his strength as soon as possible, even if he couldn't reach the level of killing Danzo and leaving gracefully he still had to be able to protect himself. Mu Yue set a short-term goal for herself. Mu Yue walked into the office and found three teachers sitting in the office, two men and one woman, complaining about their students. Mu Yue and they all knew each other because the teacher came in advance, and Yuan Shi had been to school before and got to know her colleagues. Mu Yue conveniently gave an appraisal by herself. Name, Ikigaya Isamu, Chakra, 2000? Potential. C evaluation. Tune in cannon fodder. The data of the three teachers were similar, and they were all identified as cannon fodder by the system. Alas, I'm really unlucky. How come the second class of four years fell into my hands? I was originally carrying a class of three years. Let me teach, let me teach how. One Metkai and one Uchiha Obito, the two big crane tails are all in the second class of the fourth year. Chi Guyong spread his hands helplessly. My family also arranged a blind date for me and asked me to meet them tomorrow afternoon. There happened to be a class for class two of year four that afternoon. Find a teacher who doesn't have classes to help or just ask for leave. It's still more important to go on a blind date, Ayaweda suggested. At this time, Ayaweda noticed Mu Yue coming in, smiled, and said hello. Mr. Hanyu, how do you feel about your first class? Are the tips I taught you before useful? Mu Yue recalled that the enthusiastic female teacher was worried that he would be nervous for the first time as a new teacher. So she asked him to think silently about carrots and cabbage during the lecture. 
Mu Yue politely replied, Thank you. The little trick is very useful. But after class, the students advised me not to be picky about food. Ha ha, Mr. Hanyu, you are so interesting. Aya Weida smiled, thinking that Mu Yue was still in the mood to joke. So she should have spent the first time comfortably. Teacher Ikigaya, I have no class tomorrow afternoon. I can help you if necessary. Mu Yue put the lesson plan on her desk and asked like a good old man. Unlike other teachers, Mu Yue wished she had a full class every day. And there were Obito and Metkai in the second class of the fourth year, so she had to take a look. Chi Guyong showed a happy expression on his face, thanked him quickly, and said that he must treat Mu Yue to dinner if he has the opportunity. In the Hokage's office, the third generation Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at Mu Yue, who was talking about the will of fire, with a serious face in the crystal ball. He touched his goatee and felt that this young man with roots was pretty good. And he was a person who understood the will of fire. Danzo thought he was hiding well, but in fact, some of them were trained by the roots. But the ninjas who were not included in the root list have been known to the third generation. It's just that the third generation felt that Danzo was somewhat cultivating strength for Konoha, as long as it wasn't too much. However, in the ninja school, the third generation still attaches great importance to it. So he went to take a look in person. Unexpectedly, the first lesson of this root ninja was about the will of fire and established a sense of responsibility for the students. This made the third generation feel very good. Look at his next performance. If he is considered a talent, let him get away from his roots. Muyu's current performance is not enough for the third generation to go to Danzo to ask for someone. Although Danzo's possessions were essentially his, he still had to take care of his old classmates' emotions after all. Thinking of these three generations, they stopped using the telescope and started processing documents, preparing to inspect Konoha again in the evening. After Jisui finished eating, he started looking for Mu Yue's residence, according to the location given by Mu Yue. Mu Yue's residence is in the southeastern part of Konoha, where there are relatively sparse buildings. It is considered a remote area of Konoha, far away from the main city. Thanks to the relatively few buildings here, Shisui quickly found Muyua's home, a single-story wooden house located in a simple yard. As soon as Jisui entered the courtyard, he saw a scene that made him stunned and shocked. After returning home, Muyue went to the bathroom and stuck out her tongue in front of the mirror. As Muyue expected, there was a black curse mark on his tongue. This was the mark that every root member must have to eliminate tongue troubles. If Muyue remembered correctly, the effect of this curse seal is that as long as you say something related to a specific matter, your whole body will be paralyzed and unable to move. The curse seal set by Danzo naturally contains information about him and general. In this way, even if members of the organization are captured or rebel, the secret cannot be leaked. If that was all, that would be fine. He had no intention of leaking Jen's information to anyone. But Mu Yue was worried that Danzo could actively control this curse seal, which would be equivalent to a fatal weakness being controlled. Mu Yue thought carefully, trying to find a way to break the seal of tongue trouble from the original work. It seems that there is no other good solution except Danzo's death. But after thinking about it, Mu Yue discovered that no one in the original work could break this curse seal. Those who wanted to leave from the roots of the third generation might be released by the third generation's order. Others could only die if Danzo died, and the curse seal would automatically become invalid. But Danzo is not the squishy AD in MOBA games. He will die suddenly even if you don't care about him in a group fight. Danzo, an old Yinbi, is very precious about his life. He usually stays at the base and doesn't go out. He may even have resurrection coins with him, which is really difficult to deal with. Mu Yue thought about her current strength and temporarily gave up the idea of killing Danzo. The only option is to find Orochimaru or research it yourself. Mu Yue found that she had only two choices at this moment. In fact, it can only be regarded as one choice because Orochimaru is not available for the time being. Mu Yue glanced at the time and felt that it was almost time. So she activated the sensing ninjutsu 
and sensed Shisui, who was approaching. Mu Yue walked out of the door and walked into the courtyard. Shindao Danzo still trusted the original owner. He activated the sensing ninjutsu many times, but he did not sense that there was a root ninja watching him. When it felt like it was time for Shisui to walk in, Mu Yue quickly formed a seal, burst out chakra with all his strength, and instantly created a huge eight meter high fireball, which directly turned the training wooden figures in the courtyard into ashes, and also turned large chunks of the ground into ashes, made a burnt ground. Ji Shui, who had just walked into the courtyard, happened to see this shocking scene and was shocked by Mu Yue's fire escape skills. Although the high fireball is only a sea level fire escape ninjutsu, the level of the ninjutsu is only determined by the difficulty of the ninjutsu training. Many Uchiha jonins like to use the high fireball. But Shisui is very sure that even the jonins of his own family who use the fireball will definitely not have such power because they cannot convert a large amount of chakra into flames in such a short period of time. Teacher Hanyu, I'm sorry to disturb your practice. Shisui came to his senses and quickly apologized. It doesn't matter. I just happened to be finished. Mu Yue took a long breath, smiled, and invited Ji Shui into the room. In fact, the fact that Uchiha has become what it is now has a lot to do with your former Uchiha clan leader, Uchiha Madara. Mu Yue poured two glasses of water, handed one to Shisui, took the other in his hand, and began to tell the story of Uchiha. You should know that Uchiha Madara has rebelled, right? Shisui nodded. The clan history says, that the clan leader left Konoha. If it was really just about leaving, that wouldn't be the case. Mu Yue told Shisui that if Hashirama hadn't been strong enough, Konoha might have been destroyed by Uchiha Madara. Shisui fell into silence. But Mu Yue told Shishui that the matter was far from over. This incident made the second generation Hokage Senju Tobirama, who did not like Uchiha, even more afraid of Uchiha. Therefore, after becoming Hokage, he formulated many policies specifically to govern Uchiha. These policies aroused dissatisfaction among the Uchiha hawks and gave rise to the idea of seizing power by force. In the end, they were discovered by A.N. Bu and imprisoned. These series of events eventually led to Uchiha's negative reputation, gradually overshadowing his previous achievements, and he was disliked by the people in the village. Did so many things happen? Shisui found that he had thought of things too simply. In fact, there are Uchiha who are working hard to change this situation. For example, Uchiha Mir is the most successful among them. Mu Yue brought the topic to Uchiha Mir. Then Mr. Hanyu, what kind of person do you think Uchiha Kagami is? Jisui suddenly wondered what his grandfather's image was to Mu Yue. He had never met his grandfather with his own eyes, but he had heard a lot from other tribesmen about powerful and talented ninjas, an Uchiha with the will of fire. He turned himself into a bridge, connecting Uchiha and Konoha, easing the conflicts between the two sides. Mu Yue thought for a while and said, although there were no boastful words in Mu Yue's words, it was what Jisui thought was the best and most appropriate comment he had ever heard. I want to be an Uchiha like my grandfather. Shisui's eyes were firm, but he didn't realize that he called his grandfather directly. Grandfather? Mu Yue looked at Jisui with some doubts. Only then did Jisui realize his gaffe. He just didn't want to repay the favor, and he didn't have a guilty conscience, so he admitted it directly. Hanyu Sensei, you don't need to pay too much attention to the so-called kindness. If you have time, Go to your grandfather's tomb and pay homage. I think he will be very happy, Shisui said. How can you not repay the kindness of saving your father and mother? How about this, Jishui? Are you willing to become my disciple? Mu Yue asked. Jishui understood what Mu Yue meant, and he felt that this would be a huge disadvantage to Mu Yue. But he didn't want to see a good person like Mu Yue, who knew how to repay his kindness, suffer in trouble. In addition, Zhishui felt that it would be good to be the disciple of a knowledgeable and powerful teacher like Mu Yue. In the end, 
Ji Shui nodded and shouted, Teacher Mu Yue, whether to establish a master disciple relationship with Uchiha Shisui. The system pop up window appeared immediately, and Mu Yue chose yes without hesitation. This was the genius disciple he had finally deceived. The relationship is established successfully. The current trust level is two, and the apprenticeship, return to master, and apprenticeship rewards are unlocked. Mu Yue took a look at the introduction and was instantly pleasantly surprised. Returning as a disciple means that his disciple becomes stronger through practice, and he will also become stronger. The higher the trust level, the more feedback. Trust level two is double return, and Shisui increases. For one point of chakra, he can add two points. In return for being a disciple, he will give Shisui something, and the system will give him a random reward. The higher the trust level, the better the reward. It is limited to once per day. Mu Yue thought for a moment, then took out a pamphlet and handed it to Ji Shui. Inside was the Fire Attribute Chakra Nature Change Training Manual, he wrote in the afternoon. Originally, he planned to find a suitable time to give it to Shisui to gain favor. But now he wanted to try the function of giving it back to his disciples. This is my own summary of the Fire Attribute Chakra Property Change Training Manual. Take it back and read it. I will check your training results regularly. As a teacher, I am very strict and will not relax my requirements just because of favor. Mu Yue said quite seriously. Ji Shui became stronger, but he could become twice as strong. Mu Yue felt that she had to supervise Ji Shui's training. Thank you, teacher Mu Yue. I will practice seriously. Taking the pamphlet from Mu Yue, Chi Shui thanked him seriously. Chi Shi Shui didn't think there was any problem with Mu Yue's strict requirements. Instead, it proved that Mu Yue really regarded him as a disciple, rather than simply repaying his grandfather's kindness. You gave the disciple a training manual for changing his nature. Because the disciple was very grateful, he was rewarded with a critical hit and received the Ninjutsu Fire release and the Dragon Fire Jutsu, proficient level. The moment he received the reward, a large memory of him practicing the dragon fire technique appeared in Mu Yue's mind, as if he had practiced this ninjutsu thousands of times. The dragon fire jutsu is a B-level fire escape ninjutsu. Compared with the dragon fire ball, the dragon fire does not focus on range, but pays more attention to flexibility. You can freely control the fire dragon to attack the enemy. After mastering it, you can simplify the seal into one and multiple fire dragons can be released at the same time. Since the system directly gave him the proficiency level, Mu Yue only needed to form a seal to release three fire dragons instantly. The way Mu Yue looked at Zhi Shui was no longer looking at people. It was like an endless gold mine, the kind that could explode gold coins every day. Mu Yue noticed that it was getting dark outside, so she said, It's getting late. I'll take you home. Don't let your family worry. Thank you, teacher. I can just walk back slowly by myself. I'm the only one at home now. Shisui waved his hand and said, he felt that he had already troubled Mu Yue today and was not willing to waste Mu Yue's time anymore. Hearing Ji Shui's words, Mu Yue remembered that Ji Shui's parents seemed to have never appeared. They probably died not long after giving birth to Shi Shui. Only then did he realize that it was impossible for the master and apprentice to find a single parent but my uncle would come and take care of me from time to time. Ji Shui explained because he was afraid that Mu Yue would be worried. Mu Yue nodded and did not force him to give it away. Today was just the first day he and Ji Shui met, and there would be many opportunities to gain favor in the future. On the way home, Ji Shui flipped through the training booklet Mu Yue gave him, and then recalled the fire escape ninjutsu he saw when he entered the yard, and became more curious about Mu Yue. As a well-known child prodigy in the clan, and his grandfather was an Uchiha mirror, Shisui had come into contact with many powerful Uchiha people, and his vision far exceeded that of other people his age. He felt that with Mu Yue's strength, he shouldn't be a chunin, and it was strange to stay in a ninja school as a teacher. The ninja school didn't need such a strong teacher, and the ninjutsu only taught the three-body technique. Mu Yue looked at Shisui, who was gradually going away 
and her heart became more and more looking forward to tomorrow. He has classes in the morning and afternoon tomorrow, and he doesn't know what rewards he can get. Moreover, Matt Obito and his class have classes in the afternoon. What level of potential do the two of them have? Brother, how is the situation? Oops, my nasty cousin actually threatened me that if I told him about it, he would tell me about my bedwetting at the age of three. Gang Zidi gritted his teeth and denounced his cousin's evil deeds. How could the matter between the two of them involve the neighbor's little Mayhui and ruin his glorious image? It's really abominable. I have a plan, taking advantage of my young age and using it as an excuse to go to your cousin's house and mess up your cousin's room. Although you made the mess, if you don't clean it up in time, your cousin will definitely be the unlucky one in the end. How dare he be so arrogant after doing this several times? Shenyue Izumo thought for a while and came up with another clever plan. Gangziti's eyes immediately shone, saying that with Brother Izumo's advice, he would be as invincible as the first Hokage with Tobirama's advice. If he succeeded, he would definitely treat him to snacks. As soon as Mu Yue entered the classroom, she heard the conversation between the sleeping dragon and phoenix chicks and couldn't help but smile. Classes begin. Mu Yue walked to the podium and started class directly. Chakra is the prerequisite for us to launch ninjutsu, which is produced by the combination of physical energy and mental ability. Most of the students in the audience listen very carefully. After all, this is the most important foundation. While explaining, Mu Yue occasionally released chakra herself for everyone to experience. During the lecture, she also tried her best to intersperse jokes and stories so that the class would not be boring. And she also asked questions to deepen their memory. The four classes were coming to an end soon, when Get Out of Class was about to end. Looking at Hong Du, who was smiling and asking questions, Mu Yue gave her an appraisal. Name. Mitarashi Enko Potential. Amu Yue thought for a while and gave all the students in the classroom an appraisal. Name, Gangsidi Potential. B name, Kamizuki. Izumo. Potential, B Mu Yue was surprised to find that, excluding Shisui, there were only four students in the entire classroom who had achieved B or above. Apart from Hongdu and the three of them, there was only one student who he had no impression of, and was also a B. The others were all C, good C plus poor. There are C and even D ones. Looking at it this way, Shisui's talent is so strong that it eclipses everyone else. Hongdu's potential was also a bit beyond Mu Yue's expectations. He remembered that Hongdu's original work was not very strong, but the identified potential was several levels higher than the two door gods. However, Mu Yue has no idea of Accepting Hongdu as a disciple for the time being. He cannot accept unlimited apprentices. Currently, there are only four apprenticeships. One is taken by Shisui, leaving only three. Although Lolianko is very cute, Mu Yue said that he is still handsome. So what's the use? Will Danzo let him go because of this? Obviously not. Lecture completed. Settlement will be made. Evaluation, a reward. The art of multiple shadow clones. This ninjutsu is pretty good, but it's a pity that it doesn't have much effect on me now, Mu Yue thought M to herself, as the ninjutsu used by the protagonist Naruto from beginning to end. Multiple shadow clones are naturally a very practical ninjutsu. If you have enough chakra, it is very useful in both fighting and training, but what Mu Yue was lacking now was chakra, so there was nothing she could do. After eating, I walked into the office. Several teachers were giving advice to Ikea Yong, who was about to go on a blind date. A tall and thin male teacher reminded, be sure to tidy up before meeting and dress more formally so that no one thinks you are a sloppy person. Sugito, you are looking down on me. Although I have never been in love, this is common sense, Chigu Yong replied confidently. I think the most important thing you need to pay attention to is not to talk big like this when chatting. Ueda Aya seemed to have foreseen the final outcome, shook her head and said, Ueda, just wait and see. Seeing that Aya Ueda looked down on him, Ikigaya immediately dropped his harsh words. Hmm, I'll wait and see. Ueda Aya responded perfunctorily, noticing that Mu Yue came in and immediately talked to Mu Yue. Mr. Hanyu, you are so awesome. 
I took a look at your class when I passed by it today and felt that the atmosphere was very good. I can't believe that this is your first time as a teacher. Mu Yue shook her head and said modestly, Everywhere, your experience is put to good use and the students are obedient. Although he knew these were modest words, who didn't like to be praised? A smile appeared on Aya Ueda's face, and then she gave some of her snacks to Mu Yue. When Ikagaya saw this, he immediately felt what it meant to be treated differently. He and Aya Ueda had been colleagues for two years and had not eaten her snacks even a few times. Internally complaining to Aya Ueda, Ikigaya Isamu also quickly said hello to Muyue. If he can succeed this time, he will remember Muyue's kindness as a substitute teacher for the rest of his life. Muyue responded to everyone with a smile, and after chatting for a few words, she picked up the pen and ink she had prepared in advance and started practicing calligraphy. Practicing calligraphy in his free time was one of the few good habits he had in his previous life and he developed it after taking a calligraphy class in college. Ninja school has a short time at noon, so there is no time to find a place to practice. When it felt like class was about to begin, Mu Yue tidied up and then headed to the classroom to prepare for class. Jingle bell bell tilde. When the bell rang, Mu Yue happened to walk into the classroom of class two, grade four. Hey, isn't it Ikatani sensei's history of Konoha this afternoon? Some students raised questions when they saw that it was not Ikea Isamu who walked in. Teacher Ikegaya is busy this afternoon, so I will take the class this afternoon. Mu Yue walked to the podium and explained. As soon as Mu Yue finished speaking, a hurried figure rushed into the classroom. Oh, teacher, I'm sorry. I met an old lady on the way and helped me, so I was late. Obito put his hands on his knees and gasped for breath as he explained. Sit down and listen. Mu Yue nodded and said, then glanced at the students and appraised them all. Name, Nohara Lin. Chakra, 300. Potential A name, Matt Decay. Chakra, 600 potential, S. Evaluation, suitable for practicing physical arts. Recommended as a disciple. Name, Uchiha Obito. Chakra, 650 potential. At evaluation, six bloodlines. Sometimes space talent. Recommended to be a disciple. The second class of the fourth year is similar to his first year class. Apart from these three acquaintances, only one Uchiha Tiho has A-level potential, and the others are basically C-level and D-level. After reading the talents, Mu Yue asked about their class progress and then started teaching. For students who are accustomed to teachers who read from the textbook, a teacher like Mu Yue comes as an unexpected surprise. Obito even said directly, Teacher Mu Yue, what you taught is great, much better than other teachers. If you teach me from now on, I will definitely pass. I will tell Mr. Ikatani about your lateness, Mu Yue said with a smile. Unlike other teachers in the ninja school, he had systematically learned how to be a teacher. Obito suddenly looked bitter and begged for mercy. Ikari Isao was their class teacher. Obito's behavior in tandem made the class a little more joyful. During the class break, Muyue activated the perception ninjutsu, and after confirming that there was no problem, called Metkai and Obito out. There is another chapter in the evening, but the time has not been determined yet. You can read it tomorrow. Hanyu-sensei, please, please, don't I tell Ikatani-sensei. Obito continued to beg Muyue without giving up. That depends on your performance, Mu Yue said with a smile, but did not give a specific reply. Teacher, what's the matter? Metkai scratched his head and didn't understand why he was called out. He didn't make any mistakes. Mu Yue looked at Metkai. This man who almost kicked him to the end and was called the strongest in physical skills by Madara is still very immature. Although he has put on the iconic green tights, not to mention his strength, his confidence is still far behind. At this time, although Metkai also believed that he would definitely become a strong physical martial artist through training day after day, he still did not fully understand what his father said about youth and self-restraint. He still needed to grow up, and Mu Yue was happy to help me during this time. Your theoretical scores have troubled Mr. Ikeda very much, Mu Yue said. Hearing Mu Yue's words, even Obito, who was more arrogant, lowered his head in embarrassment. It's not that I don't want to learn, but 
the question is too difficult to understand. Why should those animals be kept together to count how many there are? Obito tried to quibble. Seeing Obito like this, Mu Yue recalled the time when he was studying mathematics in high school and could only say that it was fortunate that his major did not require advanced mathematics. But Mu Yue knew that it was actually Obito's problem because the mathematics taught in the ninja school was the simplest kind and the courses were relatively few, not as much as history. But it's not just math you're bad at. You're not good at anything like history or ninjutsu theory. Mu Yue shook her head and said, What's the use of knowing that history? Isn't it all in the past? Obito thinks that the history class should be canceled. Mathematics might still be useful when shopping for groceries. What is the use of history? I feel the same way. Metkai nodded as if he really couldn't memorize that history. You need to tell Mr. Sundame about this. He is the principal of the ninja school. Mu Yue said that he didn't mean what he said in this regard, but it's not an option for you to continue like this. It's not good for either teacher Chigu or you. Mr. Hanyu, do you have any secrets for taking exams? Obito looked at Mu Yue expectantly. Metkai also looked at Mu Yue excitedly. If he didn't really know how to do it, who would want to be the tailgater? It is indeed the secret to exams. That is to study the questions and study them while reading. Mu Yue told her secret. Given the intensity of the ninja school exam, he only needed to use a little experience in taking exams from his previous life to pass easily because the ninja school exam requires only half the class average to pass. Brushing questions? The two of them looked confused, not really understanding. You can use this as special training for the exam, and if you pass the exam, I will reward you, Mu Yue said with a smile. What reward, a dumpling? Tutu asked curiously. I can teach you ninjutsu or taijutsu. In short, I can guide you in your practice, Mu Yue replied. Really? The two of them stared wide-eyed unable to believe that such a good thing would fall from the sky. The premise is that you can pass the exam in one month, Mu Yue reminded. Is this youth? I am on fire. Metkai was a little excited. I will definitely pass this time, Obito promised. Looking at the two people who had been mobilized, Mu Yue nodded secretly in her heart. Advanced hunters often appear as prey. The two of them felt that they had made a lot of money. They had obtained the secret to passing the exam and they had been rewarded with practice guidance. And Mu Yue only needs to naturally become their teacher during the special training process to make money. Even if the two of you fail in the end, it doesn't matter. Mu Yue can say that seeing how hard you work so hard, I feel sorry for not giving you a reward, and maybe you can gain more favor. The reason why he didn't trick him into accepting a disciple like he did with Shisui was that the background was not suitable, and it was not easy to talk about repaying a favor. The second reason was that Mu Yue only came to teach a class and could not maintain contact for a long time. It would be easier if he was the class teacher. After finalizing the special training with the two of them, Mu Yue took them back to class. Obito, why did Han Yu sensei ask you to go out? He didn't punish you, did he? Nohara Lin asked worriedly. How could it be a punishment? Mr. Hanyu is so kind. He taught me the secrets of exams. Obito immediately rectified Mu Yue's name. As long as Mu Yue can help him get rid of the title of the last one, Obito can become the number one moonblower in the ninja school. Lin, please pay more attention to the class and don't let me surpass you in the next exam. Obito chuckled. If only you could really surpass me. Nohara Lin looked at the fussy Obito and smiled helplessly. Although she couldn't get first place, she was still ranked among the top. After the class bell rang, Obito showed an unprecedented, serious attitude. He must pass this time, and he had already started studying what ninjutsu to learn. Nohara Lin was a little surprised when she saw this scene, wondering if Obito was serious this time. Three minutes later, looking at Obito lying on the table, Nohara Rin could only say that Obito was still the Obito she was familiar with. At this time, a piece of chalk hit Obito's head in a beautiful parabola. Obito looked around with a blank look on his face, saw Mu Yue's face, saw Nohara Lin's face, and saw Metkai, who was writing furiously. Thinking of what he said three minutes ago, 
he couldn't help but look a little rosy and lost, feeling sleepy. After getting through the episode where Obito was sleeping, the rest of the class went smoothly. Lecture completed evaluation. A reward. Konoha Whirlwind. This time the reward was not ninjutsu, but taijutsu, and it was developed by Metkai in the future. This physical technique seems very simple, just kicking. But Mu Yue, who has already initially learned it, found that it is not as simple as imagined. The kicking posture, the explosion of muscles, and the explosion of chakra all require skills. Mu Yue was worried that he would have nothing to teach Kai then, so he was very satisfied with the reward. After school, Mu Yue wandered around the forest south of Konoha, looking for a suitable place to practice. After all, he still has a basic identity, and Danzo must know the location of his family. Based on Danzo's dislike of Uchiha, he knew that Mu Yue taught Shisui ninjutsu without reporting it, which made him suspect Mu Yue of betrayal. Although it is said that there is sensory ninjutsu, it cannot be turned on all the time, and chakra does not support it. So Mu Yue planned to take Jishui to practice outside in the future. In the end, Mu Yue found a small river with a nice and remote environment, which was suitable for practicing. Mu Yue wrote down this location and went home. Facts have proved that Mu Yue's caution was not in vain. After entering the courtyard, he found a ninja wearing an animal mask standing in the courtyard. Knight, this is the latest instruction from Lord Danzo. The root organization ninja handed Mu Yue a scroll. Mu Yue nodded and took the scroll. Ye was his code name in the root. The two did not communicate much. The Gen Organization Ninja handed the scroll to Mu Yue and quickly left. Mu Yue was considered a secret move by General It Would Be Bad if the Anbu discovered too much contact. Before the Root Organization Ninja left, Mu Yue gave an appraisal. Name Ping Shui's potential B Chakra, 7000. Evaluation A Junin with some strength. Looking at the chakra of up to 7000, Mu Yue couldn't help but feel a little envious. He didn't even have 5,000, and he was five or six years behind Shisui. After the sensory ninjutsu could no longer detect the root organization ninja, Mu Yue walked into the room and opened the scroll to see what latest order Danzo had issued. Uchiha Shisui in your class is a genius of the Uchiha clan. Pay attention to his actions, confirm his character, and evaluate him. After reading it, Mu Yue felt a little emotional. Danzo's fear of Uchiha was really close to pathological. Shisui is only six years old this year and has just entered ninja school. For such a child, and just because he was known as a genius among the clan, Danzo asked him to pay attention to and evaluate him. Of course, it is not ruled out that Danzo has thoughts about Shisui and wants to bring him to his roots, but Mu Yue doesn't think Danzo's idea can be realized. The third generation will let Danzo know who is the Hokage. The third generation can tolerate the existence of root tissue, but cannot tolerate the existence of an overly powerful root tissue. The upper limit of a genius Uchiha is too high. God knows how far he can grow. Therefore, the genius Uchiha can either stay in the Uchiha clan or join the Anbu. After reading it, Mu Yue used fire release to destroy the scroll. This new instruction is still within Mu Yue's acceptance range. In fact, even if Danzo does not send anyone specially, Mu Yu will report that Shisui is a genius when making a report. Because Mu Yue felt that with Danzo's attention to Uchiha, there was no point in hiding it and it would only draw fire to himself. Mu Yue separated a shadow clone and asked the shadow clone to practice ninjutsu while his body began to practice to improve chakra. At present, chakra is his biggest shortcoming. No matter how many ninjutsu he has learned, no matter how proficient he is, it will be difficult to exert his power without enough chakra. No matter how strong a ninja with little chakra is, there is only a limit to how strong he can be. No matter how weak a ninja with more chakra is, he can't be much weaker. It can be said that chakra determines the upper and lower limits of a ninja. The next day, since there was no class for him this morning, Mu Yue took advantage of this time to come to the ninja school's reference room. He wanted to sort out the test papers for the fourth grade exams in recent years. Since the process went smoothly, he also found the first grade papers. His main purpose is to recruit disciples, 
but it is not an empty promise to improve the theoretical performance of the two. Mu Yue did some research and found that the questions in the exams every year are not much different. Each question is of the same type. If the statement or data is changed, some papers have exactly the same questions. Mu Yue nodded, feeling confident that the two of them would pass. He felt that there was no need to study the questions and just let the two of them do the papers from the previous two years. Passing the test should not be a problem. After Mu Yue took a few papers, she left the reference room and went to the office. She had been listening to me yesterday and was obviously very interested in me. Is there a possibility that she just doesn't want to talk to you? Yesterday when I paid, she took the initiative to ask for an equal share. She was already thinking about me. Is there a possibility that she is afraid that you will use the excuse of treating her to make another date? As soon as Mu Yue entered the office, she saw Ueda Aya arguing with Ikegaya Isamu. Mu Yue looked at Kimura Shanto, who was watching the show next to her. Didn't Yang go on a blind date yesterday? He was just talking about his blind date process and wanted us to help with some ideas for chasing someone. However, Ueda felt that his blind date was not interesting to him and advised him to find another one. Kimura Sugito briefly introduced the cause of the incident. Mr. Hanyu came just in time. Do you have any special skills for chasing girls? When Ikagaya Yong saw Mu Yue's arrival, he didn't care to argue with Ueda Aya and asked quickly. He felt that Mu Yue looked like the kind of person who has many girlfriends. As for the special technique, I think it should be enough to make the other person feel your sincerity. Mu Yue thought for a while and said, whether he has any skills or not is another matter. Mu Yue would not tell Chigu Yong that. That is not what his character should be. Sincerely, Ikegu Yong looked troubled. How could he make the other party feel this? Give up Ikigaya, you don't even know what Hanyu Sensei looks like. His useful techniques may not work on you, Ueda Aya said quietly. How is it possible? I admit that Hanyu Sensei is indeed a little more handsome than me, but not that much different. Chiguyong said unconvinced. You really don't not look back until you hit the wall. Aya Ueda looked at the stubborn looking Isamu Ikigaya with a headache. She is a woman herself. Doesn't she understand women? After hearing what Chigu Yong said, she knew that this blind date was in vain. But Chigu Yong refused to believe it. Come on. Mu Yue smiled and encouraged. What else could he say? As a friend, Ayaweda couldn't persuade her. And Mu Yue really hopes that Chigu Yong will be busy so that he can go to the second class of fourth year to the substitute. Teacher Mu Yue still has the vision, so just wait and see, Ueda. With Mu Yue's encouragement, Chi Guyong became more confident. During the afternoon class, Mu Yue made a small attempt and deliberately lowered the quality of his lectures. He speculated from previous system reviews that lecture ratings should be divided into two parts. One is the quality of lecture content, and the other is student satisfaction. He wants to get a B-level evaluation because there is an extra reward for getting an A-level evaluation for the first time. By analogy, there should be additional rewards for getting a B rating for the first time. Lecture completed. Settlement in progress. Evaluation. B reward. Chakra. Plus 20. Complete the teaching with a rating of B for the first time and receive a reward for mastering the changes in chakra. Form a large number of memories of the transformation of his chakra forms appeared in Mu Yue's mind instantly. Mu Yue was a little surprised. In the chakra system, shape changes can exist alongside changes in nature. Both sides can effectively strengthen ninjutsu. Although the form change only reaches proficiency but not mastery, it is not limited to chakra attributes. Speaking of form changes, we have to mention the Rasengan that Naruto rubbed from beginning to end. The Rasengan can be called the representative ninjutsu of form changes. It has great power without adding changes in nature. The development of Rasengan can be carried out. Mu Yue plans to develop this useful A-level Muji Ninjutsu on his own. With the detailed training process in the original book and his knowledge of form changes, the process should not be too difficult. The chakra given by the B-level evaluation also made Mu Yue think more about future classes. She felt that she could get some B-level evaluations in the future. It was not much given at one time, but the little she added made a lot.
After adding the development of Rasengan to her schedule, Mu Yue found that her life was extremely fulfilling now. On weekdays, he has classes during the day, tutors Shisui in the evening, practices and develops ninjutsu on his own at night, and provides a special training to Metkai and Obito on weekends. His schedule is full. Mu Yue really wanted to maintain such a peaceful life and grow steadily for a few years. It's a pity that he didn't travel to a good time. So he was destined to have a hard time enjoying a quiet life. On the fourth day after Mu Yue traveled to the ninja world, a piece of bad news came back to Konoha from the front line. There's another chapter after eight o'clock. The friction on the front line escalated and a conflict broke out. Kumogakure dispatched ninja troops into the country of Yu, which borders the country of fire and the figure of the eight-tailed Jinchuriki seemed to appear. When Mu Yue heard the news, she knew that the third ninja war was not far away. In other words, it has already begun, but it has not yet fully erupted. As a root ninja, the original person still knows a little more than ordinary ninjas. Since White Fang committed suicide last year, undercurrents have begun to surge in the ninja world. Whether it is Kumogakure, Iwagakure, or Sunagakure, they are all ready to move. When Mu Yue was just watching anime, he only felt that White Fang was no different from other famous and powerful people. But after he accepted the memory of the original owner, he understood the value of the title White Fang. Unlike others who were famous for tying or defeating a well-known strongman, White Fang was famous for killing, extremely efficient in killing. Holding a chakra short sword, you can directly transform into a ruthless lawn mowing machine on the battlefield. No matter you are a Jinin or a Junin, you will be finished with a flash of white light. It's not that White Fang's strength has surpassed everyone else and is the strongest in the ninja world, but his fighting style is particularly suitable for torture. Anyone weaker than him can easily be killed by him in an instant. Seeing that Konoha has lost such a strong man, other ninja villages will naturally covet him, especially Kumogakure village and Iwagakure village because these two ninja villages suffered very little losses in the Second Ninja World War. And now they have developed enough to challenge the first place. Can't those nasty Kumogakura ninjas just calm down? It feels like they're about to start a war again. Aya Wade aside, if Lord Whitefang were still here, they would definitely not dare to be so arrogant. Chiguyong said with some annoyance, it's okay, we still have the third generation and Lord Orochimaru and we will definitely be able to win as before. Kimura Sugito wanted to liven up the atmosphere. If a war breaks out, will our teachers also receive combat missions? Mu Yue asked the question she was most concerned about. He didn't want to leave the ninja school. Although he could become stronger by practicing on his own, there was no point in cheating. Depending on the intensity of the war, if it is too intense, some teachers may be organized into various units according to their seniority. Aya Ueda replied. After hearing what Ayaita said, Mu Yue could only pray to God Daozu in her heart, hoping to draw him later or not to draw him at all, because the third ninja world war between Konoha and the other four major ninja villages can be said to be extremely fierce, and the power of the ninja school teacher will definitely not be let go. Mu Yue was not afraid of going to the battlefield. What he was afraid of was going to the battlefield before he had grown up. This third ninja war is really extremely dangerous. First of all, the five major ninja villages are fighting with their lives, and then Uchiha Madara and Black Zetsu are secretly planning. You don't have to worry about this, Mr. Hanyu. We are the number one ninja village. There is no way we would have to fight all our teachers on the battlefield. Kimura Sugito has enough confidence in Konoha. It's not that I'm worried about going to the battlefield. I'm just asking, and I'll be ready for battle when the time comes. Mu Yu is smiled. Although I don't want to think about it in my heart, I definitely can't say this kind of thing. Mu Yue stopped talking and started practicing calligraphy. She didn't walk towards class one until the bell rang. Mu Yue looked at the inside of the classroom from the door. The clouds of war did not affect the children's joy, and the classroom was full of joy. Brother, how did my clever plan work? Have you tidied up your cousin? Two days have passed and Shen Yue Izumo is curious about Gangziti's results. Damn, don't mention it. It's good for brothers to make plans, but my cousin is too cunning. After I acted according to your plan, 
He actually took the exact same action as me, Gangzidi said with a depressed look. It did work well at first, earning his cousin a scolding from his aunt. But what he didn't expect was, before he took the next step, his cousin directly responded with the same treatment as others. He was a child, and his cousin was only one year older than him, so he could be considered a child. The final result was that the two of them were scolded and beaten each other, and in the end they had no choice but to cease the war and jointly declare this poisonous plan as a forbidden technique that cannot be used. There is such a cunning person. Kamazuki Izumo felt a little emotional. Your cousin is so cunning, I can't think of any plan for a while. Kamazuki Izumo said with an apologetic look. It's okay, Brother Izumo. You have given me several ideas. You can also tell me about your troubles, and I will share them with you. Gangziti is ready to repay the favor. I have a crush on a neighbor girl, but I don't know how to get closer to her. Kamazuki Izumo hesitated for a moment, but finally said it. This is not simple, just give her something she likes, Gangziti suggested. Shenyo Izumo thought about it and thought it made sense. I saw that she often looked at my flower garden when passing by my house. She must have liked flowers, and they didn't seem to grow flowers at home. Then send flowers. She will definitely appreciate you, Gangziti affirmed. Ahem, let's start class. Mu Yue coughed twice to remind everyone that class was already in session. The originally noisy classroom suddenly became quiet, with only the sound of Mu Yue's lecture. Although we have only been together for four days, everyone likes Mu Yue, a teacher who teaches in a relaxed and interesting manner, and who is consciously obedient. Lecture completed evaluation. A reward. Water escape. Water formation. Wall, seeing the name of this ninjutsu, information about the water formation wall, flashed in Mu Yue's mind. This is a B-level water escape ninjutsu. The effect is to create a wall of water blocking the front. It is worth mentioning that Tobarama's water formation wall is different from others. Tobarama's water formation wall directly draws a circle of 360 degrees with no dead ends to protect himself. Looking at the sudden extra knowledge in her mind, Mu Yue found that she had mastered the changes in the properties of water chakra that she had never known before. Mu Yue thought about it. If he didn't give him some knowledge about nature changes, he wouldn't be able to use water escape at all. Mu Yue silently gave the careful system a thumbs up. After school, Mu Yue took Ji Shui to the small river in the southern forest that she was looking for for a good training location. You have already practiced the Hao Fireball well. Today, I will teach you a new fire escape ninjutsu. Mu Yue talked about today's training plan. After speaking, Mu Yue clapped her hands and instantly opened her mouth and spat out three huge fire dragons. Under Mu Yue's control, the fire dragons spun around in the sky and then submerged directly into the water, evaporating a large amount of river water, causing the river surface to continuously roll out white water vapor, the art of dragon fire. Shisui recognized the fire escape at a glance. He had seen Uchiha Junin perform this jutsu before. It was precisely because of recognition that he was even more surprised, because Mu Yue actually spit out three fire dragons in one breath and only formed one seal. Ji Shui became more and more curious about Mu Yue's strength. Look, let me demonstrate it to you again. When Mu Yue saw Shisui's expression, she knew that the effect she wanted was achieved. I'm so unlucky. My phone fell into the water. I hope it's not broken. The difficulty of this jutsu is to instantly compress a large amount of chakra into the shape of a fire dragon. While demonstrating, Mu Yue talked to Shisui about the release techniques of ninjutsu. It just so happened that Mu Yue had recently obtained the proficiency level chakra form change. And Mu Yue also told Ji Shui a lot about the operations of chakra form change. I see, I probably understand a little bit. Shisui nodded, ready to give it a try. Shisui's palms flew quickly to complete the seal, and the chakra in his body exploded, then compressed and shaped. Fire release, dragon fire technique. Shisui opened his mouth and spit out a one-meter-high fire dragon that rushed toward the sky, spun around in the sky, and submerged into the water. Snap. Mu Yue smiled and stopped applauding and said, 
I thought you might have to try a few times to succeed, but it seems I still underestimated your talent. Muyue was really surprised. She didn't open the Sharingan for copying. It was too fast to learn a B-level ninjutsu all at once. Is this the gold content of the double S talent? It's teacher Muyue who taught me well, Shisui said humbly. He did not deny that he did learn things faster than ordinary people. But he also really felt that Mu Yue's teaching was very serious and good, except for Mu Yue, who only used one seal during the first demonstration. She performed the complete seal during the rest of the demonstrations and slowed down the speed to accompany the explanation. And I can say that I have learned it now. I just can use it. Thinking about Mu Yue's dragon fire, Shisui felt that he was still far away from learning it. He was far behind in both the size and number of fire dragons. Then I will demonstrate to you the dragon fire technique that I have learned a few times. Mu Yue smiled. He was very satisfied with Shisui's humility and diligence. Looking at the chakra on the panel that was rising day by day, he knew that Shisui was not idle when he returned. Time always flies by when you are serious. When Shisui was immersed in Mu Yue's teaching, the sky had quietly darkened. When Shisui released the dragon fire, he noticed that the fire was extremely bright, and then he realized that it was almost dark. He couldn't help but have a wonderful idea in his mind. Teacher Mu Yue's gentle voice could be some kind of ninjutsu technique that could make people forget the passage of time. Teacher, I'm going back, Jishisui and Mu Yue said goodbye and prepared to go home. I have recently summarized my experience in practicing chakra form changes. Please go back and read more. Mu Yue took out a pamphlet and handed it to Shisui. Jisui paused for a moment, then took the pamphlet from Mu Yue and bowed to thank him. Although he didn't say many nice words, Ji Shui already respected Mu Yue even more in his heart. He felt that Mu Yue was very good as a teacher. Although they, trained, they had only known each other for four days, Mu Yue never held anything back. The more important things were, the more important they were taught to him first and never kept secretly. Looking at Ji Shui's leaving figure, Mu Yue raised the corners of his mouth and smiled. It was indeed his strongest gold mine, and he had exploded something good again. You gave the disciple a form change training manual. Because the disciple was very grateful, he was rewarded with a critical hit and obtained the ninjutsu wind release, pressing proficient level. A large number of techniques regarding wind escape and pressure appeared in Mu Yue's mind instantly. At the same time, he also had some knowledge about the changes in the properties of wind chakra. Mu Yue was very satisfied with this reward, the ninjutsu of wind. Release, pressure is very strong, and it is considered the top among wind release. It has a large range and strong destructive power, and it can also be linked with his fire release ninjutsu. Moreover, the change in the wind attribute given by the system is also conducive to his development of the Rasengan. Originally, he was planning to develop the properties of the Rasengan's fire chakra. Since there was wind, he would definitely develop the Rasen Shuriken first. After these few days of exploration, Mu Yue has probably figured out the mechanism for apprenticeship and return. The reward is affected by two aspects. One is the quality of the thing he gives, and the other is the disciple's gratitude for the gift. The latter is more weighted. The next day, he gave Shisui a bunch of snacks, and the system gave him ten shurikens. On the third day, he gave Shisui the food he made by himself, and the system gave him fifty points of chakra. They were all food, and the rewards on the third day were obviously better. It was obviously because the third day was more caring, and Shisui liked it more. After figuring out the mechanism, Mu Yue began to plan to make Jishui explode. He planned to look at Jishui's information when he went to school tomorrow to find out when Shisui's birthday was, the fifth day of traveling through the world of Naruto. Mu Yue originally only had one class today, but as a result, a third grade teacher in the office was busy and needed someone to take over the class. Mu Yue would not let go of the opportunity to help others. Two lessons, one obtained 20 chakras and one obtained a high fireball. This was the first time Mu Yue had acquired the ninjutsu he knew. But what surprised him was that the repeated ninjutsu system 
directly increase the ninjutsu training experience. If it were a game, his should be a fireball with one life, or a strengthened fireball with one life. Mr. Hanyu, you are too talkative. If you act like this, other teachers will definitely ask you to take your place, Ueda Aya said with some worry. Mu Yue thought to herself that if there was such a good thing, he would really like it. They are all colleagues, so it's okay. And I also enjoy teaching students. Mu Yue smiled. Ueda Aya didn't know what to say for a while, because she looked at Mu Yue's expression and felt that Mu Yue really meant what she said. She felt very dreamy. Do such good people really exist in the world? Taking a substitute class without a salary increase is equivalent to working in vain. Time quickly came to the weekend. Ninja school was similar to his previous life, with classes on Mondays and Fridays and weekends off. Because of the previous agreement, at 8 o'clock in the morning, Muyu took Obito and Metkai to the place where he and Shisui were training to start special training. Why do you have to get up so early during the holidays? Obito lay on the desk prepared by Mo Yue and howled. Is it early? I think it's okay. Metkai scratched his head, unable to empathize with Obito. Mu Yue sent the papers prepared in advance to the two of them. This was Mu Yue's own paper based on their teaching progress. Because they had only been in class for five days, they couldn't directly take last year's monthly examination papers. And for the situation of the two of them, Mu Yue was not going to let them overcome the difficult problems. Just get the easy points, and passing was enough. Teacher Mu Yue, this is... Not long after, Shisui arrived, who was about to practice. He saw Obito and Kai, who were struggling to make papers, with very confused expressions. They are fourth grade students. I am giving them tutoring. You can practice yours. It will not be in the way, Mu Yue explained. It was no coincidence that Shisui came over. He was the one who called him last night. As for the purpose, Mu Yue thought it would be interesting to see senior students doing boring papers while watching junior students practicing ninjutsu. Please give me some feedback. Otherwise, I would have thought it was a standalone game. Obito, who was working on the problem, couldn't help but raise his head when he heard the conversation between the two and then froze. He recognized Shisui. The Uchiha clan lived together in the clan areas, divided by Konoha. So people of the same generation knew each other to some extent. After all, they all belong to the same family. Even if they have never met, they have heard of it from others. For example, geniuses like Shisui often appear in the mouths of their parents as other people's children. It is difficult not to recognize them. Obito was a little confused as to why Shisui appeared here and seemed to be very familiar with Muyue. Is Hanyu Sensei a distant relative of Shisui? Obito had an unreliable guess in his mind. Teacher, I'm done. While Obito was thinking wildly, Metkai next to him suddenly shouted out of anger. So fast? Obito was confused. He remembered that he hadn't stopped for long, but suddenly Metkai said he was done. Obito looked curiously and saw that Metkai had taken the first three multiple choice questions and left the rest blank. Obito didn't know what to say for a while because the entire paper only had 10 questions, with four choices and six answers. Although he doesn't know many questions, he will choose to fill the test paper a little more to make it look better. After hearing what Metkai said, Mu Yue came over and helped Metkai check whether they were right or wrong. Two questions were wrong, and only the first question was correct. Sorry, teacher, I... Metkai looked at the questions that Wei San had done and got two questions wrong. For a moment, he didn't know what to say. It's okay, it's normal if you don't know how to do it. If you can, you don't need me to teach you. Mu Yue smiled and comforted. Don't just think about it just because your score is low. Think about it from another perspective. You have a lot of room for improvement. After all, it is definitely easier to improve from 5 points to 25 points than from 80 points to 100 points. Hearing Mu Yue's words, Metkai's body shuddered. For the first time, he received encouragement other than from his father, who had always been treated as the tail of a crane. Teacher, you are right. I have a lot of room for improvement. Metkai instantly gained momentum. Mu Yue's next explanation to Metkai sounded very serious. Even if it was difficult to understand, he tried hard to understand. Next was Obito. 
Obito filled in six questions, but only two of them were correct. Mu Yue also treated Metkai the same way, comforting him first and then talking about the topic. After speaking, Mu Yue took out two more test papers of the same type and handed them to the two of them. Still have to do it. Obito looked at Shisui, who started practicing fire escape and couldn't take his eyes away. Art, fire escape, ho fireball. Shisui quickly formed seals and instantly spit out a two meter high fireball that flew toward the river. Looking at the huge fireball, Obito was very convinced, thinking that he was indeed a famous genius in the clan. As an Uchiha, he also knows the classic ninjutsu of fireball. But regardless of the size or power of his giant fireball, compared with Shisui, it can only be regarded as a small fireball. Is he a genius like Kakashi again? Although Metkai didn't know Shisui at the side, he looked at Shisui's figure and appearance. He was only six or seven years old at most. He was really surprised that he could use such a powerful ninjutsu. This reminded Metkai of Kakashi, whom he considered his old enemy. Ninja school has a three semester system. The first semester is from April to July, followed by summer vacation. The second semester is from September to December, followed by winter vacation. The third semester begins after the winter vacation. Kakashi didn't even finish the second semester so he directly applied for early graduation and passed it. One can imagine his genius level. At this moment, Shisui gave Metkai the feeling that he was Kakashi of the same age. Immediately afterwards, Shisui began to practice the dragon fire jutsu. Seeing that Shisui actually knew other fire escape ninjutsu, Metkai was even more surprised because he had been practicing the three-body technique taught in school for three years and felt that he had learned it reluctantly. Seeing Shisui controlling the fire dragon flying in the sky, Obito was very envious. If he could do this, he would definitely impress Lin. It can be seen that the form changes have been greatly improved compared to the first time. The fire dragon's speed is faster. He must have practiced a lot when he went back yesterday. Mu Yue commented and praised. Mainly teacher Mu Yue, your training manual has been of great help to me. Hearing Mu Yue's praise, Jisui smiled and said, let me demonstrate it to you again. Mu Yue walked in front of Jisui, clapped her hands together, and the chakra in her body quickly gathered and compressed. In an instant, she opened her mouth and spit out three huge fire dragons. Looking at the three huge fire dragons burning fiercely, Obito was a little dumbfounded. A second ago, he thought Shisui's dragon fire was very handsome. But after Mu Yue's dragon fire came out, Obito's opinion changed. It's not like the two of them are using the same ninjutsu. The fire dragon released by Shisui and the one released by Mu Yue are simply the difference between a snake and a loach. And why are the speeds too fast? It feels like there is no seal. Three huge fire dragons flew rapidly in the sky, leaving lines of flames in their flight paths, eventually forming several large characters in the sky. No more, hurry up and do the questions. Obito read out the words in the sky and then found Mu Yue looking at him with a humorous smile. Obito was startled for a moment and then explained, I'll just wait and see when I get tired. He looked at Metke out of the corner of his eye and found that Metke, who was watching with him, had already picked up a pen to do the questions in an instant, reacting very quickly. Have you seen enough now? Mu Yue asked. Enough has been seen. Enough has been seen. Obito also quickly picked up his pen and started doing the questions. After working on the questions for a while, Obito couldn't help but stop writing and asked, Hanyu Sensei, what is your relationship with Shisui? What do you think is the relationship between teacher and disciple? Mu Yue glanced at Metkai's paper and replied, <laughs> I also feel like a master and a disciple. Obito did not reveal his initial unreliable guess. Hanyu sensei, if I pass the exam, can you teach me the ninjutsu you just used? Obito continued to ask. He was already thinking about how to show off his new ninjutsu with Nohara Rin. In other words, he was about to open the champagne. Sure. Muyue nodded. Really? Obito looked surprised. Real. Hanyu sensei, what taijutsu have you mastered? Metkai looked at Muyue expectantly although he also thinks that Mu Yue, who releases the dragonfire technique, is very handsome. Matkai has a clear purpose. 
He only practices physical skills. Muyue did not speak, but walked to a big tree, concentrated chakra on her feet, tensed her muscles, and then kicked out her whirlwind kick at extremely fast speeds. With a snap, the tree quickly fell to the ground, stirring up a burst of dust. Do you like this physical technique? Muyue put her feet away and patted the dust, then looked at Metkai with a smile. Looking at Muyue's extremely fast and clean whirlwind legs, Metkai's eyes suddenly lit up, and he felt like he had encountered the love technique in his dreams, which fulfilled all of his fantasies about physical skills. Simple, fast, powerful, and handsome. I like it. Please be sure to teach this when the time comes. Metkai vigorously expressed his satisfaction with Konoha Tornado. Just like it. Muyue smiled and nodded. Metkai's reaction was what he expected. After all, this taijutsu was developed by Metkai himself in the future. And he also developed a whole series. It's strange that he doesn't like the big whirlwind whirlwind and various Konoha whirlwinds. After receiving Muyue's assurance, Obito and Metkai were very happy. And they felt much more comfortable looking at the test papers that usually gave them a headache. Look at my full firepower. I will definitely target more than four this time. Obito was so excited that he was gearing up, and those who didn't know it thought he was going to fight. You must deal with more than three. Otherwise, you will run 500 times around Konoha tonight. In order to learn the love and dream technique, Metkai went to great lengths and directly used self-restraint. After he planned to learn this taijutsu, he would go to Kakashi to compete with him to see how much his strength had improved. But the sudden enthusiasm went away quickly. After doing a few questions, Obito understood a truth. If he was pushed into a hurry, he might be able to release a larger fireball. Or he could throw five shurikens into the bullseye, day in one go. But there was nothing he could do about the problem if he was in a hurry. He supported his head with his hand and kept playing with the pen in various postures with his other hand. He was so upset that he couldn't even look at the green leaves swaying in the wind. He felt like he was laughing at himself for not being able to solve the question. Obito couldn't help but look at Metkai next to him. Although he and Metkai have been classmates for more than three years and have a common friend with Kakashi, they have never actually played together, and their relationship is very ordinary. They are not strangers, but they cannot be called friends either. They can only be called friends of friends who happen to be classmates. When he thought of Metkai, his first reaction was the tail end of the crane. Although he is also known as the tail of the crane, Obito thinks that he is just a bit partial. His ninjutsu, shuriken, and throwing are pretty good, but his theory is particularly bad. It's just that other Uchiha are too powerful and are excellent in all courses, which makes him an imperfect Uchiha, seem like a loser. But Metkai is different. Metkai is not good at theory or ninjutsu. He is ranked last in most courses and is recognized as the last one. But at this time, Metke showed better patience than him. Even though he was scratching his head due to difficulties, Metke was still working hard to overcome the difficulties. Obito thought of the heroic words Metkai once made when he was laughed at. I believe that if I keep working hard like this, I will become the strongest taijutsu ninja. Although Obito was not one of the people who ridiculed him, when he heard this, he didn't think so, and he didn't think that Metkai could become the so-called strongest in taijutsu, but now he has changed his mind. It's hard to say whether he can become the strongest taijutsu ninja, but he should be much better than those who laugh at Metkai. It might be nice to be friends with him, Obito muttered, so they can deal with that nasty Kakashi together. Watching Metkai keep doing the questions, Obito also began to write furiously, racking his brains to think. Mu Yue looked at this scene with a thoughtful expression. He didn't expect that these two people could have such a chemical reaction together. Obito, who was originally impatient and couldn't sit still, was so affected that he could calm down and do the questions. In the future, similar means can be used to stimulate Obito's cultivation. After the two of them were done, Mu Yue helped them correct it. Obito got three right and Metkai got two right. Alas, there are still less than four, but I have tried my best. Obito was lying on the table, looking like he was burned out. Add 500 laps to your evening run. Metkai built failure punishment into his exercise program. Seeing this, 
Mu Yue consoled her and said, you are actually only five questions away from passing the exam. And it only took you one hour to improve on one question. It's much better if you think about it this way. Obito Metkai thought about it, and it seemed to be the truth. The passing and ninjutsu were just around the corner. After comforting Mu Yue, she took out two papers again with a smile. Obito looked at the brand new test papers on the table, and then thought about the three weekends left before the exam, and couldn't help but feel dark. But I can only pick up the pen and continue working hard, because if I give up now, the previous papers will be in vain. At this time, Shisui, who had recovered his chakra, began another wave of fire escape exercises. Fire dragons kept flying in the sky, attracting Obito's attention. Hanyu-sensei, after we learn your ninjutsu, are we considered your disciples like Shisui? Obito asked after thinking for a while. If you want it, then so be it, Muyue replied ambiguously. <laughs> Since we are all disciples sooner or later, why don't you teach us now, teacher? Obito Tukian saw it and stated his purpose. Mu Yue cast a suspicious look. Although this was the result of his deliberate layout, your map of Yan Kingdom is too short. Obito patted his chest and assured, Teacher Mu Yue, it's definitely not that I don't want to study anymore, but I think these two can be done together. After Obito finished speaking, he pulled Metkai next to him and said, Kai, you mean right? Teacher, I think Obito is right. Metkai also wants to learn Konoha Whirlwind early so that he can compete with Kakashi. What if you fail the exam then? Muyue did not rush to agree, but asked instead, When the time comes, teacher, you can do whatever you say, and I will listen to you. Obito is still very confident. Me too. Metkai nodded and added one. So, Mu Yue had a troubled expression on her face, as if she was still hesitating. Teacher Mu Yue, just believe me. I will definitely study hard with you and not embarrass you. Seeing that there was something going on, Obito quickly continued. Me too. Metkai also clenched his fists and promised. Well, I believe you can do what you say. After you finish this paper, I will teach you the Dragon Fire Jutsu and the Konoha Whirlwind. Mu Yue looked convinced. Great. I knew you were the best teacher, Mu Yue. And I will definitely not betray your trust, Obito said excitedly. He felt in his heart that today was really his lucky day. He improved his theoretical scores and got a great teacher for free, which made him a lot of money. Teacher Mu Yue, I will definitely work hard to practice your physical skills, Metkai said seriously. He also felt that he was really lucky today to meet someone who was willing to be his teacher and teach him physical skills, whether to establish a master-disciple relationship with Uchiha Obito, whether to establish a master-disciple relationship with Metkai. Looking at the two pop-up windows that popped up, Mu Yue showed a satisfied smile. Yes, you guys made a lot of money. 11. Relationship established successfully. Current trust level 2. Relationship established successfully. Current trust level 2. Looking at the level of trust, Irimuyu nodded secretly. It was not in vain that he spent so much time disguising himself as prey to seduce. Mu Yue feels that it is quite difficult to improve the trust level. It should take time to grind. If the trust level is 1, the initial income will be much lower. Two disciples with potential S or above will receive skill professors. Professor, the knowledge you impart is easier to absorb. A very simple and crude skill, but also very powerful, is to increase the effectiveness of lectures and teaching. Mu Yue tried it, and it was still a passive that could be switched on and off. But for something like this that is harmless, Mu Yue naturally chooses to keep it open. Unless Danzo one day sees that he is teaching well and asks him to teach at the root, then he will shut it down. The only thing that disappointed Mu Yue was that the number of apprenticeship returns did not increase due to the increase in disciples, and was still once a day. He also thought about making some food for Shisui, and he would explode 50 chakras. He cooked food for his three disciples every day, and he was guaranteed to increase his chakras by 150 a day. This was much faster than finishing classes. The result was that he wanted to too much. However, if there are three disciples, even if there is only one chance, it will be better than just one person. 
because people's emotions have a threshold. With gradual stimulation, the threshold will gradually increase, and it will not be so easy to be moved and win the big prize. If there are three people, they can take turns to blast the gold coins. Not only will the number of big prizes increase, but it can also slow down the growth of the emotional threshold. Moreover, the current growth rate is not bad. Mu Yue thought to herself and glanced at her own panel. Name, Hanyu Mu Yue. Age, 18. Chakra, 4,405. Skills, fire release. Dragon fire technique. Water release. Water formation. Wall, wind release. Pressure, Professor. Ne. Compared with when he traveled back in time, Mu Yue had a total of 105 chakra points improved, of which 90 points were obtained through classes and apprenticeships, and the remaining 15 points were obtained through his own training and apprenticeship. This is only the result of Mu Yue's five days, because most of Mu Yue's rewards are various ninjutsu. If Mu Yue brushes all his chakras, he will be guaranteed a minimum of 100 chakras just by attending classes in a week, not counting the rewards for being a disciple. But Mu Yue feels that at this stage, it is better to brush more A-level rewards, or brush AB in half. The ninjutsu rewarded by the system lectures are all learned directly, and they are not preliminary learning. They are directly mastered and can be used in battle. If it is a ninjutsu that he has not mastered the attributes of, it also has its own nature changes, and the experience will be increased when repeated, which is really considerate. If he had to spend time practicing those ninjutsu, it would take a lot of time. How to find a training method was also a problem. But as he mastered more methods, Mu Yue felt that he still needed to develop more chakra. After all, chakra was the foundation of ninjas. Teacher, I'm done. Obito, who wanted to learn new ninjutsu as quickly as possible, completed the test paper with 120% seriousness. I'm done too. Metkai was not far behind in reporting. Two people. Mu Yue is glad that this is Hokage. The clone technique is very bad. Mu Yue created a shadow clone and said, first go and explain the principles of Konoha Whirlwind to Kai, and then demonstrate it several times. Because one of them learned Taijutsu and the other Ninjutsu, Mu Yue could not teach them together and could only create a shadow clone. He was going to teach Obito Ninjutsu first with his body and his clone would explain it to Metkai. After half an hour of teaching, switch it around. The main body will teach Metkai, and the clone will teach Obito. Mu Yue will not be a person's intimate teacher. He will give his warmth to every disciple. Just like how he taught Shisui, Mu Yue explained it in detail, which can be called a step-by-step -step tutorial. You taught your disciple the fire release and dragon fire technique. Because the disciple was very grateful and rewarded the critical hit, he obtained the ninjutsu water release and water dragon bullet technique, proficient level. Mu Yue fell into thinking. He remembered that he also taught Shisui Haolong fire. Why didn't he count the return as a disciple at that time? He thought of a reason. His dragon fire was erupted from Shisui. It may be that the rewards erupted from the same disciple cannot be used to teach disciples and return further rewards. Mu Yue silently memorized this hidden rule, not the kind of water dragon bomb with 44 seals. Mu Yue couldn't help but complain in her heart when she thought of Kakashi and Zabuza's water dragon bullet. It may be cool to watch anime with the seals like this, but in reality, it is generally difficult to release ninjutsu that requires so many seals, unless there is someone around to help contain it. The proficiency level of the system did not disappoint Mu Yue. He only needed six seals, and if he continued to practice, the more proficient he became, the more the seals could be streamlined. After teaching Obito for half an hour, Mu Yue went to Metkai to give him guidance and let the clone teach Obito. After both of them have finished teaching, they will also give guidance to Shisui, constantly moving among the three of them. At noon, Mu Yue personally went down to the river to catch four fish, then lit a fire and grilled them, one for each person as lunch. It's so delicious. Teacher Muyu, if you open a barbecue restaurant, you will definitely have a good business. Obito praised while eating. Shisui and Metkai seemed to nod it. Be careful. Don't eat the fish bones. Muyue smiled and shook her head. Is it tasty? 
Mu Yue thought it must be relatively ordinary, because he really didn't have barbecue skills and rarely barbecued. The reason why I find it delicious is that the atmosphere is good and the senses are blessed. Zi Shui usually lives alone at home and rarely eats with so many people, even in the wild. Obito usually eats with his grandma, and, uh, and Metkai eats with his father. In addition, I have never eaten this kind of grilled fish, and it feels novel. With many blessings, the originally ordinary grilled fish has become delicious. After eating and resting for an hour, Mu Yue and the three of them began to continue practicing. In fact, this ninjutsu is not difficult. Obito looked at the round fire dragon he released and felt a sense of accomplishment. This was much smoother than his previous training of the giant fireball. It happened that Shisui was also practicing dragon fire and spit out a fire dragon. Looking at Shisui's ferocious looking Charmander with its mouth full of fangs, Obito silently controlled his cute little Charmander to hide behind him. Metkai, who had kicked his tornado leg countless times, wiped his sweat and was about to stop and rest when he happened to see this scene. Perhaps because of the common adversity in the morning, Medkai walked over and comforted him. It's okay. The fire dragon is small and cute, and sooner or later it will become as powerful as Teacher Mu Yu. Although it was comfort for some reason, Obito felt an inexplicable aggrievedness, which made him very uncomfortable. This feeling of suffocation made Obito, who had originally wanted to take a rest, instantly regain his energy and begin to continue practicing the art of dragon fire. Seeing that Obito was so motivated, Metkai was unwilling to rest for a while and quickly continued to practice. These two seemed to get along quite well. Mu Yue, who had been watching from the side, was a little unable to hold back. He found that, that Obito and Metkai really had something to say together. After practicing until it was time for dinner, Mu Yue asked them to go back to their homes and told them to continue tomorrow. On Sunday, after practicing for another day, the disciple returned 50 points of chakra. Then a new week begins again. In the morning, Gangzi woke up, quickly washed up, ate breakfast, and rushed to school. You didn't get up very early today. Why are you in such a hurry? The old mother on the side asked, doubtfully. Of course, go to school early to study. Gangzi answered without looking back. This was just a perfunctory lie to his mother. Although Gang Zidi didn't hate going to school, he didn't like it very much either, because not all teachers taught as lively and interesting as Mu Yue. The reason why Gang Zidi is really anxious to go to school is that he urgently wants to know if his good brother Kamizuki Izumo has taken the first step in love. He gave Kamizuki Izumo the idea on Thursday, but on Friday, Kamizuki Izumo said he didn't dare to do it and wanted to think about it. Gang Zidi Tiaksun thought that two days over the weekend should be enough to brew it up. When Gang Tai arrived in the classroom, there were not many people there, and Shen Yue Izuyun hadn't arrived yet. However, Shen Yue Izumo didn't keep him waiting for long. About seven or eight minutes later, he saw Shen Yue Izumo walking in listlessly. Izumo, did you not sleep well yesterday, Gang Ziti asked doubtfully. Shen Yue Izumo shook his head. Did you send the flowers out over the weekend? Gang Ziti asked enthusiastically. Alas, forget this. After hearing Gang Zidi's words, Shen Yu Izuyun's expression became even more depressed. She visits our flower garden, not because she likes flowers, but because she is allergic to pollen and is worried about the pollen being blown over. Gang Zidi was silent for a while after hearing the news and then asked, Did you send those flowers? Shen Yu Izumo did not answer Gang Zidi's words, but the silence and the resentful expression on his face had silently answered Gang Ziti's question. Gang Ziti patted Shen Yu Izumo on the shoulder and comforted. It's okay. I remember that a girl who played with Meihui was quite cute. How about we play together some other time and get to know each other? That's great, Brother Tai. Shen Yu Izumo swept away the dull atmosphere and said with a smile, Over the weekend, I came up with another clever plan to help you deal with your cousin. That's great. Tell me what kind of clever idea it is. Classes begin. Mu Yue's voice reached the ears of the two of them, and they realized that class had already started. They were too absorbed in chatting that they didn't pay attention to the class bell. So the two of them hurriedly sat down and started listening to the class. 
They were still thinking strangely since they hadn't attended Mu Yue's class for two days. Mu Yue did not disappoint them. The class was relaxed and comfortable, and she had a lot of knowledge in her mind without even realizing it. Lecture completed. Evaluation, a reward obtained. Water escape, water breaking wave. Seeing that the reward was water breaking wave, Mu Yue's eyes instantly lit up. This ninjutsu was not simple. This is the water release developed in the second generation. It can spray out ultra high pressure straight water jets. It is so powerful that it can even cut off the roots of the sacred tree. Mu Yue was in a very good mood when she shipped the goods and another good thing happened soon. Teacher Mu Yue, I remember that you don't have class in the afternoon. Can you help me take over the get out of class? I have a ninjutsu class in the afternoon for class two of fourth year. In the office, Chi Guyong walked to Mu Yue and hoped that Mu Yue could help him teach again. There's no problem with the substitute teaching. Teacher Ikeda, are you feeling unwell? Although I am happy to have another reward to win, my character still needs to be maintained, Mu Yue asked with a worried look on her face. My health is not good. Thank you, Mr. Hanyu, for your concern. Chi Guyong first thanked Mu Yue and then explained. It was my previous blind date and I asked her to go out for a walk in the afternoon. So why not pick a time when there aren't many classes? Aya Weida complained. I wanted to, but she said she was free this afternoon. Chi Guyong said that if he had a choice, he wouldn't want to trouble Mu Yue. After all, Mu Yue was so kind, and Chi Guyong would be embarrassed to see him suffer. Aya Weida is no longer too lazy to talk about Isamu Ikeda. She really feels that there will be no good results between him and the blind date. Because if the other party is really interesting, he will definitely think about Ikegu Yong instead of letting Ikegu Yong trouble his colleagues. Come on, teacher Chigu. Mu Yue smiled and said, be busy and let him get more rewards. Thank you so much, Hanyu Sensei. If it works, I'll treat you to the most expensive restaurant in Konoha. Chigu Yong thanked him and then walked out of the office in a hurry. He had to go home to change clothes and tidy up. What I said last time was right, right? Mr. Hanyu, if you act like this, others will ask you to help teach when they are short of time. Aya wait aside. Help others and colleagues should also help each other, Mu Yue said with a serious face. You are too kind, so it is easy for you to suffer a loss. Aya wait aside. Mu Yue smiled without saying anything and started practicing calligraphy. Seeing Mu Yue's serious look when practicing calligraphy, Weida Aya couldn't help but feel that the gap between people is really big. If only Ikea Isamu was a quarter as good as Mu Yue, he wouldn't have never been in love before. When it felt like the time was almost up, Mu Yue stopped writing, packed up her desk, and headed to class two of the fourth year. When Mu Yue walked to the door of the classroom, the bell rang. Mr. Ikatani is busy, so I will take over the ninjutsu class this afternoon. Mu Yue walked up and explained. He glanced around the classroom and saw that everyone was here except Obito. About three minutes into class, Obito hurried into the classroom and was stunned when he saw Mu Yue on the podium. After running so hard, he actually saw teacher Mu Yus in his class. This was Obito's inner thought at this time. He even doubted for a moment whether he had gone to the wrong classroom, but when he saw those familiar classmates, it was obvious that he was not wrong. Obito didn't bother to rest and quickly explained, Teacher Mu Yue, I didn't mean to be late. I met, on the way, I met an old lady to help and wasted time. Before Obito could finish speaking, someone in the class finished it for him, causing a burst of laughter. What I said is true. If I had known that Teacher Mu Yue would come to class in the afternoon, I would have definitely come half an hour early. Obito continued to explain. He was afraid that Mu Yue would think he didn't study well and stop teaching him. Go back to your seat. Mu Yue nodded to agree with Obito's statement, and then added, You can't be late for teacher Ikigaya's class either. Ninjutsu classes in ninja schools are taught from the first grade, but only three ninjutsus are taught. The transformation technique, the clone technique, and the substitute technique, although it seems a waste of time to only learn a few basic ninjutsu for a few years. It is actually quite reasonable, because geniuses like Shisui are in the minority after all. For those who are only Chunin as a ninja, it is not easy to learn these three ninjutsu. 
and there are other courses, although they had attended countless three shinjutsu classes, Mu Yue's ninjutsu class still made their eyes shine. Is that so? No wonder the previous clone was different from the original body. Some students made progress on the spot. I really hope that teacher Chigu will have more things to do in the future so that he can take more classes from teacher Mu Yue. Some students expressed their inner thoughts in a joking tone. Everyone around made a sound of approval. Mu Yue didn't express any opinion on this. He just sighed in his heart that the system's skills were really useful. Lecture completed evaluation. A reward. Thunder release. Thunder clone. The skills of changing the properties of Thunder Chakra and various experiences of Thunder Escape and Shadow Clones instantly appeared in Mu Yue's mind. Although it is not a particularly strong ninjutsu, Mu Yue, who has unlocked another chakra attribute, thinks it is not bad. After all, it has been shipped once in the morning. In the next half month, Mu Yue maintained this rhythm. If no one asked him to teach as a substitute, he would study ninjutsu theory in the office. If someone came to teach as a substitute, he would teach Shisui Obito and others at home, and then train Chakra by himself. Maybe it was because the quality of the substitute teaching was so good that all the students who had taught it wanted to come again. In addition, Mu Yue was very popular with the teacher, and Mu Yue suddenly became a well-known teacher in the ninja school. The students all think that Mu Yue is a perfect teacher who is fun to teach, gentle and handsome. The teachers also feel that Mu Yue is a good colleague who is sincere and kind to others. As the center of the topic, Mu Yue didn't have much idea. He just set up the person he wanted to stand. Now he was guessing why the masked ninja standing in his yard came. Sorry, everyone, something happened, so the update is late. Yeah, you have completed your mission very well. This is what Danzo-sama asked me to entrust to you. Ping Shuiza handed the two scrolls to Mu Yue's hand. Mu Yue took the scroll and nodded calmly without saying anything. Root ninjas did not need to communicate much with each other. Ping Shuiza didn't say anything anymore. He handed the scroll to Mu Yue and quickly left to prevent Mu Yue's identity from being exposed. After sensing Ping Shuiza's aura gradually disappearing, Mu Yue returned to the room and opened the two scrolls. A scroll records a fire escape ninjutsu which is the dragon fire jutsu. The other scroll is Danzo's affirmation of Mu Yue's work and his latest instructions. Danzo first affirmed Mu Yue's work completion, saying that Mu Yue had done a good job in fully utilizing her subjective initiative to quickly integrate into the ninja school and hereby awarded her a powerful fire escape ninjutsu. Then Danzo asked Mizuki not to be proud and to continue to develop in the ninja school according to this momentum. Pay close attention to Uchiha Shisui in the class, and also try to pay attention to other Uchiha students. In the end, Danzo made a big deal for Mu Yue. If Mu Yue can maintain such performance in the future, he will help Mu Yue to be promoted to special junior and hold important positions in the ninja school. After reading it, Mu Yue ignited flames in her hands and turned the two scrolls into ashes. Special Junin holding an important position, haha. Mu Yue smiled. If it were the original owner, he might be motivated by Danzo's set of awards and paintings. But Mu Yue? The rewarded fire escape was the dragon fire that he had already mastered, and he had no desire to be promoted to a special Junis. So Mu Yue had no fluctuation in his heart. He just wanted to laugh. Mu Yue was preparing to practice her body, and when she was reading a book, she suddenly found that she had finished reading all the books on ninjutsu at home. He thought for a moment and prepared to go to Konoha's library to borrow some books. There's a large library in Konoha, which contains various books and materials, including ninjutsu. It has been established since the second generation period. Of course, there are only some D-level and C-level ordinary ninjutsu inside. It is impossible to find any forbidden or high-level ninjutsu inside and the borrowing price of ninjutsu is not cheap. But it has nothing to do with Mu Yue, because he is not going to borrow ninjutsu, but to find information related to ninjutsu and sealing techniques. To narrow it down a bit, it is related to binding cursed seals. The ninjutsu he gained through lectures was faster than his own practice. 
He wanted to try to see if he could break the tongue bane eradication seal on his body. Although this curse mark is not as disgusting as the caged bird, it is still uncomfortable to have someone else's curse mark on your body. Walking on the streets of Konoha, Mu Yue felt a little dazed as she looked at the people coming and going. It has been more than half a month since she traveled to Hokage, and this is the first time Mu Yue has gone shopping in her own body. Normally, she has to go to the clone to buy groceries. Because of her special status and the danger of this world, Mu Yue always feels insecure. After cheating for more than half a month, she knew a little more ninjutsu and a little more hewobo chakra. Only then did Mu Yue feel a little more confident and felt that she would not die from an unknown AOE. When she arrived at the library, Mu Yue took out her little ninja notebook and handed it to the ninja on duty. It recorded some basic information about Mu Yue, including her name, ninja number, and so on. This library is only open to ninjas. The ninja on duty looked at it and nodded to Mu Yue to go in after seeing that there was no problem. Just as Mu Yue was about to look for information, a figure that was somewhat familiar to Mu Yue walked towards her. It was also a man with blonde hair and a gentle smile on his face. Sensing Mu Yue's gaze, Namikaze Minato also looked at Mu Yue. The two nodded slightly, and then Mu Yue entered and exited Minato. Name, Namikaze Minato. Chakra, 40000 potential. Yes, evaluation. Killing a jonin is like killing a coon, and if you look at it one more time, it will explode. Mu Yue's expression remained unchanged on the surface, but she was extremely surprised in her heart. This was the first time he saw tens of thousands of chakras, and it was still 40,000, which was equivalent to 86-year-old Shisui. The ratings are also frighteningly high, as if Junyin kills them casually. At this time, Minato did not have the name of Yellow Flash. Now, in the eyes of the public, he is just a powerful yonin. However, his master, Sanin Jiraiya, is more famous and is one of the popular candidates for Hokage. However, Mu Yue thought about it and found that Minato's evaluation was not wrong. Minato, who was proficient in flying thunder gods, was indeed not difficult to kill an ordinary Junin. This kind of fast ninja torture is simply not too strong. It would be nice if Minato already had a son in the Jonin school. Mu Yue felt regretful in her heart because this way he could find an opportunity to get close to Minato. In fact, he wanted to make friends with Minato because Minato's ceiling skills were not low, and he was a little greedy for Minato's ceiling skills. Curse Seal is essentially a ceiling technique and is a branch of it. If he had a master of ceiling techniques like Minato as an advisor, it would be much easier for him to break the seal of Tungbane. As for Kushina, Jinchuriki's identity is too sensitive, and Mu Yue doesn't want to cause trouble for herself. After taking two books related to sealing and three irrelevant books, Mu Yue left the library after completing the registration and payment. In Konoha's South Mirror Forest, Mu Yue is leading her disciples to practice before the exam. You two have not forgotten what you said before. You must pass the theory test tomorrow. Mu Yue reminded Obito and met Kadao. Of course, if you fail, you will be punished by teacher Mu Yue, Obito said confidently. Although they spend most of their time practicing ninjutsu, they only occasionally talk about theory and write papers. But just now they did the papers from previous years, and Obito got 30 points. According to his previous experience, this score was already several points above passing level. The pass mark for ninja school is half the average score, and the average score is generally over 50, so he is very stable. That's right, if you fail, you'll run 800 times around Konoha. Metkai shouted with great momentum. He had just scored 30 points. Not only do I have to pass the theory, I also want to get first place in practice. After receiving Mu Yue's teachings for, for more than half a month, Obito feels that he can beat his former self. First, I won. Te give in. Metkai expressed dissatisfaction. Mu Yue smiled and said nothing, but knowing the overall strength of the fourth graders, he knew that the two of them might not be able to take first place because there was a student from the Huga clan in the fourth grade class who was very good. Although that student's potential is only A, Obito and Metkai's potential has not yet been realized. 
Obito has not opened the Sharingan, and Metkai has not mastered the Eight Gates dungeon. But it's hard to say for Muyue, after all. The level is too low, and there are too many surprises. Muyue glanced at Zi Shui, who was reading quietly. He was sure that Zi Shui's results were absolutely crushing, and ranked first in the whole grade. And he was also first in both theory and practice. If she could compete across grades, Mu Yue could only say that she might be number one in the school. I wonder if the system will reward teachers if they do well in the exam, Mu Yue guessed in her mind. The first time I took the exam, I was a little nervous. I didn't know whether the questions were difficult or not. I hope it's not difficult. If you fail and go home, you'll be beaten. It shouldn't be the case. Didn't teacher Mu Yue also give us mock papers? Passing is still easy. Perhaps because it was their first time to take an exam, many students in the first year class were a little nervous. Worry about the questions being too difficult. Worry about not getting good grades and getting scolded at home. Anko Izumo, are you nervous? Gangziti asked Shenyu Izumo. What's there to be nervous about? It's just a small test. Let's see how easily I can pass it, Anko said with a smile. Of course you're not nervous. This is different from usual times. The results will be announced by then. Kamazuki Izumo replied, I'm also a little nervous. I only got 80% on Mr. Hanyu's mock paper last time. The official exam should be a bit more difficult, and I should only get 60% or 70%. Gangziti nodded. My simulated score is a little better than yours. I got 87 in the exam, but I feel like I might be in the 60s or 70s this time. Kamazuki Izumo said with a bitter look on his face. No, do you all have such high exams? Hongdu was a little confused. She was so confident that she only scored over 60 in the last mock test. The simulated results are all false and cannot be considered real. Shenyu Izumo sighed. Try to do better in the exam, and your average score will be higher when the time comes. I heard that if your grades are too poor, you may be taught by a different teacher. And then you won't be teacher Mu Yue, Gangziti told the gossip he heard. Change teacher? You can change to another teacher, but Han Yu sensei cannot. Hongdu doesn't want Mu Yu to go away. Although she is the head teacher, Mu Yue only has more classes in the first class. Not all classes are taught by Mu Yue. There are several other teachers. Well, other teachers are too boring in class. Only Mr. Han Yu's class is interesting and easy to understand. Kamazuki Izumo agreed. Why don't we tell the whole class this news and encourage everyone? Kamazuki Izumo thought of a good idea. He read novels about how to boost morale before a battle. Hongdu thought this was a good idea, so he stood on his seat and announced the news to everyone. Hongdu's words caused a commotion in the classroom, and Mu Yue was their favorite and respected teacher. Everyone works hard to do well in the exam. It would be terrible if teacher Mu Yue leaves in the future and another boring teacher like the Taijutsu teacher comes. Gang Ziti took the opportunity to speak loudly. Work hard to do well in the exam and never let teacher Mu Yue be replaced. I just made it clear that I would look down on anyone who failed this time. Teacher Mu Yue said so. Shisui didn't get involved. It didn't matter. He would take action and directly win the first place in the grade. Students with such results will naturally not change. Everyone, please be quiet. The exam time is coming soon. Just try your best. The sudden appearance of Mu Yue's voice made the classroom instantly quiet. Everyone looked at the place where the sound came from and saw that Mu Yue had walked to the door without knowing when. I believe everyone can get good grades in the exam. Mu Yue said with a smile, without stopping too much. She quickly went to the class where she wanted to invigilate the exam. Mu Yue was naturally happy that so many students wanted to work hard to pass the exam so that he could continue teaching. However, Mu Yue could only say that they were worried for nothing. Even if the teacher was changed, it would still be based on the entire semester and the entire school year. Moreover, the simulation papers that Mu Yue gave them were actually more difficult than the real papers. Walking into the classroom of class two, grade four, Mu Yue walked directly to the podium and announced, everyone, please be quiet. The exam is about to begin. The teacher's proctor was randomly assigned, and he happened to be proctoring class two of the fourth year. 
Teacher Mu Yue. Many people in class two of fourth year greeted Mu Yue, and Mu Yue responded with a smile and nod one by one. Class two, class four, not only has Obito Metkai as his disciple, this class is also the class where he teaches more often, so everyone is familiar with him. And with Ikagaya Isamu as a comparison, everyone likes Mu Yue even more. Teacher Mu Yue is watching here. She must pass this time. Metkai took a deep breath, as if facing a formidable enemy. If you want to choose Metkai, between the two choices of taking a theoretical test and a formal Jainin battle, Metkai would rather choose to fight an official ninja. He will graduate next year. If he fights against official ninjas, there might be a wave, and it is not impossible to win. However, for some theoretical subjects, he is too impatient and has nothing to do. Lin, just wait and see. This time I promise to subvert your understanding of me. Obito whispered proudly. You will definitely pass this time, right? I believe, Obito, you can do it, Nohara Lin encouraged with a smile. Although Obito has said this kind of thing countless times without success, Nohara Lin is still willing to believe Obito and give encouragement. Try to do what you know how to do correctly. Check it several times and put those difficult problems at the end. Nohara Rin reminded Obito softly. As a good friend, she really hopes that Obito can get rid of the title of Crane Tail. Uh-huh. Obito nodded in agreement. Soon, another invigilator came into the classroom. He was Kimura Sugito, a teacher from the same office as Muyue. The two teachers in the same examination room were invigilating the exam together. When the bell rang, Muyue and Kimura Shanto distributed the test papers together. Afterwards, the two of them invigilated the exam together, silently and occasionally, and occasionally sat on the podium at the same time and chatted for a while. Teacher Chigu is also feeling very uncomfortable. It is estimated that the bonus for this semester has been suspended, and there are two big problems. Kimura Sugito sighed softly. It's hard to say. Maybe they will study hard this semester and pass the exam. Mu Yue smiled and shook her head. Mu Yue felt that Obito and Metkai's performance this time should shock a lot of people's jaws. I haven't passed the theoretical exam even once for three consecutive years. If I were to pass, I should have passed it long ago. The more courses I take, the harder it becomes. Kimura Shanren thinks Mu Yue is too optimistic. Fortunately, they will graduate after the school year otherwise. Kimura Shanren thought about how miserable it would be for such a student to fall into his hands. After a brief chat, Mu Yue continued to patrol. He missed going to class a little bit. Because of exams, the entire ninja school was suspended for three days. The first day was various theoretical exams, the second day was actual combat, and the third day was also actual combat, with a decisive battle to determine the grade ranking. This three-day suspension of classes meant to him that he had missed practicing several ninjutsu and refining dozens of chakras. Fortunately, the apprenticeship was still usable. After the theoretical exam, Muyu gave Obito some shurikens, which he blasted with 50 chakra. When the time comes, teacher Mu Yue, just be optimistic. I will definitely use the shuriken you gave me to defeat them all and take first place, Obito said gratefully. The practical exam is about to begin. At the training ground number 16, Mu Yue was taking roll call before the exam. Because the whole school took the exam together and the actual combat required space, the school playground obviously couldn't accommodate so many people. So we went directly to the training ground to take the exam. After confirming that all the candidates had arrived, Mu Yue and Kimura Shanren announced the start of the lottery. The rules of the practical exam are very simple. First, the students are called according to the class roll call and draw lots. Then, the opponents are determined by the drawn numbers. Number one will fight against number two. Number three will fight against number four, and so on. I'm number one, Lin, what's your number? After Obito drew the lots, he couldn't wait to find Nohara Rin. I am number 10, so Obito, you are the first one. Nohara Rin replied, it doesn't matter which one, I will definitely win anyway. Obito is very confident. He believes that everyone will be shocked by his current strength. After practicing with Mu Yue for a month, 
Obito felt that he had gained something new every day. Now he had surpassed himself a month ago by countless steps. After asking Nohara Rin, Obito asked for Metkai's number. Number 40, Metkai replied. In this case, we may only meet at the end. Obito didn't expect that Metkai would be the opposite of him. Don't lose before me, Obito. Metkai gave Obito a thumbs up. It's only right for me to say this. I'm an Uchiha. Obito didn't know whether Metkai did it intentionally or unintentionally. Why did this sound so provocative? Where did you two get your confidence from? The classmate next to me complained. Why did the two crane tails meet at the top of their game? The first battle is about to begin. Candidate number one Uchiha Obito and candidate number two Uchiha Teka are ready to start the exam. Muyue glanced at the time and announced that the exam had officially begun. Obito did not argue with those who complained about him and quickly walked to the square space with white lines drawn to prepare for the exam. Uchiha Tiho also quickly walked into the examination area and looked at each other with Obito. Although the two were both Uchiha, peers, and classmates, they had barely spoken to each other. There is no bloody plot. It is simply that both parties are not interested in each other. Uchiha Tiho felt that Obito was a bit stupid. His strength was not good enough, and he was often late. He had never seen such a talented Uchiha. Obito felt that Uchiha was hard to get along with because he looked so cold and cold. Both parties are Uchiha. Now it's interesting. The fun-loving person could hardly hold back his laughter. They are all from the same ninja clan. Whoever loses will be embarrassed. What's the point of this? Apart from Uchiha Iron Fire winning, it could also be Uchiha Obito not winning. The people next to him thought this was a battle without any suspense. You must know that Uchiha Tieho has always been the first in the class, in the second and third grades, except for being overwhelmed by Kakashi in the first grade. As for Obito Uchiha, he failed in theory and was mediocre in actual combat, so he could still beat Uchiha Iron Fire. When I think about it, it seems to be the case. Uchiha Tieho can be said to be a standard Uchiha ninja. He is excellent in both practical combat and theory. Except for the perverted Kakashi who graduated from the first grade, no one in the class can be his opponent. It would be a bit difficult for Uchiha Obito, the weakest member of the Uchiha clan, to defeat an outstanding Uchiha like Uchiha Iron Fire. Obito, be careful, Nohara Lin said worriedly. She felt that Obito's luck was really bad. Originally, with Obito's strength, he wouldn't be at the top of the class, but he wouldn't be in the first round either. But when encountering Uchiha Tiho, the ruthless character who is always number one, Nohara Rin just hoped that Obito would not show off his strength to avoid getting hurt. Mentally, she supports Obito to win. But the reality is that there is a clear gap in strength between the two sides. Almost everyone is not optimistic about it. But the victory obtained under such circumstances is even more satisfying. Metkai crossed his arms with a hearty smile on his face. Unlike others, he believed that Obito could win. The movement of class two of fourth year even aroused curiosity in other fourth grade classes around, and many people came over to take a look. The practical exam is relatively free, as long as you don't leave the training ground. But looking at Obito and Tekka, many people lost interest. They are all in the same grade and have been taking practical exams together for several years. Everyone knows who is better in which class. Uchiha beat Uchiha Obito Blue with iron fire. Isn't this pure cruelty? What's there to see? Only some people who wanted to see Uchiha Iron Fire's strength stayed. The two stood opposite each other, forming a seal of opposition to each other. This is a necessary process for fighting in the ninja school. It is to tell the other party that I am going to take action. And after the fight, you must put a seal of reconciliation on it, symbolizing that we are still good partners. Start! Seeing that both of them were ready, Mu Yue announced that the battle had begun. As soon as Mu Yue finished speaking, Uchiha Tieho quickly took out three shurikens from his ninja tool bag and threw them at Obito, locking Obito's head, body, and feet, respectively, and then rushed towards Obito quickly. Obito also took out three shurikens and quickly threw them out. The six shurikens collided together and fell to the ground with a crisp metal collision sound. The Uchiha clan's shuriken throwing is indeed extraordinary. 
Even Uchiha Obito, who has relatively ordinary talents, has good shuriken throwing skills. Kimura Shirin commented, To intercept a shuriken with a shuriken requires good accuracy. Because the venue was not big, Uchiha Tiehuo quickly approached Obito and quickly delivered a right hook. Obito was not afraid at all. He clenched his fists and faced him and started a fight with Uchiha Iron Fire. The two sides went back and forth and the dusty venue was very intense. Hey, is this Uchiha Obito so good at taijutsu? People who came to watch the excitement were surprised. Uchiha Obito, who was known as the leader of the Uchiha clan, actually had a back and forth with Uchiha Tiaho. Everyone on the outside team was surprised, let alone my team members, who all looked like they had seen a ghost. Shouldn't the normal process be that Obito was kicked and killed instantly by Uchiha Ironfire? Obito has really become a lot stronger. Nohara Lin opened her mouth slightly in disbelief. She always thought that Obito was just trying to be strong as before, but she didn't expect that he had really become stronger this time. Uchiha Obito is still a little behind. Kimura shirt shook his head and said, as a Chunin, he can see a lot more than students, really weak in physical skills. Mu Yue nodded. After all, there is only one month. How can we take into account all aspects? In this month, Obito mainly practices fire escape ninjutsu. Under Mu Yue's teaching, the change in nature has been greatly improved compared to before. As Kimura Shirin said, Obito was gradually pushed back. Let me just say, how could Uchiha Obito be Uchiha Ironfire's opponent? The person who had just complained about Obito breathed a sigh of relief. If Obito defeated Uchiha Ironfire, wouldn't it look like he has no vision? However, he felt that it would be better to cancel Obito Uchiha's nickname of Crane U in the future. This performance made him feel like he didn't know how much he weighed when he was still called Crane U. Obito found an opportunity to temporarily distance the two of them with the help of Uchiha Tiahuo's fist, and then quickly began to form seals. He didn't practice fire release for so long just to have a passionate fist fight with Uchiha Iron Fire. Don't think that this chapter's wisdom is just because Obito behaved so arrogantly, which made others complain. Fire release. Dragon fire technique. Obito quickly formed a seal, gathered all the chakra in his mouth, completed the change in nature and form at the fastest speed, and sprayed out a fiercely burning flame dragon, rushing towards the Uchiha iron fire. When Uchiha Tiho fought with Obito in close combat, he became more and more surprised. He didn't expect that Obito would grow so much in just a vacation, making much progress compared to the third grade. Seeing Obito forming the seal to release ninjutsu, Uchiha Tiahuo immediately began to form the seal to prepare to use ninjutsu to fight with Obito. He didn't believe that Obito's taijutsu had improved so much, and how much ninjutsu could be improved. He didn't believe that he would lose to Obito in a ninjutsu duel. Art fire escape, ho fireball. Uchiha iron fire exploded with chakra and blew a fireball as high as a person towards Obito. On one side is a ferocious fire dragon full of fangs, and on the other is a menacing fireball. The two ninjutsu are about to collide. I really envy them. They have all learned the offensive ninjutsu. Many of the students watching were a little envious. Some of them had not even mastered the three-body technique yet, let alone learn new ninjutsu. They had no channels to learn it. No, you call this a crane tail? The other students in the class were surprised. They originally looked at Uchiha's iron fire strength, but they found that Obito could actually use such a decent fire escape ninjutsu. This kind of level can't be said to be at the bottom of the world. It's almost the same as a top student. But I feel that Uchiha iron fire is more powerful. His fireball looks much bigger than Uchiha Obito's fire dragon, someone commented. He felt that in a ninjutsu duel, the bigger looking fireball would definitely win. As expected of an Uchiha, I didn't ton expect that this Uchiha Obito is quite hidden. Even if he is not as good as Uchiha Iron Fire, he is still expected to be the first in my class with this strength. Unfortunately, his theoretical scores are too poor. Kimura Shiren sighed while rating the two of them. Those students from the wealthy ninja clan were different. When he was a student, 
he had secretly enjoyed learning the three body techniques well, relying on the performance of physical skills and the ninjutsu displayed. Even if he loses one round, he will give Obito a high score. Just when the two ninjutsu were about to collide, the fire dragon suddenly rose upwards. It did not collide with the Go Fireball, but continued to bite toward the Uchiha Iron Fire. Obito, on the other hand, moved quickly, dodging the Goo Fireball while controlling the Goo Dragon Fire. Uchiha Tekka didn't expect Obito to be so ungrateful in martial arts and not continue to compete with him in ninjutsu. But he had no choice for a while. The Go Fireball couldn't turn. Seeing that the Fire Dragon continued to approach, Uchiha Tiho wanted to dodge but found that it was too late. After that, he could only grit his teeth and fight hard, preparing to be injured. At this moment, Mu Yue, who had been prepared for a long time, took action. He used the instant body technique to come to Uchiha Tiho and took him away. He took him out of the fighting venue and put him down. Thank you, teacher. Uchiha Tiho thanked Mu Yue. If Mu Yue had not taken action, the injury would have been inevitable. Mu Yue nodded, and then announced the result of the battle. In the first game, Uchiha Obito won. Some of the students who were watching had not yet reacted. The situation had changed so much in just a moment. Originally, they were all ready to watch the fire release fight, but suddenly Obito played a trick and ended the battle in an instant. If the teacher hadn't taken action, Uchiha Tiho might have been injured. This Uchiha Obito should not be underestimated. Some onlookers looked at Obito fearfully. Uchiha Ironfire's large fireball, which is as tall as a person, does look impressive enough, but in fact it is not easy to hit under normal circumstances. Obito's Dragonfire Jutsu is different. Although the attack range is not large, it is very flexible and easier to hit the opponent. Well done, Obito. Nohara Rin congratulated Obito with a happy face. She was really happy for Obito having defeated Uchiha Ironfire in the practical exam. So even if his theoretical score was poor, no one would give Obito the title of Crane Tail. After all, ninjas still have to rely on their strength to speak for themselves. As soon as Obito came over, he heard Nohara Rin's praise, and a beaming smile appeared on his face instantly. And he said proudly, <laughs> I just said no problem. At this time, Obito felt extremely grateful to Muyue. He knew the reason for all these changes. It was all because he became Muyue's disciple and accepted Muyue's careful teaching every day. If it had been him in the past, I'm afraid he would have been beaten by Uchiha Tihuo with a few punches during the physical combat stage, and he would have lost his direction. Disciple Uchiha Obito's trust level has been improved, and the current trust level is three. When Mu Yue was reading the exam list, a message popped up on the system. He glanced at Obito, who was smiling and talking to Nohara Rin. It seems that love brain is not without its benefits, Mu Yue thought in her heart. It is very difficult to increase the trust level because even if you go up one level, the improvement will be huge, directly doubling the income, and also enhancing the effect of apprenticeship returns. Don't look at the fact that the previous disciples, who returned to their masters, did not return much chakra. That was because Shisui and the others had not yet reached the stage of rapid growth and strength. If it comes to that kind of period, Shisui's chakra increase will be 10,000, and his trust level will be one higher, which will be 10,000 more, or a chakra. Muyo's expectation is that one person with a trust level of three will appear within one semester. It must be an unexpected gain that Obito has improved to three in just one month. The next battle was not as intense as the first one and there was basically no need for the teacher to come to the rescue. Mu Yue sat on the chair and graded the students according to their performance, chatting wordlessly with Kimura Shirin. If it weren't for the fact that she had to invigilate the exam, Mu Yue would have wanted to wander around and use appraisals to see if there were any missing geniuses. He has four disciple positions, but currently only three are used, and one is still vacant. Without knowing whether the number of disciples could be increased, Mu Yue was not prepared to use this quota on people with S or lower potential. The higher the disciple's upper limit, the more rewards he will receive in the future. There are many geniuses in Konoha, and the ninja world is very large. There is no need to rush to fill positions. One more disciple will not bring any improvement in a short time. Mu Yue opened the panel and took a look at her attributes. Name, 
Hanyu Muyu, age, 18. Chakra, 5,300 skills. Water release, water breaking wave, fire release. Great dragon fire technique. Water release, water formation. Wall wind release, press damage. Evaluation, you have mastered many ninjutsu, including many advanced ninjutsu, which enables you to deal with various situations. Ordinary Junin are not your opponent. In fact, he improved his strength quite quickly. He increased his chakra by a thousand points in one month, and his ninjutsu also changed from only two ninjutsu to dozens, including the powerful ninjutsu like Shuizanbo. Just looking at the panel, you can beat the time when you just traveled through time. One morning passed, and the first two rounds of fighting passed quickly. However, Metke failed to rectify his name like Obito, because his opponents were relatively ordinary. Although Metke solved them very cleanly, it was not to the point of subverting everyone's image. But Mu Yue knew that this would happen sooner or later, because the practical exam within the class would end in the afternoon and the two sides would decide which one would be the best in the class. At noon, in the office, various teachers discussed their experiences in proctoring the exams. The Hyuga Kaman from Class 4 is so powerful, he is worthy of being a ninja of the Hyuga clan. Basically, no one in Class 1 can hold on for a minute in his hands, Chigu Yong said with some envy. It is estimated that he is the first in the actual grade this time. How I wish I was the head teacher of Class 1 of 4 instead of Class 2 of 4 so that I can not just take bonuses casually, but also have enough money to date my date to a high-end restaurant. But this is impossible. With such good grades, it is naturally impossible to change teachers, not necessarily. I think the Uchiha Obito in your class is pretty good, and he might be able to compete, Kimura shirt interjected. Chiguyong showed a puzzled expression and asked, Sugito, you must have said the wrong name. It's Uchiha Teka. His strength is indeed good. How could I say the wrong name? It's Uchiha Obito. Kimura Shanren said that he is very young and does not have Alzheimer's disease. He is talking about Uchiha Obito. Uchiha Obito? Impossible. What kind of strength can he have? Chigyong looked at Kimura Shiren suspiciously, suspecting that he was fooling him. Uchiha Obito is famous for being the tail end of Uchiha. How could he have such a nickname if he is really powerful? Can I still lie to you? Uchiha Obito's opponent in the first match was the Uchiha Iron Fire you mentioned, and he won very easily. Kimura Shirin continued. Seeing that Ikegu Yong still didn't believe it, Kimura Shirin directly pulled out Mu Yue and said, Teacher Mu Yue proctored the exam with me. If you don't, I'll believe me. Ask him. Chigu Yong looked at Mu Yue. Mu Yue nodded and said, It is indeed the same as what Teacher Kimura said. Uchiha Obito defeated Uchiha Tieho in the first game. Hey, then this is really weird. Chiguyong scratched his head, feeling incredible. He believed Mu Yue's words. After all, that was teacher Mu Yue who had been recognized by all the teachers only one month into the job. He couldn't be too reliable. Why can he defeat Uchiha Ironfire? Chiguyong scratched his head and couldn't figure out why it would be like this. As for the crane tail that was promised, how did he defeat the previous number one in the class? It can't be a mysterious teacher from heaven who secretly teaches advanced ninjutsu. Looking at Ikigaya Isamu's performance, Mu Yue secretly thought in her heart, just because Obito showed his strength, you become so confused. If Metkai shows his strength again, he must be suspected of being under an illusion. Chiguyong can be considered a winner this time, and Mu Yue estimates that he should have kept his bonus. Mu Yue thought for a while. Chiguyong didn't just win by lying down. He also made a contribution, because Chiguyong often asked him to take his place as a substitute teacher and help him recruit apprentices to earn rewards, which can be considered a bit of credit. In addition, he did treat him to dinner frequently, so he knew how to get along. Mrs. Hanyu's class is amazing. Aya Weida, who had been silent until now, spoke up. She was in charge of the exam for Mu Yue's first year class. The overall level of the three body skills is almost the same as that of the second graders I taught. Aya Ueda side. In particular, there is a super genius named Uchiha Shisui, who reminds me of Kakashi Hatake a few years ago. This time, he is definitely the number one in first-year combat. 
Can it be compared to Hatake Kakashi, so exaggerated? Chigu Yong looked surprised. It doesn't matter if you are number one in grade, but being on par with Kakashi is terrifying. You must know that Kakashi has been recognized as a super genius in the ninja school in recent years, and his subsequent performance has also been very impressive. He was directly promoted to Chunin one year after graduation. It's so exaggerated, and it's simply not on the same level as other first-year students. Aya Ueda nodded and said, This is so cool, Mr. Hanyu. You are so lucky. You can be judged easily. Ikegu Young looked envious. Why didn't he have such luck? He would be satisfied if he could keep his bonus. It's just luck. Mr. Hanyu teaches well. As for the overall level, it can't be said that all the talented students went to Mr. Hanyu's class, Aya Ueda corrected. She does not think that class one is so strong because of the abundance of talents but because Mu Yue Zhe's teaching skills are excellent. Otherwise, how could the students in the substitute class hope that Mu Yue would come more often? That's not two classes in one class. All the classes that were substituted received good reviews. Slip of the tongue. Of course, I know that Mr. Hanyu is good, and my group of students wish that I would be busy every day, and Mr. Hanyu would go to class. As he talked, Ikegu Young became a little depressed. He only let Mu Yue teach occasionally, and most of the time he taught classes by himself. But the students liked Mu Yue better. It's okay. It's all the students who work hard enough, Mu Yue said modestly. After chatting with her colleagues for a while, Mu Yue quickly started practicing calligraphy until the exam started in the afternoon. It's still training ground number 16, but there are a lot less people than in the morning. Because the exam does not force students who have already lost to continue taking it, they can decide whether to come or not. As time passed, the battles progressed one by one. Nohara Lin, who was not very good at fighting, was eliminated in the first round in the afternoon. And Metkai, who could cleanly deal with any enemy he encountered, was finally noticed by everyone. It turns out that Metkai's physical skills are so strong, and his speed is too fast. He defeated Daisuke with one kick. The students watching were surprised. It has changed a lot. I remember when I was in the third grade, I could only say it was okay, but not that strong. A student who knew Metkai was confused. Maybe you have to practice harder during the summer vacation and the new semester? He could only imagine this possibility. In the final battle, number four one, Uchiha Obito versus No. 40 Metkai candidates are asked to prepare for the battle. Mu Yue announced the list for the final battle of the class practical exam. After hearing this, Metkai and Obito looked at each other and quickly walked to the examination venue, ready to start fighting. Kai, I will not give up this first place to you. Obito glanced at Lin standing outside, and his fighting spirit instantly increased. In front of Lin, he really didn't want to lose at all. The same is true for me. Since I want to be the strongest, I must get all the first places I can strive for. Metkai replied with high spirits. It really got them to the end. The student who had complained about the two people before felt a little pain in his face. They felt it was outrageous. The third graders were still lagging behind. Who would have thought that the fourth graders would be so powerful all of a sudden? Who would dare to think like this before the exam begins? Don't they all think that Uchiha Ironfire will be the first in the class in actual combat? They couldn't imagine what the two of them would get into during the holidays and the new semester. After finishing their harsh words, Metkai and Obito stopped talking. The two faced each other and formed a seal of opposition. Start! The increase in collection is not good. I plan to change my name to Naruto. I can become stronger by teaching. What do you think? The moment Mu Yue announced the start of the exam, Obito began to retreat quickly forming seals and performing ninjutsu while retreating. He knew that Metkai was very good at physical arts, so naturally he would not compete with Metkai in physical arts. Clone technique? Poof! After the ninjutsu was performed, two clones exactly like him appeared next to Obito. The three Obitos kept crossing each other and running, trying to confuse Metkai. Konoha whirlwind. But Metkai's speed was faster than Obito expected, and he caught up in an instant. An extremely fast whirlwind kick instantly dissipated the two clones, and Obito's body was also kicked backwards. More than one meter, so powerful. 
Obito's arm trembled uncontrollably. He resisted the kick with his arm. Now his arm was aching faintly. Metkai was unyielding when he gained the upper hand and immediately bullied him forward, forcing Obito to continue the close combat with him. But in a purely physical confrontation, Obito was no match for Metkai, and he quickly fell into a disadvantage. Who do you think will win? The onlookers began to discuss the final winner. Metkai, it feels like Uchiha Obito will be defeated soon. A student looked at the situation and analyzed it. Not necessarily. When Uchiha Obito and Uchiha Ironfire fought before, they were at a disadvantage in their physical skills. But in the end, they still won with Fire Escape. Some people think that Obito, who has mastered powerful escape, just hasn't used it yet. After all, Obito actually defeated the former number one Uchiha Ironfire, and his record is still very good. Teacher Muyui, who do you think will win? Kimura Shirin suddenly asked, Come on, Metki. Muyua thought for a while and replied, Yes, although that Uchiha Obito has mastered the powerful fire release, this examination venue is not suitable for him to perform. Kimura Shirin agreed. Muyue nodded. In fact, the strength of the two was almost the same. But Obito is currently like a fort mage who doesn't have much melee ability and can't cast spells without chanting. It's difficult to beat Metkai, a high-speed warrior, in such a flat land. Sure enough, in the next moment, Metkai caught Obito and kicked him away with a Konoha whirlwind. Metkai wins. Mu Yue announced the final results of the exam. The student who just thought Obito would win couldn't help but cover his forehead. He felt that Obito never disappointed in this aspect. Just when you thought he was going to lose against Uchiha Iron Fire, he won. When you thought he would win against Metkai, he lost. Metkai, you are so good. How do you train? Some classmates couldn't help but start asking Metkai for tips on becoming stronger, how to exercise. I would get up at about 5.30 in the morning and run around Konoha to go to class, and then practice taijutsu on wooden stakes all night. On weekends, Metkai thought about his daily schedule and then answered, farewell. The student who asked the question heard that he got up at 5.30 in the morning and immediately admired Metkai in his heart. Later, he mentioned that after practicing physical skills on wooden stakes all night, he no longer wanted to listen. He felt that even official ninjas wouldn't practice like this every day. Obito, are you okay? Lin walked to Obito and asked concernedly. Obito patted the dust off his body and said easily, there must be nothing wrong. I failed this time, but I will definitely win next time. In front of the girl you like, everything should be okay, but Nohara Rin is not that easy to fool. She grabbed Obito's arm and rolled up her sleeves. She saw a few bruises, then glared at Obitero and said, Do you think it will be useful if you show off your strength? Your injuries will not recover just because you show off your strength. Go to the infirmary quickly and apply medicine. With that said, Lin took Obito to the infirmary. Obito said, don't worry, but he didn't resist and followed Lin away. The mouth is a bit rebellious, but the body is really honest. The practical exam on the second day after ranking first in the class ended here. Tomorrow's exam will be for each class to send the top two students in the class to take a practical exam to determine the top grade student. After the exam, Matkai was about to say goodbye to Mu Yue and go home. He wanted to tell his father, Mat Dai, the good news. Metkai could already imagine in his mind the scene of his father bursting into tears and shouting about his youth. However, Mu Yue did not let Kai leave immediately. Instead, she took Kai to an uninhabited land on the grounds that she had something to give to Kai. Mu Yue smiled and said, Kai, congratulations on finishing first. After saying that, Mu Yue took out a pamphlet and handed it to Metkai. This is a taijutsu training manual that I wrote in my free time recently. It also contains some of my thoughts on the subsequent development of Konoha Tornado. Think of it as a gift for being number one in your class. Metkai saw the manual, but he also noticed Muyue's hand holding the manual. Muyue's hand looked clean on the surface, but Metkai, who was sharp-eyed, noticed that there were some very light ash on Muyue's palm like traces of ink that she had tried hard to wash but failed to clean. After looking at the content inside, Metkai understood everything in an instant. 
I didn't write this casually when I had nothing to do. I'm afraid I didn't spend a lot of energy to think hard and write it to him. Even if he didn't get the first place, I would give it one to him for other reasons. The ideas for the follow-up development of Konoha Tornado made Metke feel that it was tailor-made for him. If he hadn't spent time on this, Metke wouldn't have believed it. Teacher Muyu, I will definitely not let down your efforts, and I will definitely become the strongest taijutsu ninja in the future. The emotional Metkai was moved to tears. Mu Yue took out the paper and wiped away the tears for Metkai, patted Metkai on the shoulder and said with a smile, it's good if you think like this. For a teacher, the best reward is for his disciples to become stronger. When she said this, Mu Yue's expression was extremely sincere. Mm hmm? Metkai nodded heavily, and at this moment his belief in becoming stronger was a little firmer. Looking at Metkai, who was gradually going away, Mu Yue looked at the system messages and smiled on her face. You gave the disciple a physical training manual. Because the disciple was very grateful, he was rewarded with a big critical hit and gained proficiency in changing the properties of water chakra. Disciple Metkai's trust level has been improved, and the current trust level is three. Good luck. Mu Yue felt the extra memories in her mind and was in a very good mood. Generally, the rewards returned from apprenticeships are related to what the disciple is good at. For example, Shisui and Obito have more explosive fire escapes and more kaibakutai jutsu. However, there are also surprises and sometimes there are unrelated rewards. Compared with being proficient in a certain physical skill, being proficient in the chakra attribute is undoubtedly much better. Mu Yue is very satisfied. If there are more of them, he may be able to develop his own blood inheritance limit. As for the trust level improvement, that is an additional surprise. Mu Yue feels that in the future, good quality items must be carefully planned before being sent out, so as to arouse emotions to the maximum, so that it is easier to explode good items. For example, this time, if it were given to Metkai in ordinary times, he would probably only be able to show off some skilled ninjutsu and taijutsu. But when Metkai was excited about winning first place, he sent it out and inadvertently let Metkai see the ink marks on his hands that couldn't be washed away. Finally, he asked for some chicken soup, and the effect was completely different. Giving gifts when he takes first place will remind Metkai of Mu Yue's teachings to him. Without Mu Yue's teachings, would he be able to take first place? This initially arouses emotions. Let Metkai see the ink marks on his hand and know how difficult this gift is. He can make up for Mu Yue's efforts and amplify his emotions. Finally, he adds some chicken soup and his emotions explode in an instant. The exam will be finished tomorrow and the results should be out in two days. Mu Yue is still wondering whether the system will issue exam rewards. It stands to reason that if the students perform so well, the teacher should be rewarded. The exam on the third day is much faster. After all, there are only two people in each class and there are only eight classes in one grade of ninja school. Today is the same as the next day. Non-candidates can choose not to come. However, many students came to watch the exam today, wanting to see who would be the first in the fourth grade. Am I dazzled? Isn't that Uchiha Obito? How can I stand on the side of the candidates? Someone said doubtfully. You didn't pay attention to the news about class two yesterday, right? Asked the man next to him. Well, yesterday I was unlucky and met the strongest player in our class in the first round. I lost and went home. That's normal. Uchiha Obito has become very strong now, defeating all the Uchiha Iron Fire in their class. The onlookers were discussing the contestants of each class with great interest. Sometimes there are arguments about who is stronger. At this time, even those who have complained about Obito and Metkai before will try their best to defend Obito and Metkai. After all, they are the representatives of their own class. This time, Shisui is probably the only one who ranks first in grade. After watching the first round, Muyua felt that Obito and Metkai were in doubt. That Hyuga Kamen's soft fist practice is good. Coupled with the advantage of Bayakugan, it will be difficult for Metkai to win, let alone Obito. Muyue can only say that the ninjas of the Hyuga clan still have an advantage in the early stage. The Byakugan is not as difficult to open as the Sharingan, and the ancestral soft fist is also an excellent physical skill. The time the two of them have practiced with him is still too short. 
Now their strengths are not strong enough, and there are still many shortcomings. As time passed, the last two rounds of battles entered, with Obito fighting against Hyuga Kamen and Metkai fighting against a ninja from class three of fourth year. As Muyue expected, in front of Hyuga Kamen, Obito was beaten so hard by the soft fist that he couldn't even use a ninjutsu. In the finals, Metkai's performance was much better than Obito's, but his moves were completely seen through by Hyuga Kato's supercilious eyes, and he still couldn't escape the outcome of losing. Obito was a little frustrated after losing the game. He still wanted to compete for first place, but he didn't expect that he didn't make it to the top two. Mu happened to pass by, so she comforted him. Don't always think about your failures. You should think about how much you have improved compared to the last time and work hard for the next time. When Mu Yue said this, Obito felt much better instantly because when he took the final exam of third grade last time, he was ranked 20 in the class. And this time he was just shy of the top two in grade. Calculating it this way, he has made great progress and is just around the corner. Then Mu Yue passed by Metkai again. Unexpectedly, Metkai also looked a little depressed. Mu Yue originally thought that with Kai's will, he wouldn't care about winning or losing. But after thinking about it carefully, Mu Yue found the reason. Maybe it was because he gave the physical training manual yesterday, which made Metkai feel that he had Mu Yue's expectations on his shoulders. Failure always runs through life. This is life. Don't let a failure knock you down, Mu Yue comforted. Metkai's body was shaken. If it was a failure, then he would have a lot of say. In the first entrance exam, he almost missed the opportunity to become a ninja. Then he challenged Kakashi and was killed instantly with one move. He ranked last in all courses and was called the weakest person. Although he is only eight years old, Metkai has already experienced too many failures. He seemed to have some understanding of what his father Matt Day said about youth never fading. I understand, teacher Muyo. Metkai's eyes became more determined. What he has to do is not to think about his gains and losses and frustration, but to train hard to win the next battle until he becomes the strongest. Mu Yue nodded happily and then started to pass Jisui. When Mu Yue found Jishui, Jishui was surrounded by a bunch of students asking questions. Seeing Mu Yue coming, the students greeted Mu Yue one after another. Mr. Hanyu, I got second place in grade. Is there any reward? Hongdu walked to Mu Yue with a smile and said, Mu Yue smiled, touched Hongdu's little head, thought for a while, and said, How about treating you to some dumplings? Okay, Hanyu Sensei is the best. When she heard that there were dumplings to eat, Enko immediately transformed into the first Mu Yue Xu. Shisui ranks first in grade, and you haven't asked for a reward yet, Anko. You are too impatient. Gang Ziri on the side couldn't help but complained. It's not that Anko is really impatient. It's just that Anko is a bit sour. I am afraid that my brother will not do well in the exam. And I'm also afraid that my brother will do too well in the exam. Now Hongdu is considered to have done too well in the exam. Mu Yue sent the students away with a smile and then led Zhishishui towards the commercial street. How do you feel? Mu Yue asked. Zhishishui thought for a while and said honestly, it was very ordinary, and there wasn't even anyone who needed my full strength to fight. It's normal. After all, with your strength, no one in the fourth grade can be your opponent, let alone the first grade. Mu Yue praised without hesitation. Teacher Mu Yue, do you think I should graduate early? Zishui looked into Mu Yue's eyes and asked. Mu Yue's eyes were a very special color, blue like the sky. Graduating early? because I heard that there were very talented seniors who graduated from ninja school quickly because they thought they couldn't learn anything, Shisui replied. Mu Yue shook her head and said, I don't recommend you graduate in the first grade. At least wait until the second or third grade. Your strength may be outstanding among your peers, but after leaving school, your opponents are not just your peers, especially now that a war may break out at any time. If you feel that the ninja school courses are meaningless, you can use the shadow clone to help you go to school, and then the main body can practice according to my instructions. Mu Yue gave suggestions, although in the original work, 
Shisui survived the Third Ninja War safely and gained the title of Shunshen Shisui. But the original work did not include him, Hanyu Mugetsu, and it is difficult to explain the butterfly effect. Mu Yue still hopes that Shisui Gu will develop in the ninja school for a few years. If you can't even be a chunin, what's the point of graduating? If he didn't have the strength of a jonin, he wouldn't feel safe walking on the streets of Konoha. Hearing Mu Yue's suggestion, Chi Shui's eyes lit up and he nodded, feeling that Mu Yue's suggestion was very good. Then Mu Yue took Shisui to buy a bunch of dumplings and return to school. Every student in class one received a piece of dumplings before class in the afternoon. Mu Yue would not really give it to Hong Du alone. But after all she agreed, Mu Yue gave Hong Du an extra portion of dumplings. Mr. Han Yu is the best in the world. Anko expressed that she was very satisfied. If there were a few more dumplings, maybe Konoha would have another Han Yu sect in the future. Other students also expressed their gratitude and their already high favorability increased again. The ninja school is very efficient. All the results were compiled and announced two days after the exam, which also verified Mu Yue's conjecture. 20. Izumo, good morning. In the early morning, while walking to the ninja school, Gang Ziti said hello to Shenyu Izumo, whom he met by chance. Well, good morning, Kamizuki Izumo responded. Gang Ziti put his arms around Shenyu Izuyun's neck locked Shen Yu Izuyun's neck, then let go and smiled. Why do you look so lethargic? Shen Yu Izumo sighed and said, Ziti, have you forgotten? Today is the day for results. Yes, Izumo. Did you not perform well in the exam? Gang Ziti remembered that Mu Yue said yesterday that the results would be released today. Yes, I feel like the score might be very low. Shen Yu Izumo looked up at the sky at a 45 degree angle looking a little sad. It's okay, I didn't perform well either, I'll probably be the same as you by then. Gang Ziti patted the god Izumo on the shoulder and comforted him. Then, the two of them walked towards the ninja school together and happened to meet Anko when they were approaching the ninja school. Izumo, Ziti, good morning. Anko happily greeted the two. Anko, good morning. The two responded. Why do you guys look so bad? Did you have a nightmare last night? Anko asked curiously. No, because today is the day for results. Gangzidi sighed. None of us did well in the exam and felt that our scores were very low. <laughs> is that so? I feel like I did very well in the exam. Maybe my score is quite high. Hearing this reason, Anko smiled proudly. Then I can ask for rewards from Hanyu Sensei again. Although I haven't looked at the score yet, Hongdu thinks it's time to open the champagne. After all, Kotoko Tetsugami Izumo's theoretical scores are pretty good. She did better than them all, so that's a pretty high score. I really envy you, Hongdu. You are second in the practical grade, and you actually did well in the theory test. Kamizuki Izumo expressed his envy. Hearing Shenyue Izumo's praise, Anko couldn't help but swell up even more, walking with wind, looking like a big sister. Then, the Anko trio also met Shisui and other students in their class, when they entered the school. Shisui, how did you do in the exam? Anko asked curiously. Just ordinary, Shisui replied calmly. Anko couldn't help but look forward to her score even more. Even Shisui's test was average. How could she be the first? Number one is still unlikely, but there should be one in the top five. Hangdu has not yet lost her mind due to swelling, and she usually gets average grades in exams. When I walked to the bulletin board, it was already surrounded by a bunch of students, and there were voices everywhere discussing their grades. The grades of this class are too high. There are many in the 70s and 80s. There is also a perfect score. It seems to be the first in actual combat. It is really scary. As expected of the class led by teacher Mu Yue. Give way, give way. Hongdu, who was eager to know his own results, was in no mood to pay attention to what others were saying. He directly led the charge and squeezed in with Gangziti and Shenyu Izumo and found the results list of class two. 80 points! Great! Anko immediately saw her name and the number 80 behind it, and she cheered happily. But soon she noticed a problem. It seemed that the ranking was not quite right. Ziti, Izumo, have you found your score? Anko asked quickly. Well, I found it. 92 points. Gangziti nodded and said, How much? 
Anko suspected that she heard wrongly. 92 points, Gangziti repeated. Konoha's foul language. Hongdu gave Gangziti a heavy slap on the shoulder and looked at Gangziti with two big brown gray eyes in disbelief. You failed to do well in the exam as promised, so you got a score of 92. Do you call this a failure in the exam? Anko couldn't help but ask. Luck, luck, I thought I didn't do well in the exam, but I ended up doing okay, Gangziti said with a smile. What about you, Izumo? What's your score? Gangziti asked. 97, Kamizuki Izumo replied with a smile. How much? How much? Gangziti felt that he had heard wrong, and this was almost a perfect score. 97, Kamizuki Izumo repeated. This time, Gangziti heard it very clearly. The smile on his face gradually disappeared, and the smile on Shenyu Izuyun's face became stronger and stronger. Thanks to me comforting you so early in the morning, you did so well in the exam, almost getting full marks. Gangzi directly locked Shen Yu Izuyun's neck with his arms and took Shen Yu Izuyun out. Seeing this familiar scene, Hongdu decisively joined the fight, secretly punching Gangzi Tiea from time to time. These two people are so hateful. They did so well in the exam, and yet they deceived her about her feelings. Studying hard for a month, Disciple Uchiha Shisui achieved perfect results in the academic assessment and received rewards. Chakra plus 300. Ninjutsu proficiency. Scroll ninjutsu proficiency. Scroll upgrade. Any mastered ninjutsu to proficiency level. Studying hard for a month, Disciple Uchiha Obito achieved good results in the academic assessment and received a reward. Chakra plus 150. Studying hard for a month, Disciple Metkai achieved good results in the academic assessment and received a reward, Chakra plus 150. As Mu Yue expected, there were indeed rewards in the exam, and they were much richer than the rewards in lectures. In the past three days, he couldn't even produce 600 chakras, even if his voice was smoking, and a B-level evaluation only had 20 chakras. This is because Obito Metkai's theory is too poor and he is not ranked first in actual combat. Otherwise, the reward would be higher. Mu Yue suddenly had the urge to take more exams in school. Ninja schools usually only have two exams in a semester. If this happened 10 times a semester, he wouldn't be able to fly into the sky. Mu Yue gave up this idea as soon as it appeared because he knew that if he did this, he might not be able to get the reward. When he usually takes exams in class, they are considered exams and the system does not give him any rewards. Moreover, Mu Yue felt that her proposal would not be accepted by the school. Taking the test 10 times a semester would make not only the students, but also the teachers miserable. Mu Yue thought about it and used the ninjutsu proficiency scroll. There are three semesters in a year, and there are two exams in each semester. This means that you can get six ninjutsu proficiency scrolls in one year. Anyway, you can get it later, so. Why not increase your strength first to prevent accidents? Mu Yue used the ninjutsu proficiency scroll on Shuizanbo, and many memories of practicing Shuizanbo and various techniques appeared in his mind. Although Mu Yue now masters a lot of ninjutsu, Mu Yue believes that the most powerful one is Shui Duanbo. In the office at noon, Mu Yue became the center of discussion. Mr. Hanyu, how do you teach? This student's theoretical score is too outrageous, and his average score is several dozen points higher than other classes. Kimura Shirin couldn't help but ask, Yes, Teacher Muyu, do you have any tips? Although the two in my class barely passed this time, they might not be able to do it next time. Chigu Yang followed. Metkai and Obito really shocked him this time. Not only did they take the top two spots in the class in actual combat, but they also passed the test in theory. When Mu Yue wanted to say something, a teacher entered the office and said to Mu Yue, Mr. Hanyu, the principal is looking for you. The network cable seems to be broken due to too much heat. The update is a little late, sorry. In addition, I would like to thank all the book friends who gave tips. I will post the specific names of thanks in the next chapter. This chapter was posted in a hurry. Please also go to the principal's office as soon as possible. Headmaster? 
Aya Ueda exclaimed softly. There are no great teachers in the ninja school. They are basically all ordinary chunin. But the principal of the ninja school is not an ordinary person. The ninja school currently has only two principals. One is the second generation Hokage Senju Tobirama, and the other is the current third generation Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen. Although he is the principal, it is not easy for the teachers to see Sarutobi Hiruzen, because except for a few words at the beginning of school, Sarutobi Hiruzen usually does not come to school and will handle official business in the Hokage building. This was the reason why Ayoweda exclaimed. It was so rare for Hiruzen Sarutobi to be in the principal's office and summon a teacher alone. Okay, I'll be there right away. Muyue nodded and then apologized to the teacher in the office. Sorry, everyone. I'm going to the principal's office and I'll talk about the lectures when I get back later. What's the point of being embarrassed? Mr. Hanyu, go ahead and don't keep the Sandame Sama waiting, Ikegu Yong said, with an uncontrollable expression of envy on his face, and his eyes were almost turning into lemons. He has been teaching for several years and has never been treated like this. Not to mention being summoned alone, he has never entered the principal's office. However, Chiguyong felt relieved when he thought about Mu Yue's teaching level and the quality of his students. The average score of other first grade classes was around 40 or 50, but Mu Yue's class scored over 70, leaving the other classes behind. The actual combat scores are generally higher, and he also ranks among the top two in his grade. Uchiha Shisui, who ranks first, is even recognized as a super genius. Ikegu Yong asked himself, can he bring out such a class? No. After Mu Yue finished speaking, she turned around and headed to the principal's office. The principal's office is on the top floor of their teaching building, which is the fifth floor. Mu Yue's small office is on the second floor. Looking at the sign of the principal's office next to the door, Mu Yue knocked on the office door. Enter. A rather dignified middle-aged man's voice came from inside the door. Mu Yue opened the door and walked into the office. Mu Yue glanced at it casually. The layout of the office was very monotonous, with bookshelves and desks near the window, and a set of desk seats near the door. And Hiruzen Sarutobi is not as old as he was at the beginning of the anime. His hair and beard are still black, and there are not many wrinkles on his face. His eyes are full of majesty, giving people a feeling of calmness and self-power. This may be because of his role in ninja. Because of school, he didn't bring his hokage hat. It's Hanyu-sensei. Please sit down quickly. Sarutobi Hiruzen did not show off as hokage. He stood up and walked to the table and chairs near the door. He smiled and motioned for Mu Yue to sit down. Lord Sandaim Hokage. Mu Yue said with respect, without any pretense, and sat down. In his previous life, Sendai's reputation was not good. Due to various reasons, many things became his conspiracy. He didn't know what kind of person the third generation in front of him was in reality, but as a teacher of a ninja school, his appearance skills must be in place. Even if he cursed in his heart, he still had to put a smile on his face. Hanyu, you are a person with teaching talent. Sarutobi Hiruzen praised with a smile. I heard about the results of your class. The average theoretical score is 20 to 30 points higher than other classes. In actual practice, the top two in the grade are also taken by your class. The invigilators all said that the mastery of basic ninjutsu, such as transformation and cloning techniques, was better than that of other classes. It is also the students who take it seriously. I just try my best to teach them, and the rest depends on their efforts. Mu Yue thought for a while and said, he was humble but not completely humble. First, he said that there are also reasons for the student's own reasons. And then he said that he tried his best to teach and pointed out his own efforts. Try your best to teach, well said. Sarutobi Hiruzen was very satisfied with Mu Yue's answer and sighed. If the ninja school had more teachers like Mr. Hanyu, who devoted all their efforts to educating students, there would be no need to worry about the training of the juniors. Mu Yue did not answer this sentence, but looked like she was listening carefully. If you admit it, doesn't it mean that other teachers are incompetent? If you don't admit it, it means that other teachers are not serious, based on the performance of class one this time. 
I have decided to help you decide on the outstanding teachers for this semester, Sarutobi Hiruzen said with a smile. Mu Yue made a surprised expression on her face and immediately thanked Sarutobi Hiruzen with a moved expression. However, Sandaimi sama, isn't this a bit too good? After all, it's only been a month, and I'm afraid it will damage your reputation if word spreads. Mu Yue said with a worried look on her face, worried that this would affect the reputation of the three generations. Excellent teachers are meant for teachers who perform well. If other teachers can bring out such a class, I will give them the same. Sarutobi Hiruzen said domineeringly. Sandai continued to draw cakes and said, If you, Mr. Hanyu, maintain this quality of teaching for the next year, I will promote you to a special junan and serve as the deputy monitor of the ninja school teacher class. Thank you, Sandai, for your cultivation. But as a teacher, my responsibility is to teach students well, and I always keep this in mind. Mu Yue said with a sincere face, He Shindo Danzo and Sarutobi Hiruzen were indeed taught by the same teacher. They both painted cakes so that they looked like the same cake. They were both promoted to special junin, but it's a pity that compared to the position of special junin, Mu Yue really hopes that his students will improve, because in this way he can earn a lot of gold coins. Seeing Mu Yue's extremely sincere feelings, Sarutobi Hiruzen, who has read countless people, is convinced that Mu Yue is telling the truth, and he appreciates Mu Yue more and more. Mr. Hanyu, I want to talk to you about some personal matters next. I wonder if you are willing to listen, Sarutobi Hiruzen suddenly asked. Mu Yue nodded, thinking about what kind of medicine these three generations of gourds were selling. I have a little son named Sarutobi Asuma, who just graduated this year and became a genin. He is still very immature in every aspect, which gives me a headache. I want to hire you as a tutor to teach him. Sarutobi Hiruzen extended the invitation. With Mu Yue's current teaching level, Hiruzen Sarutobi felt that it would be no problem to teach a Suma, a newly graduated Jinin. This is also a test of Mu Yue's ability. If the performance is really good, it will be worthy of him coming forward and asking Danzo for help. Whether he is an excellent teacher or a special Junin, he uses it to increase Mu Yue's favorability and pave the way for the future. These are all things that matter to Sarutobi Hiruzen in just one sentence. So he is happy to make this casual move. Sandaimasama, I need to think about this carefully. Mu Yue thought for a while, but did not agree directly. This was a bit beyond Sarutobi Hiruzen's expectations. He didn't expect Mu Yue to refuse. Because I have to attend classes on weekdays, I definitely don't have time from Monday to Friday. And on weekends, I also have to think about how to start teaching next week. I can only agree if I guarantee the teaching quality of both parties. So let me think about it, Mu Yue explained. Sandai was stunned for a moment, then laughed and praised Mu Yue again as an excellent teacher, and then said that there is nothing else to do and you can leave. Mu Yue gave Sandai an appraisal before leaving. Name, Sarutobi Hiruzen. Chakra 170000. Potential S. Evaluation. I have high talent in ninjutsu and am good at combining ninjutsu. The ninjutsu with a certain nature may not be comparable to the blood succession limit. If I use five high-level ninjutsu with changing nature at the same time, how should you respond? The pinnacle third generation Hokage. Seeing the string of zeros of chakra, Mu Yue, who walked out of the office, was surprised and a little envious. After all, this was a total of 170,000 chakras, 130,000 more than the last time he saw Minato. However, Minato is only 18 years old now, so it doesn't make much sense to compare a middle-aged ninja in his prime with a growing ninja. How to write a report after going back. Surprised, Mu Yue was already thinking about how to write a report to Danzo. It's just an excuse that he doesn't have time to think carefully. Although he is not idle, it's not like he can't spare some time a week to teach Asuma. Mu Yue could feel that the third generation was trying to win his favor. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said that he was an outstanding teacher, especially a Junin. But the sincerity of the third generation is too little, and there is no benefit, just a pie in the sky. If Sandai directly revealed his identity when he entered the office 
and asked whether he wanted to follow him, then Muyue would definitely kick Danzo out and follow Sandai. But now the third generation doesn't ask him to reveal his identity. It seems that he is still hesitating, and the old scumbag is showing off. If he agreed directly, Danzo wouldn't be able to get any favors from him, so he might as well find an excuse to not give an answer for the time being and throw the question to Danzo. As for whether the third generation would not know his identity, Mu Yue could only say that it was not impossible, but it was probably unlikely. After all, Neba is an existence that cannot be put on the stage. If the third generation does not even know that Neba Ninja has entered the ninja school, his role as Hokage and principal will be in vain. After returning to the office, the teachers asked Mu Yue curious questions. Mr. Hanyu, why did the third master ask you to go? Is it an award? Ayaweda asked curiously. Probably so. After all, the test scores were so good this time, and he was still a new teacher. Mr. Hanyu was too strong. Chiguyong sighed. He was convinced by Mu Yue. It can be regarded as confirmation of my teaching achievements. Mu Yue sat down and took out a pen and paper, then thought about it and said, when will I be recognized by the third generation of adults? Kimura Shirin only feels that there is a huge gap between people. He still remembered how young Mu Yue was when she first came here. And he didn't expect that he would surpass his senior in teaching achievements so quickly. Just try your best to teach students, Mu Yue said while practicing calligraphy. Teacher Mu Yue, could you please help me finish class this afternoon? I have something to do. Chi Guyong poured Mu Yue a glass of water and said, Okay, I'm free in the afternoon. Mu Yue nodded and agreed. Mr. Han Yu, I understand why those students like you. Chi Guyong quickly thanked him. By the way, Shanren, you can lend me some money and I'll pay you back when your wages are paid. Then Ikea Isamu said to Kimura Shirin. Originally, he wanted to borrow it from Mu Yue. But he felt embarrassed when he thought that he had asked Mu Yue to take over his classes so many times. How much do you want to borrow? Kimura Shirin asked. He and Ikea Isamu were old friends. It would be okay to borrow some money. 80,000 tails will do. Chiguyong thought for a while and said, 80,000 tails. What are you going to borrow? The hand of Kimura Shirin, who was about to take out the money, paused. The monthly salary of a teacher in their ninja school is only 100,000 tails. So Ikari Isamu directly borrowed more than half of it. Although it doesn't mean you can't borrow it, you have to ask clearly. Muyue also looked sideways. The Hokage setting was that one tile equals 10 yen, so Ikagaya Isamu directly borrowed 80,000 tails, which is equivalent to borrowing 800,000 yen. It might not be a big deal to those powerful ninjas, but it was still a lot to a Chunin teacher. It's a date. I can't invite someone to eat ramen, Ikea Isamu explained. You don't spend all your salary on dates, do you? The man in Kimura's shirt looked at Ikari Isamu with the eyes of someone who was wronged. If you use it for a date, isn't it for yourself? It's not like I haven't eaten. Ikegu Yong tried to argue. Stop talking. If you were alone, would you like to go to those high-end restaurants? Aya Ueda complained. She had warned Chigu Yong a long time ago, but she couldn't persuade him. She doesn't like you at all and treats you like a meal ticket. Ueda Aya tried to wake up Ikea Isamu. How is it possible? She called me Brother Chigu the day before yesterday. Ikea Isamu showed a look of fascination on his face and retorted. 80,000 tails a time, I also say. It can make you bankrupt, believe it or not, Aya Ueda said with an expressionless face. You won't lose a piece of meat if you call me brother. You again. Forget it. I lent it to you. Remember to leave some money for yourself. Kimura Shirin sighed and finally lent the money to Ikea Isamu. Hearing that Kimura Shirin was willing to lend money, Ikegaya Isamu couldn't care less about the weird Weda Aya, and quickly thanked Kimura Shirin and left the office. Mu Yuexian thought that if the Hokage also made a short video and made a series of videos about Icon Isamu's daily life in the office, it might be popular, so he wouldn't be short of money. After complaining in her heart, Mu Yue quickly concentrated on practicing calligraphy. It was not until class was approaching that Mu Yue stopped writing and went to the classroom. As soon as Mu Yue entered the classroom, the students in the classroom began to get excited. 
Great. It's teacher Mu Yue who comes to teach ninjutsu class. After taking teacher Mu Yu's class last time, my transformation skills are much more refined than before. I hope to focus on the clone technique this time. Mu Yue glanced at it. It was good, but Obito was not here again. Five minutes after Mu Yu started class, Obito rushed into the classroom in a sprinting state. Obito was dumbfounded when he saw Mu Yue standing on the podium. He wondered why he was not late every day. So why did he feel that every time he was late, he would be bumped into Mu Yue's substitute class? Wouldn't this lower his image in Mu Yue's heart? Mu Yue Lao. Obito wants to explain something. Sit down. Mu Yue motioned Obito to sit down and then began to teach the clone technique as requested by most students. Damn, teacher Chigu. Why didn't you inform teacher Mu Yue earlier that she was coming to take over the class? Obito clenched his fist and complained. During the break, Mu Yue called Obito and Metkai out and asked about the test results. Passed, Obito and Metkai said together with their heads held high. Mu Yue asked carefully and found that the two of them were really stuck in passing the test. The average score was 60 and they just passed 30. I don't know why, but this time my score was better than before. 25 points was enough to pass. Obito scratched his head and said, he also felt very extreme. Maybe it was because teacher Mu Yue came to take over the class, Metkai said. Even someone like him, who has a hard time learning, can clearly feel the difference between Mu Yue and other teachers. Ah, uh, wouldn't it be higher next time? Obito was dumbfounded. No matter how tall he was, he wouldn't be able to do it. Passing is my most basic requirement for you. If you can't do it, then you have to listen to my arrangements. Mu Yue showed a kind smile. If it fails, the reward will probably be even lower. Obito and Metkai looked at Mu Yu's smile and once again thought of the horror of being dominated by brush scrolls. They shuddered for a moment and then quickly said that they would pass next time. Mu Yue returned home, wrote out the report, and submitted it. Not long after, a reply came from the root. I'm convinced. Are you coding? Suddenly, the school said that the freelance certification I got before was no longer valid and asked me to get a new work certificate. It was a waste of time, so the update was late. There were three scrolls placed in front of Mu Yue. He opened them one by one. The first scroll contained money. Mu Yue counted it and found that the total was 200,000 tails. Mu Yue put the money away. The more the better in any world. Ninjas are also big spenders. Whether it is various ninja tools or secret medicines needed for training, they all cost a lot of money. Then he opened the second scroll which was a C-level ninjutsu, fire release, and flame bullet. This is a ninjutsu that Mu Yue has not drawn yet, but Mu Yue has already mastered a lot of fire escapes, both large-scale and flexible, so there is no need to waste time practicing this firebomb. Mu Yue picked up the last scroll and opened it. This was Danzo's reply to the report. Danzo first praised Mu Yue for his work completion. He quickly became an excellent teacher and was praised by the third generation. So he was very satisfied, rewarded Mu Yue, and hoped that Mu Yue would. Tanrin, skipping Danzo's poor paragraph, Mu Yue looked directly at Danzo's requirements. Become Sarutobi Asuma's tutor, gain his trust, and become someone he respects. This was Danzo's reply to Mu Yue's report. Mu Yue put away the ninjutsu scroll, and then burned all the other two scrolls. Although he didn't practice, after all, he got it from Danzo's free prostitute, so it would be a pity to burn it. Danzo, this old boy, has never given up on the position of Hokage. Mu Yue sighed. It was obvious that Danzo had some thoughts about the third generation's youngest son, but Mu Yue doesn't care. At worst, it won't have any impact on him to spare a few hours on the weekend. Should we sell the house in the main city? Mu Yue thought of something. Naturally, the original owner did not live near the sparsely populated southern forest from the beginning. In fact, he had a house in the main city of Konoha, which was left to him by his parents. However, in order to hide his identity, he built a house in the southern forest. Although he didn't live there much, the original owner used to go back every year to clean the house in the main city. Mu Yue thought that since he couldn't live in it, he might as well sell it. He remembered that the house was in a good location and might be worth a lot of money. Then he could use the money to buy secret medicine and practice. 
although there is help from the system, there is only one point at which you can improve yourself. Thinking of this, Mu Yue got up and headed to the main city of Konoha, planning to look at the house and clean it for sale. Mu Yue found the house according to the memory of the original owner. When he was about to take the key and go in, he found a blonde figure walking out of the house next to him. Hello, are you a new resident? Namikaze Minato greeted curiously. It had been several months since he bought this house, and this was the first time he saw someone entering the house on the right. Minato Namikaze thought a new neighbor had moved in. When Muyue turned around, Namikaze Minato looked at the blonde hair and blue eyes and instantly remembered that he had met Muyue before in the library. It's not that his superhuman memory remembers everyone he meets, but Minato also has blonde hair and blue eyes, and the gentle smile on Muyue's face makes Minato feel like Muyue has met another version of him. So impressed. No, this is my home, but for some reasons, I moved out and rarely come back. Muyue smiled and said hello. He feels that there is no need to sell the house, and it is good to keep it. Before, I was worried that I couldn't get close to the ceiling technique knowledge with Minato, but now it's here. They are neighbors, and logically, Minato moved in later. Minato, I'm here for you. At this time, a vibrant female voice sounded. Hey, Minato-san never told me that you have a brother who looks quite similar to you. Kushina looked at Moyue, who also had blonde hair and blue eyes with a gentle smile on her face, and couldn't help but joke. In terms of overall facial features, the two of them actually don't look alike. But the same dazzling blonde hair and that kind of smile really give Jukesen a sense of brotherhood. Sorry, this is my girlfriend. As you can see, she is a little too lively. Please forgive me, Minato said to Muyue with an apologetic look. This is my neighbor. Minato wanted to say Muyue's name, but found that he didn't know his name yet. My name is Hanyu Mozuki. Muyue introduced herself. Hello, my name is Uzumaki Kushina. Your name is quite nice. Kushina hugged Minato from behind and stuck her head out to introduce herself. Hello, my name is Minato Namikaze, Minato said as he pulled Kushina off of him with a smile on his face. Thanks, your fiery red hair looks great too. Muyue praised back while opening the door. Kushina's eyes lit up instantly. She gave a thumbs up and said, Okay, you are very discerning. She felt that Mu Yue could talk. When Mu Yue opened the door, the smoke and dust hidden in the gap also filled the air. Mu Yue glanced inside. It wasn't particularly dirty, but it was too dusty because it hadn't been occupied for too long. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't entertain you. I have to clean up first. Mu Yue turned around and said, Then we won't bother you. Upon seeing this, Minato took Kushina back home. Mu Yue looked at Kushina's leaving back and gave an appraisal. Name, Kushina. Chakra 150000. Potential SS Evaluation. Good at sealing techniques, possessing a huge amount of special chakra that ordinary people cannot hope to achieve. Mu Yue could only say that the amount of chakra was enough to make him jealous. As for the chakra with bracketed question marks, this was the first time Mu Yue had seen it. He felt that Kushina should have become the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. The Nine Tails inside had not been identified so it was a question mark. Kushina's potential is indeed a bit scary, and the double S potential is the highest potential Mu Yue has seen so far. But combined with the original work, Mu Yue guessed that at least one S was brought by the nine tails in the body. Without the nine tails, Kushina would fall into S potential. Otherwise, there is no need for the nine tails to have double S potential. Kushina would be killed indiscriminately if she develops normally and the third generation and Minato would only have one S. Mu Yue used the technique of multiple shadow clones to separate ten shadow clones, and then asked the clones to start cleaning the house. Mu Yue once again lamented that Tobirama's genius could actually develop such a convenient ninjutsu as a shadow clone. After cleaning the house, Mu Yue bought some daily necessities and put them in it. He was not in a hurry to visit Minato's house to exchange feelings. He planned to come and live here occasionally and become friends with Minato naturally. He opened the window and began to enrich the training plan for his disciples while feeling the evening breeze. Both Metkai and Obito, who did not get first place in their grade, 
need targeted intensive training. As for Shisui, Muyue is ready to improve her chakra control ability, which will not only improve her current combat effectiveness, but also lay the foundation for learning illusions in the future. Thanks to Mosheng Liu Su Qingcheng for his 2,000 tips. Thanks to Free Wind Nambai, 108 for his 100 tips. Thanks to Jai Da Shen Shi Tian Tian Dai for his 100 tips. Thanks to DSDW for his 100 tips. The next day, Mu Yue went to the Hokagi building after finishing her classes in the morning. After all, Hiruzen Sarutobi was the third Hokage, and it was impossible to wait for his reply in the school office every day. So Hiruzen Sarutobi told Mu Yue to go to the Hokage building to find him if he had the idea of being a tutor. Mu Yue was stopped when he arrived on the floor of the Hokage's office, but Mu Yue had already expected it and was let go after he simply said that the third generation asked him to come. Mu Yue knocked on the wooden door of the Hokage's office. Mr. Third Generation, I have thought about it. Mu Yue pointed out her identity and purpose of coming. It's Han Yu. Come in. The third generation's voice came from inside of the door. Mu Yue opened the door and went in, and was surprised to find that not only the third generation was inside, but Minato was also there. Minato was also a little surprised to see Mu Yue come in. He didn't expect that the new neighbor he met yesterday would be able to meet him in the Hokage's office today. This is Mr. Hanyu from our ninja school. His teaching ability is so strong that even I can't help but want to ask him to be Asuma's tutor. Sandai put down his pipe and introduced with a smile. Immediately afterwards, Sandai noticed the expressions of the two people and asked, Do you know Minato? Minato nodded and said, We are neighbors. Hanyu's house is right next to mine. That's really fate. Minato Hanyu, you can communicate more. You are all outstanding ninjas in your respective fields. Sarutobi Hiruzen praised. Where? Just do your best, Mu Yue said modestly. Minato also left with a humble word. He had a good feeling about Mu Yue, but the Hokage's office was not a good place to chat. Mu Yue had the same idea. The place was not suitable, so he did not communicate too much with Minato. Mr. Third, I thought about it carefully after I went back. If I arrange my time properly, I can spare a few hours on weekends to teach Asuma. Mu Yue gave his answer. Well, with Hanyu to teach me, I don't have to worry about Asuma's child's growth, Sarutobi Hiruzen said with a smile, his words showing his trust in Mu Yue. I will try my best to live up to your expectations, Thirdaisama, and teach Asuma with all my strength. Mu Yue showed a grateful expression, indicating that she must take tutoring seriously. What followed was a more cliche discussion about salary. The third generation was quite generous and offered a price of 2,000 tails an hour. They would teach for a total of eight hours over two days on the weekend and get paid once a week. Mu Yue set the time to start at one o'clock in the afternoon and end at five o'clock. Today was Friday and Mu Yue had no classes in the afternoon. So he went directly to the small river where he usually practiced where Zi Shui was practicing fire escape with Mu Yue's shadow clone. After he won the first place in the whole grade in that exam without any pressure, Shisui followed Mu Yue's suggestion and used his shadow clone to go to school, and then came to Mu Yue to practice during school time. After Mu Yue arrived, he canceled the shadow clone. Zi Shui also temporarily stopped practicing after noticing the arrival of Mu Yue's true body and greeted Mu Yue. Teacher Mu Yue. Mu Yue nodded, took out a square towel, and handed it to Ji Sui with a smile. Take a break and wipe your sweat. Ji Sui thanked him and took the square towel to wipe the sweat off his forehead and neck and sat under the big tree with Mu Yue. Mu Yue gave Ji Sui an appraisal named Uchiha Shisui. Chakra, 580 potential SS. Compared with a month ago, Chakra has improved a lot. On the one hand, the intensity of training has increased. And on the other hand, Shisui's body has gradually developed, and the growth rate will be faster in the future. What makes Mu Yue a little dissatisfied is that this panel is too simple and can only show Chakra and potential. After resting for a while, Mu Yue said, Shisui, starting from today, the training plan will change. 
and he will start to practice the teleportation technique and enhance his chakra control ability. Since Shisui was able to earn the title of Shushui Shisui during the Third Ninja War, Mu Yue felt that there was nothing wrong with teaching Shishui Point Shizui technique first. Um, Jisui nodded without raising any objection. After a month of studying, he had full confidence in Mu Yue's teaching ability. Instantaneous body technique is not actually the name of a ninjutsu, but a large category of ninjutsu. Any technique that can achieve the effect of instantaneous body can be called instantaneous body technique. On the higher end, time and space ninjutsu, like flying thunder god, can also be considered a body blinking technique, as can thunder escape chakra mode that activates the body to increase speed. However, Mu Yue naturally cannot fly the thunder god and thunder escape chakra modes, and the teleportation technique he masters is the most common type of teleportation technique. The seal allows chakra to gather in the legs and then explode, strengthening the body to achieve high-speed movement. The disadvantage is that, if used too many times, the leg muscles will be tired and injured. Although it is just an ordinary D-level physical skill, it is very practical in battle, whether it is a surprise attack or a retreat. Jishi Sui's talent still did not disappoint Mu Yue. Although he had not yet opened the Sharingan, his powerful talent allowed Ji Shui to learn the teleportation technique directly after Mu Yue completed a demonstration and explanation. When the ninja school was over, Medkai and Obito soon came to the training ground. You two, don't be in a hurry to practice. I have formulated a special two-month training plan for you. Mu Yue stopped Metkai and Obito, who were about to practice. Hearing Mu Yue's gentle voice, Obito thought Mu Yue was going to teach something new. So he looked at Mu Yue expectantly and asked, Teacher Mu Yue, are you going to teach a new powerful ninjutsu? You haven't even mastered the powerful dragon fire and powerful fireballs yet. I'll teach you what to do with the new ninjutsu. Mu Yue shook her head. What kind of special training is that? Obito was a little disappointed to hear that there was no new ninjutsu to learn. Training that will allow you to defeat Hinata Kamen in the next final exam, Mu Yue said with a smile. Obito, your taijutsu is too weak, let alone Hyuga Kamon. Even if you fight with the current Kai, Kai can make you unable to cast a single ninjutsu, so you must strengthen your training in taijutsu. Hearing Mu Yue's words, Obito wanted to say something, but found that he could not refute, because he lost the battles with Hinata Huomen and met Kai, just like Mu Yue said. Although the battle of ninjas sometimes seems to be no different from that of mages, if you really want to treat yourself as a fort mage without practicing physical skills, this is the fastest way to die on the battlefield. Generally, strong ninjas can more or less practice it. Technique. As for Kai, what you have to do is to strengthen your strengths. You have to become faster, so fast, that even if Hinata Kamen's Byakugan sees your movements clearly, he won't have time to dodge. It is true that Byakugan's observation ability is strong, but Metkai does not need to be faster than Byakugan's observation. He only needs to be stronger than Hyuga Kamen's reaction. From now on, the two of you will have half an hour of actual combat every hour of training. You can only use Taijutsu, not Ninjutsu. Ah, uh, you can't use Ninjutsu? Obito was dumbfounded. He couldn't be beaten in the first place, and he couldn't use Ninjutsu. Wasn't this just a beating for Chun Chun? If you don't want to be defeated by Hinata Firegate next time, then don't use ninjutsu, Mu Yue replied. Obito thought about the bragging in front of Nohara Rin, and even though he had foreseen the miserable training life in the future, he could only nod his head with tears in his eyes. A new round of training has begun, and Mu Yue is wondering if the reward for increasing the disciple's strength will be triggered after this special training is over. It has not been triggered once yet, and she doesn't know to what extent it must be improved. Early on Saturday morning, Obito Shisui and the other three began to train according to Mu Yue's requirements. Obito first learned the basic moves of Taijutsu from Mu Yue. After practicing for an hour, Mu Yue asked Obito to rest, handed Obito a bottle of water, and wiped his sweat. Obito suddenly felt something bad. Although Mu Yue was a good teacher, 
he would not be so considerate under normal circumstances. It was possible to hand him water, and at most, he would provide a square towel to wipe sweat. Obito, I think you still have a lot of potential that has not been unleashed. Muyua smiled and put the bottle of water that Obito had not finished drinking on the ground and said, No, no, no. I feel that my potential has been completely stimulated by you, teacher. Obito felt that just after wiping the hot sweat off his forehead, cold sweat broke out again. You? You still underestimate yourself too much. Mu Yue shook her head and said, How about this? During the battle, you only need to be hit once, and then you can do one more question during the break. Presumably, this should be able to fully stimulate your potential. Even if it fails, your theoretical scores will be improved if you do too many questions. Teacher, this is not good. If I get hit hundreds of times by then, it doesn't matter if I do the questions. I'm afraid you will get tired from doing the questions, Obito said, as if he was thinking about Mu Yue. Obito was also forced to be anxious, and his speaking skills improved in his anxiety. For Obito, if he was asked to study questions and papers, it would be better to have a passionate fight with Mekai, which was too torturous. Obito, I'm glad that you are worried about the teacher's health. Mu Yue showed a pleased expression. Just when Obito thought he was going to survive, Mu Yue's words changed. I guess that you are such a good boy. So I have prepared a lot of questions for you in advance. So you don't have to worry about running out of questions. Mu Yue took out a stack of test papers with a smile on her face, indicating that the questions were enough. If it's enough, if it's not enough, I'll let the shadow clone come out again. Mu Yue asked with a smile. Enough is enough! Obito shook his head wildly and waved his hands. He looked at the pile in Mu Yu's hand that was almost exhausted. The sun was clearly shining brightly today, and Mu Yu's smile was warm, but Obito felt a cold air rushing from the soles of his feet to his forehead. Mu Yu's side was blocked, so Obito decided to save the country by taking a curveball. Since he couldn't avoid doing the questions, he should do them less. Thinking of this, Obito winked at Metkai and motioned for some water. Metkai saw Obito's signal, showed his shining white teeth, and gave Obito a thumbs up with a relaxed smile. As for Kai, if you miss the mark at once, do 50 questions. If you hit the mark, do one less question. You can reduce it to 40 questions at most, Muyue continued. Metkai's expression suddenly changed, and he gave Obito a thumbs up again with a serious expression. Try your best. Don't want this kind of thing. Obito held his head in his hands and wailed, and he could already see a large number of questions coming towards him. For the sake of youth, we must try our best to minimize the problems. Metkai felt like he was on fire. Obito didn't want to do the questions, and neither did he. In the ensuing battle, Metkai punched hard and chased Obito at 120% speed. Obito, who didn't want to do the questions, also had explosive potential. After being hit more than a dozen times, Obito's steps became much more agile. Mu Yue saw that both of them had made such great progress and nodded happily. Isn't there still a lot of potential that has not been stimulated? When both of them lose their strength, the battle will be over. Obito was hit more than 30 times and needed to answer more than 30 questions, while Metkai only had to answer a dozen. Mu Yue feels that the effect is very good. If he continues to practice like this, Maybe within two months, Hinata Firegate will no longer be their opponent. It's a pity that Nohara Rin's talent is not good. If Nohara Rin is also accepted as a disciple, it will be easy to stimulate Obito, Mu Yue thought. In order to keep a low profile, he was reluctant to bring non-disciples to practice together. In fact, there is a better candidate, and that is Kakashi. Nohara Rin could only stimulate Obito alone. If Kakashi was there, Obito and Metkai would be stimulated together. Kakashi's talent is enough, but it's a pity that Kakashi is unlikely to be his student because Kakashi was promoted to Chunin two years ago. Muyue continued to practice with them until noon and had lunch with the three of them. Finally, leaving two shadow clones behind, Muyue went to the home of the third Hokage, preparing to start tutoring. Perhaps because she was still at work, Muyue did not see the figure of Hiruzen Sarutobi she only saw a middle-aged woman with a single ponytail, 
who was Hiruzen Sarutobi's wife, Biwako Sarutobi. Lord Biwako, Muyue greeted, you must be the Hanyu Sensei Hiruzen mentioned. Sarutobi Biwako recalled the appearance described by Sandai, and then asked, Muyue nodded, Asma is waiting for you in the backyard. Sarutobi Lake Biwa pointed out the direction for Muyue, and then reminded, Asuma is a bit rebellious. Mr. Hanyu, I ask you to be more considerate. If he is really unruly, just tell me. I do, but I have some special techniques for dealing with rebellious students. Muyu replied with a smile, and then walked in the direction pointed by Sarutobi Lake Biwa. Walking to the backyard, Muyu saw a child of about nine years old lying against a tree with a piece of grass in his mouth, looking like a rogue. Muyu gave an appraisal first. Name, Sarutobi Asuma. Chakra, 1100 potential, a plus. Noticing Mu, Yua's arrival, Asma spat out the grass in her mouth and asked directly without standing up, Are you the Hanyu Mozuki who is coming to teach me? Before Mu Yue could answer, Asma quickly said, I said, if you can't let me surpass the old man who is the Sandaim Hokage, then just leave. It's boring. Asma felt that she had to give this tutor a little power and gain the initiative. Just when Asma was wondering how Mu Yue would respond, Mu Yue shook her head and said, Of course that's not possible. Then, just go. Asuma waved his hand and lay down. He didn't believe that Mu Yue would just leave like this. Okay, I'll leave now and tell Mr. Biwako that you don't need a tutor. Mu Yue turned around and prepared to leave. Seeing that Mu Yue really looked like she was about to leave, Asma felt a question mark in her mind. Why the hell didn't you play according to the routine? Shouldn't he be trying to persuade him to stop messing around? Why did he just leave? Hey, don't leave yet. Asma stood up like a carp and called Mu Yue to stop. The teacher was angry before he started teaching. He would definitely be scolded by his old mother later. Thank you, Lao Na, for the 100 reward. Thank Abi for the 500 reward. Thank Shen Gang for the 100 reward 26. You want me to leave and you want me to stop. This is very difficult for me to do. Mu Yue looked at Asma with a half smile. Can't you discuss it with me? Why don't we each take a step back? I don't want to be so demanding and then you have to listen to me in class. Asuma and Mu Yue discussed. It's not that he doesn't want to be taught, it's just that he is a little rebellious and he doesn't want to accept his old father's arrangements. No, no, it's not your problem that you have high demands. It's my lack of ability to meet your demands, so I'd better leave. After listening to Asma's suggestion, Mu Yue turned around and left. Okay, don't listen to me anymore. Don't leave yet. Seeing that Mu Yue was about to walk out of the backyard, Asma quickly stopped her again, and he also obeyed Mu Yue. Then we can go to class? Mu Yue asked with a smile. To deal with a rebellious student like Asma, you have to be more rebellious than him and use magic to defeat magic. Forget it, so be it. What are you going to teach? Asuma was at a loss for a moment. In his mind, he should have spoken out to persuade him to retreat, and then Mu Yue would have discussed it with him, and he would have taken the initiative. Although he was indifferent to his identity and even hated it, he had to deny that his identity as the son of Hokage did provide him with a lot of conveniences. Mu Yue looked around and then said, Go train outside, it's not very convenient here. Mu Yue and Biwahu took Asuma out for training after mentioning it and brought him to a small forest with the river. First, let's test your chakra control ability by climbing a tree. Mu Yue found a taller tree and said to Asma, Climb a tree? That's not easy, I'll show you. Asuma rolled his eyes, smiled, and thought of a good idea. He walked to the tall and strong tree, and instead of using chakra, he climbed to the top of the tree using his hands and feet like a nimble monkey. Asma shouted with a triumphant expression, Look at how fast I can climb trees! Of course, he knew what Mu Yue meant by climbing the tree, but he just didn't want to cooperate, on purpose. Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was using a crystal ball to observe how Mu Yue would teach Asuma, fell silent and rubbed his forehead helplessly. Although he was nicknamed Monkey before, he had never done this before. What happened? It climbs very quickly and has good limb strength. 
Mu Yue was not as angry as Asuma imagined, but instead smiled and praised. Then Mu Yue found a slender tree, cut off the branches of the tree, poured oil on it, looked at Asma with a smile, and said, Just think of it as a warm up and start climbing the tree in earnest. Asuma looked at the thin tree that was as bare as a stick, with oil dripping from it, and couldn't help but twitch. No matter how good he was at climbing such a tree, he couldn't climb it with his bare hands. It doesn't matter if you can't climb up. Admitting one's shortcomings is also a sign of courage. Mu Yue said leisurely, Who can't climb up? Don't underestimate me. Asuma, a nine-year-old kid who had just graduated, couldn't stand the excitement. He directly attached chakra to his feet and walked steadily to the top of the tree step by step. The control abilities is pretty good. Mu Yue nodded, not too surprised. Then Mu Yue took Asma to the river. Since climbing trees is no problem, let's try to see if you can walk on water. Mu Yue pointed to the river and continued to test Asuma's chakra control ability. After all, except for those with extraordinary talents, ordinary people only have so much chakra. Improving utilization is a good way to increase strength. If you can stand on the water for 10 minutes without falling into the water this time, you can train whatever you want in the future. Mu Yue came up with a condition to motivate Asma. This is what you said. Don't go back on it, Asma said with a smile on his face. He was still thinking about how to deal with this hateful teacher, but he didn't expect Mu Yue to take the initiative to expose him. Isn't it just treading water? It may be a bit difficult for other newly graduated Jinin, but it is average for Asuma. With a confident expression, Asuma gathered chakra on the soles of her feet, walked to the river, and walked leisurely on the river. The river was not big, only 20 meters wide. That hateful old man was too controlling. Even after he graduated and became a ninja, he still needed a tutor. Asuma muttered. He was really looking forward to the look on his face when he went home and told the third generation tutor that his teacher had agreed to his free training. Suddenly, Asma felt something was wrong. He looked down and found that the calm river suddenly became turbulent. Water release? Water dragon bullet technique. Asuma looked again and saw that Mu Yue had used the water release ninjutsu on the shore, creating a water dragon that rolled back and forth in the river, causing the river to churn and rise. Oh, what are you doing? There was a splash of water, and Asuma almost fell into the water uncontrollably and couldn't help but say, Help you simulate the battle scene. During the battle, the river water will not be as calm as usual. Mu Yue said with a smile. By the way, I will also practice water escape myself. There are rivers and trees here, which is a good environment for practicing water escape. Of course, if you think it's not possible, Asma, I can stop. After all, admitting one's own shortcomings is also a manifestation of wisdom. Mu Yue repeated her old tricks. Asuma swallowed what he wanted to say. He just wants to prove that he can do it and he doesn't need a tutor or the arrangements of three generations to do this. Of course, he can't admit that he can't do it. So Asuma concentrated on controlling chakra to prevent falling into the water. But chakra control cannot be improved in an instant, and the sudden waves of water will also test your physical skills. Asuma struggled to hold on for five minutes, but finally accidentally fell into the water and was instantly picked up by Mu Yue. It seems that your chakra control ability still needs to be improved, and you cannot start free training, Mu Yue said with a regretful look. If you hadn't interfered with water escape, how could I have fallen into the water? Asuma retorted, somewhat unconvinced. Do you expect that the enemy will not use ninjutsu to attack you during the battle? Mu Yue said lightly. No, I have to do it again. Asuma became more and more angry and decided to prove herself. Facts have proved that you may not be able to solve math problems if you are anxious, but the battle may indeed be explosive. This time, Asuma persisted for seven minutes, three minutes shy of completing the 10-minute achievement. After Asma rested for a while, he couldn't wait to call Mu Yue to come again. The third time, he persisted for seven and a half minutes. In the end, Asma managed to hold on for 10 minutes as the sun was about to set. I succeeded, Asuma shouted excitedly, and then he lost control of his chakra and fell into the water and took a deep breath of the river water. When Mu Yue picked Asma up, 
Ozma still had excitement on her face. From then on, I could practice whatever I wanted. Asuma wiped off the water stains on his face and said happily, Who told you? Muyue looked at Ozma with a strange expression. The smile on Asma's face froze, and then she asked, Didn't you say that you can train freely after ten minutes? Yes. Muyue nodded and then said, But what I'm talking about is this time. That is, when you did it for the first time, you didn't succeed the first time. Asuma recalled it, and it seemed that it was true. Then why is he working so hard to persevere? Due to physical fatigue and severe mental trauma, Asuma almost rolled his eyes and fainted. Being pissed off by the rebellious teacher, Sarutobi Hiruzen, who was peeping from time to time, also touched his beard and felt that Muyu's teaching ability was indeed strong. In the afternoon of training, Asuma's body skills and chakra control abilities have been tempered. We must fight back tomorrow. Asuma secretly swore that he felt like he had been teased all afternoon today. After completing the task of tutoring, Mu Yue did not return to the southern forest, but went to the house in the main city. Mu Yue simply cooked two dishes for dinner and then went out for a walk. After all, friendship cannot wait at home. Mozuki walked for a while and finally met Minato and Kushina in a nearby park. The two of them were sitting on a park bench and chatting in the evening breeze. Hanyu, Minato greeted Mu Yue after seeing him. Are you coming to the park for a walk too? Minato asked. Mu Yue nodded, sat on the chair next to her, and said, I just finished eating. Let's take a walk to digest. Hanyu, I heard from Minato that you are a teacher at a ninja school, Kushina asked curiously. No one in her circle of friends had ever been a ninja school teacher. Well, I just joined this year, Mu Yue replied with a smile. You just joined this year, so Hanyu, you must have led a very strong class, Minato said with some surprise. Kushina looked at Minato with some confusion. Yesterday in the office, Lord Sandame said that Hanyu's teaching level was very high, and he wanted to ask Mu Yue to be their tutor, Minato explained. For someone who just joined the job this year to receive such praise from the Sandama-sama, it must be that his teaching achievements are particularly outstanding. Wow, does a third-generation old man praise you like this? Kushina was also a little surprised. Although she had average feelings towards Sarutobi Hiruzen, she still recognized Sarutobi Hiruzen's vision. Wherever it is, the students themselves work hard enough, Muyue said modestly and then said, Namikaze Jonin is the most powerful. He has become a Jonin at a young age and has become an important fighting force in the village. Hey, hey no, our Minato is the strongest, Kushina said with great agreement, but I am also a Junin. Kushina laughed. Mu Yue looked surprised and then praised that Usumaki Jonin is also very powerful. Han Yu, you really knows how to talk. Kushina became more and more fond of Mu Yue. Otherwise, her sister, Uchiha Mikoto, was already married, and she would have to introduce her to Mu Yue. Look, what a good man he is, as handsome as Minato and powerful enough to be praised by three generations. The three chatted for a while, and then Mu Yue took the lead to say goodbye and leave. When two young lovers are walking together, it's not a problem if they stay too long. They have to pay attention to moderation and slowly settle down. The next day, Mu Yue still trained Obito Metkai and the others until noon, and then went to Sarutobi Hiruzen's house to teach Asuma in the afternoon, and brought Asma to the river yesterday. I'm too tired to train today. Asuma just sat back on the tree, looking like he was getting ready to sleep. He had secretly made up his mind that no matter how much Mu Yue and others tried to stimulate him, he would remain unmoved. Want sleep? Mu Yue smiled and looked at Asuma. That smile was gentle and healing, much better than his old man's. But Asuma had a bad feeling. Yes, I didn't sleep well last night. Is that okay? Asuma said stiffly. To Asma's surprise, Mu Yue nodded in agreement and said, Yes, the sun is just right today and the breeze is calm. It is indeed a good weather for sleeping. Then Mu Yue stretched out, sat back on the tree, and said with a relaxed look, Being a tutor is really good. You can lie down and sleep and wake up to make a hundred thousand tails. After saying that, 
Mu Yue closed her eyes and leaned her head against the tree, looking like she was ready to sleep. Wait, what did you say? 100,000 tails? Asuma's eyes widened instantly <laughs> and asked Mu Yue, why are you so noisy? I can't sleep anymore. Mu Yue didn't even open her eyes, looking like she was about to fall asleep. Don't sleep yet. Say something like 100,000 tails quickly. Asma shook Mu Yue's body. What it could be, of course, is money for your lessons. Mu Yue opened her eyes and started talking nonsense seriously. Do you think I am working for free? Even if the Hokage hires a tutor, he still has to pay for it. My fees are very high. Giving you lessons is 25,000 tails an hour. Teaching four hours a day is, of course, 100,000 tails. Is your mouth made of gold? The charge is so expensive. Asumo was shocked to learn that Mu Yue could get 25,000 tails by staying with him for one hour. You must know that when he was in school, his monthly pocket money was only 50,000 tails, and his pocket money was still quite large. Mu Yue only needs to teach him for two hours to get his one month's pocket money. You can go to the ninja school and ask about the name Hanyu Mozuki, and then you will know whether it is worth the price. Mu Yue said calmly, but why haven't I heard your name? Asuma felt as if she was being deceived, because I only joined the job after you graduated, Mu Yue said, and closed her eyes again, preparing to sleep. Seeing Mu Yue going to sleep again, Asuma felt heartbroken for a moment. This was a tutor worth 25,000 tails an hour. Don't sleep, let's start practicing. Asuma shouted quickly, fearing that Mu Yue had fallen asleep and would not wake up. Didn't you say you didn't sleep well yesterday and were very tired and wanted to go to sleep? Are you not tired now? Mu Yue opened her eyes and looked at Asma with a smile. Looking at Mu Yue's expression, Asma knew that she had been deceived. This guy didn't sleep at all, but he had no choice. This was a tutor worth 25,000 tails an hour. If Mu Yue was really allowed to sleep here, he wouldn't be able to sleep at night either, let alone Asma. I've rested. Let's start practicing, Asuma said with a dark face. He was going to complain to his old mother when he went back. Isn't it a waste of money to hire such an expensive tutor? It's not like there is no Juna and teacher. Well, today is still training on chakra control. Today's goal is to survive 15 minutes on the water. Mu Yue stood up and smiled. The training was still the same as yesterday. Asma was trying hard not to fall into the water and Mu Yue released water on the bank to avoid interference. Today's asthma is, uh, is as motivated as yesterday, but yesterday's motivation was to slap her old father in the face, and today's motivation is Mu Yue Kuhu's sky-high tutoring fee. During dinner in the evening, Asuma directly complained to Biwako, saying that Sarutobi Hiruzen spent 25,000 yuan for an hour of tutoring. Lake Biwa was also shocked by the sky-high tutoring fee, 100,000 tails for four hours. You must know that the reward for some B-level tasks is only 100,000 tails, which is equivalent to a B-level task for one person in four hours. Um, are you talking about Hanyu? How is that possible? His tutoring fee is 2,000, 2,000, one hour. Sarutobi Hiruzen was stunned for a moment, then said with a smile, 2,000 tails. Asuma looked at Sarutobi Hiruzen suspiciously. Of course, it's 2,000 tails. Where did you hear about 25,000 tails? Sarutobi Hiruzen affirmed. Looking at his old father's face, Asma knew that he had been deceived by Mu Yue. Ah, damn Hanyu Mozuki. Asma roared in her heart, then turned her grief and anger into appetite and ate voraciously, thinking that she would not fall into Mu Yue's tricks next week, no matter what. Sorry, everyone, this chapter was written in a hurry and maybe of poor quality. I will fix it when I have time. Something happened at home tonight. My grandma left Monday, class one classroom at ninja school. There was no class yet, and there were only half the students in the classroom. Zidi, when did you introduce me to that cute girl you mentioned before? Shen Yue Izuyun couldn't help but ask Gang Ziti. The steel restrained Shen Yue Izumo's neck and said viciously, you have the nerve to ask me to introduce girls to you. You pretended not to do well in the last exam, but you actually did so well. Playing like brothers is fun, right? Shen Yue Izumo shouted that he was wrong, saying that it was an accident and that he was lucky, and he was only five points higher than Gang Zitie. 
Gengziti then let Shen Yu Izumo go, but he also said that it was a bit difficult to introduce girls because his hateful cousin recently revealed some unspeakable things about him to Mei Hui. He has no face to face it now. How can there be such traitors, traitors, and evil thieves? Shen Yue Izumo looked indignant. This is too exaggerated, Anko beside him complained. And why do I need to meet girls? Am I not a girl? Anko asked, confused. Both Shen Yue Izuyun and Gang Ziti were silent and looked at each other for a while. Finally, Shen Yue Izuyun spoke. Hongdu, this is hard to explain to you, but just know that we are brothers. Girls? Not to mention Anko. Izumo Kamizuki really forgot that Anko was a girl. However, how can any girl stand on the table and shout to the whole class? Anko behaves more like a boy than them all, which makes Izuku Kamizuki think of Anko as a girl. At this time, Mu Yue walked in. Mr. Hanyu, do you think I look like a girl? Anko asked directly. Mu Yue smiled and nodded and said, Of course, she is still a very cute girl. Regardless of her words and deeds, Xiao Hongdu is still a very cute girl. Hearing Mu Yue's reply, Hongdu was very happy and made a face at Gang Ziti and Shen Yue Izumo. Shen Yue Izumo, Gang Ziti. What kind of girl would ask such a question directly and then make a face after finishing it? Soon the morning's ninjutsu theory class was over. Lecture completed. Evaluation. A reward. Magical tree binding kill. Mu Yue's mind immediately had the learning and memory of this B-level illusion, as well as the techniques for using it. Another genjutsu. So there are two genjutsu for Shisui. Mu Yue nodded secretly in her heart. In addition to this time, before killing him with the magic tree binding, he also obtained a narakuj? No jutsu through lectures. The effect of tree binding is to make the opponent have an illusion of being entangled in trees. The body cannot move but the mind is clear. It is generally used to ask questions and obtain information. The naraku no jutsu allows the other person to see the scene that they fear the most. There were no classes in the afternoon, but the teacher from class four and class six asked him to teach on his behalf. In class four and class six, Mu Yue discovered two more ninjas who appeared in the plot. Name, Shiranui Genma. Potential, a name, Ibisu. Potential, B. This time, I taught ninjutsu class. Due to the special period, the fourth grade was already the graduating class. So Mu Yue taught the clone technique, which is usually the test for graduation. It turned out that what they said was true. Teacher Hanyu was really good at teaching. It turns out that the clones that were separated didn't seem to have this problem. Fortunately, the ninjutsu teacher was sick today. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to attend Mr. Hanyu's class. Can I transfer to Mr. Hanyu's class? If I am taught by this kind of teacher every day, I won't worry about not being able to master these three basic ninjutsu. I'm afraid it won't work. It seems that Mr. Hanyu only teaches a first grade class. Having systematically learned how to become a teacher with the blessing of teaching skills and a large amount of ninja knowledge in her mind, the gap between Mu Yue's teaching quality and that of ordinary Chunin teachers can be clearly felt. The students in class six of year four finally understood why the classes taught by Mu Yue respected Mu Yue so much. It was indeed amazing. The large number of praises from the students did not make Mu Yue feel complacent because he knew that there were many reasons for this. One of which was that the educational environment of the ninja school was somewhat deformed. What kind of ninja would become a teacher in a ninja school? Mu Yue doesn't know what will happen in the future, nor what the situation was in the past. But in the current ninja school, only ninjas who realize that their strength can only stop here will become teachers. A teacher's salary is enough to live happily in Konoha. But if you want to support ninja training and become stronger, there is a big gap. Therefore, this leads to the fact that teachers in ninja school are generally average in strength and unmotivated. If I were motivated, I would have been doing tasks every day to make money and practice hard, and I would not have become a teacher in a ninja school. Such teachers, except for those with a strong sense of responsibility, how can they seriously study teaching? Most of them are just dawdling around. Mu Yue has reason to believe that 
the top management of Konoha also knows about the situation of the ninja school and even considered it when it was established. So there is such a leader teacher. After students graduate, they undergo re-education in small classes. But this has nothing to do with Muyue. After all, he is just a young teacher, and he can only guarantee the quality of his teaching. Lecture completed evaluation, a reward, fire release, fireball technique. Muyue found that he and the Hao fireball were also quite destined. This was the third time he had obtained the Hao fireball. Feeling the memories of training constantly emerging in her mind, Mu Yue felt that her powerful fireball should have reached the proficiency level of the system. After school, Mu Yue and her disciples gather at the training ground every day. Teacher Mu Yue, this is my once in a lifetime request. Please agree. Before the training even started, Obito immediately ran to Mu Yue as soon as he arrived clasping his hands and bowing in request. If you don't tell me your request, how can I agree to it? Mu Yue replied that he didn't know what Obito was doing for a while. I would like to ask you, Sensei, to teach me a powerful fire escape ninjutsu so that I can win first place in the junior ninjutsu competition. Obito stated his request. In fact, Obito has participated in this competition before. He thought that he could easily win the first place after mastering the Go Fireball. He never expected to meet Kakashi, a super genius, and ended up losing the first place. Recently, Obito saw that this competition was being promoted, and he decided to invite Kakashi to participate in the competition, and the two sides would decide the winner. However, Obito felt very unsure. Although the gory fire technique was practical, it did not have enough visual impact, let alone the goo fireball, which was read as a goo fireball and written as a small fireball. But it doesn't matter. Obito believes in Mu Yue's strength. Disciple Uchiha Obito, O sets training tasks, training mission. Get first place in the junior ninjutsu competition. Reward depends on task completion and strength growth during the task. Three pop up windows appeared on Mu Yue's system panel. Don't worry, everyone, we will maintain stable updates as usual. Mu Yue looked at the three sudden messages and fell into thinking. He didn't expect the master disciple system to have such a function as training tasks. Then why didn't he show up when he made the training plan before? And it could only be triggered by his disciples. Even if it can only be triggered by disciples, it should have been able to trigger some tasks before, such as Obito wanting to get first place in actual combat or something. Mu Yue guessed that this kind of practice mission may have many restrictions before it can be triggered and it may also be related to trust level or something. Since it was the first time it was triggered, he was unable to determine all the conditions. The only thing that was certain at the moment was that the disciple who triggered the task must have enough desire for the task target. Looking at Obito's eager and expectant eyes, Mu Yue was very sure of this. Teacher Mu Yue, just promise me this time. After I get the first place, I will definitely complete the tasks assigned by you twice and I will listen to your training plans in the future," Obito pleaded. He still can't forget the day he lost to Kakashi in front of Lin. All right, Mu Yue nodded helplessly. Teacher Mu Yue is indeed the best teacher in the world. Obito was very excited when Mu Yue agreed. I'd better leave the good words to you after you get first place. Mu Yue put two fingers together and tapped Obito's head. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Obito chuckled. He has been studying for several years, but he still doesn't know what a good teacher is. Mu Yue has a good temper. Her lectures are not boring and easy to understand. And she is also very good to students. Such a teacher is nothing but a good teacher. So, Teacher Mu Yue, what ninjutsu are you going to teach me? Obito asked curiously. Art, fire, escape, ho, fireball, Mu Yue said. I know how to use the fireball. I used this in the last competition and only scored 20 points. Obito scratched his hair and said helplessly, in the previous game, he used the high fireball to get 20 points and temporarily ranked first. As a result, Kakashi came up and showed a move of earth and earth movement, controlling the entire field to rise and fall and directly got a full score of 30 points. Don't you want to be powerful? Among the fire escapes that you can currently learn, how Fireball is the most powerful, Mu Yue said, and immediately walked to the river 
and started to form seals quickly. Art fire escape, ho fireball! Muyua condensed a large amount of chakra, and at the moment of spitting out, all its properties changed and turned into flames, spitting out blazing fire continuously. A huge amount of flames formed a huge flaming fireball 10 meters high. In front of such a huge fireball, even the 1.8 meter Muyue seemed small, let alone Obito Shisui and others. It was even more shocking to watch. Extremely. Even stronger than the one I saw before, what kind of strength is Teacher Muyue? Jisui thought of the memory of his first visit to Muyue's house. That time he accidentally saw Muyue practicing ninjutsu. And it was also a fireball, which was very shocking. But this time, it was even more shocking than the last time. Jishui instantly felt that Muyua's strength was unfathomable, and he might not have used all his strength now. This, is this a fireball? Looking at the huge fireball in front of him that was taller than his house, Obito was dumbfounded. Compared with Jisui's huge fireball, he can still be considered a small fireball. Compared with Muyue's, it is just a tiny spark of fire that comes from nowhere. Obito found it hard to believe that Muyu had actually used a ninjutsu with him just now. It's really big. If you encounter such a ninjutsu, you have to be faster and stronger. Metkai looked up at the big fireball inside. The huge fireball hit the river, evaporating a large amount of water. In an instant, bursts of white mist poured out and enveloped the surrounding area. It quickly dissipated after Muyu used wind escape. Muyue let out a breath, looked at Obito with a smile, and asked, How about it? Is the power of the high fireball enough? Enough is enough! It looks so powerful! Obito nodded like a chicken pecking at rice. If the fireball he could use was a quarter of Muyue's size, he should be able to win the game. Of course, Muyue Shindao was powerful. The attack just now was very pretentious and consumed a lot of chakra, directly burning a thousand points of his chakra. It is impossible to use a fireball this size in normal battles, because it is indeed a bit difficult to hit people at the same level. Mu Yue remembered that in her previous life, someone who was bored and idle did some statistics, and then surprisingly discovered that in more than 700 episodes, no matter who used the fireball, it had never hit a humanoid creature. With such an exaggerated record, it is no wonder that it is called the art of hitting the target. Then give it a try, Muyue said to Obito. Good. Obito nodded, walked to the river, quickly formed a seal, and then blew out a stream of flames. But the embarrassing thing is that Obito's huge fireball is only the size of two human heads, which is completely different from the huge fireball Muyue just used. Obito is fine, so is Yao Xiao. Kai, please spare me. Obito immediately interrupted the spellcasting indicating that his strange comfort was not needed. Do you know why there is such a big gap between your fireball and mine? Mu Yue asked, because I am not proficient in it, Obito said with some uncertainty. There are three aspects. The first is that your chakra control ability is too poor to make good use of the little chakra you have. The second is that your nature change practice is too poor to transform a large amount of chakra into flames at the same time. The third thing is that you are not proficient in mastering the fireball, Mu Yue concluded. Immediately, Mu Yue took out a pamphlet and handed it to Obito and said, These are some of my experiences in practicing the changes in the properties of fire chakra. You can solve the problem of changes in properties by reading, memorizing, and practicing this manual. Obito's foundation was much different than Shisui's. In the first month, Mugetsu basically helped Obito relay the foundation and then taught the dragon fire, by the way. So he never gave Obito the nature change manual. If a training task hadn't suddenly appeared, Muyue would have given it to him next semester. After all, Obito couldn't learn too much at once. You gave your disciple a training manual on changing the nature of fire attribute chakra. Because the disciple was very grateful, he was rewarded with a big critical hit and obtained fire release to Q, mastery. Mu Yue didn't expect Obito to be very powerful, so she directly blasted him with a proficient fire escape. Tokeku is not an ordinary fire escape. It is a B-level fire escape ninjutsu, performed by Kakuzu's fire attribute mask. It is very powerful. It can also be used in conjunction with the wind escape and pressure he drew before. 
which can instantly create a fire escape that burns down a forest. Sea of fire. A large number of training memories appeared in Mu Yue's mind. In an instant, Mu Yue had an illusion. He seemed to be a ninja who had been practicing silently and hard for 30 years in an unknown corner. He only practiced one ninjutsu in those 30 years. Practice this ninjutsu to the point where you can use your arms and fingers like an arm. I will definitely watch it every day. Obito held the manual in his arms as if he had found a treasure. One more thing. First, practice chakra control, Muyue said with a smile. After Obito completed the basic practice of climbing trees and treading water, the enhanced version of the treading water training program he invented on Asuma came into use, although Obito didn't know what Muyue was thinking. When he recalled the painful time on the weekend, he knew that it was probably a very torturous and very effective training plan. But now he can only stand up and accept it forcefully, because this time, he asked for it himself. It will be pushed up tomorrow. The time has come to decide the fate of this book. Muyue first let Obito try climbing a tree. There are not many other trees in Konoha's eastern forest. Trees more than 10 meters high can be seen everywhere, and there are also taller ones. Muyu randomly pointed to a 20 meter high tree and asked Obito to try to concentrate chakra on the soles of his feet and climb it. Obito nodded then took a deep breath to gather chakra in the soles of his feet and rushed forward. Obito rushed to a position of about 10 meters in one breath and then accidentally failed to control his chakra with his next kick, making a footprint in the tree and falling down. Muyu jumped up and caught Obito, nodding secretly in her heart. Although it was not up to Asuma's level, it was still pretty good. At least he wouldn't fall off after taking a few steps. There's nothing much to say about this kind of training. It's just a matter of consistent practice, with no special skills. After Muyu had demonstrated it to Obito a few times, he left a shadow clone to watch and let Obito practice on his own, while his main body went to find Metkai, who was exercising. Among Muyue's three disciples, Metkai's training program can be said to be the most boring. When Obito gets tired of practicing Taijutsu, he can put in a few Ninjutsu to change his mood. While Metkai's training, in addition to practicing Konoha Tornado, is to exercise his body. Physical training does not happen overnight, and this is an aspect that Mu Yue's teaching skills cannot help. His teaching skills can allow Metkai to learn physical skills faster and improve his physical skills in a shorter time, but it cannot accelerate the effect of Metkai's training. The exercise effect obtained by doing one push up is still that of one push up. When Mu Yue walked to Metkai, Metkai was doing push ups with a stone about the same size as him on his back. Kai, how are you doing with your Konoha tornado training? Mu Yue asked. He wanted to test the triggering conditions of the training mission, and Metkai, who had the same trust level three as Obito, was the best choice. Hearing Mu Yue's words, Metkai stopped his movements, kept his body still, and replied, A little faster than during the exam, but not fast enough. After answering, Metkai took away the stone, stood up, and kicked out an extremely fast Konoha cyclone at the wooden stake not far away. Muyu had nodded. Compared with before, she had indeed improved a bit, and her kicks were more sharp and decisive. You should have gained something from the battle with Hinata Firegate. There is no way to get results from exercising so quickly, and physical improvement is measured in months at least. How do you think we can improve our strength? Mu Yue asked a question that confused Metkai. Of course it's training. Metkai directly stated what was on his mind. He felt that the question Mu Yue asked was a bit strange. If he wanted to become stronger, he must have practiced continuously. Mu Yue shook her head and asked again. Cultivation can make progress and is also the most important part of increasing strength. But is there any other way? Metkai scratched his head and then thought of his progressive Konoha tornado and the practical exams that every exam in the ninja school had, and an idea flashed in his mind. Fight. Yes, combat is also an important part of improving strength. In combat, you can better transform your practice results into your own strength. Mu Yue smiled. The fight I'm talking about is not the fight you had with Obito before. That was not a normal fight. If you want to make progress, you must challenge the strong and fight openly with the strong. 
You want to challenge. Listening to Mu Yue's words, a person gradually appeared in Metkai's mind. That man has white hair and wears a mask every day. He is a famous super genius in Konoha. There is no second name. That is Kakashi Hatake, Metkai's lifelong enemy. Metkai, whose strength has improved after studying with Mu Yue, has long had the idea of challenging Kakashi, but has been suppressing it. He wanted to wait until he had completely mastered the Taijutsu of Konoha Whirlwind before challenging Kakashi. But now Metkai has changed his mind. Will he be able to defeat Kakashi once he completely masters the Konoha Whirlwind? No, not necessarily. Is he afraid of failure? No. Then why not fight Kakashi? And you can better improve your strength. Teacher Muyue, I understand, Metkai said solemnly. Looking at Metkai's face, Mu Yue probably knew that his guidance had worked. With Metkai's mobility, he might go back to find Kakashi tonight. But what makes Mu Yue regretful is that there is no training mission called defeating Kakashi. What other conditions are there? Mu Yue had some doubts in her heart. According to the original book of Naruto, in terms of defeating Kakashi, Metkai definitely has a lot of desire at this time. With the title of super genius and the identity of his old enemy, Metkai has many reasons to want to defeat Kakashi. After carefully recalling the details of Obito's triggering of the training mission, Mu Yue discovered a problem. Obito's attitude was pleading, and he expressed in his words that he must have Mu Yue's help, and Mu Yue had to teach him the powerful fire escape to complete it. Does achieving the results include the necessary need for teachers? Mu Yue guessed in her mind. If this is the case, then it makes sense that Metkai did not trigger the training mission just now. Just now, Metkai was at best ignited by him to challenge Kakashi, and he probably didn't think about what would happen without Mu Yue. With a rough guess, Mu Yue did not test again. He wanted to wait until Metkai failed to challenge Kakashi before taking action. When the time comes, he will let the disciples who have failed in the battle feel the warmth of their teacher. After finishing teaching, Mu Yue went to the house in the main city. After eating, Mozuki first went to the park where he met Minato and Kushina before. Fortunately, Mu Yue met Kushina and Minato there again. Maybe it was because people nearby liked to come here. So the two of them were not surprised to see Mu Yue. By the way, I walked too fast last time and I forgot to ask something. Kushina suddenly remembered something and said, the third generation old man asked you to be a tutor. Have you agreed? Mu Yue nodded. I heard that the child seems to be a bit rebellious. He won't listen to what the three generation old man says. Will he listen to you? Kushina asked curiously. Mu Yue smiled and told them how she trained Asuma. Kushina didn't know how Asuma felt about being taught, but she was quite happy to hear it anyway. In particular, Asuma was exhausted from training the next day when he tried to resist but was deceived. This made Kushina exclaim that a shrewd third-generation old man could actually give birth to such a stupid son. Minato was also surprised by Muyu's teaching ideas. For students who didn't want to learn, he could let him cooperate to complete the training. Muyu didn't just talk to herself. She also asked Minato Kushina some things, and the chat atmosphere was very harmonious. Mu Yue felt that by getting along like this for a while and becoming friends, he could unintentionally show his interest in the sealing technique. The transitional chapter is really difficult to write. A thousand words have been deleted from this chapter, which is why I posted it so late. You came. I am coming. You shouldn't have come. I'm already here. Get out quickly. Even if you suddenly broke into my house, you also rushed into the bathroom. What do you want to do, Kai? Kakashi, who was usually aloof, couldn't hold back any longer and looked at Metkai, who sneaked into the bathroom with a frantic expression. Of course it's a battle full of youth and passion, Metkai said enthusiastically as Kakashi raised his arm and gave a thumbs up. Kakashi, if the foam on his body hadn't been washed off, he would have wanted to give Metkai's smiling face a flying kick right now. No one would rush into the bathroom at night and say they wanted to duel. Even if I have to fight, I have to wait until I finish taking a shower. Kakashi couldn't help but complain. As expected of my old enemy, I readily accepted the challenge. I'll be waiting for you outside. 
Metkai smiled brightly, and his two rows of shining white teeth were particularly dazzling under the light. Kakashi caressed his forehead speechlessly. He was a little doubtful that his father had made a mistake. He actually thought that Metkai might become stronger than him in the future and be a good opponent. But let's fight if Metkai wants to. Let him see clearly the gap between them. Kakashi quickly washed his body and then got dressed and went outside. Let's decide the outcome. Metkai took a stance and shouted passionately. Is it going to be about physical skills this time? Kakashi asked. Since the first grade, Metkai has challenged him in various ways. The competition is not limited to fighting, but sometimes it also involves shuriken throwing. No, just use all your strength and treat this as a formal battle. Metkai shook his head and said seriously, You sure? Kakashi asked again. If he used all his strength directly, he believed that Metkai would not have a chance to resist. He became a chunin two years ago, and Metkai is still a ninja school student. Absolutely sure. Metkai smiled brightly. Then be careful. As soon as Kakashi finished speaking, he immediately took out four shurikens and shot them towards Metkai. Metkai dodged the shuriken, but suddenly found that Kakashi had inadvertently approached him and waved his fist. Konoha whirlwind. Metkai kicked out a tornado kick very quickly, and his fists collided with Kakashi's, and both parties took a few steps back. Um, Kakashi looked at Metkai with a surprised look. He didn't expect that Metkai could react so quickly and counterattack, and his kick was unexpectedly fast. Metkai also challenged him once two months ago, which was to compare his physical skills. Compared with last time, Metkai has made obvious progress. How's it going, Kakashi? I've become a lot stronger. Metkai laughed. I hope you can still laugh next time. Kakashi's eyes became sharp. Kakashi quickly formed a seal and separated four shadow clones. The shadow clone formed another seal and used the clone technique to create a large number of phantoms. So many Kakashi! Metkai looked a little dumbfounded at the dozens of Kakashi who suddenly appeared. Kakashi kept rushing towards Metkai. Metkai used Konoha Whirlwind again and kicked down more than a dozen Kakashi in one breath. Unfortunately, all of them were phantoms. The remaining shadow clone Kakashi took the opportunity to take action. When Metkai was struggling to deal with it, a hand suddenly emerged from the ground and grabbed Metkai's foot. Earth escape, heart beheading technique. Metkai instantly felt that his whole body was falling rapidly and when he reacted, only his head was left on top of his body. The battle is over. Kakashi squatted and said to Kai's exposed head, Kakashi is indeed the old enemy I am chasing. He is so strong. Metkai sighed. He could still fight back and forth with that student from the Hyuga clan, but he lost due to the opponent's Bayakugan's insight. But in the battle with Kakashi, apart from the initial physical duel, he quickly fell into a disadvantage and Kakashi found an opportunity to kill him with one blow. It was a crushing battle, that was all Metkai could say. If you know I'm strong, just practice more and come back to me. At least graduate first, Kakashi said unceremoniously. Okay, I will come back to you when I become stronger, Metkai said with a laugh. Kakashi felt that Metkai was selectively deaf, so don't ignore what he said next. Not bothering to ask if Metkai heard it, Kakashi released Metkai and went home. Metkai patted the dust on his body, looked at Kakashi's leaving back, and clenched his fists. You have to become stronger and stronger! This time fighting Kakashi with all his strength, Metkai opened his horizons. To become the strongest, he still needs to go a long way. Metkai has thought about it. He will ask teacher Muyo tomorrow if he can help him formulate a more rigorous practice plan. The next day, ninja school. Next, I will talk about the key points that need to be paid attention to in the technique of clone. In the ninjutsu class, Mu Yue taught some knowledge about the formation of chakras to guide chakra. Although there were only three ninjutsu classes to learn in the ninjutsu class, there is still a lot of other theoretical knowledge related to ninjutsu. Mr. Hanyu, since the main goal of the clone technique is to create an illusion to confuse the enemy, can I combine the clone technique with the transformation technique to create an illusion that is easier to confuse the opponent than myself, Gangziti asked. Mu Yue thought about it carefully and found that this was really possible. And someone had even developed an upgraded version of the original work. That is Naruto's harem technique, clone, confusion, 
transformation, perfect fit, because it is a shadow clone. It is still an upgraded version. You can try it. We now have so many ready-made ninjutsu to learn because of the efforts of our predecessors. Mu Yue encouraged Gang Zitai's idea. However, I recommend not using it in actual combat until it is perfected, Mu Yue reminded. It would be fine if he really mastered the art of harem. But if he mastered other weird things, Mu Yue was worried that he would be beaten. Teacher, I understand. Gang Ziti nodded, preparing to have a discussion with the two good brothers, Shen Yu Izuyun and Hong Du, later. I believe that by combining the wisdom of the top three of their classes, they will be able to develop amazing ninjutsu. Get out of class is over. After the bell rang, Mu Yue announced that get out of class was over. Lecture completed evaluation. A reward obtained. Earth escape, earth flow. Wall finally arrived at earth escape. Mu Yue was a little surprised. Although the earth flow wall is not a particularly strong ninjutsu, the system will have some changes in its nature. Now Mu Yue has mastered all the five basic property changes. After school in the afternoon, Mu Yue met Metkai by chance on the way to the place of cultivation. The conjecture was indeed verified, but it was still a bit beyond his expectation. Thanks to the Nine Tribulations Red Dust Immortal for the five-year reward. Thanks to the Moshan Katkins and Ching Cheng Ki, for the $3,000 reward. And thanks to Free Wind Number 108 for the $200 reward. Disciple Metkai sets training tasks, training mission. Obtain a training plan that can enhance strength reward. Depends on task completion. Seeing the training mission revealed by Metkai, Mu Yue felt a little subtle. He originally had thought the mission would be to defeat Kakashi, but it turned out to be a training plan. Can this be called a training mission? Mu Yue carefully thought about the causes and consequences of triggering the training mission and came up with some conjectures. The disciples' thoughts determined the content of the training task. Obito felt that he could not securely win first place in the junior ninjutsu competition now, so he had the training task of winning first place. When Obito learned that the competition was being held again, it was only two weeks before the start of the competition. Time is so short. Obito believes that only with Mu Yue's help can he win first place. Although Metkai wanted to defeat Kakashi, he was not in a hurry, and he had no idea that he had to ask Mu Yue for help to defeat Kakashi, maybe even because they had only known each other for a month and were the only beneficiary. Metkai would be embarrassed to bother Mu Yue too much. Various reasons were added together, which ultimately led to the strangeness of Metkai's training mission. Teacher, I'm going to trouble you about the cultivation plan, Metkei thanked. There is no trouble in this. You are so active in wanting to become stronger. Teacher, I am happy before it is too late. Mu Yue touched Metkai's head and said, Because for the teacher, the best reward for the teacher is when the disciple becomes stronger. Mu Yue's expression was extremely sincere. This is not acting, it is indeed Mu Yue's sincerity. Hearing these words again, Metkai felt something different in his heart. Maybe he should rely more on Mu Yue. The two of them went to the training place together. Obito has almost completed the practice of climbing trees, and next he can practice treading water. Metkai is still practicing to strengthen his body, doing various exercises repeatedly. Jishui practiced illusion with Mu Yue Ying's clone. Mu Yue's body is completing Metkai's training mission, which is to help Metkai formulate a new training plan. This is not something you just pat on the head and write casually. There are many considerations. You can't just increase the amount of training if you want to get stronger. You must also consider the issue of physical endurance. After the sky gradually darkened, the three of them completed the training arranged by Mu Yue, and Mu Yue also completed Metkai's new training plan. Mu Yue stopped Metkai alone and handed the training plan to Metkai. The training mission is completed and you will receive rewards of training secret medicine. 20 and chakra plus 150. Exercise secret medicine. Effectively relieve physical fatigue, restore the body, and eliminate hidden injuries. The task was settled directly, and the reward was better than Mu Yue imagined. After all, this task was too simple. 
Mu Yue thought that she would make money if she had some chakra. It turns out that there are still 20 secret exercise pills, which is really an unexpected surprise. This made him look forward to the rewards for completing Obito's mission. After all, in terms of difficulty of completion, Obito's training tasks are much more troublesome than Metkai's. Mu Yue's mind moved, and she pretended to rummage through the ninja tool bag, took out a secret training pill in the system space, and handed it to Metkai. I have given you something to eat. Eat, Mu Yue smiled. Metkai should be the one who needs this the most among his three disciples. His training intensity is too high. Thank you, teacher. What is this? Metkai took the secret medicine and asked doubtfully, It's something good for you. Eat it quickly, Mu Yue explained. Out of trust in Mu Yue, Metkai ate the secret medicine directly. The next moment after swallowing the secret medicine, Metkai felt his body warm instantly, and a warmth flowed through his limbs, sweeping away his fatigue, and he instantly became energized. Is this a very expensive secret medicine? Metkai guessed that the pills given by Mu Yue were really magical, and he felt much more relaxed after taking them. The so-called secret medicines are medicines with special functions, which can usually be made by making specific materials using special techniques. A more common and ordinary secret medicine is Bingliang pill, which can restore a certain amount of chakra and the price is relatively cheap. The more special the effect, the more expensive the secret medicine. Metkai felt that the secret medicine he just took was definitely not cheap. Once you have eaten, don't not think too much about it. Mu Yue did not tell Metkai the answer. He didn't know the price of this medicine. This medicine was given by the system. Whether Konoha sold it or not was another matter. And since he asked, he already had a vague answer in his mind. You gave the secret training medicine to the disciple. And because the disciple was very grateful, he was rewarded with a big critical hit. And he was rewarded with eight gates of Dunjia the first three gates. Many memories of practicing eight-gate dunja suddenly appeared in Mu Yue's mind, and he could feel that he could open a certain limit in his body. Although he could only open the first three doors, Mu Yue was very satisfied. With the memory of the technique, he could open more doors if he continued to practice. But Mu Yue will not continue to practice the eight gates. Spending time elsewhere will yield greater benefits. Metkai's talent in ninjutsu is average but his talent in taijutsu is not weak. He has been practicing for decades, and he is also able to open the door to death. Metkai can seriously injure the six paths Madara, while Metkai can't even kill all seven people with the ninjutsu sword. It's just right for him to only open three doors, because the first three doors happen to be the ones with the least impact on the body of the eight doors of Dunjia. The three doors after the three doors have very high requirements on physical strength, Teacher, I will definitely become the strongest. Metkai was deeply moved and said with tears streaming down his face, in order to let him take the expensive secret medicine without any burden, they were unwilling to tell him what he was eating. If he hadn't noticed it himself, Mu Yue might have told him it was a jelly bean. Mu Yue handed the scarf to Metkai, who had developed tear ducts, and said with a gentle smile, you will be the strongest, I believe. Even without his help, Metkai will reach the top of the Taijutsu through his own efforts. Mu Yue believes that Metkai in this world will only go further. His trust should have increased a lot. I don't know when a disciple with trust level 4 will appear, Mu Yue thought as she looked at Metkai's retreating back. Today, Mu Yue did not go to the main city to meet Minato Kushina, but chose to stay in the southern forest. It has been more than a month since I traveled through time. Although I have the idea of developing the Rasengan, I have never had the time. Recently, he has read a lot of books about sealing techniques and curses. It takes some time to absorb them. He wants to open the Rasengan during this time. With the detailed process in the original work and his mastery of morphological changes, it was not difficult for him to develop the Rasengan. The main purpose of developing Rasengan is not to use Rasengan to fight enemies, but to have other functions. Teacher Mu Yue, when will you start the practice of changing nature? Recently, I've been reading the manual you gave me every night, and I really want to practice it. 
Obito asked as he walked up and down the river. It's really boring to climb trees and tread water every day. Moreover, Muyua's nature change manual really inspired him, and he instantly felt that he was ready to use fire escape. Feeling bored treading water? Are you almost done practicing? Muyua asked with a smile on her face. Uh-huh. Obito nodded quickly. He could already trot on the water. Well, let me try your level and help you make treading water more interesting. Muyue formed seals quickly, and chakra exploded. Water release? Water dragon bullet technique. A huge water dragon formed quickly and then rolled in the river, causing the calm water surface to become turbulent in an instant, and causing large waves from time to time. Uh-huh. Obito accidentally fell into the water and took a swig of water. Muyue immediately fished it out with Tutu and said with a smile, Look, you still haven't mastered cultivation yet. Teacher Muyue, how can I withstand such a sudden attack? Obito complained. There was a classmate and a family member present, and he still wanted to save face. Then try it again. Muyue smiled. Treading water is a test of the ninja's ability to continuously output chakra. There are distractions from water dragon bullets, and he has to pay attention to dodging the waves. In this case, he can maintain stable and continuous output, which shows that his chakra control ability is very good. Obito's mouth was very tough, but his strength was not. He fell into the water again within a few minutes. The shoes I wore today didn't fit my feet, and that was having an impact. Obito spat out the river water in his mouth and explained, then put his shoes on the bank and walked barefoot on the water. Muyue smiled slightly and said nothing. After a while, Obito fell into the water again. Oops, it must have been that I read too late yesterday, which resulted in my lack of energy today. No wonder I made so many mistakes. Obito stretched his limbs, twisted his neck, rolled up his sleeves. His eyes became serious and said, I'm going to get serious next time. Plop! The sound of falling water sounded again. After Mu Yue quickly fished Obito out, Obito's eyes were dull, his face lost expression, and he stopped talking. Obito, it's okay. I know you want to learn how to swim, Shisui comforted. Obito covered his face with his hands and said, Shisui, please do your work. I'll just stay by myself for a while. Do you feel that your performance is too poor? Mu Yue squatted next to Obito, not looking at Obito, but looking into the distance. As the saying goes, there is no harm without comparison. Before Obito started training on control abilities, Shisui had already started and Shisui progressed very quickly. He skipped climbing trees at the beginning, and treading water later was also easy. He could persist on the water for a long time, even with Muyu as interference. With the performance of Shisui, a clan brother, Obito will always be tough. He admits that he may not be as good as Shisui, but he shouldn't be that much worse. In fact, the reason I left last week on the weekend afternoon was to work as a tutor at the Hokage house, Muyu said. The Hokage has a younger son. You should also know him. Sarutobi Asuma, who is only one year older than you. Obito nodded. Indeed, he recognized him. When he was training on treading water, he was also disturbed by my use of water hose bombs. He fell into the water at least dozens of times throughout the afternoon. Finally, on the last time, he lasted for five minutes. Asuma, he actually... Obito didn't expect Asuma, who was a top student in the ninja school, to be so miserable and to persist in such a miserable situation for an entire afternoon. Obito was a little impressed with Asuma. When they met before, he never found him to be so perseverant. Teacher, I understand. I have rested. Let's yees, start practicing. Obito took a deep breath and said energetically, Asuma can persevere. Why can't he persevere? His goal is to defeat Kakashi in front of Lin, and win first place. Eat something, and then practice. Mu Yue handed Obito a portion of the dumplings she bought earlier. Well, thank you, teacher, Obito shouted energetically, quickly finished the dumplings, and walked into the river. You gave the disciple red bean dumplings as a gift. Because the disciple was very grateful, he was rewarded with a critical hit and gained the skill. Chef Chef the food you make is so delicious that it can cause hallucinations. Hey, I actually exploded a skill, and it was about life. 
Mu Yue was a little surprised. Although it was said that the objects returned by the disciples were occasionally quite random, and Metkai was proficient in the ability to explode water properties. But he didn't understand Obito's explosion of a chef. But it doesn't stop Mu Yue from being happy because, judging from the skill introduction, this skill is very powerful. Cooking delicious food is a big plus. If he had this skill earlier, he could just pretend that the cooking equipment at home was damaged and then go to Minato's house to cook and show off his extraordinary cooking skills. Maybe Kushina and Minato would take the initiative to make friends with him. You can also quickly increase your disciples' favorability. Who wouldn't like a teacher who has excellent teaching quality and is also an excellent cook? After all the disciples completed their training, Mu Yue returned to the main city of Konoha early. He wanted to try out how delicious the dishes made with his new skills were. Mu Yue chose two dishes. One was egg fried rice and the other was fried tempura. He has also fried egg fried rice before. He prefers to eat things with eggs, but he has never made fried tempura. From the moment she picked up the egg, Mu Yue felt a mysterious feeling coming over her. Although the steps were still the same as before, everything was just right. After the egg fried rice was finished, Mu Yue was a little lost looking at the egg fried rice, which was clearly golden and emitting a faint golden light. He wondered why he didn't put any fluorescent powder when frying, so it still seemed to be glowing. Mu Yue took a spoon and took a bite. The tenderness of the eggs, the elasticity of the rice, and the fragrance of the chopped green onions all burst into his mouth. He had never eaten such delicious egg fried rice. Mu Yue even vaguely saw a majestic chicken running and flying on the grass, so free and joyful. It's so delicious that you'll have hallucinations. Mu Yue shook her head and quickly woke up. Mu Yue changed into a frying pan and started preparing to fry tempura. Make the batter first, then heat the oil in a pan. Stick the shrimps that have been processed it in advance on the coat, and put them in the pan to fry. Soon, the tempura coating began to change color, and a unique aroma of frying filled the kitchen and drifted into the distance. Mu Yue picked up the tempura based on her feeling, then put it on the plate and brought it to the table. When Mu Yue picked up a piece of tempura and was about to taste it, there was a knock on the door. Minato, do you smell anything? Kushina, who was about to cook, suddenly smelled an extremely attractive fragrance. I smelled it, a very tempting aroma of fried food. Minato nodded. Yes, such a tempting fragrance. How on earth is it made? Kushina sniffed the fragrance in the air and couldn't help but feel curious. She also cooks and has made fried food like tempura, but she has never had this alluring aroma. Just by smelling it, she can already imagine the perfect golden and crispy appearance of the food. No, I want to go out and take a look, Kushina said and walked out. She sniffed the scent in the air carefully and found that the source of the scent was the house to the right of Minato's house. Hey, isn't this Hanyu's home? Minato, come out quickly. Kushina waved to Minato in the room. If she remembered correctly, this house was the home of the ninja school teacher, Hanyu Mazuki. Although they had only known each other for a few days, Mu Yue left a deep impression on Kushina. He has blonde hair and blue eyes similar to Minato, is good at talking, and has strong teaching abilities. Minato walked out and looked at where Kushina was pointing, nodded, and said, Well, it's Hanyu's house. Come on, let's visit the neighbors. Kushina pulled Minato and knocked on the door of Mozuki's house. Mu Yue put the shrimp she caught into the bowl, then put down her chopsticks, walked to the door, and opened the wooden door. As soon as the door opened, Kushina couldn't wait to ask. Hanyu, are you making dinner? Sorry for disturbance, Minato said with an apologetic expression as he looked at Mu Yue's apron that was still on. It's okay, I finished cooking and was about to eat. You guys came just in time, Mu Yue said with a gentle smile, and then invited the two people into the house. Kushina followed the scent and walked to the dining table. When she saw the lightly fried tempura on the plate, her eyes lit up. This was the smell. However, when she walked into Mu Yue's home, Kushina discovered that there was also the smell of fried rice. Hanyu, you are still a hidden chef. I can smell the aroma of tempura from next door, Kushina praised. I'm not much of a chef because I'm often alone, so I'm used to cooking. Mu Yue said as she took out two water glasses from the cabinet and poured a glass of water for each of Minato and Kushina. You can try it, I just made it. 
Mu Yue took out two sets of tableware and said, Is that okay? It seems to me that you haven't not eaten yet, Kushina said while staring at tempura. She really wanted to try what such fragrant tempura tasted like. Start eating now. Mu Yue smiled and picked up the tempura in the bowl and put it into her mouth. I'm sorry for you, Hanyu, Minato thanked. I'm gonna start now. Kushina clasped her hands together and said in a very ritualistic manner, then picked up the chopsticks and picked up the still steaming tempura and put it into her mouth. Well, Kushina's eyes widened as soon as she bit into the crispy skin and found the moist and tender shrimp inside. An even more magical thing happened. Kushina seemed to be in the ocean in a trance, surrounded by a mysterious and magnificent blue world. And she was a free and carefree fish, happy in the sea all day long. Travel, um, Kushina woke up quickly and almost thought she had just been hit by a genjutsu. Then, when she thought about it carefully, there was no one at the scene who could make her fall under the illusion. Muyue, how did you make this tempura? Could it be that you added strangely colored mushrooms? Kushina asked, confused. She heard that some ninjas went to the forest to pick mushrooms to eat in the summer. When they entered Konoha Hospital, they still said that they had too many branches and leaves, and could anyone help him prune them? Um, no, it's just like this and that. Mu Yue briefly described her cooking process. At this moment, Kushina noticed that Minato didn't say much after taking a bite of fried rice. She looked at Minato and found that Minato was in a daze, so she patted Minato. Minato, what's wrong with you? Kushina asked. Minato replied subconsciously, eating wild vegetables. Where are the wild vegetables here? Kushina looked at the fried rice. Apart from the eggs, there were only chopped green onions and no mushrooms, so she asked doubtfully. Just after eating the fried rice, I seem to have turned into a pheasant living in the forest, Minato explained. Kushina looked at the fried rice on the plate. The grains were plump and golden, as if they were glowing with gold. Because she had been paying attention to the tempura, Kushina discovered that the fried rice seemed to be glowing. This is the best fried rice I've ever had, Minato said as he couldn't help but take two spoonfuls and stuff them into his mouth. Is it so delicious? You should try tempura, Kushina said confused. Then Kushina had egg fried rice and Minato had tempura. The expressions of shock and happiness appeared on their faces again. Hanyu, have you developed a ninjutsu that makes food delicious? This is so delicious, Kushina joked. If Hanyu, you have the idea of opening a restaurant someday, please let me know, Minato said seriously. He is not a person who pays attention to material comfort. But Mu Yue's fried rice and tempura gave him an experience he had never had before. If you like, you can come more often. It just so happens that my place is very deserted. Mu Yue smiled and invited. As long as you don't mind the trouble, you can try mine and Minato's cooking in the future, although it won't be as delicious as yours. Kushina was a little excited when she heard Mu Yue's invitation. Then I have something to look forward to. Mu Yue replied with a smile. After seeing the two of them off, Mu Yue secretly said that the new skill was really powerful, and they were immediately fighting each other. Mu Yue took down some books from the bedroom on the second floor so that she could gradually show her interest. With Mu Yue's encouragement, and with Asuma as a friend who leads by example, Obito is full of motivation. By Saturday, he will soon complete the training of controllability and start practicing the change of nature. At the weekend, it was time for Mu Yue, the tutor, to work again. You liar! Asuma angrily scolded Mu Yue. Last week, in order not to waste the high tuition fees, he really practiced hard, and he was exhausted when he got home. No matter how hard and painful the training was, Asma hated Mu Yue so much after learning the truth. Oh, what did I lie to you? Mu Yue asked with a smile. Your tutoring fee is obviously 2,000 tails an hour, but you actually lied to me and said it was 25,000 tails. Seeing that Mu Yue refused to admit it, Asma became even more angry. So what did you lose? Did you really give me 25,000 tails? Mu Yue continued to ask. Of course I... Asuma wanted to say something, but suddenly realized that he had nothing to lose. Look, you didn't lose anything and even made a profit. You thought you spent 200,000 tails. 
but in fact, you only spent 16,000 tails and made a profit of 184,000 tails. You should thank me, Mu Yuis said quickly. Did I make a profit? Asma thought according to Mu Yuis thinking, and it seemed that she had indeed made a profit. Now it's okay, let's start practicing, Mu Yuis said leisurely. No, 12 out of 10 is wrong. Asuma felt something was wrong. Transition chapter. No, even if the money is not given to you, it still belongs to our family. How can we make money? Asuma collected his thoughts and retorted. Then you are really smart. Mu Yue smiled and praised. Although he was praised, Asuma felt something strange. Anyway, go and resign with the old man. I don't need a tutor. Asuma lay down next to the tree and swayed directly. Since you don't want to be taught by me, then just don't follow me or just say no to the third generation and the others. Mu Yue suggested. You think I'm stupid. If I do this, doesn't it mean that all the responsibility falls on me? Asuma raised his head slightly and said proudly. The third generation didn't care, but Asuma was more afraid of his mother Biwako's anger. Mu Yue nodded secretly in her heart. It was indeed quite silly. As long as Asuma did not cooperate with the reason and resign, Asuma would still have to take the blame. But he had no reason to do that. After all, it was too easy to deal with a nine-year-old Asuma. Why are you so resistant to tutoring? Mu Yue did not rush to let Asuma start practicing, but continued to chat with Asuma. Even if I tell you, you want to understand. Asuma shook his head and said, looking like you wouldn't understand if you weren't my age. Why don't you understand? It's just that you don't like your father's arrangement, Mu Yue said directly. Based on Asuma's identity and his own personality, it is easy to deduce the reason for Asma's rebellion. Asma herself is talented. If she is not compared with those cheating players, she is considered a genius. She must not be slacking off in her training. Mu Yue can tell that Asma has a good foundation, but because of his status as the third generation's son, his own efforts may eventually turn into a light sentence, worthy of being the third generation's child. Working hard will be taken for granted, while not working hard will be criticized by many people. It has always been like this. It is strange that Asuma and Sandai's father-son relationship can be good. After graduating and becoming a ninja, I felt that I had grown up, but the third generation actually hired a tutor. This obviously made Asuma feel that she was completely underestimated. You can only see the surface. Asuma still had that expression that you wouldn't understand until Mu Yue said the next sentence. Isn't it because of his hard training that in the end, he only got a child worthy of being the Sandai Mesama? Mu Yue said with a smile. Asma's face changed drastically in an instant, and he looked at Mu Yue with a somewhat horrified look. This was something he had never said to anyone, and suddenly being pointed out by Mu Yue made him feel the fear of being forcibly torn apart his body and looking directly into his heart. Feel, I don't understand what you are saying. Asuma was still arrogant, but the little hands with no place to rest had exposed his inner panic. If you want to prove yourself, you should accept tutoring, strengthen yourself, and prove yourself with your strength, Mu Yue continued. After all, you really can't be called outstanding now. Mu Yue directly denied Asma's strength. First his heart was exposed, and then his whole being was denied. Asuma suddenly became anxious and defended. When I was in ninja school, I was always first in grade. How could I not be considered outstanding? Mu Yue smiled and said, Believe it or not, if I look for any student who has just entered the ninja school, you are no match for me. Asuma laughed angrily. As long as he found a graduate, he was not afraid of Kakashi, who had just entered the ninja school. You have the ability to find me. If I lose, I will listen to whatever you say in the future. Asuma immediately dropped the harsh words. Of course, if I win, you will resign, Asuma added. Then it's settled. Mu Yue smiled. Immediately afterwards, Mu Yue sent a shadow clone to bring Zishui over. Asuma looked at Shisui for a few times and felt that Mu Yue was not lying. He was indeed the kind of kid who had just entered a ninja school. His name is Uchiha Shisui. He is a student in my class. He is six years old and has just entered the first grade. His name is Sarutobi Asuma, a genin who just graduated this year. Mu Yue introduced the two to each other. Uchiha Shisui, right? I'll tell you if you can't do it later, 
Give in quickly to avoid getting hurt. I won't be merciful, Asuma said. Sarutobi Senpai, I will pay attention, Shisui said seriously. Start. Mu Yue wasted no time and immediately announced the start after the two of them got into position. As soon as Mu Yue finished speaking, Asuma rushed out in an instant, quickly waving his fist and rushing towards Shisui. Shisui stepped forward with a calm expression and started a close fight with Asuma. The two sides kept going back and forth, but Asuma didn't take advantage due to his taller body. Asuma's expression changed. After two moves, he realized that Shisui was not easy, but he didn't expect it to be so difficult. Not only was he unable to take advantage, Asuma was even eager to gain an advantage. But Shisui seized the opportunity and kicked Konoha Cyclone back three meters. However, Shisui did not pursue the victory because when Mu Yue brought him over, he said he would try to defeat Asuma in all directions. The graduated Jinin was kicked back three meters by a student who had just entered the ninja school during a taijutsu battle. Even though Mu Yue was the only one watching the battle, Asuma felt that he could not lose face, and his face turned red. Regardless of why Shisui didn't pursue him, Asuma had only one idea in his mind at the moment, which was to defeat Shisui, save face, and prove himself. The art of fire escape and heroic flames. Asuma quickly formed a seal, and his chakra exploded, spitting out a large amount of fire. Art, fire, escape, ho, fireball. Shisui also began to form seals, condensing a large amount of chakra in his mouth, and then spit it out in one breath and transformed it into flames. The two fire escapes collided, and Shisui, who had more flames and stronger fire, quickly overwhelmed Asuma's fire escape, and then continued to rush towards Asuma. Asuma was dumbfounded during the ninjutsu duel. He stayed where he was and watched the fireballs keep coming towards him without making any move. He was thinking about why, why he would lose to a student who had just entered the ninja school, and why he was such a miserably defeated. The physical skills duel was kicked out three meters, and the ninjutsu duel was directly suppressed. Is he really nothing but a third generation son? Asuma had deep doubts about himself. The fireball gradually approached, and Asuma woke up when he felt the heat from the flames. He moved to dodge, but at his speed, he was inevitably affected by the fireball. At this time, Muyue took action. Chakra exploded and quickly formed seals. Water escape, water formation. Wall. A thick wall of water appeared in front of Asma, blocking the incoming huge fireball. Teacher, please follow up and read, it's being pushed. Asma, who was protected by Muyue's water escape, instantly felt that she was really nothing before. She was angry with Muyue, because of her dissatisfaction with the third generation, and she never had a good attitude. As a teacher, Mu Yue was already very conscientious. Even if he had been uncooperative and resisted Mu Yue's training, Mu Yue had skillfully allowed him to complete the training he should have. Although the process was a bit irritating, it was also for his own good and wanted him to complete the training. Shisui, please go back first. Looking at Asma, who was depressed, Mu Yue knew that it was his turn. Jisui nodded, didn't say much, turned around and went back to continue practicing. Mu Yue walked in front of Asma, patted the dust on his body, and helped him tidy up his somewhat messy clothes. Finally, Mu Yue squatted on the ground, staying at the same height as Asma, and looked into Asma's eyes. The two looked at each other, and Asuma quickly lowered his head and then whispered, Teacher, I'm sorry. Tell me how you are sorry for me, Mu Yue asked with a smile. I shouldn't vent my grievances about other people on you, and I shouldn't always be against you and refuse to cooperate. Asma didn't dare to look at Mu Yue. You are not sorry for me. You are sorry for yourself. Mu Yue's expression gradually became serious as she spoke. Mu Yue asked, Will it affect me if you don't train? Before Asma could answer, Mu Yue continued, it doesn't matter, even if you don't train and I keep spending time with you, I still get a salary of 2,000 tails an hour. But you are different. If you train for an hour less, your hour will disappear and you will get nothing. For such a rebellious teenager, you have to make the other person feel that everything you do is good for him, that you are on his side and that he is the one who made the mistake. I, Asma hesitated to speak. 
The more Mu Yue spoke, the more he regretted and felt that he was nothing. How disgusted Mu Yue was with Mu Yue's behavior before. The favorability level increased at this moment. It is no exaggeration to say that Asuma felt that Mu Yue, a teacher who had only taught him for a few days, was much better than his Hokage father. Mu Yue's training requirements were met with disobedience, but Mu Yue did not scold him, but instead praised him for his strong limbs. If it were Sarutobi Hiruzen, he would have been so angry that he would have blown his beard and glared at him, and then scolded him. Before starting to preach, Mu Yue also helped him dust off his body and tidy up his clothes, and even kept eye contact with him considerately. Thinking of this, Asuma's eyes couldn't help but turn red. Why is it that a tutor who has only known him for a few days can praise him without hesitation? But when he gets the first prize and returns home, he is always unable to get praise from his parents. Could it be that Asma's first place is less valuable than other people's first place? The more Asuma thought about it, the more he felt aggrieved. He couldn't help but remember that he was defeated by a student who had just entered the ninja school today. Many emotions accumulated together and finally broke out. Even though Asma tried hard to control it, he still let tears flow down drop by drop in the end. He tilted his head, not wanting Mu Yue to see it. But how could this be hidden from Mu Yue, who had been paying attention to Asma? Mu Yue did not act immediately, but waited for a while, waiting for Asma to vent some emotions through crying, then stood up, patted Asma on the shoulder, took out a square scarf, and handed it to Asma. Mr. Hanyu, you are so kind. Asma took the handkerchief and wiped her tears while choking. Unlike my parents, they don't do this. That means you only remember the bad things they did to you, but forget the good things they did to you. Think about it carefully when you were a child who took the trouble to put you to sleep, who taught you to walk and run step by step, who checked if you were covered with quilt in the middle of the night. Who, Nyan, Mu Yue said earnestly. The third generation may be watching. They can't just focus on gaining favor with themselves, but they must also mediate the relationship between father and son. Asuma was speechless. Mu Yue said that he did have similar memories in his mind. You can think about it in your free time, and you are still ready to start practicing now. Have you forgotten what you said before? Mu Yue saw Asuma's troubled face, so she started talking about cultivation. Of course I haven't forgotten it. From now on, teacher Mu Yue, I will practice whatever you tell me to practice, Asuma said as he wiped his face clean with a handkerchief. Now Mu Yue's image in Asuma's heart has changed from a cunning and hateful adult to a perfect teacher who is sincerely good to him. This week I will continue to practice chakra control, and next week I will practice ninjutsu. Mu Yue briefly talked about the training arrangements. He would definitely not teach Asuma the same way he taught Shisui and the others. First, Asuma's identity is sensitive. The third generation will either keep an eye on him or send someone to keep an eye on him, which may cause his strength to be exposed. Mu Yue does not want to show his strength beyond that of a Chunin for the time being. The second reason is very practical. Asma is just a student, not a disciple, and it is not worth investing too much energy. As Mu Yue expected, Saru Tobi Hiruzen, who was in the Hokage building, was using telescope techniques to observe how Mu Yue taught Asuma. Hanyu is indeed very good at teaching children. Seeing Asuma's resistance from the beginning to his respect at the end, Sarutobi Hiruzen affirmed Mu Yue's strength as a teacher. There wasn't much surprise that Mu Yue could call Jishisui, because Jishui is a student in Mu Yue's class, and even students in other classes like Mu Yu so much. There is no reason why students in Mu Yue's own class wouldn't like her. But he already had such strength when he first entered school, and his talent even surpassed that of Jing. Sarutobi Hiruzen thought of his former teammate Uchiha Kagami. That was an Uchiha whose will of fire was recognized by the second generation. It seems that more attention needs to be paid. Sarutobi Hiruzen picked up his pipe and took a puff and thought, Shisui is the grandson of Uchiha Kagami, and he is extremely talented. Sarutobi Hiruzen knew of his existence before. He hopes that Shisui can become an Uchiha, like the mirror of Uchiha. Seeing Asuma starting to practice, 
Sarutobi Hiruzen canceled the telescope technique and began to deal with official duties. It wasn't until evening that Hiruzen Sarutobi used his telescope technique to inspect Konoha again, and then left the Hokage building to go home for dinner. At the dinner table, Sarutobi Hiruzen asked with a smile, Asma, are you satisfied with your tutor? This is the teacher I carefully selected for you. Asuma's hands that kept picking up the food stopped, and he couldn't help but start recalling today's events in his mind. Before today, Asuma would have answered that Muyue was a bad teacher who lied to his students. Teacher Hanyu is very good, and his teaching skills are much better than yours. While Asuma praised Muyue, she also didn't forget to step on Sandai. Although he was enlightened by Muyue, his resentment toward the third generation could not be eliminated in a long time. What do you, a kid, know? I taught you all the three ninjas. The questioned Sarutobi Hiruzen puffed his beard and glared. It was clear that Aunt Tsunade and the others had extraordinary talents. Asuma retorted that although the Sanin were famous, they all went their own way. Sometimes it is also a sign of wisdom for people to admit their own shortcomings, Asuma said, imitating Mu Yue's tone. Sarutobi Hiruzen was left speechless by his good son. If he admits it, he's not as good as Mu Yue. And if he doesn't admit it, he has no wisdom, right? Seeing her old father hesitate to speak, Asma was in a good mood and felt more energetic about eating. Teacher Muyu, how long have you persisted this time? Obito wiped off the water stains on his face and looked at Muyu expectantly. He felt like he had been on the river for a long time, maybe an hour. This time I performed very well and lasted 20 minutes. Muyu praised without hesitation. Ah, it was only 20 minutes. I thought it was at least half an hour. Obito was a little disappointed. On the river, he not only has to maintain chakra output at all times, but also pays attention to Muyue's water escape, observes the waves on the river, and is ready to dodge at any time. Maintaining the state at all times makes it feel like a long time has passed. You have completed the practice of chakra control and can start the practice of changing nature, Muyue said with a smile. Well, I'll go down right away. Obito had been practicing treading water recently and subconsciously walked towards the river. After walking a few steps, he realized what Mu Yue had said. Finally, no more treading water. Obito couldn't help clenching his fists and jumping up and cheering. He noticed that Shisui and Metkai both looked at him and then became quiet. I've been treading water every day lately, and I'm getting used to the smell of the river here. Obito couldn't help but complain. Treading water is no better than climbing a tree. As long as you adjust yourself well or catch the moon quickly, you'll be fine. If you don't control your treading water well, you'll have to take a big sip of water. Fortunately, no one comes here. The river water is clean and clear, and there is no strange smell. So you want to practice again? Mu Yue asked jokingly. Forget it. I want to take a detour whenever I see the river during this period. The tortured Obito chose not to be harsh this time. It's better to start the change of nature as early as possible. There are only 14 days left before the game. Obito felt a little pressed for time. Next, in addition to the change in nature, the proficiency of the fireball must be deepened. There will be enough time according to my schedule. Mu Yue reassured Obito. This is just training to participate in a folk competition, not to fight pain after training. There is no need to practice too exaggerated changes in nature. With the blessing of the professor's skills and the fact that Mu Yuehao's fireball has reached the proficiency level, it is very simple for Obito to improve his fireball level. After all, it was related to the rewards of the training mission, and Mu Yue had carefully planned it. Soon, Mu Yue's shadow clone brought a large wooden barrel. Mu Yue opened the barrel and took out an egg-sized ice cube and handed it to Obito. Put the ice cube on the palm of your hand and then use chakra to change its properties to melt the ice cube. Mu Yu had talked about the cultivation process of the first step of nature change. Nature change is a more difficult and advanced practice in the ninja training process. Even if you have enough chakra, but your level of change in the properties of the corresponding ninjutsu is not enough, the power of the ninjutsu will be limited. The practice of changing the nature of fire is a bit more dangerous than that of wind because the burning nature of fire may affect the practitioner. At first, Muyo wanted Obito to burn the leaves, 
But if Obito couldn't turn the leaves into ashes instantly, then Obito's hands would be burned by the burning leaves. So Muyue thought of ice cubes. Because they have a low enough temperature, they will only melt into water when exposed to flames. Obito's flames are not enough to boil the water in ice cubes so cold. Obito, who was holding the ice cube in his hand, took a breath of cold air. It was still spring and the temperature was not high in the morning when the sun was not shining brightly. Then release the chakra quickly. Muyue tapped Obito's head with two fingers together. Obito felt the pain, shrank his neck, and then began to guide his chakra to gather toward the palm of his hand, change its nature, and then release it. When making changes in properties, you must keep in mind the characteristics of flames, combustion, and high temperature, so that your chakra can burn and increase the temperature, Mu Yue reminded. Obito stared at the ice cube in his hand and nodded, silently reciting the words, burning heat, in his heart. Two minutes later, Obito felt water flow on his palms, and his face instantly brightened. Teacher, the ice is melting, Obito said happily. How about you get another ice cube and try holding it in your hand for a few minutes? Mu Yue said. Obito threw away the ice cube in his hand curiously and picked up another ice cube of about the same size, holding it in his hand without using chakra. Then he was embarrassed to find that the degree of ice melting into water was only slightly worse than before. The human body also has temperature. If you hold an ice cube of this size in your hand, you will not need chakra to melt it slowly. Mu Yue stroked her forehead and explained, Fortunately, the weather is not hot now. If it were summer, Obito would not think that he was a little genius who changed his nature. <laughs> I always use my mouth when using ninjutsu, but now I'm not used to using my hands. Obito scratched his head and explained, When making changes in properties, you must always remember the properties of the flame. As Mu Yue spoke, she took out an ice cube as big as a human head and held it in her hand. Sizzle. The moment Mu Yue finished speaking, a red light flashed, and the ice cube as big as a head immediately turned into bursts of white smoke, which turned directly into water vapor and floated into the sky. High temperature, burning. Obito kept chanting these two words in his mouth and then continued to condense chakra in his palms and then release them. The morning was coming to an end soon, and Obito already felt that his hands were numb from the cold and the skin on his hands had become white and wrinkled due to prolonged exposure to water. Come to think of it, the river water tastes pretty good too. Obito regretted why he didn't agree to Muyu's promise to practice again a few hours ago. The cultivation of this change in nature is simply more torture than treading water. Stop practicing now, let's eat. Muyu stopped the three of them, then took out three lunch boxes and distributed them to them respectively. Today, food tastes so delicious. When Metkai opened the lid, he smelled a fragrance that hit his soul and the dazzling golden light in the lunchbox. Teacher Mu Yue there, there's something wrong with this rice. It's actually glowing. Metkai was a little dumbfounded. It's just reflection from the sun, so feel free to eat. Mu Yue smiled lightly. Metkai took a bite with the spoon and his eyes suddenly gleamed. He waved the spoon extremely quickly and kept sending fried rice into his mouth. Tasty, tasty. Metkai felt that he had never eaten such delicious food. You gave your disciple golden egg fried rice, and he was very grateful. He was rewarded with a critical hit and gained chakra plus 100. Mu Yue nodded secretly. The chef's skill was indeed very powerful. Is Kai so tired from practice today? Obito felt that Metkai was a bit exaggerated. Although Teacher Mu Yue was good at his craftsmanship, there was no need to eat in such a hurry. It really smells good. After Obito opened the lunchbox, he changed his mind slightly. His is not egg fried rice, but a home style stir fry. Obito first picked up some vegetables, then took a mouthful of rice and put it in his mouth. Tasty. Obito's eyes widened feeling a taste he had never experienced before explode in his mouth. Then he frantically grilled the rice and kept stuffing the food into his mouth until Obito ate the chili pepper in the dish. A terrifying spicy smell erupted and Obito felt as if he had arrived at the crater of a volcano that was about to erupt. 
The surrounding air was hot and dry. Obito looked up at the sky. The black smoke that continued to float from the crater covered the sky. Coupled with the black and gray land, he seemed to be in a monotonous world with only black and gray. So hot and spicy. Obito took a big breath to make his tongue feel better. Boom! Suddenly there was a loud noise and an unspeakable and terrifying lava flame erupted from the crater like a fountain and rushed into the sky. Blazing black smoke, soaring flames, dark red magma. The originally black and gray world now has a touch of dangerous red at this moment. Immediately afterwards, the terrifying lava fell from the sky and submerged Obito, and Obito's eyes regained consciousness. Hot, hot, hot! After regaining consciousness, the feeling of high temperature gradually weakened, but the spicy taste lingering on the tongue still did not disappear. But Obito still didn't stop eating. Although it was spicy, it was so delicious that I couldn't control myself. High temperature, burning. Obito couldn't help but think of the illusion that appeared inexplicably. The flames erupting from the earth and the high temperature lava that melted him. Hoo ho ho! The next moment, Obito, who stuck out his tongue to breathe, spit out a stream of red flames from his mouth. Obito spit out fire while shouting spicy food and slapped his tongue with his hand just like an acrobat performing fire breathing stunts. Abba, Obito was a little confused. Stop chakra output, Muyua said calmly. Obito then realized that he didn't know when to use chakra, so he cut off the supply of chakra and the flame disappeared. While the state is still there, practice as soon as possible. Muyue took out a palm-sized ice cube and put it in Obito's hand. Remember the feeling just now? High temperature and burning, Muyue reminded. Recalling Obito's lost state just now, Muyue probably guessed something. I didn't expect that skill cooking and carrying illusions could actually have such an effect. Mu Yue was also a little surprised. It seems that I have to cook something more exciting for Obito recently, Mu Yue secretly said. An ordinary homemade stir fry with chili peppers can have such an effect. If Obito can still eat Mapo tofu every day, wouldn't that make rapid progress? Teacher Mu Yue, look. Obito looked at the rapidly melting ice in his hand and shouted to Mu Yue excitedly. Mu Yue nodded slightly after looking at it. The ice cube that was originally the size of a palm shrank by one size in one minute. Great, keep it up and don't forget this feeling. Mu Yue nodded in affirmation, not forgetting to remind Obito to stay calm. Uh-huh. Obito nodded quickly and stared at the ice with all his concentration, continuing to release chakra. He was very excited that he had made considerable progress. Sometimes it's unbearable to practice boringly because you never get feedback. If he could make such progress every time he practiced, Obito felt that he might also become a training fanatic. Obito, you don't hate spicy food, right? Mu Yue asked suddenly with a smile. Hot? If it can be as delicious as the one just now, it doesn't matter if it's a little spicy. Obito couldn't help but lick his lips as he spoke, remembering the delicious meal just now. This is the first time he has eaten such delicious stir-fry although the chili pepper in it is a bit spicy. It is delicious. Don't worry, it's guaranteed to be delicious. Muyue patted Obito on the shoulder. You said this yourself. Obito, who was working hard to melt the ice, suddenly had a bad feeling. Could it be? Could it be? He was obviously holding an ice cube in his hand, but Obito couldn't control the chills on his back. Teacher Muyu, I actually like fried rice. Obito tried to redeem himself. Well, Chili fried rice, right? I'll make it for you. Mu Yue showed a gentle smile. Can chili fried rice be made without chili? Obito asked eagerly. He had a very bad memory. That time he ate something very spicy. And then he knew what spicy ends were. If he ate the spicy food that Mu Yue said every day, Obito would be afraid that he would not be able to get out after entering the bathroom. Chili fried rice without fried rice? I didn't expect you to have such a strong taste, but it's not impossible. Mu Yue is selectively deaf. After hearing Mu Yue's words, Obito's eyes darkened and his legs softened, and he almost fainted on the spot. He looked at Shisui for help. Shisui, who had just finished eating and was still reminiscing, noticed Obito's eyes looking directly up at the sky, pretending not to see it. It's not that he, Uchiha Shisui, doesn't care about his fellow clan but it's just that it's not easy to get involved in this matter. 
After all, Obito did improve his training efficiency after eating. Maybe eating spicy food has a miraculous effect on the changes in the nature of fire. Moreover, Obito himself said it was delicious, and just now he was eating it while shouting it was spicy. Of course, the main reason was that he knew that the result would be that he and Obito would eat together. Although Shisui doesn't mind eating spicy food, he doesn't want to eat spicy food every day, and he doesn't have the need to quickly change his nature. Obito looked at Metkai. Metkai noticed Obito's gaze, smiled at Obito, and gave a thumbs up and said, you should eat more spicy food in your hot youth, Obito. At this time, his hands are cold and his heart is even colder. The family brotherhood and the teacher sect friendship are all unreliable at the critical moment. Obito exploded with chakra and melted all the ice on his hands with a sudden breath and straightened his goggles with his hands. Teacher, I think it's too troublesome for you to cook three dishes separately. It would be much easier if you just cook more of one dish and give it to us in three portions, Obito said, as if he was thinking about Mu Yue. If this is the case, then everyone will not live well and die together. Sounds good. Mu Yue showed a serious thinking expression. Of course, he knew what Obito was thinking, but Mu Yue still chose the answer that was entertaining. Jishi Sui could no longer maintain his indifferent expression. He didn't expect that this clan brother who behaved a bit silly in daily life would be so resourceful in pulling people into the water. Hot youth should be eaten together by everyone, Metkai said with a laugh. It turned out that he really thought so. Obito Shisui thought speechlessly in his heart. Mu Yue thought about it and felt that this was not bad. Anyway, the taste was guaranteed. Obito Shisui had to practice fire escape, and Metkai was also willing to eat it. From that day on, Obito Shizui Metkai lived a fiery life in the physical sense. So spicy and delicious. Even though Obito was in tears due to the heat, he still couldn't help but keep eating the mapo tofu in the box. So spicy, tasty. Metkai also burst into tears while eating mapo tofu. But the difference was that Metkai was moved rather than crying. Shizui, who was constantly exhaling from the heat, silently distanced himself from the two of them by a small distance. The three of them went to the bathroom together, went in standing, and bent down to hold onto the wall when they came out. When she was at school, Lin saw Obito always sticking his butt out for no apparent reason. So she worriedly asked, Obito, are you feeling unwell? Obito showed a melancholy expression and said, no, it's just a small side effect of practicing hard. Lin, you can't imagine how much my fire escape has improved this time. I will definitely defeat Kakashi in this juvenile ninjutsu competition, Obito said confidently. One of the reasons why he persisted in his hard training was to wash away his previous shame, defeat Kakashi in front of Lin, and win first place. But Kakashi probably won't sign up for the competition. He is a chunin. This competition is usually only attended by U.S. ninja school students. Nohara Lean said. She believed that Obito had really improved his strength through hard training. But how could Kakashi, who had already become a ninja, participate in such a folk competition? Ah, Obito was dumbfounded. He always assumed that Kakashi would participate. Obito was a little irritated. Without Kakashi's participation, it would be pointless for him to get first place. What Obito wants is to defeat Kakashi to avenge his humiliation and to win the first place under Nohara Rin's watch. Without Kakashi, Obito won't be too happy to win the first place. His obsession with being number one in the junior ninjutsu competition was entirely caused by Kakashi. In front of Nohara Rin, Kakashi won the first place by crushing his score, which made Obito's victory speech become a big talk. Obito has always remembered this, but he has never been able to win before. Now that he has the ability to win everything, it turns out that his opponent has jumped out, which makes Obito very unhappy. No, I have to let Kakashi participate in the competition. The more Obito thought about it, the more he realized that the game without Kakashi would be impossible. You can wait until school is over to find Kakashi and ask him if he has any ideas for participating. Nohara Lin suggested, I can go with you. It just so happens that we haven't seen Kakashi for a long time. Although the relationship between the three is very good, 
Since Kakashi graduated, they have fewer opportunities to meet. She and Obito need to go to school every day as students. And Kakashi also needs to do tasks as a ninja. Good. Obito nodded, thinking Nohara Rin's idea was a good one. Obito and Muyue took a day off before school. He would not go to Muyue's place after school today. He would settle Kakashi's matter first. After school, Nohara Rin and Obito went directly to Kakashi's house. Kakashi's home is not in the main city, but in the suburbs next to the main city. Although it is not prosperous enough, it is not as crowded as the main city. Nohara Rin and Obito had been to Kakashi's house before and were even invited in for dinner. Looking at the large flat story house with a sloping roof that came into view, the two of them knew they had arrived. The two of them were lucky. Kakashi didn't do any tasks today. When they arrived at Kakashi's house, Kakashi was practicing in the yard. Kakashi held a silver chakra, short blade, and chopped off a scarecrow's head and limbs in two or three strokes. Seeing a friend coming, Kakashi breathed out gently, inserted the short chakra blade back behind his back, and asked, why are you here? It's been a long time since we played together. We all miss you so much. So we came here to look for you, Nohara Rin said with a smile. Obito was not as polite as Nohara Rin and asked directly, Kakashi, the junior ninjutsu competition is about to begin. Do you want to sign up to participate? Junior ninjutsu competition? Kakashi thought about it and realized that this was a folk competition that he had participated in when he was still in school out of boredom. Not participating, not interested. Kakashi replied calmly. In his opinion, that kind of competition is just for children, and the reward for first place is just a more refined kunai. Even when he was in ninja school, he only participated because he was bored, let alone now. Obito's face fell. Kakashi refused too decisively. Why didn't you participate before? Obito asked unwillingly. He really wanted Kakashi to compete. I was still a student at the ninja school at that time, and now I'm a chunin. Kakashi pointed to the ninja forehead protector on his head. Obito felt that Kakashi was hinting at something. He was also a student at that time, and he is still a student now. Chunin or not, there is no age limit anyway, Obito continued. Do I have to say directly that I am not interested in this kind of children's playhouse game? Seeing that Obito wanted to stalk him, Kakashi said without mercy, Obito is getting a little red hot. What kind of house game is obviously a junior ninjutsu competition? I will also participate in the competition, Kakashi. Are you afraid of losing to me? The somewhat anxious Obito also started to become more aggressive. Lost to you? Have you ever defeated me? Kakashi said expressionlessly. Two. Obito frantically searched for memories in his mind and surprisingly found that he had indeed not defeated Kakashi. Obito's face turned red when he discovered this frustrating fact. Kakashi, don't be proud. I am different now than before. Obito put his hands on his hips to show that he was no longer what he used to be. Kakashi looked at Obito, wearing goggles and sportswear, with a silly smile on his face and hands on his hips. He looked so silly. Kakashi said honestly, I didn't see it. Konoha's foul language. Obito couldn't hold himself any longer. You guys, after finally seeing each other, you are still the same as before. Nohara Lin covered her mouth and chuckled while watching this scene. This scene in front of me has been played out in front of Nohara Rin countless times. Obito likes to compete with Kakashi, but Obito always suffers in the end. Obito took a deep breath and calmed down temporarily. He suddenly thought of his teacher, Mu Yue. If it were teacher Mu Yue, what method would he use? Obito was lost in thought. In order to make him practice more seriously, Mu Yue asked him to do one more question before he was hit more than once. Although it was difficult to practice, doing the questions was more uncomfortable, so he chose the lesser of two evils and practiced more seriously to reduce the number of hits. Number of hits. The lesser of two evils. Obito suddenly had an idea and thought of a way. Kakashi. Didn't you say that I can't beat you? Do you dare to bet with me once? Obito smiled provocatively. Kakashi's expression remained unchanged, and he said calmly, Betting on who comes first in a competition. 
Do you think I would fall for such a stupid provocation? To participate in this meaningless competition, it is better to read more books. Of course not. Don't let you think you are very powerful? Then why don't you try to see whether your eyesight is stronger or my hand speed is faster? Obito said, if you win, I won't talk about the competition and treat you to five ramen. If you lose, you just need to participate in the competition. As long as Kakashi didn't agree, he would keep pestering him to participate in the junior ninjutsu competition. Then Kakashi would naturally agree to the simpler and faster competition. Kakashi did not rush to agree, but asked, how exactly is the comparison? Obito picked a leaf from the tree next to Kakashi's house and put it on his palm and said, it's very simple. I will quickly switch the leaves between my left and right hands. Finally, you can guess which hand the leaves are on. Isn't it very simple? Kakashi thought for a while and felt that Obito's hand speed could not be faster than his eyes. So he agreed directly. He knew Obito's temperament and might keep pestering him until night. It's better to use the simple competition to let Obito know the gap between the two. Obito used his hand speed to the extreme, shaking his left and right hands wildly, which lasted for about five minutes before stopping. Right hand. Kakashi pointed directly at Obito's right hand where the blade was hidden. I really don't know where you got the courage to compete with me. Kakashi was a little disappointed. He thought Obito could be so fast, but the result was that the blade never left his sight. Hearing Kakashi's words, Obito laughed out loud and asked, Kakashi, are you sure it's this hand? Once it's confirmed, it can't be changed. Want to defraud me? It's your right hand, open it quickly. Kakashi didn't change his mind because of Obito's smile. He just thought that Obito was bluffing. Then I opened it. Obito slowly opened his right hand. There is a funeral today. So I'm writing this in a bit of a hurry. If you have any questions, you can ask them. I will change them later when I see them. When the right hand was completely spread out, there was only a little black ash on it without the green leaves before. After the wind blew away the black ash, there was nothing left. Obito smiled proudly and said, Kakashi, it seems you guessed wrong. Kakashi narrowed his eyes slightly, grabbed Obito's left hand and opened it. As he expected, it was empty. After a little thought, he figured out the cause and effect. Changes in the properties of fire attribute chakra. Kakashi looked at Obito in surprise. Unexpectedly, Obito not only mastered the initial changes in nature, but also had the brains to trick him. Although the former is a bit bizarre, it is not impossible, and the latter really surprised Kakashi. Ha ha ha, Kakashi, you didn't expect that. The smile on Obito's face gradually grew arrogant. It's a bit surprising indeed. It seems I've been slacking off recently. Kakashi's expression returned to calm. Although he felt that Obito had grown a lot, Kakashi looked at Obito's arrogant face and didn't want to boast at all. Damn, Kakashi, what do you mean? Obito was a little unhappy. If you lose to him, you are slacking off. Doesn't it mean that he is very good? Kakashi said calmly, literally. Obito originally wanted to say goodbye to Kakashi again, but then he thought that since he had accomplished his goal, it was better to go back to practice quickly. This time, he defeated Kakashi, but there was no such chance of trickery during the competition, and the battle was all about hard power. Forget it, I'm in a good mood today, so I won't argue with you. Remember to sign up for the competition. You won't deny your defeat, Obito said. Be willing to admit defeat. Kakashi gave the answer. Originally, he thought this competition was uninteresting, but seeing how much Obito had grown, Kakashi felt that he could give it a little more hope. With their goal accomplished, Nohara Rin and Obito soon said goodbye to Kakashi and left. Obito, how did you do that just now? It feels so amazing. On the way out, Nohara Lin and Obito talked about the gambling fight just now. After receiving Nohara Rin's praise, Obito instantly swelled up and laughed. Ha 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 ha. It's just a change in the nature of chakra. It's not too powerful. Because he was so carried away, Obito didn't pay attention to the road and bumped into a telephone pole next to Kakashi's house. Damn, Kakashi. Obito thinks this is caused by the location of Kakashi's electric poles. Kakashi, who was watching them leave, he retracted the little expectation in his heart. Hasn't this changed at all? He is still as naive as before. 
In the ninjutsu class, after Mu Yue completed the lectures and demonstrations, he let the students practice on their own. If they didn't understand something during practice, they could ask him questions directly. Mu Yue is well aware of the gap between theory and practice. Most of the time, it is the brain that says it understands after seeing it, and then the body tells it that you understand loneliness. I am used to using my avatar to look like myself, but it feels so uncomfortable to have another image. Gang Zidi scratched his head and said, How about asking Hanyu Sensei if he has any special techniques, Kamizuki Izumo suggested. Anko also nodded and said, If you have any questions, just ask Mr. Hanyu. The three of them are working together to develop a new ninjutsu, combining clones and transformations, hoping to shock the whole school and achieve better results in the next final exam. The three of them agreed and walked to Mu Yue's side to express their problems. Mu Yue thought for a while and then said, You can try to start with simple objects to familiarize yourself with this feeling and then gradually become more complex. Simple objects. Gang Zi Tai fell into deep thought. Hong Du saw the chair on the podium, pointed directly at the chair and said, Let's start with the chair. This is simple enough. Gang Zidi looked at it and nodded. The structure of the seat was indeed simple enough. After all, it was just a combination of several pieces of wood and one plank. So, the three of them began to practice according to Mu Yue's suggestion, and the style of the classroom gradually became strange. There are some more seats with three legs, two legs, or even one leg in the classroom. It seems that the chair is not as easy as imagined. Kamazuki Izumo scratched his head in embarrassment. He was the one who conjured up the one-legged chair. Do you want to laugh me to death? Izumo. Gangziti immediately pointed at the chair with one leg of Shenyu Izumo and laughed loudly. The movement of steel attracted the attention of students in the entire classroom, who were all amused by this magical chair. Isn't that two-legged chair of yours weird? Kamazuki Izumo countered with a red face. Everyone looked at the chair next to Gangzi Tai. There was a leg on the front and back, but they were still on the same side, and they couldn't help laughing. If you two can't do it, you still have to look at me for being second in my grade. Anko crossed her arms and saw that her chair not only had three legs, it was also moving around her. Seeing this strange scene, the students in the classroom became even more nervous. Because the school was about to end, the laughter even attracted students from other classes to watch. Amidst the laughter and laughter, the school bell rang, and Mu Yue also announced the end of Get Out of Class. Lecture Completed Evaluation A Reward, Palm Immortal Technique A piece of memory about the practice of palm immortality and its use came into Mu Yue's mind. Good luck today. Mu Yue nodded secretly when she saw that the reward was actually palm immortal technique. Palm ninjutsu is not an ordinary medical ninjutsu. It is a very advanced medical ninjutsu. There are not many medical ninjas who master palm ninjutsu in Konoha. Palm immortal technique can not only treat external injuries, but also internal diseases. It is very powerful in this area. With the palm senjutsu, Obito's practice changes are safer, and he can be treated immediately if he is injured. Now the seven attributes are complete, Mu Yue thought in her heart. Palm immortal technique is a change in the nature of Yang attribute chakra. Because he has not mastered this attribute, the system gave him a little nature change training memory as usual. Coupled with the previous yin escape illusion, he has mastered the changes in the nature of seven attributes. After school, Mu Yue led his disciples to practice every day. After the practice, he did not return to the main city, but stayed at his residence in the southern forest. Today was the day for him to report to the Root Organization mission, since Shisui's personality is originally different from ordinary Uchiha. Mu Yue reported truthfully in this aspect, while Mu Yue used a little writing technique in other places. For example, in the grade practical examination, Hinata Huato defeated his opponent with overwhelming force and showed his genius, while Obito and Metkai, just won by luck and luck, accounted for most of them. On Asma's mission, Mu Yue said that she had been successfully recognized as a teacher by Asma and asked if she should try to pull Asma into the root organization. As long as Danzo does not have Alzheimer's disease, 
Mu Yue believes that Danzo will not give him a definite reply. The reason for reporting like this is simply to let Danzo know that he has completed his mission well and has been recognized by Asuma, and also to express his loyalty to the root. I didn't sleep well yesterday. I had a funeral in the morning and caught up on my sleep in the afternoon, so the update was a little late. The root organization moved very quickly. As soon as Mu Yue reported, a root organization ninja came to his yard quietly the next morning. This is Danso Sama's order. The root organization ninja handed the two scrolls to Mu Yue. Mu Yue nodded and took the scroll. Mu Yue first opened the scroll assigning tasks. As before, the root organization ninja didn't talk too much and left directly after the things were delivered. Sensing the disappearance of the root organization ninja's aura, Mu Yue walked into the house and began to check the contents of the scroll. It's pretty much the same as before. The first part is the PUA content, praising Mu Yue for completing the task very well, not living up to the training of the organization, but still needs to work hard in the future. Mu Yue mainly read the content behind carefully. Danzo answered Mu Yue's question about whether he wanted to recruit a Suma into the root organization last time. That is, it was not necessary. Danzo said that Mu Yue only needs to teach Asma normally and become Asma's important teacher, and there is no need to do other unnecessary things. He also told Mu Yue not to expose any abnormalities. This answer was pretty much what Mu Yue expected. Pulling a Suma into the root organization is like Danzo sitting in the Hokage's office waiting for me to regret it. Although Danzo's root tissue is not weak, his current strength depends entirely on absorbing nutrients from the ANBU. As the real Hokage, it is too easy for Sarutobi Hiruzen to grasp the root. In addition, we need to keep an eye on Uchiha students, evaluate them to see if they have any anti-Konoha tendencies, and pay attention to the emergence of geniuses who can be absorbed by the roots. As for the other scroll, they contain several hard-to-buy high-level secret medicines as a reward for Mu Yue's excellent completion of the task. Mu Yue put away the scroll containing the secret medicine and burned the other scroll. In this world, a stable life has become a luxury. Mu Yue swept up the ashes and poured them into the trash can, looking into the courtyard with an indifferent expression. This life of waking up in the morning with a heavily armed ninja standing in the yard made him uncomfortable. But Mu Yue has no choice now. He had thought about whether to directly expose his strength when teaching Asuma, let Sarutobi see his value, and then jump to the third generation so that the curse seal problem could be solved. This idea was quickly rejected by Mu Yue. He could change jobs by being appreciated by Sarutobi, but not by exposing his strength. Sarutobi Hiruzen didn't know his specific strength and the ninjutsu he had learned. As long as ninjutsu like Suisanbo was not exposed, it could basically be explained. But Danzo was different. The original owner was trained by Danzo and knew too much information. If he changes jobs by exposing his strength, Danzo may tell the third generation about Mozuki and then be treated as a spy. Mu Yue believes that there are only three situations in which his strength can be exposed. One is that Danso is going to use him as a consumable, and then he can find an opportunity to expose his strength. The second is to wait until his strength reaches the level of Sanin, so that he can take action during the war and help Konoha in times of crisis, even if he didn't know how he got his strength. Mu Yue would only become a hero, not a spy. The third type is to have the power to overthrow Konoha, at that time, it doesn't matter whether you are exposed or not. Mu Yue adjusted her expression and went to the ninja school. She walked into the office in the classroom with a gentle smile. When you don't have enough strength, you should still be a gentle and warm man that everyone likes. On Saturday, Obito went to the training ground early and started practicing. Pick up a palm-sized ice cube and put it on your palm, condense chakra in your palm, and start the practice of changing its properties. After about 10 seconds, the ice disappeared, and the traces of water on the ground were proof of its existence. Mu Yue next to her nodded. The speed of Obito's melting six days ago was not even comparable to the speed of natural melting of ice. It took six days to practice to this extent, 
which was beyond expectations. After all, he had never thought that he would develop the skill of chef before, let alone that this life skill could be useful in the practice of changing nature. Being able to progress to this level in a short period of time is a big contributor to Mapo Tofu. You have initially mastered the trick of changing properties, and the next step is to continuously enhance your maximum output, Mu Yue said as she took out an ice cube as big as a human head from the barrel and placed it on the ground. Your next goal is to melt the ice within 10 seconds. Mu Yue announced that the practice has entered the next stage. Ah, this is too big. Obito looked at the ice cube as big as a human head and scratched his head. It had grown too much this time. This time you are pursuing the limit of instantaneous property changes. You don't have to worry about the consumption of chakra. Use it with all your strength. Rest when you are tired and continue practicing when you are rested. This stage takes time to grind. Unless you have Naruto's vitality and chakra, you can unscrupulously create a large number of shadow clones to gain experience. It's not comparable to a wall hanging like Naruto, but compared to ordinary people, Obito is already good. After all, the taught skills are somewhat useful, and he also has special cooking blessing status. When it was almost noon, Mu Yue asked the three disciples to stop practicing. You must be tired of eating the same dishes every day. Today we are having hot pot, Mu Yue said with a smile. Although with the blessing of skills, a student who has always been a dish should be very happy. But Mu Yue pursues a higher degree of trust, so he has to do better. Great, I finally don't have to eat that super spicy tofu. Obito suddenly jumped up excitedly. It's not that Maipo tofu doesn't even taste good, but eating it every day will make going to the toilet extremely painful. I only prepared the bottom of the pot. As for the ingredients, it depends on what you find later. Mu Yue continued, I want to eat fish. After Obito said that, he took out his kunai and ran to the river to prepare for fishing. Let me help you. When the enthusiastic Metkai heard that Obito wanted to eat fish, he sprinted 100 meters and plunged into the water, causing a lot of splashes. Obito, who was looking around for opportunities to catch fish, was immediately hit with a chill. Akai, Obito's fist hardened. The next moment, Metkai caught two fish and came up. He looked at Obito with a puzzled look and asked, Obito, you called me? Yes, I want to say that, Akai. You are so interesting and worthy of being a good brother. Obito looked at the two fresh fishes in Metkai's hands and instantly changed his expression and praised them. Shisui dug some wild vegetables and mushrooms in the forest. The three of them also worked together to kill a wild boar. Metkai attracted attention. Shisui attacked Obito and assisted and the three of them worked together to take down the wild boar. Mu Yue cooked the bottom of the pot first, and then processed the ingredients they sent, separate several shadow clones to work together, and quickly process ingredients. In fact, the wild boar and fish are a little more troublesome. The wild vegetables and mushrooms are washed and cut in half, and then put in directly. There was no fire, so Obito put his hands down to use as a humanoid heater, which he also treated as a form of training. The four masters and apprentices made lunch using local materials in the forest. Although there was no overly complicated process, and the ingredients were only obtained locally, and it was delicious before Muyo cooked it directly, Shisui was very happy to eat and felt very warm. This was a feeling he rarely experienced after losing his parents at a very young age. Disciple Uchiha Shisui's trust level has been improved, and the current trust level is three. After picking up the meat in the pot and eating it, Mu Yue also smiled. Mu Yue returned to her house in the main city on Saturday afternoon. Since the two parties had eaten and drank with each other a few times, and the relationship had become familiar, Mu Yue directly called them to his house before cooking. Hanyu, what are you going to cook today? Kushina asked curiously. Several times at Mu Yue's house, Kushina never had the same meal. It doesn't matter that there are many tricks. The key is that Mu Yue can make them delicious, which makes Kushina admire and envy her. Mushroom soup and stir-fried mushrooms. Mu Yue pointed to a plastic bag full of mushrooms next to the sink and said, At noon, Shisui and the others prepared too many ingredients, including various fish and wild vegetables, and even worked together to hunt a wild boar. Mu Yue took the uneaten ingredients home. Apart from anything else, wild fungi are indeed fresh, 
but they must be cooked thoroughly. Otherwise, you will suffer from food poisoning. Diarrhea is a trivial matter, and it is not impossible to lie down on the bed. Isn't this a wild mushroom picked in the forest? Kushina saw that the mushrooms were of different sizes and didn't look like they were bought. This reminded her of the first time she teased Mu Yue when she had dinner at Mu Yue's house. Did she add some strangely colored mushrooms that made her hallucinate? If there really was that kind of mushroom inside, and with Mu Yue's cooking skills, eating it would be like being under an illusion. Mu Yue nodded and said, Today I had a picnic in the forest with a few students at noon. I made too much food and didn't finish it, so I took the extra food home. Hanyu, are you taking the students on a picnic? Kashina asked with some envy. She went to ninja school for six years and never saw a teacher that was that good. Even taking the students on a picnic. Those students have a relatively good relationship with me, Mu Yue explained. Hanyu, do you want to help? I'll wash the vegetables. Minato, who was embarrassed to be a freeloader, took the initiative to help. Nabofeng, please help me wash the mushrooms. I'll deal with the wild boar first. Mu Yue was not polite and directly arranged work for Minato. If you are too polite all the time, it will not be conducive to the development of friendship. Emotions need to come and go in order to improve, because there are three people to eat, in addition to mushroom soup and stir-fried mushrooms. Mu Yue is also going to make a side of braised pork. In his previous life, he didn't know why he felt like vomiting whenever he ate fatty meat, but he could only accept the fat and pork belly. He even thought the fat and thin pork belly was more delicious. Braised pork with pickled vegetables was his favorite dish. But there are no pickles at the moment, so I can only make braised pork instead of braised pork with pickles. What about me? What do I do? Looking at the backs of Minato and Mozuki, Kushina scratched her head. Why did she feel that they were two brothers who had a good relationship and cooked together? And she became an outsider. There is no more space here, so just sit down and wait for your meal, Mu Yue replied. This is not a restaurant kitchen, so three people working together will only make things more difficult. The two of them are just right, and there isn't much that needs help. So the bored Kushina sat on the chair in the living room, and she casually picked up a book placed on the low table. Huh. Kushina was a little surprised when she saw the title on the cover. It was a book related to sealing techniques. What is sealing technique? Hanyu, why are you still reading this kind of book? It doesn't work just by looking at the name. You might as well. Kushina paused because she turned the page and saw the words, Uzumaki Ashi's Masterpiece. Ahem, this book is pretty good, Muyue. You can take a good look at it. Kushina coughed twice and reorganized her words. Well, I have seen it several times. Uzumaki Ashina-sama is indeed the founder of Konoha's sealing technique. Even someone like me who doesn't know anything about sealing can gain a lot from reading this book. Mu Yue replied while handling the pork. Of course, this is the leader of our Uzumaki clan, Kushina said with a proud look on her face. But Mu Yue, are you still interested in the sealing technique? Kushina asked curiously. I am very interested and feel that the sealing technique is very mysterious and powerful, Mu Yue said with a longing look on her face. From the perspective of improving strength, sealing is indeed a good choice, Minato said with a nod. The three of them chatted about the sealing technique until the meal was finished. Mu Yue spent most of the time listening, and from time to time he would come up with some new ideas, which gave Minato and Kushina a greater sense of accomplishment. Kushina first tried the braised pork, which she had never eaten before, and it was amazing after one bite. The soft, glutinous, fat, and not greasy texture made Kushina take a big mouthful of rice. This is so delicious. Why have I never seen such a delicious dish before? Kushina immediately fell in love with the taste of braised pork. If you want to learn, I can teach you, Mu Yue said with a smile. It's a deal. Minato and I will help you buy groceries tomorrow night, Kushina nodded quickly and said. After saying that, Kushina glanced at the plate of fried mushrooms and found that most of it was gone. Minato kept cooking while they discussed how to teach them how to cook. I haven't eaten yet, Minato. Please save some for me. Kushina didn't care about anything else and quickly started to cook. 
The first bite also succeeded in surprising Kushina. It was so fresh. After eating and drinking, the three of them went out for a walk together. It was inevitable to chat while walking. Muyu had told some interesting things about teaching, and Minato and Kushina also told some anecdotes about their own tasks. With two days left before the competition, Muyu began to conduct final training with Obito. If you want your ninjutsu to look more powerful, in addition to changing its properties and chakra amount, you can also change its form to make it look more powerful, Muyu has said. But there are only two days left. Is it still too late to practice the form changes? Obito scratched his head and said, Of course it's too late. Muyue said directly that Obito was not that talented in ninjutsu. But you don't need to control the shape changes. You just need to master my improved fireball. In order for Obito to get first place and maximize the rewards for training tasks, Muyue worked very hard. He specially modified the How fireball to make it look bigger. But in fact, there were not that many flames inside and its power remained unchanged. In short, it looks bluffing. Anyway, the boys' ninjutsu competition doesn't involve fighting. It's just a matter of each person performing a ninjutsu to see who has the higher score. Teacher Mu Yui, you are simply my six paths immortal. When Obito heard Mu Yue's words, he immediately felt that number one was absolutely stable. Against himself, who has the guidance of teacher Mu Yue, Kakashi has no chance of winning. After all, you have said something like a lifelong request. As a teacher, of course I have to go all out, Mu Yue said with a smile, deliberately cultivating Obito's awareness of asking the teacher for help. Hey, hey. Obito smiled sheepishly. Pay close attention to practice. Mu Yue knocked Obito on the head. Yes! Obito immediately started practicing. He couldn't wait to defeat Kakashi and take first place in front of Nohara Rin. In the evening, the Uchiha tribe. E. Obito, don't eat in such a hurry or you may choke. After hearing what Grandma said, Obito grilled the rice a little slower and explained, Grandma, a friend invited me to play. Which friend? Is it Xiaolin? Grandma Obito looked at Obito with a smile and asked, Since Nohara Rin often comes to play with Obito, Obito's grandma also knows Nohara Rin. Yeah, but there are other people too. Obito replied while eating, Tomorrow the junior ninjutsu competition will begin. He had really practiced hard all day today and he was very tired. Perhaps because he and Kakashi will become competitors again tomorrow, Nohara Lin invited them to hang out and relax tonight. Because Kakashi was there, Obito also called Metkai along. I'm stuffed. After eating, Obito wiped his mouth and got ready to go out. Grandma Obito followed her to the entrance and said with a smile, I want to join you, Obito. I also want to see my great-grandson. Obito almost fell to the ground with a somersault, turned around and shouted with a red face, Grandma, I'm still in school. Although I do have thoughts in my heart, I'm too young now. Everyone agreed to gather on the south street of the main city. When Obito arrived, he found that the other three had already arrived, and he was the last one. On the way, I met an old lady who needed help, so I slowed down a little. Obito explained, it's really easy for you to meet an old lady like this every time. Kakashi felt that this was somewhat outrageous. I don't know either, but when you see an old lady in need of help, you can't ignore her. Obito felt a little wronged because he did help the old lady on the road. Okay, it's okay. It should be that Obito is too kind and has a pair of eyes that are good at finding those who need help. Nohara Lin walked between the two of them with her hands behind her back and smiled softly. After solving this little episode, the four of them walked down the street together. There are so many people, Kakashi. How about we compete to see who can get through the crowd faster? Metkai couldn't help but ask. As he looked at the dense crowd of people on the street, forgive me for refusing. Kakashi decisively refused, leaving no illusions for Metkai. This kind of challenge was too stupid. There was an event held on the street here today. So many people came, Nohara Lin explained. Then Nohara Lin led the three of them to the event venue. The whole street was full of vendors, brightly lit, and people in Yukata walked together. Look, this goldfish is so cute. Nohara Lin found a goldfish fishing stall, smiled and waved to everyone. Little sister, do you want to give it a try? You can buy a net for only 10 tails, the stall owner said seductively. 10 Liang, 
Nohara Lin showed a thoughtful expression. Just ten liang is nothing, but a net may not be enough. This kind of paper net is too easy to break. I'll try. Obito stepped forward and handed the boss a net of money. Obito directly targeted the most active and beautiful fish. As a result, he netted it two or three times but failed to catch the fish and the net was broken. Come again. Obito was not discouraged and tried again, but still failed. Until the ninth time, Nohara Lin directly stopped Obito and said, Forget it. Let's go shopping elsewhere. Eighty tails is enough to buy a bowl of ramen, but I've tried it so many times and I'm more proficient than before. Wouldn't it be a shame to end it now? Obito said hesitantly. I'll come and play too. Metkai, who had never played before, rolled up his sleeves and prepared to catch the fish with all his strength. Bang! The stick tied with the finger net broke. Let me do it, Kakashi said calmly. Handed the twelve liang to the boss and caught a goldfish in the net. For you. Kakashi handed the fish packed by the boss to Nohara Rin. Nohara Lin smiled happily and said, Thank you, Kakashi. Then he added, Thank you, Obito and Kai, too. Obito, who originally had a grimace on his face, suddenly showed a silly smile. Next, the four of them played around together, stabbing the handles with shurikens to identify the clones. After playing until the number of people on the street gradually dwindled, I was ready to buy some octopus balls and go back to each house. Kakashi, just wait and see tomorrow. I will definitely be the first this time. Even after taking a bite of the octopus balls, Obito didn't forget to say harsh words. If you want the first prize, I can get it and give it to you. Kakashi at this time was very aggressive. The harsh words exchanged between the two made Metkai's blood boil. If there was a junior taijutsu competition, he would definitely invite Kakashi to compete. The next day, I didn't, they didn't have to go to school because it was Sunday. The competition started in the afternoon and Obito went to do the final training in the morning. The junior ninjutsu competition was held in a commercial street in the main city of Konoha. Obito heard that it was held by an old ninja store manager to encourage ninja school students. Later, everyone saw that it could attract traffic, so they pooled money to hold it together, and it was held every year. Obito, which ninjutsu are you planning to use in this competition? Nohara Lin asked, the art of powerful fireball. Obito didn't keep it secret, but told Nohara Rin directly. Aren't you going to use the dragon fire technique that you used in the previous practical exam? Nohara Lin was a little confused. The last time Obito lost to Kakashi, he used Go Fireball with a full score of 30 points, a full nine points lower than Kakashi. This time is different from last time. Now my fireball technique is very strong. Obito showed a confident look. He believed that his powerful fireball would definitely shock the audience. Well, then I'm looking forward to your performance. Nohara Lin smiled softly. Come on, Obito. As my old enemy, that man is not that easy to defeat. Metkai crossed his arms and said with an inscrutable expression, Want me to leave? Kakashi, who was silent on the side, spoke up. Why did you start discussing how to defeat him in front of him? Kakashi, what ninjutsu are you going to use? Nohara Lin immediately asked with a smile. I haven't thought about it yet. I'll just use anyone at that time. Maybe I'll use the earth flow wall. Kakashi thought for a moment and said, This is not a pretense, because he has quite a lot of ninjutsu, and he can really use it casually in this kind of competition. Obito looked around and found that he saw many acquaintances from the ninja school, and also saw two ninjas wearing forehead protectors. This time there were a lot more people than last time, Obito said as he recalled the last competition. Because the rewards have increased, this time the first place will not only get an exquisite silver-plated kunai, but also a bonus of 8,000 tails, Nohara Lin said. 8,000 tails. Obito's eyes widened, and he was even more determined to win first place. This is 8,000 tails. Whether it is treating Lin to dinner or giving gifts, it is very easy. When the game starts, player number one is invited to perform. Very good. Thanks to contestant number one. It's performance of the avatar technique, his score is eight points. Next, we invite contestant number two to perform. Teacher Muyu, why do you come to watch this kind of competition? It feels like a waste of time. There are very few official ninjas in this kind of competition. 
Asuma asked in confusion as soon as he arrived at the scene and saw the poor clone skills of the contestants on the stage. Muyu said with a smile, Asuma, have you forgotten your last battle with Shisui? Never underestimate anyone. Asuma was speechless all of a sudden. If Mu Yue hadn't comforted him in time during the battle with Uchiha Shizui, he might have been beaten to autism. It would be beneficial to know more about the strengths of peers in the village, Mu Yue said casually. The main reason is that he is afraid that Obito will fall off the chain, and he will feel more at ease if he goes to the scene to see it. Asuma looked around and felt like he saw some familiar people. Kakashi is actually here. He won't be participating too, right? That's really a bit bullying. Asuma soon discovered Kakashi and his group. He and Kakashi are friends, and they know how perverted this guy is. He graduated as a chunin at the age of five and six, and his talent is extremely scary. While others were still learning to form seals and practice the three-body technique, Kakashi had already begun to practice various ninjutsu practices and changes in nature. Not only Kakashi, Asuma also saw the Uchiha Shisui who had defeated him before. Asuma is really looking forward to the confrontation between Uchiha Shisui and Kakashi. The two big perverts can have their own fun. Invite the second player, Gang Zidi, to come on stage. The host called the second contestant's name with enthusiasm. Gang Zidi immediately walked to the stage after hearing it. Zidi, come on! Kamizuki Azumo cheered for his good brother. He felt that he had not reached the level of cultivation, so he did not participate in the competition. Hongdu is interested in participating, but she is busy today and cannot participate. Gangzi T, which ninjutsu do you want to perform? The host bent down and asked with a smile. What I want to perform is the enemy confusion technique that my friends and I developed together, Gangzi T said with pride. Izumo Kamizuki in the audience showed a proud smile. He also had a share of credit for this ninjutsu. We really can't underestimate the new generation. Even though our steel players are young, they have already started to develop new endurance. The host couldn't help but praise. I'd like to take the liberty to ask, what grade are you currently in at ninja school? Gang Zi Tai, the host asked. Gang Zitia answered honestly, first grade, impressive. The host was very surprised. The first year students have not studied for more than two months. If they can use the three-body technique, they have learned well. The audience in the audience also felt incredible, especially the other second and third grade students who felt that their studies were in vain. Muyue had already vaguely guessed what Ninjutsu Gangziti would perform, but she didn't know how far it had been completed. The host stepped back a distance and said, Next, let everyone appreciate the Gangziti player's ability to confuse the enemy. Gangziti quickly formed seals to guide chakra, and with a pop, White smoke flashed, and a chair taller than Gang Zidi appeared on the stage. Quiet. The scene fell into dead silence. Everyone looked at the chair that was taller than him next to Gang Zitai with question marks on their faces, thinking about something. The host thought that after hosting the competition for five years, he would no longer be overwhelmed by any ninjutsu. But today he lost. He froze for a while and did not come on stage immediately. Ahem, steel player, this. Uh, your ninjutsu. The host didn't know how to ask for a while. Isn't the purpose of the clone technique to confuse the enemy? My ninjutsu mainly combines the clone technique with the transformation technique to achieve a better confusing effect. Gang Zidi revealed the original intention of developing ninjutsu. So why a chair? The host couldn't help but ask. He didn't know if the enemy would be confused and his teammates must have a question mark in their minds. Because the chair's easy to change, it won't hot change into anything else yet, Gangzi said honestly. Ha ha ha. The audience burst into laughter, thinking that some kind of genius boy had come. But it turned out to be a fool. This guy is really a talent. The corner of Asuma's mouth twitched. Just now, he had underestimated why there were so many geniuses nowadays, developing ninjutsu in the first grade and the second generation Hokage reincarnating, right? But it turned out to be reversed in the blink of an eye. Teacher Muyui, are all ninja school students like this now? Asuma couldn't help but complain. Muyue was also a little speechless, asking you to start mastering the chair first. 
how come you can only change chairs? In fact, in terms of mastery level, a first grader with such a level of clone technique and transformation technique is considered to be pretty good. After all, he is a student in his own class, Mu Yue commented objectively. Hearing Mu Yue's words, Asma realized that Gang Zidi was just a first-year student, not a ninja. At this level, he was considered excellent. Teacher Mu Yue, you are so awesome and are not fooled by appearances. Looking at the people laughing around him, Asuma suddenly felt a sense of superiority. Kamizuki Izumo became quiet after everyone laughed. He was glad that he did not participate in the competition. With so many students from the same school, the news would definitely spread throughout the school, and his student career would be over by then. Let's take a look at the judges' scores. The total is 12 points. In fact, the original intention of this ninjutsu is good. If it can be more perfected, it should get high scores, the host said. I will continue to work hard and work with my two good brothers, Kamizuki Izumo and Mitarashi Anko, to perfect this ninjutsu we jointly developed, Gangziti said with a smile, specifically saying his full name. It turns out that the other two people are called Kamizuki Izumo and Mitarashi Anko. I don't know if they are there. Hearing the comments from the people next to him, Kamizuki Izumo's face turned pale. How could he find a girlfriend if his reputation spread? Next, contestant number three, Uchiha Tetsuka, is invited to perform on stage. Magnificent fireball technique. The Uchiha Iron Fireman didn't say much and directly took out his best fireball technique, quickly forming a seal and spitting out a fireball as high as a person. As expected of a boy from the Uchiha clan, he has mastered the powerful ninjutsu of Go Fireball before he even graduates, the host exclaimed. It's amazing for a jinin to master this kind of ninjutsu. A referee said and gave a high score directly. Other judges also nodded and gave high scores. 26 points. The Uchiha Iron Fire player achieved a high score of 26 and temporarily ranked first, the host shouted. With his five years of experience in hosting competitions, there was no abnormal player, and he was able to secure first place with 26 points. Uchiha Tiho walked off the stage with an indifferent expression. If it weren't for the 8,000 Ryo, he would have no interest in participating in this kind of competition. Shisui, how do you feel about the huge fireball I just fired? Uchiha Ironfire asked. It can be seen that Brother Tiho is serious about practicing. Shisui commented that he was actually planning to join Obito, but on the way he met his fellow tribesman, Uchiha Teka, so he joined them. Although Uchiha Tiho's high fireball level is not bad, Shisui doesn't think he can be first because he has seen Obito's high fireball. Next contestant number four, Uchiha Obito, is invited to perform on stage. I'll work hard today to see if I can add an update, and I'll update one more chapter tonight. Additional updates will be released after midnight. Obito is on you, Nohara Lin reminded. Obito nodded and quickly walked onto the stage. Obito, come on! Nohara Rin clenched her hands into fists and cheered Obito up. Obito, it's up to you to fight Kakashi this time. Give full play to the fruits of your efforts. Metkai also cheered for Obito. They practiced together with Mu Yue, and he saw Obito's efforts. Don't lose to others before I even get there, Kakashi said calmly, encouraging Obito in his own way. Kakashi's encouragement was so effective that Obito turned back and said, Impossible. Just wait and see. Another Uchiha boy, he is really rare. I wonder what kind of wonderful performance he can bring to us. The host lamented that it was different after adding money. Even two Uchiha came. Obito also participated. He was a bit unlucky. There happened to be an Uchiha in front of him who performed so well. The contrast was embarrassing. Asuma was already starting to feel embarrassed for Obito. He has known Obito for more than three years, and he knows very well what level Obito is. Although he has learned Go Fireball, his level is really average. He also participated. Uchiha Tiho frowned when he saw Obito walking on the stage, feeling that 8,000 Riang may not be stable. However, those judges were of average skill and might not be able to see the power of the dragonfire technique. Uchiha Tiho thought of another level. Although the Goryu fire jutsu 
is a B-level fire escape ninjutsu and is one level more difficult to learn than Gogo -Go Fireball. In terms of visual effects, it is not as good as Gogo -Go Fireball. Uchiha Obito, what ninjutsu are you going to perform? The host asked customarily. I want to use the fire release and fireball technique, Obito replied confidently. It is also a powerful fireball technique. Have all the Uchiha boys mastered this ninjutsu? They are indeed a wealthy family. Let us look forward to the performance of Uchiha Obito players. The host stepped back as he spoke. A safe distance should be maintained with ninjutsu, such as the large-scale destruction of the fireball. Could it be that while he mastered the dragon fire, he also had high proficiency in the fireball? Uchiha Iron Fire feels a bit unrealistic. He 100% believed that Shisui could do this. As for Obito, he was previously known as Uchiha's tail. Obito stood on the stage and looked at the audience not far below, where he could see everyone at a glance. Nohara Lin was cheering him on with a smile on her face. Metkai showed him his shining white teeth and gave him a thumbs up. Kakashi kept looking towards the stage. Shisui seemed to be saying, come on. Asuma looked regretful. Mu Yue, hey, teacher Mu Yue. Obito immediately showed an expression of surprise when he saw Mu Yue. His only regret today was that Mu Yue was going to be a tutor and could not come to watch his game. Obito is very grateful to Mu Yue, who allowed him to get rid of the title of Uchiha Crane, allowed him to defeat Uchiha Iron Fire, and became second in the class, and also allowed him to pass the theory that he had never failed. The fact that he can stand here with confidence is closely related to Mu Yue. During the 20 days of special training, he was not the only one who worked hard. Mu Yue tried every means to enhance his strength, even improving his ninjutsu. If Mu Yue couldn't see his wonderful performance when he won first place, Obito felt it was a pity. Noticing Obito's gaze, Yue Yue smiled and said hello to Obito. I can let down those who cheer for me. Obito took a deep breath and entered an unprecedented serious state. He still can't forget the defeat that year. This time, he wants to win everything. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Obito skillfully formed the seal, gathering a large amount of chakra in his throat, changing the nature of all the gathered chakra, and then spit it out instantly. Ho, ho, ho! Bursts of fierce flames were spit out from Obito's mouth, quickly forming an orange-red fireball and then growing rapidly. Finally, it was a full four meters high, almost three times Obito's current height. How could this possibly be a fire escape ninjutsu? that a ninja school student could perform. One of the judges looked like he had seen a ghost when he saw this spectacular huge fireball. The other judge rubbed his eyes, also looking in disbelief. Uchiha Obito's fireball skills were so extraordinary that even the judges were surprised. The host was surprised and did not forget to explain. After five years of explaining, this was the first time he had seen a fireball of this level, especially when the caster was still a ninja school student. How could a fireball of this level be possible? Uchiha Tiahuo felt that he might have been under an illusion. He would rather believe that he was under an illusion than believe that Obito could be so powerful with the Go Fireball despite mastering the Go Dragon Fire. With such a powerful Go Fireball, Obito didn't use any tricks at all that day. He was definitely no match against Bo directly. Is this Obito's fireball? Asuma rubbed his eyes, feeling a little unreal. Teacher, please hit me. I feel like I'm under an illusion. Asma said to Mu Yue. Mu Yue complied with Asma's request and hit Asma's head with her fingers together. It hurts. Asuma looked at Obito, who was still on the stage, and the huge fireball in front of him, his mouth wide open. He was already shocked beyond measure. After being defeated by Uchiha Shisui, he recognized that this was a genius who might be even more perverted than Kakashi. But Obito is his old friend. How can he not know what level of strength he has? What the hell is this huge fireball that's so close to the height of a house? I've always been secretly hiding my strength and not showing it, right? Even Obito has such strength. Am I really that bad? Asuma is a little doubtful about life. He felt that he had to work hard. Otherwise, he would be at a low level among his friends, let alone beyond three generations. With a fireball of this level, no wonder he was so confident before. 
Kakashi looked at Obito's fireball and felt that Obito had made great progress. It's so big that Kakashi is a little confused, and Obito hasn't graduated yet, why there is such huge progress. Generally, students will enter a period of rapid growth after graduation. 10 points, 10 points, 10 points. Uchiha Obito's total score is 30 points. He got a perfect score and secured first place in advance, the host shouted excitedly. All the judges gave Obito full marks, which is a very unusual situation. Were there any tricks used? Hinata Kamen, who had opened his Bia Kugan, saw through the details of Obito Fireball. It looked like a bluff, but it wasn't actually that exaggerated. He came here with his friends, and now it seems that Obito should be number one. However, Hugo Kamen doesn't think Obito can defeat him in the next final exam, because he will make it impossible for Obito to use ninjutsu. The host said that you should lock in the first place in advance, Obito. You are so awesome. Nohara Rin praised Obito, who stepped down. Hey, hey. Obito couldn't help but smile stupidly. Don't get too happy too soon. Maybe they will give me a higher score if I wait. Kakashi said that Obito should not be happy too early. Now let's invite the fifth contestant, Kakashi Hatake, to perform on stage. After Kakashi finished speaking, the host happened to call Kakashi's name. Kakashi appeared on the ring in a flash. Kakashi, come on. Nohara Rin cheered for Kakashi. Seeing Kakashi using the teleportation technique on the ring, Obito felt that Kakashi was really pretending. And he would also have to learn the teleportation technique in the future. Kakashi Hatake is not an ordinary player. He is a famous genius in Konoha. I remember this is your second time participating in the competition. Because Kakashi is more famous, the host introduced him a little more. Mm. Kakashi nodded calmly without saying anything more, with a cold attitude. Player Kakashi Hatake, what ninjutsu are you going to perform this time? The host asked. Earthflow wall, Kakashi replied. After the host retreated, Kakashi quickly formed a seal, and the chakra in his body exploded. Earth escape, earth flow. Wall, as Kakashi used ninjutsu, the scene shook, and then an extremely thick wall slowly rose from behind Kakashi. This level of earth escape ninjutsu. The judges looked at the long and thick earth flow wall and fell into thinking for a while. For a ninjutsu of this level, he would definitely give full marks before. But now that he already has a full mark, one more full mark would be two firsts. The judges thought for a while and finally raised the sign with ten written on it. This kind of thing should be left to the organizers. This guy is still as perverted as ever. Asuma was not surprised by Kakashi's strength. If you want to defeat Kakashi who uses ninjutsu, you have to keep working hard. Metkai recalled that day when Kakashi fought with all his strength. That time it was really almost a crushing attack. Except for one unexpected kick by Konoha Tornado, there was no way to fight back at all. Seeing one of the judges give 10 points, Obito felt a little bad. If Kakashi also got full marks, who would be ranked first? 10, 10, 10. Hatake Kakashi's total score is 30 points. Incredibly, this is the second perfect score in today's game. And the first time double perfect scores have occurred since the game was held. The host exclaimed, the quality of the players in this competition was surprisingly high, with two out of 100 points scored. For example, Uchiha Tetsuo's level was enough to win first place in the last competition. What bad luck. Uchiha Tihuo was a little depressed. He thought he could take first place, but he was suddenly squeezed to third place. But he was also convinced of the defeat because the ninjutsu performed by Kakashi and Obito was indeed strong. It would be great if Shisui you participated. You would definitely get full marks, Uchiha Tihuo said. He was confident in Shisui. Although he was two years older than Shisui, he considered himself no match for Shisui. Shisui smiled and said nothing. He had no idea about this competition in the first place, and since Obito wanted to win first place so much, he would not participate. Are you satisfied now? If you want to defeat me, just practice for a few more years. Kakashi stepped down and said to Obito, Why are you so proud? Everyone has 30 points, and I got it earlier than you. Logically speaking, I win. Obito retorted, unconvinced. You can get 30 points, because you can only get 30 points. I get 30 points, because it is the highest 30 points. 
Kakashi said calmly. You? Obito couldn't speak to Kakashi, and his face started to turn red. Okay, you are all awesome. No need to argue. Nohara Lin stood between the two and smiled helplessly. Near the competition venue, the organizers and merchants started discussing. How did you get two perfect scores this time? And how do you determine the ranking? How about setting up a playoff and letting them compete again using other ninjutsu? Some merchants suggested, this is like being the first, but it's not very good. Yoshi is still a student, and mastering such a fire escape ninjutsu is already very powerful. Some merchants feel it is inappropriate. Can't it be tied for first place? A voice suddenly broke in. The merchants thought the voice was a bit strange, and then they realized that a blonde man wearing a forehead protector had arrived next to them. You can also use double firsts as a gimmick to celebrate with discounts. To attract more people to shop, Mu Yue suggested with a smile. This method is good. The merchants thought about it and found Mu Yue's proposal very attractive. One of the purposes of holding this competition is to increase the flow of people in the commercial street. It would be great if it can attract more people to buy things. As long as you earn a little more, you can earn back. After all, the bonus for first place is only 8,000 tails. Lord Ninja, do you have any idea of opening a shop here? A shop owner felt that Mu Yue had a good business acumen, so he invited her. No, I'm just an ordinary Chunin passing by. Your competition is very good and can promote the enthusiasm of young people in the village to practice. Mu Yue left after praising her. If Obito and Kakashi were to have a rematch, Obito would definitely not be able to beat Kakashi. In order to get Obito's first place, he really worked hard and did everything he could. I hope the reward will not disappoint him. In the following games, there was no such perfect score as Obito and Kakashi. There was not even one higher than Uchiha Ironfire. The one with the highest score was only 23 points. After all the contestants had finished their presentations, it was time to announce the rankings. Uchiha Obito was first. Hatake Kakashi was first. And Uchiha Tiehuo was second. The host announced the top three names. Muyue's suggestion worked, and Obito and Kakashi tied for first place, which was considered a draw. I count you lucky this time, and I will definitely beat you next time. Obito, who won the first place, was excited and said harsh words. When your strength is as tough as your mouth, you may be able to do it. In terms of poisonous tongue, Kakashi at this time was far out of reach of Obito. Fortunately, he had the first prize in hand, a beautiful silver-plated kunai and 8,000 tails of banknotes. He couldn't defeat Kakashi, and Obito was very happy to see the reward in his hand. The moment the rankings were announced, Obito's training mission was also settled. Disciple Uchiha Obito completed the training mission and received rewards. Chakra plus 800. Ninjutsu proficiency scroll. Yin attribute chakra property change. Proficiency. Seeing the reward that popped up, Mu Yue looked pleased. Such a rich reward was not in vain for his 20 days of hard work. With 800 chakras, if you want to study for a class, you will need to get 40 B-level evaluations. The ninjutsu proficiency scroll is also a good thing, which can instantly upgrade the ninjutsu master to the proficiency level. As for the change in the nature of yin escape chakra, it is Mu Yue's most satisfying reward even more satisfying than 800 chakras. The two special property changes of yin and yang are difficult to practice. The moment she received the reward, Mu Yue suddenly had many memories of practicing the changes in the properties of yin chakra in her mind. Mu Yue opened the panel and started to check her data. For the sake of extra updates, can you get some monthly passes or something? 47. Name. Hanyu Mu Yue. Age. 18. Chakra, 8,000 skills. Professor, fire release. Tukeku, palm immortal technique. Wind release. Press damage, earth release. Earth flow wall, eight door release. Evaluation. You have mastered the seven changes in chakra properties and are proficient in fire and water escape. If you just fight waves, ordinary Junin will be crushed by you. You only need to continue to increase chakra to become a strong person Compared with last month when the exam just ended,
the panel data has experienced another surge. This month, due to the training mission, the increase in chakra is particularly obvious. It was April when he traveled back in time. The total increase in chakra from April to May was 1,000 from 4,300 to 5,300. Counting the 500 chakra from the exam in early May, it was 5,800. From the end of the exam in early May to the beginning of June now, it has increased a lot, directly from 5,800 to 8,000, a total increase of 2,200 chakras. Muyua once envied the 7,000 chakra points of the root Junin. In just the past two months, he had already surpassed him. Now he had a 1,000 chakra points, more than the root Junin. However, Mu Yue knew that it would be difficult to maintain this chakra increase from June to July. The reason why it rose so much is because Obito's training tasks have been settled, and there are no new training tasks yet. There are no exams from June to July, and the final exam will be held in mid-July. In addition to the gratifying increase in chakra, Mu Yue also received a series of rewards such as proficiency in changing the nature of water chakra, proficiency in fire escape and head painstaking effort, and proficiency in changing the nature of yin chakra. These rewards are very helpful to improve Mu Yue's hard power. Otherwise, it would be embarrassing if she only has blue and no skills. Mastering the changes in chakra properties of various attributes is the reward Mu Yue currently wants to obtain most. After mastering the changes in the nature of water and fire, not only did the output limit of the corresponding attribute ninjutsu increase, Mu Yue felt that if she worked hard for a few years, she might be able to develop the blood succession limit of boiling escape. If she mastered the property changes of the seven attributes, Mu Yue didn't dare to think about what she could develop. Rubbing her hands to seek Dao Jade, Mu Yue thought about it and felt that it might not be enough, and proficiency was not the highest level. It should be a higher level before she could pray for Dao Jade. But even if you can't rub your hands to seek Dao Jade, there should be hope to develop various blood inheritance limits. Obito, Kakashi, you guys got first place together, that's great. Nohara Rin showed a sweet smile and congratulated Obito Kakashi. Both of them are her good friends, and getting first place together is the best result. <laughs> Thanks to Lin Yu for supporting me below. The fantasy scene happened 20 days ago. Obito was very excited and thanked him with a slightly red face. It would be better if there was no Kakashi's name, Obito added in his mind. Tied for first place, it is a tie. Metkai looked thoughtful. So far, he and Kakashi have lost every battle, not won and made peace. Seeing that Obito had successfully tied with Kakashi and Ninjutsu, Metkai was moved in his heart and wanted to fight Kakashi again. Kakashi, to celebrate your first place, let's have a battle. Metkai is highly mobile. I refuse. There is no way to celebrate like this. There is no need to celebrate for winning first place in this kind of competition. Kakashi rejected Metkai and stepped on Obito at the same time. Obito instantly wanted to start a verbal battle with Kakashi, but gave up when he saw Mu Yue and Asuma coming. Obito, did you hide it secretly during the exam before and suddenly become so powerful? Asuma trotted to Obito's side and patted Obito's shoulder and joked, No matter what, they are all the results of learning from you, Asuma, Obito replied. When he was practicing treading water, he relied on Asuma's example, told by Mu Yue, to persevere. Ha <laughs> ha, I just want to learn from you. You use fire release so well. Asuma thought Obito was just a compliment between friends, so he smiled and hugged Obito's neck. Teacher Mu Yue. Nohara Lin Obito Metkai greeted Mu Yue, who came from behind. Nohara Lin is familiar with Mu Yue, because she often substitutes for class two of the fourth year. Well done. Mu Yue smiled and encouraged without saying much, and quickly left with Asma. In fact, he and his three disciples reminded him not to expose their relationship when there are other people around. Just act like a teacher and a student in school. Mu Yue didn't say the reason, leaving it to the disciples to figure it out. Even so, Mu Yue felt that he should have less contact when other people were present. Obito at this period was really unreliable. Before leaving, Mu Yue gave Kakashi an appraisal. Name, Hatake Kakashi. 
Chakra 2500. Potential S evaluation. Suitable for practicing thunder escape and earth escape. Recommended as a disciple. Looking at Kakashi's panel, Mu Yue was instantly moved. At the age of eight, he has 2,005 chakras, which is extraordinary. He had checked all the Chunin teachers in the ninja school, and most of them were around 1,500 to 2,500. In other words, the eight-year-old Kakashi was already better than many Chunin in terms of chakra. If you accept the disciple and raise your trust level, you will definitely be able to provide a lot of chakra. Mu Yue quickly gave up this somewhat tempting idea. Kakashi didn't have Obito to fool, and he was still a Chunin. Why should he study with a Chunin teacher like him? Kakashi also only has S. Could it be that without the Six Paths bloodline, his potential would only be S at most? Mu Yue thought of another question. Having seen many people through appraisals, he knew that potential was not the same as talent. Otherwise, if they both had S potential, how could Obito Metkai have such a huge gap with Kakashi during his time at the ninja school? Rather than talent, Mu Yue feels that potential represents a person's possibilities. Those families with six bloodlines have greater possibilities, so their potential is relatively high. For example, Hinata and Uchiha. Mu Yue has never seen anyone with potential below A. Even with such high potential, there are no universal junyen of the two races. The two door gods of B were promoted to special junin in the plot. After Mu Yue and Asuma left, the four of them discussed it and finally chose to eat ramen to celebrate. Because he won first place, Obito treated him generously, saying that he would pay for the ramen. But when eating ramen, Obito Kakashi would inevitably argue. Did you take first place in your grade at ninja school? Kakashi asked calmly. When can you, like me, remain the first in your grade before graduation? Come and argue with me about winning or losing. Obito was speechless. He had never been first in grade, or even first in class. Metkai stopped eating noodles because he was hit by Kakashi's map cannon, because he didn't win the first place in his grade either. At the same time, Mu Yue, who was teaching asthma, received a system pop-up window. Disciple Uchiha Obito sets training tasks. Training mission. Get first place in the grade of ninja school. Practical examination reward. Depends on task, completion, and strength growth. During the task, Disciple Metkai sets training tasks. Training mission. Get first place in the grade of ninja school. Practical examination reward. Depends on task, completion, and strength growth. During the task, looking at several pop-up windows that suddenly popped up, Mu Yue fell into thinking. I don't know what happened, but the result is pretty good. With the dual training tasks and the rewards for test scores, his chakra will definitely break through to five digits by the end of the semester. It's a pity that there won't be a tie for first place in the practical exam. There will definitely be a winner, and there will definitely be a task with a worse reward. If one of them has an accident and is unable to take the exam, would it be better to stagger it to the next semester? Mu Yue thought about this problem seriously. Mu Yue was a little hesitant, but he was sure that he could do this well. But he could not guarantee that this was the optimal solution, because there were currently no two training tasks at the same time. Mu Yue defaulted to a maximum of one training task per person. If one of them is delayed until the monthly exam next semester to complete the task, then there will be almost three months in which the new training task cannot be triggered. Extending the task time may increase the basic reward, but is it really as profitable as completing more training tasks? According to the training task triggering mechanism, it is not impossible for the disciple who takes second place to immediately trigger another task to take first place because he is unwilling to do so. Mu Yue decided to act by ear and first think about the next strengthening plan for Obito and Metkai. After all, no matter what the result was, the rewards for increasing strength would be more. This remained unchanged. On Tuesday morning, Anko hummed an unknown song and walked toward the ninja school with a happy face. She took leave yesterday and didn't go to school on Monday. Plus, the two days on the weekend, she hasn't heard Mu Yue's lectures or played with her good brothers for three days. So Hongdu is looking forward to going to school today. Will teacher Mu Yue think that I am sick 
and then care and greet me? I am really looking forward to whether Ziti Izumo won the competition bonus. The more Hongdu thought about it, the more she felt that going to school was really promising. She is Mitarashianko, one of that talented trio. It's her, I remember her. She was the second best student in the practical grade in the last exam. Second in actual combat. He is very strong, but unfortunately, his brain circuit is a bit strange. Hongdu walked near the school. When there were more students, she found that many people looked at her strangely. Is it possible that no one in the ninja school usually asks for leave? And asking for leave spreads throughout the school. Anko thought it was because she asked for leave. Anko muttered as she walked towards the classroom of class one. The closer Hongdu got to the classroom, the more strange looks she noticed, and she gradually felt that something was wrong. When she walked into the classroom, she discovered something unusual. Gang Zidi and Shenyu Izumo were not chatting, but had their heads buried on the table as if they were sleeping. Usually when she comes, the two of them are either discussing how to deal with the stubborn cousin or discussing getting to know girls. Hongdu was about to walk back to his seat to wake them up and ask about the situation, but was stopped by a girl with whom he had a good relationship. Enko, you have become famous in the ninja school in the past two days. The girl covered her mouth and suppressed her laughter. Ah, uh, I haven't been in school these past few days, so I can't be famous just because I took a day off, right? Enko scratched her hair, confused. Did you develop the ninjutsu that transformed the chair? The girl suppressed her smile and continued to ask, change into a chair? Are you talking about the art of confusing the enemy? Forget it, it was developed together with Ziti Izumo and the others, Anko replied. The girl couldn't hold herself any longer now. She smiled and said, ha ha ha, I'd better ask your two good brothers. Ziti Izumo, didn't you sleep well last night? Hongdu, who became increasingly confused, chose to wake up the two good brothers but you can never wake up a person who is pretending to be asleep. The two of them seem to have fallen into a deep sleep. Hongdu shouted several times without waking them up. Normally, girls might forget it or poke it with their fingers at this time. But Hongdu is different. After confirming that the good brother was pretending to sleep, Hongdu punched him directly. Is there something you are hiding from me? Anko said with a suspicious look on her face. Knowing that they couldn't pretend anymore, the two of them also opened their eyes. It's all Zidi's fault. He made a fool of himself on stage and took us with him. Kamazuki Izumo directly betrayed his good brother and told Anko about the weekend competition. He purposely said our full names out loud, which was so heartbreaking. Shenyo Izumo and Anko stood together, angrily scolding Gangziti. After being hardened and fisting hard, she said that taking a day off could not lead to such trouble. It was Gang Zitai who made a fool of herself and betrayed her. Gang Ziti saw Hong Du gearing up and quickly told Shen Yu Izuyun's clever plan yesterday. Anko, don't believe him. This kid Izumo has a backbone in his head. Yesterday he was the one who suggested to me that since you didn't come, Anko, let's just blame everything on you. You developed the ninjutsu, red beans. She set her sights on Shen Yu Izumo her eyes filled with murderous intent. Unfortunately, yesterday she was planning to let the two of them win and treat her to some dumplings with the bonus. But it turned out that these two good brothers were better at backstabbing each other than the other. You two are both bad guys. Let's get beaten together. Uncle grabs Shenyu Izumo on the left and Steel on the right. The two good brothers were wronged, so they had no choice but to run away. For a while, the atmosphere in the classroom became a little more cheerful. The farce didn't end until Mu Yue arrived. Teacher Mu Yu, my reputation has been ruined. Now I'm no longer a genius, but a talented Hong Du. Hong Du said to Mu Yue with a depressed look. Since you are not called mediocre, everyone still recognizes your strength. Mu Yue smiled and comforted. I still think genius sounds better. Then prove yourself with your strength next time. Do you get dumplings if you do well in the exam? If you do well in the exam, great. When she heard that if she did well in the exam, she would be given dumplings to eat. Hongu immediately wiped away her displeasure and smiled again. At this moment, the class bell rang. Classes begin. Mu Yue started today's lecture. He took the trouble to explain the three basic ninjutsu taught in the ninja school. Lecture completed. 
evaluation, a reward. Water escape, water formation. Wall under your guidance. The students in the first class of the year have made great progress in ninjutsu and received the reward of mastering the three body skills. At the end of the lecture, in addition to the daily lecture rewards, there was an unexpected reward for Mu Yue. It turns out there are more than just lecture rewards. Mu Yue was a little surprised. After teaching for more than two months, this was the first time he triggered this kind of reward. Although it is only the three-body technique, it is still at the proficiency level. It is not necessary to teach ninja school students in actual combat. Mu Yue thought about it and thought it was quite reasonable. After all, this was a teacher system, not just a master-disciple system. As a teacher, he has been teaching a group of students. If the students improve in strength, it is normal to give them some rewards. Wouldn't the rewards be better if I taught a slightly higher level ninjutsu? Mushi first thought of how to increase the rewards. The idea is good, but Mu Yue knows that it cannot be realized at present. Because the rules of the ninja school are that in addition to ninjutsu theory, the ninjutsu class can only teach the three body techniques. Mu Yue can somewhat understand this rule. There are 40 students in a class, all of whom are born with different chakra attributes. You can't expect a Chunin teacher to know the five chakra attribute ninjutsu. In addition, the student's learning ability must also be considered. This is no problem for Mu Yue, because he not only masters a large number of ninjutsu, but also has the blessing of teaching skills, and his teaching skills are also good. But for her own safety, Mu Yue definitely couldn't show that much. Maybe you can consider applying with Sandai so that I can take the physical arts class in class one. Mu Yue feels that more attention should be paid to the teaching quality of non-disciples. He remembered that the students in class one were very dissatisfied with the physical arts teacher. They often said that the physical arts teacher did not teach well and was boring. If Mu Yue is allowed to personally lead the physical arts class once a year, the student's physical skills will improve faster. After eating, Mu Yue returned to the office while thinking about how to improve the strength of the first year class. In the office, what happened last month is being repeated. We are at a critical moment recently. Everyone needs to catch up every day, otherwise we will starve to death. With a smile on his face, Ikego Isamu stood behind Kimura's shirt, pinched his shoulders and hit his back, and said in a flattering tone, Shanren, please lend me another 80,000 tails, and I will pay you back when your wages are paid. As expected, Kimura Sugi's heart has nothing to do with being attentive and either cheating or stealing. This massage service is expensive enough. Why do you want to borrow it again? Didn't you borrow it last month? Kimura Sugito sighed helplessly. Didn't I pay you back my salary last month? Ikegu Young chuckled. So if you borrow this month, then you have to pay it back. And then you have no money next month because you paid it back? Do you have to borrow it again next month? Kimura Shirin asked. If he thinks about it this way, he has become Isamu Ikegu's human form of 80,000 ryo. Um, Chigu Yong was speechless for a while. It's not what Sean Renyu thought, mainly because we just met each other not long ago. So we have to put in some effort to show our sincerity. I will definitely not borrow it next month. Ikigaya tried to explain. You said this yourself, don't forget it. Kimura Shirin finally took out his wallet, took out 80,000 tails, and handed it to Ikigaya Isamu. It's not that he feels sorry for the 80,000 tails, because although Chigu Yong is not like a normal person when it comes to relationships, he is still good at other times and will not fail to pay back the money. Kimura Shanren just felt that he was hurting him by lending money to Ikea Isamu making him fall deeper and deeper into trouble. Not borrowing next month? Kimura, you think too highly of him. I can already foresee his reasons next month. Ueda Aya remains pessimistic about this. Then, she imitated Ikigaya Isamu's tone and said, Sugito, please lend me one last time. I feel like I can successfully confess my love this month, and I will definitely not lend it next month. Ikigaya Isamu. If it's your first date, there's nothing wrong with going to a better restaurant to leave a good impression. But you've been together for two months, and if she really cares about you, she won't refuse if you ask her to go eat ramen together. Weta Aya wants to awaken Ikigaya Isamu's dormant IQ. 
And you can't choose your own time and ask teacher Mu Yue to teach for you every time. Aya Ueda looked at Mu Yue, who came in and said, she said she was not free at other times, so she could make an appointment on that day or next time when she was free. Chi Guyong said with some pain, he was also embarrassed to trouble Mu Yue every time. Even Chi Guyong wanted to help Mu Yue teach as a substitute, but Mu Yue refused every time. It's okay, I'm idle anyway, and teaching more students can also help me practice my abilities. Mu Yue walked to her desk and said with a smile, Teacher Mu Yue is so good, but this character makes it easy for her to suffer. After hearing Mu Yue's words, Chi Guyong couldn't help but sigh in his heart. Chi Guyong, who felt a little indebted, couldn't help but run to Mu Yue's side to help Mu Yue bring tea and water and say something nice. Until it was almost time, Ike Guyong left the office and went home to change clothes and prepare for the date. It would be great if Isamu Ikea were the taijutsu teacher of class one. Mu Yue thought in her heart. In this case, there is no need to change teachers. If Ikegu Yong asks him to take over his classes a little more diligently, it will be the same as being his own taijutsu teacher. It is not common sense to directly apply to Sandai to become a physical arts teacher for one class per year. How can a normal person think of being so active in filling up his class schedule? It will also lead to personality problems. If someone asks you to take the class and you help, then you are a good person. Why are you taking the initiative to take the class? We still have to start from the dissatisfaction of students and the teaching level of the physical arts teachers themselves, Mu Yue thought in her heart. The most important thing in a ninja school is strength. It would be easier if the students and school leaders knew that the appointment of a taijutsu teacher would affect the growth of strength. Next, Mu Yue continued to practice calligraphy until it was close to class. When Mu Yue walked into the classroom of class two, grade four, the students were already a little surprised. Mu Yue teaches them steadily once a week, and they already regard Mu Yue as their teacher. Teacher, I... Obito was also late every day. Mu Yue didn't say anything and asked Obito to sit down and listen to the class. Damn, Mr. Ikeda. Obito complained softly, feeling that it was always the wrong time for Ikigaya Isamu to ask Mu Yue to take over his class. Did you meet an elderly person in need of help? Nohara Lin asked. I didn't meet him today. I was picking up pens in the bookstore and lost track of time. Obito answered honestly. Why don't you pick it up after school in the afternoon? The lunchtime is so short, you won't miss a meal, right? Nohara Lin was a little confused. It's okay if you skip a meal, just eat more in the evening. The main reason is that I have visited a lot of stores recently, and I feel that the one at noon today is the best. Obito replied, really, nothing is more important than eating. I have some snacks for you to eat after class, Nohara Lin said helplessly. Obito nodded and stopped chatting with Nohara Lin. Mu Yue had to listen to her class. Forty minutes passed quickly. When the get out of class bell rang, Mu Yue announced that get out of class was over, and Nohara Lin handed the snacks to Obito. Obito, how much have you helped today? Some classmates who are familiar with Obito came over to tease Obito. How did you know I won first place in the junior ninjutsu competition over the weekend? Obito said preemptively. As soon as Obito said this, the man couldn't say any ridiculing words. He felt like he had a lemon in his mouth, 8,000 tails of bonus. The Uchiha iron fire not far away also fell silent. He still remembers the goo fireball that Obito used in the game. He originally thought that with the lessons learned from the last game, he might be able to beat Obito by paying attention to the Guryu fireball next time. As a result, a youth ninjutsu competition made him lose his confidence. Seeing the expressions of the people around him, Obito's smile became bright. From now on, Obito will go out for a walk during every class break and tell everyone he meets, how do you know I am number one, so as to maximize the benefits of being number one. Lecture completed. Evaluation, a reward, water release, missed hidden technique. Seeing the lecture reward, Mu Yue nodded secretly. Although this was a low level, it was a very practical ninjutsu. The fog created by this ninjutsu is not an ordinary fog. It can blur the vision of the Sharingan, the Kirigakure Jutsu. Used by Terumi Mei can even hinder Madara's Rinnegan to a certain extent. 
it's still very good in the early stage when cheating ninjas don't appear. After school, Mu Yue went directly to the southern forest. When Mu Yue arrived, Chisui was still practicing there. Chishui followed Mu Yue's suggestion and now has been learning from the Shadow Clone. While his main body is practicing with Mu Yue's Shadow Clone, Mu Yue didn't wait long and Metkai came soon. But what surprised Mu Yue was that Obito didn't come even 15 minutes after Metkai arrived. Because he and Lin often have to walk a distance, Obito rarely sets out here with Metkai, even though they are in the same class. However, it is rare to be more than 15 minutes late. Mu Yue felt that it was time to give a lecture. Don't get into the habit of being late for training. Sorry, teacher. Mu Yue, I'm late. Obito trotted up to Mu Yue holding a long box. Whoosh! Obito gasped for air, then handed the long box in his hand to Mu Yue and said, Teacher Mu Yue, I heard that you like calligraphy, so I thought about using the competition prize money to buy a brush for you. Originally, though, Obito wanted to buy some gifts for Nohara Rin. But after thinking about it, he felt that this was not good. He sometimes speaks harshly, but that doesn't mean he doesn't know anything in his heart. Without Mu Yue's dedicated teaching, would he have the strength to win first place? No. Not only was he ranked first in the competition, he passed the theoretical exam for the first time, and he got rid of his shameful title as the last one in the practical exam. All these changes were due to Mu Yue's teachings. So in the end, Obito thought about it and decided to buy Mu Yue a gift. Facing the long box handed to her, Mu Yue swallowed the preaching words. He took the long box, opened it, took a look, nodded slightly, then closed it and held it with his left hand. His right hand helped Obito calmly and said, I do like calligraphy. I'm very satisfied with your gift. You should rest first and then prepare for training. If a disciple gives him a gift, he must give him positive feedback instead of preaching along the original lines. Judging from Obito's appearance, this might be the reason why he was late for class. I carefully prepared a gift for the teacher, but the teacher just gave me a lecture, which would make anyone else unhappy. Of course, you can also play the opposite game apologizing and thanking you after the training is over, using the saying that you are a master and apprentice during the training, and you are a friend at the end of the training. In this way, the initial emotions will be aggrieved and resentful, but when they reverse later, these emotions will be transformed into positive emotions, greatly improving the goodwill. But Mu Yue doesn't want to use this method now, at least not today. After all, I received my first gift in this world today. Hey, teacher, just like it if you like it. I don't know much about calligraphy, so I bought this one because it looked pretty good, Obito said with a silly smile. Then Obito took a few deep breaths, stood up and said, Teacher Muyu, I'm ready. Let's start today's practice. Seeing that Obito was highly motivated, Muyu nodded and then waved for Metkai to come over. Next, we will restart the training three weeks ago. You must not have forgotten it, right? Muyu asked with a smile. Obito's memory gradually returned to the days before the competition training. Just do one more question after being hit. Obito, who was suddenly attacked by memory, broke out in cold sweat on his forehead, and he remembered. In the past 20 days, he had been practicing the changes in chakra control properties, which caused him to forget what kind of hell training he had gone through before. Don't forget, if you miss a question at once, you have to do 50 questions. Every time you hit a question, you can do one less question, up to 40 less. Metkai said after recalling. If he was asked to name his opponents in the actual combat test, he might not be able to name them, but he would still remember the training plan. Obito cannot use ninjutsu to fight, and he must do one question at a time after being hit. Metkai gave Obito a thumbs up and told Obito what he said. Obito looked at Metkai's shining white teeth with tears in his eyes. Listen to me, thank you. <laughs> Teacher, I realize that I seem to have overestimated myself. How about taking a break today? Obito's feet dropped and he sat on the ground and said matter-of-factly, although it's good to practice and become stronger, doing the questions is too uncomfortable, so let's leave it to him tomorrow. Mu Yue chuckled and said, rest, of course you can rest. Since you can't practice, then just concentrate on doing the questions. I have a lot of test papers here. Saying that, Mu Yue took out a stack of test papers from the scroll. Then a medical miracle happened. Obito stood up quickly and said solemnly, A little discomfort doesn't matter. 
Teacher Muyu, I think I can persevere. Let's start practicing. Mu Yue said with a gentle smile. Don't force yourself, rest when you need to. Thank you, Teacher Mu Yue, for your concern, but there is only one month left before the final exam. I want to take revenge on Hinata Kaman and seize the time to become stronger. Obito's expression was determined. Mu Yue nodded with satisfaction, still holding the brush box in her hand, patted Matt Kai's shoulder with her right hand, and said, Kai, since Obito is so determined, you must help him improve his physical skills. Metkai straightened his body and said with a bright smile, Teacher Mu Yue, don't worry. I will definitely show 120% of my strength. Obito, who heard the conversation between the two, said, It seems that he and his brain must die today. Metkai's words were not false. He said he would use his full strength, and he would use his full strength. While Obito was training for the competition, Metkai continued to exercise. Because of the secret medicine in the system, Mu Yue later increased the intensity of Metkai's training. These more than 20 days of hard training have brought about real physical improvement for Metkai, making him faster and stronger. The results of Obito's special training are mainly in ninjutsu, but the current training does not allow the use of ninjutsu. Under the circumstances, Obito was beaten almost unilaterally. Fortunately, Mu Yue's enhanced version of treading water training also strengthened his body skills. Otherwise, it would only be worse. Such a close, crushing battle also allowed Obito to recognize his own strength. Because he won the first place in the junior ninjutsu competition and tied for first place with Kakashi, Obito's mentality was a little wandering. But after the Metkai battle, Obito discovered that even if he returned to the actual combat examination at this time, he would not be able to defeat Hinata Firegate. The power of his ninjutsu is strong, but in the face of Hyuga Kamen's soft fist and white eye combination, his level of taijutsu is not enough to give him the opportunity to release his ninjutsu. Relying on the combination of Beyakugan and soft fist, Obito will be defeated as long as Hyuga Fireman has the slightest upper hand. The Beyakugan can see through the chakra points, and the soft fist can block the chakra. Once it enters the rhythm of Hinata's fire gate, it is almost equal to defeat. However, these questions are so difficult. Looking at the questions in front of him, Obito, who was holding the pen, felt a little broken. He understands the principles, but the questions are really difficult. Let's eat first. Mu Yue handed the lunchbox to Obito, and then to Shisui and Metkai. Obito, who was hopeless, immediately felt the beauty of the world again after tasting the food made by Mu Yue, and felt alive again. You gave the disciple a delicious home-cooked meal. The disciple was very grateful and was rewarded with a critical hit and gained chakra plus 100. The thoughtful gift was praised and coupled with the timing of the meal. It can only be said that it was an unexpected blow. Since Obito was hit too many times in order not to affect the training effect, Muyo allowed Obito to do the questions in stages instead of finishing them now. The next day, in order to better improve the strength of the first year class and obtain more rewards, Mu Yue started his operation. Mu Yue first used the ninjutsu class time to conduct a practical test in the class, and then commented and gave opinions one by one. Mu Yue asked everyone to draw lots to determine the contestants according to the rules of the actual combat examination, and then gave comments after each group of battles. The transformation technique was used at the wrong time, and did not play its intended role. The physical skills were sparse, and the punching speed was too slow. How can you confuse the enemy by creating a clone like this? Your boxing skills are not good, your kicks are weak, your steps are loose, and your reactions are slow. How can you defeat the enemy with such physical skills? Mu Yue showed no mercy, and could even be said to be strict, but Mu Yue didn't talk nonsense. What he talked about were all real problems. The students who were pointed out by Mu Yue all lowered their heads in shame. I know that your scores in the monthly exams are very good, and your theoretical and practical scores are higher than other classes, but you can't slack off in your practice because of this. My comments may have been a bit harsh, so I would like to apologize to you first, but I actually do it for your own good. Both physical skills and ninjutsu are very important. 
If you don't practice physical skills well now, you will regret it when fighting the enemy in the future. After reviewing everyone, Mu Yue sighed and said, Teacher Mu Yue, I really haven't slacked off. I spent the same amount of time on Taijutsu and Ninjutsu. It's just that the Taijutsu teacher can't teach me well. Not as well as you. That's why it's like this. Hongdu said a little aggrievedly. Yes, I am studying seriously, but the physical arts teacher's teachings are very difficult to understand. Gang Zidi also complained. When he was first criticized by Mu Yue, Gang Zitai was a little unhappy. He felt that Mu Yue was too strict and they were only in the first grade. After listening to Mu Yue's apology later, Gang Zidi felt that he was really not a human being. Teacher Mu Yue was thinking about them like this. How could he think that teacher Mu Yue was at fault? The teacher and the students apologized. Gang Zidi had never heard of such a thing, not to mention that Mu Yue didn't do anything to them. It was the teacher's responsibility. Gang Zidi and Hong Du's words resonated with the students in class one, and they all started to complain. Teacher Mu Yue, can you replace the Taijutsu teacher? He really doesn't know how to teach, and the class is boring and difficult to understand. Yes, the physical arts teacher is like this. I feel like I can be a physical arts teacher. Isn't that just asking people to run on the playground? Who can not do that? How can you say that to teacher Tanamura? He has been your teacher for two months after all. As a teacher, doesn't he want you to be stronger? Mu Yue began to speak for the physical arts teacher. Their class's taijutsu teacher is called Tanimura Nianhiro. Unlike Mu Yue, a newcomer, Tanimura Nianhiro has been teaching at the ninja school for three years. Although he has been teaching for three years, Tanihiro Tanimura's teaching level is hard to describe. As a teacher of the same class, Mu Yue had, of course, come into contact with Nianhiro Tanimura. It can only be said that he was the poorest among the Chunin teachers. And as students in class one, the teacher they had the most contact with was Mu Yue. Comparing Mu Yue and Tanimura Nianhiro, Tanimura Nianhiro was completely blown away in all aspects. Teacher Mu Yue, we don't think there, there is something wrong with his teaching attitude. We just think he, he is incompetent, Kamazuki Izumo explained. Yes, everyone in the next class is saying that we are good at ninjutsu, but no one has ever said that we are good at taijutsu. Someone gave an example. Normally, I don't think it as a big problem. I just think the physical arts teacher's teaching is a bit poor and boring. But when they gathered together to discuss it, the students in class one felt something was wrong. This was no longer a boring question, but related to the fundamental strength of ninjas. Students in actual combat assessments will not fight each other, and teachers will take action if an accident occurs. But they will not hold back on the enemies they encounter during missions and on the battlefield. This Mu Yue looked embarrassed and finally sighed and said, Don't say these things in front of Mr. Tanimura and practice more physical skills on weekdays. If you really don't understand, just find time to ask me. Students' dissatisfaction with Tanimura Nianhiro's teaching level is like a pile of gunpowder. He only needs to act as a fuse. Seeing that Mu Yue was still speaking for the Taijutsu teacher, the students in class one felt unworthy of Mu Yue. They felt that Mu Yue had a too good temper. They are all colleagues, and teacher Mu Yue does, does not want teacher Tanimura to be embarrassed. Shisui Kage thought to himself after seeing the scene. Shisui also felt that the level of Taijutsu teachers was very poor, even compared to Uchiha's first teachers, let alone compared to Mu Yue. After class, before leaving, Mu Yue warned the students again not to say anything bad about the physical arts teacher in person, but to be more considerate. The students all nodded and said yes. After Mu Yue left, Hong Du led the class to discuss how to change the Taijutsu teacher. Is not it said that as long as the grades are poor, the teacher will be changed? How about we deliberately fail in the exam, one student suggested. But there is no separate physical examination exam. Do you want to deliberately fail in the actual combat examination? Teacher Mu Yue, who teaches ninjutsu, will also be affected. Gang Ziti shook his head and said, That won't work. Teacher Mu Yue is so good. I think he will teach me until I graduate. Hearing that it would be unfavorable to Mu Yue Hui, 
Hongdu directly rejected this proposal completely. Hongdu's words were recognized by everyone. Then let's all share the fact that his teaching ability is not good and let him go on his own. People have many ideas, and soon another one comes up with a suggestion. This is not good. Didn't teacher Mu Yue not let us do this? This is good for teacher Mu Yue. Why not do it? Teacher Mu Yue is our class teacher, and he will have face if we are strong. Gang Zitai feels this is feasible. After changing the physical skills teacher, they are stronger, which is also good for Mu Yue. I think the proposal is okay. If we force the teacher to leave, it is our problem, and it will not affect teacher Mu Yue. Kamazuki Azumo also nodded, and if he insists on not leaving, I have a good idea. Shen Yue Azumo thought of a clever plan. There is only more than a month left before the final exam. We will show our learning results of ninjutsu and taijutsu in a more exaggerated way in the practical exam to let the school know that the taijutsu teacher is indeed not good at teaching, but the overall performance must be good so that the school can notice us, Kamizuki Izumo reminded. Gang Zidi put his arm around Shenyu Izuyun's shoulders and said with a smile, It has to be you, Izumo. Everyone nodded in approval and felt that they should practice harder next time get good grades in the final exam, and find a new taijutsu teacher. After finishing lunch, Mu Yue did not return to her office, but went to the office next door, where Tanihiro Tanimura was located. Mr. Hanyu. As soon as Mu Yue entered the office, many teachers greeted him. Mu Yue responded with a smile, then walked up to Tanimura Nianhiro and called Tanimura Nianhiro out on the pretext of having something to do and took him to an uninhabited place. Mr. Tanimura, I'm sorry. Mu Yue apologized to Tanimura Nianhiro. Hanyu sensei, what happened? Why is this happening all of a sudden? Nianhiro Tanimura was a little confused and didn't understand what happened. Well, today I had an in class practical exam during class in the morning. Mu Yue told Tanimura Nianhiro what happened in class. However, Mu Yue slightly beautified the students' complaints. Otherwise, they would be too offensive. I just wanted to inspire them and make them practice more seriously. I didn't expect something like this to happen. I'm really sorry, Mu Yue said with an apology. It's my fault that my evaluation is too harsh. I should be more tolerant toward them. Mu Yue put all the blame on herself. Although it was Tanimura Nianhiro's own poor teaching skills that caused so much dissatisfaction among students, Mu Yue only ignited it but Mu Yue didn't want any flaws in his character. So he chose to tell everything directly to Tanimura Nianhiro, admitting his mistake to Tanimura Nianhiro, saying that he accidentally did bad things with good intentions. In this way, no matter how much he tries to figure out the whole story, Mu Yue will not be identified as someone with ulterior motives. After all, he told Nianhiro Tanimura everything as soon as it happened. How could he have any evil intentions when he cares so much about his colleagues? This Nianhiro Tanimura didn't know what to say for a while. He knew in his heart that those students were right. His teaching level was indeed not as good as that of Mu Yue, which was average. But no one in the ninja school can compare with Mu Yue. A new teacher became famous throughout the school after teaching for a month or two. He was recognized by all the teachers and students in the school and was even summoned by the third generation to praise him. An ordinary teacher like him would feel uncomfortable competing with Mu Yue. I have asked them not to criticize you, but you are still a child after all. If you agree on the surface, it is hard to say what will happen in reality. Mu Yue sighed, looking at Tanimura Nianhiro with an apology in her eyes. It's okay, I won't care. After all, they are just six-year-old kids. Tanimura Nianhiro said with a smile. Even if Nianhiro Tanimura is complained to his face by the students, he will not give up his position as a taijutsu teacher for the first class. Because the actual performance of class one is very good, not only the top two in the grade, but also the average average score of the class leads the first grade. Although he knows that such results have nothing to do with his teaching, these are real results. There is no need to worry about performance at all, and the bonus will only be more. Mr. Hanyu, I know you. You must be thinking about your students. Tanimura Nianhiro said that he knew Mu Yue is good intentions. Although such an accident happened, 
Nianhiro Tanimura still felt that Mu Yue was a good colleague who would apologize as soon as possible when something happened. Originally, it was Tanimura Nianhiro's physical training class in the morning, but he had something to do in the morning, so he changed with Mu Yue, who was in the afternoon class. Mu Yue immediately agreed. He had also heard about Mu Yue taking over classes for other teachers. It was very difficult for him to do this on his own. It could be done once or twice. Every week, teachers would look for someone who could bear it. His teaching level is high. His class scores lead the entire grade. He is praised by the third generation, and he is handsome and good-tempered. Tanihiro Tanimura can only say that it is not unreasonable for the female teachers in the office to discuss Mu Yue every day. He knows his own family affairs well, and Tanimura Nianhiro knows that the root cause of this matter is that his teaching is really average, and he has been like this for so many years but it is impossible for Tanihiro Tanimura to voluntarily give up his position as a taijutsu teacher for the annual class. Teaching in the ninja school is just to make money without danger. This is an opportunity to get a large bonus while lying down. Mr. Tanimura, I feel relieved when I think of you like this. Mu Yue seemed to feel much more relaxed and showed a gentle smile. <laughs> Let's go to an izakaya for a drink together when we have time. Tanimura Nianhiro also said with a smile. Mu Yue smiled and nodded, and after chatting with Tanimura Nianhiro on some useless topics, she found an excuse and left. After Nianhiro Tanimura returned to the office, the female teacher next to him asked curiously, Teacher Tanimura, what does Hanyu Sensei want from you? It's nothing, just some minor things between students. But mister, Hanyu really has nothing to say. Nianhiro Tanimura sat down and said. He was naturally embarrassed to tell the truth about his poor teaching skills when students criticized him, but it was a good idea to use Mu Yuelai to find a topic with the female teacher. After the school bell rang, Nianhiro Tanimura walked towards class one. Entering the classroom, Nianhiro Tanimura didn't feel any different from before. As usual, he first taught some theoretical knowledge of physical skills and then took people down for a run. After finishing the run, Nianhiro Tanimura began to teach taijutsu routines. After teaching them once, he began to let the students practice freely. Teacher Tanimura, can you teach it a few more times? I didn't quite understand it just now, Anko asked. These are the most basic. If you don't understand, you haven't practiced enough. Just practice more, Nianhiro Tanimura said. But Teacher Muyue demonstrates it many times every time she teaches us and she breaks it down very carefully. Anko retorted, How can ninjutsu and taijutsu be the same? Nianhiro Tanimura explained, But taijutsu also has many practical skills and details. Shouldn't hit these be explained in detail? Gangziti asked. Nianhiro Tanimura was speechless. He showed off how a chunin teacher could come up with so many practical details and skills, and just said a perfunctory sentence. Then a large number of students asked various questions and made various suggestions. Stop, stop, you guys train firstest and say hello after the next class. Being questioned by dozens of people at the same time, Nianhiro Tanimura felt like his head was about to explode. Mr. Tanimura, why didn't we all take a step back? We won to ask questions and you won to teach us, Kamizuki Izumo suggested. Nianhiro Tanimura had a question mark on his face wondering if the students were so popular now. So he just asked the teacher to stop teaching. But the more aggressive ones are yet to come. Mr. Tanimura, I think you should retire early. I learned your shuriken throwing and never hit the bullseye once. Mr. Tanimura, ever since I took your taijutsu class, the entire grade has praised our class for how well we learn ninjutsu. Nianhiro Tanimura was a little stunned when he heard the students' offensive language. This was the first time he had encountered such a situation after teaching for more than three years. He thought that the class he taught before didn't like him very much, but it wasn't to this extent. Nianhiro Tanimura was lucky to be warned by Muyue in advance, otherwise he would have been confused and didn't know what was going on. Ahem, everyone, please be quiet and I will demonstrate it a few more times. Nianhiro Tanimura coughed twice and said helplessly, then, Tanimura Nianhiro discovered an interesting thing. The students were dissatisfied with him, but
but the training did not stop. And he even felt more serious than before. He was a little confused. Logically speaking, if he hated him so much, why was he still cultivating so actively? Tanimura Nianhiro felt that Mu Yue's words had an effect, causing students to not slack off in their cultivation, even though they were dissatisfied with him. Nianhiro Tanimura was a little lucky and envious of Mu Yue's control over the class. Let's get through this year first. Nianhiro Tanimura didn't want to give up his position as a taijutsu teacher in the first class, and he might still be able to find an excellent teacher. If this was an ordinary class and students spoke to him like this, he would educate a few students on the spot to let them know what the strength of a chunin is. But this is a class every year, the class with the best grades in the school. The more Tanimura Nianhong taught, the more the students discovered that this teacher was really not good enough, and they strengthened their determination to change teachers. I feel a little dizzy when I write this chapter. If you have any questions, please ask them, and I will revise them tomorrow. At noon on Thursday, Nianhiro Tanimura approached Muyue. Mr. Hanyu, the students in class one are so shameless. They are disturbing me so much that I can't attend class normally. Nohiro Tanimura complained. He admitted that he underestimated the students in the first year class when he said he didn't care before. Yesterday I had a whole afternoon of classes that made everyone numb. I just wanted to get out of school early and end it early. He doesn't have his annual class on Thursday, but he does on Friday morning. In order to prevent the tragic experience on Wednesday afternoon from happening again on Friday, Nianhiro Tanimura found Muyue in advance, hoping to use Muyue's influence among students to help him. Alas, these children have obviously promised me. Mu Yue sighed and defended Tanimura Nianhiro. Don't worry, Mr. Tanimura. I will definitely talk to them this afternoon and tell them not to go against you. After hearing Mu Yue's words, Tanimura Nianhiro was slightly relieved, but still a little worried and said, Mr. Hanyu, can you come over and hang out when I have class on Friday? I'm afraid they won't listen to me. If the first year classes for the next whole year were as torturous as Wednesday, he didn't know if he would be able to persist until the bonus was paid. If you are denied by one or two students, you can pretend that you didn't hear it, but it is really a bit unbearable for this class to deny it all, no problem. Mu Yue nodded and agreed. With your assurance, Mr. Hanyu, I feel relieved. Tanimura Nianhiro smiled gratefully. After finishing the matter, Nianhiro Tanimura turned around and returned to his office. Mu Yue looked at Tanimura Nianhiro's leaving figure and thought that Tanimura Nianhiro had been teaching for nothing in the past three years. He really couldn't grasp the student's psychology at all. If he goes to Mu Yue to forcefully suppress the students like this, the students will not hate Mu Yue, but will only hate Tanimura Nianhiro even more. Because from the student's perspective, Mu Yue is helping a novice colleague. There is no problem, and she can even be said to be very kind. Nianhiro Tanimura, on the other hand, was ignorant and had no self-awareness at all, and he tried to use the class teacher to suppress them. Mu Yue thought about it carefully and realized that she might have wrongly blamed Tanimura Nianhiro. Because this is a ninja school, the situation is different from his previous life. If it weren't for the excellent results in class one, Tanimura Nianhiro would not be in this situation. Shaking her head, Mu Yue stopped thinking about these irrelevant things and walked towards his office. Since it was Tanimura Nianhiro who requested it, what else could he do? Refuse and then be called stingy. No, of course he should agree and then do it. After all, he is recognized as a perfect colleague, Hanyu Mugetsu. Mu Yue returned to the office and continued to practice calligraphy. Hey, teacher Mu Yu, you changed your pen. Aya Weta noticed that the pen Mu Yu was holding was not the same pen as before. Yes, it was given by a student. Mu Yue smiled and nodded. That's great. I've been teaching for several years, and I haven't received any gifts from students, Aya Weta said enviously. After hearing what Aya Weta said, Ikigaya finally found an opportunity to attack and said, Weta, you don't? You want to think about teacher Muyu Das teaching level and how popular he is among students. Compared with him, you are somewhat ignorant. Ueda Aya was speechless for a while. Lies don't hurt anyone, the
the truth is the sharpest knife. Seeing Aya Ueda's depressed look, Ikeda Isamu instantly felt happy. It must be that Mr. Ueda's students are more introverted, and they want to give gifts, but dare not, Mu Yue said. Teacher Mu Yue, you still know how to speak. Ueda Aya smiled, although she knew they were words of comfort. Who doesn't like good words? Kimura Shirin looked at the scene and felt that it was not unreasonable for Ikea Isamu to remain single. When it was almost time for class, Mu Yue left the office and arrived at the classroom. He did not rush to class, but settled the matters assigned by Nian Hiro Tanimura first. Didn't I say something bad about Mr. Tanimura in person? Don't interfere with Mr. Tanimura's class during class, Mu Yue said with a sad look on her face. Teacher Mu Yue, did the physical arts teacher come to complain to you? Gang Zidi was a little speechless. It was the first time he heard about a teacher suing a student, and he was adding insult to injury. We didn't interfere with him when he was teaching. We always gave him guidance after he stopped. Kamazuki Izumo felt that they had been wronged. They did not interfere with the class. Although the teaching was indeed not good, no one criticized Tanimura Nyanhong when he was teaching. They were all watching and studying seriously, and the training was completed very seriously. Everyone wants to get good grades in the final practical examination, so they will definitely not resist training. You must not interfere with Teacher Tanimura's class, and don't say bad things about him, Mu Yue warned, without directly answering Gang Ziti's question. The effect he wanted to achieve was that he did not say that it was Nianhiro Tanimura who complained. But everyone knew that it was Nianhiro Tanimura who caused Mu Yue to preach. We know, the students nodded, not knowing what to do then. Mu Yue nodded, smiled, and then began to lecture. Lecture completed, evaluation. A reward. Earth escape, earth dragon bullet. After school, Mu Yue trained her disciples every day and returned to her home in the main city in the evening. This time, it wasn't Mu Yue who was being cheated on. It was Mu Yue's turn to go to Minato's house to be cheated on. We've eaten at your house so many times, I'm sorry. Today, Mu Yue, you can take a day off and try our cooking. Minato said so, before bringing Mu Yue to his house. Minato and Kushina went into battle together, and each of them cooked two dishes. Minato and Kushina let Mu Yue taste it first. Mu Yue originally wanted to say that everyone should eat together, but looking at the expectant looks in their eyes, he knew what to do next. Mu Yue first tasted the grilled fish made by Shuimen. To be honest, this grilled fish is not the same thing as the grilled fish in Mu Yue's impression. It is not even a whole fish. It is just a palm-sized fish marinated and grilled directly with some salt. It retains the original taste of the food very well and is very delicious, Mu Yue praised. But Mu Yue didn't just praise it, he also pointed out some shortcomings, such as not grasping the time when baking. Mu Yue's evaluation of the next four dishes was similar. But some dishes were praised more than others, and some dishes were praised less. Hey, our food isn't bad either, Kushina said with a happy smile. Kushina was very happy that the dishes she cooked by herself were recognized by a cooking master like Mu Yue. Minato and I are already practicing how to make braised pork. When the time comes, Mu Yue, you must come and try it, Kushina said. Mu Yue smiled and nodded saying in a joking tone that she must try it to check the learning results of their two students. Next, they ate and chatted. Minato also told Mu Yue that he had recently heard talk about Mu Yue from other Junan, saying that the children complained that his teaching was not as good as the Chunin teacher in school. Speaking of this topic, Kushina affirmed Mu Yue's teaching level. Although she had never seen Mu Yue in class at the ninja school, she had seen Mu Yue explain how to cook at this point, Mu Yue was not overly modest, but praised Minato Kushina, saying that if Minato became a teacher, he would definitely be a popular and good teacher. And Kushina, in such a good atmosphere, everyone happily spent the dinner session and achieved their respective goals. Recommended book, The Magnetic Field Rotates, but Naruto. The cool version of Naruto, it's a bit cool. You can check it out if you're interested. Friday morning, class one classroom at ninja school. The students were discussing how to take physical arts classes. Should we wait like last class? A student asked. Not today. 
According to what teacher Mu Yue said yesterday, the Taishu teacher must have told teacher Mu Yue about our actions in the Taishu class. Kamizuki Izumo deduced. With teacher Mu Yue's personality, she might help others to the end and come to inspect during the physical arts class. I am also a Taijutsu teacher, and this is the first time I heard that a teacher reported a student, Gangziti complained. It's even more speechless to just file a report and bring private goods. Today, everyone should respect teacher Mu Yue and not try to persuade her to leave, Kamizuki Izumo said. The students felt that what Shenyo Izumo said made sense and decided to take the physical arts class as Mu Yue's class. This taijutsu teacher is so annoying, Anko said with a depressed look on her face. She was criticized by Mu Yue for not being able to teach physical skills well and even reported to teacher Mu Yue to say bad things about her. The students in class one nodded in agreement. The success of Nianhiro Tanimura's operation made their impression of Nianhiro Tanimura fall to the bottom. After the class bell rang, Nianhiro Tanimura came to the classroom, seeing the students sitting quietly in their seats without talking. Tanimura Nianhiro breathed a sigh of relief, but he did not relax his vigilance because the students in the last class were not so aggressive at the beginning. Let's go to the playground and run three laps to warm up. Nianhiro Tanimura coughed and said. The students all followed Tanimura's instructions and went downstairs to the playground and started running. No one discussed Tanimura. After finishing the run, Nianhiro Tanimura began to teach taijutsu routines. After teaching them twice, he let the students practice freely. During this period, no student said anything wrong with Tanimura Nianhiro. Tanimura calmly felt that this class was not the same group of students as the last class. I really need to treat Hanyu Sensei to a drink. Tanimura Nianhong thanked Mu Yue in his heart. He knew what all these changes were, and Mu Yue must have taken action. Otherwise, the student's performance would not have been so different. At this moment, Mu Yue passed by the playground as requested by Tanimura Nianhiro. Mu Yue said hello to Tanimura Nianhiro and stayed in the playground for a while. When class was over, Shen Yue Izumo said proudly, I'm right, teacher Mu Yue will definitely come over. Then you won, you take any action in the future? Some students are unwilling to accept it. The more Mu Yue helps Tanimura Nianhiro like this, the more annoyed they become. Of course not, teacher Mu Yue is not so free every day. We can continue the action next class. Kamizuki Izumo said, Class two, fourth year, Nohara Lin. Looked at Obito, scratching his head and doing questions and asked worriedly, Obito, what's wrong with you recently? You feel so diligent. You study whenever you have time every day. Although it is a good thing to study so seriously, Obito's sudden love of theory makes Nohara Rin a little worried. After hearing Nohara Rin's words, Obito's writing paused, and he felt the urge to cry. Is this because he is diligent and loves learning? No. This is the result of not practicing physical skills well. There is a cost to doing the questions in installments. For example, if there are 10 questions originally, they may become 11 after being divided into installments. This means that although Obito doesn't have to do a lot in one day, he still needs to do questions every day. What's even more terrible is that training takes place every day which means that he is accumulating new questions every day and then dividing them into periods. But if he were asked to do it all in one go, he wouldn't be able to do it. It would be very painful and would affect his practice. Because everyone, performance is improving, I can't lag behind. Obito said with a stiff smile on his face, he would definitely not say the embarrassing reason of being punished for doing questions due to poor physical skills. It's great that you have such an idea. I feel like I've grown a lot all of a sudden, Nohara Lin said with a pleased smile. Ever since she was late for school, Nohara Rin has always taken care of Obito, like her own younger brother. Nohara Rin was really happy to see that Obito was now at the top of his grade in actual combat and was beginning to pass in theory. Ha! Huh, is that so? When Obito heard Nohara Rin's praise, his originally stiff smile was like withered vegetation being moistened by water, and it soon became natural again. With the blessing of Nohara Rin's praise, Obito's speed in solving the questions has accelerated a bit. 
and he even feels like he can pay off tomorrow's installment in advance. It's holiday again, Obito. What are you going to do on the weekend? Nohara Lin asked. Wait, today's already Friday? Cold sweat broke out on Obito's forehead. In the past few days, he had lost track of time due to the physical training and various problems. That's right, we'll have a holiday after class. Isn't Obito happy? Nohara Rin asked with a smile. After receiving Nohara Rin's affirmative answer, Obito couldn't help but feel his eyes go dark. From Monday to Friday, they only need to practice from the afternoon after school until before the sun goes down. But things are different on weekends. On weekends, we practice from morning until the sun goes down. A lot of training time means more battles with Met Kai. And more battles means more problems. Obito seemed to be able to see questions and papers coming towards him one after another, overwhelming him. Obito, what's wrong with you? Your face seems a little ugly. Do you want me to take you to the infirmary? Nohara Rin saw Obito's ugly expression and asked, It's okay. I'm just so happy about the holiday. Obito forced a smile and said, Yes, I am very happy. After practicing for so long during the vacation, my strength has improved greatly. When the time comes, I will be ranked first in the school and gain Lin's admiration. Obito had already begun to hypnotize himself in his mind. Promise me, Lin, you will practice your physical skills well. Obito couldn't help but to said, Well, I know, physical skills are important. Nohara Rin nodded, not realizing the pain in Obito's words. After school, Obito went to the training ground in the southern forest. Metkai was one step ahead of Obito and had already started exercising. The two looked at each other and saw the desire to win in each other's eyes. The two knew exactly what the weekend meant to them. This is no joke. If you are not careful, you will face countless problems. If you have the sharing in, you can definitely do it. For the first time, Obito was so eager to open the bloodline of the Uchiha clan. The Sharingan has powerful dynamic vision and can easily see through the enemy's movements. He had a hunch that maybe after this weekend, the questions he had to do could be spread directly to the end of the semester. This must not be allowed to happen. Obito punched the wooden stake man hard. On the other side, Metkai was also silently lifting a boulder and performing squats to exercise his thigh muscles. Not only did he not want to do the questions in installments, he also wanted to get first in his grade. Mu Yue looked at both of them, exercising with great motivation, and showed a satisfied smile. If they keep training like this, after a month, Hinata Kamon will be no match for them. Push books, book title, I Become Light in American Comics. The power of mind pushes back tsunamis. Light detonates planets and can travel across the stars at faster than light speeds. A miraculous giant of light, Superman. He is an idea of progress and a light that shines in the darkness. Wonder Woman, he is an honorable warrior. Batman remained silent and silently created a new plan for Ultraman's rampage. Steppenwolf climbing back to Apocalypse with difficulty. No, Ultraman is too strong. Shen Yu, don't listen to their nonsense. I am just an ordinary scientist in the kingdom of light and do not have the power they have. Shisui wiped the sweat from his forehead with his hands and stood against the big tree to rest. Metkai and Obito have also completed their training and are about to start a battle based on the number of questions they solve. Today's youth has come to be released. Metkai had a serious face, his muscles were tense, and he was already preparing to take action. In fact, Metkai's pressure was even greater than Obito's because Metkai was burdened with a debt of 50 questions from the beginning, and he had to keep hitting Obito to reduce it. There must be no more than 30, otherwise there will be no time tomorrow night. Obito took a deep breath. His eyes showed the desire for victory and the fear of the problem. He also wanted to play with Nohara Lin on weekend nights, and he definitely couldn't accumulate too many questions. Start! Mu Yue shouted. As soon as Mu Yue finished speaking, Metkai rushed out instantly and quickly kicked Obito with an extremely fast whirlwind kick. Obito quickly distanced himself, hoping to be hit as little as possible. After standing for a while, Shisui sat down. Seeing Obito and Metkai fighting so seriously, he couldn't help but sigh. It's great. We get along happily every day, and when we compete, 
we try our best to make progress together. Shisui felt that this kind of friendship between friends was really good. Obito almost stumbled and fell to the ground when he heard this. If you don't go all out, you will really have to rush all the way to solve the problem alone and make crazy progress. If it wasn't for the fact that he couldn't beat him, Obito would really like to ask Muyu to allow Shisui to join such training. Although he didn't fall, Obito was successfully hit by Metkai at the opportunity, and the score was increased by one. With this experience, Obito temporarily got rid of his tendency to be easily distracted and concentrated on dealing with Metkai's attack. Five minutes later, Mu Yue next to her told the result of the battle. Obito had 35 questions and Akai had 15 questions. 35 questions. Obito looked bitter. There were five more questions than his bottom line. With so many questions, one would faint from doing so. How could he play with Nohara Rin? Metkai also looked a little uncomfortable. He was beaten every day, and Obito had made great progress. He could no longer reduce the questions to 10 like before. It's okay. If you can't finish it today, you can divide it into installments. You can do it in one week. You only need to do five questions a day. If you want to pay interest, count it as four, Mu Yue said with a smile on her face. If you do too many questions in one day, Obito's brain may not be able to remember them. And it's like doing it in vain. Obito didn't want to divide it into installments because it was originally only 35 steps. But it became 39 steps in one installment. But if you don't divide it in stages, you will be very tired after finishing it in a short time. And you will not have the energy to play with Nohararin. Let's divide it into seven days, Obito replied weakly. Although the total number of trials and installments has increased, he can no longer quit. It is really much easier this way. Mu Yue nodded and wrote down Obito's latest installment questions. Do today's things today. Medke is not going to divide the questions into installments. He wants to finish the questions today. Metkai was not prepared to do this in installments. Mu Yu also nodded because doing the questions itself was a motivating method. And by the way, they could improve their theoretical scores. Mu Yue thinks this method is good. The questions can even help the two of them increase their knowledge without limiting their ninja school knowledge. After resting, Shisui continued to practice. Currently, the focus of his training is on the instant body technique and illusion technique. It was his first contact with these two types of techniques, but he learned them very quickly, even faster than when he first learned fire escape. Disciple Uchiha Shisui has practiced seriously under your guidance and gained a certain increase in strength and received a reward, proficient level. Mu Yue was stunned for a moment when he saw this reward. He didn't remember that there was a move named Shave in Naruto, but the pirate next door did. When a large number of memories about shaving practice appeared in her mind, Mu Yue instantly understood what was going on. This is one of the six types of shaving in his impression, but it has been transformed into the Hokage version by the system. It is a taijutsu and can be regarded as a teleportation technique, which requires the use of chakra. Mu Yue nodded with satisfaction in her heart. If it were Shao among the pirates, his small body might not be able to be used. Those monsters in the pirates were too strong. Mu Yue compared the body blinking technique she knew with shaving and decided to use shaving for the body blinking technique in the future. He felt that the most common teleportation technique he had mastered had been shaved off and exploded. Shisui, I can see your recent efforts. Compared with two months ago, your strength has improved a lot. Keep practicing. I will teach you a stronger teleportation technique in a while. Mu Yue praised with a smile. Something good came out of the big gold mine again, and Mu Yue was in a good mood. A stronger instantaneous technique Shisui's eyes lit up. He was very interested in the teleportation technique and felt that this type of ninjutsu was suitable for him. Well, you need to pay attention to physical training. The body blinking technique is a physical technique. If the body is not strong enough, it will put a lot of pressure on the legs. Mu Yue nodded and said, after all, it was modified from the physical skills of the pirate world. Although chakra is used, it also requires a certain amount of physical strength, not to mention Shisui. 
Mu Yue herself had to strengthen her physical training. His ninjutsu configuration is already very luxurious in the early stage, and the arrival of Shao will enhance his mobility. Teacher Mu Yue, I think I have made great progress. Can you teach me too? Obito scratched his head and chuckled. He really wanted to learn the teleportation technique, not because of fighting, but because he thought it was very cool. If he had learned the teleportation technique during the junior ninjutsu competition, he wouldn't have had to walk up and could have appeared on the stage with a whoosh like Kakashi. Sure. Mu Yue nodded. Great, Mu Yue sensei. You are the best teacher in the ninja world. Obito was very happy to see Mu Yue directly agree and immediately cheered. Teacher Mu Yue, I have actually made great progress. Metkai also wants to learn new physical skills. You can learn anything. Mu Yue smiled kindly. As long as you get first in grade in the final exam, you can learn this teleportation technique from me. Mu Yue stated the prerequisites. But Kai and I are both in fourth grade, so doesn't it mean that one of us must be unable to learn? Obito wondered. Then get first place in the next exam. Or complete the physical challenge I assigned? If you complete it, you can also learn, Mu Yue replied. Is the challenge difficult? Obito asked tentatively. You shouldn't be able to hold on now, Mu Yue said straightforwardly. Obito was silent. In this case, he could only study if he got first in grade. Obito felt that he had one more reason to rank first in grade at the end of the semester. He looked at Metke, who gave him a thumbs up with a bright smile. You will definitely not give up the first place. It just so happens that the use of ninjutsu is not prohibited in the actual combat examination. Obito felt like he was about to burst into flames. First deal with Metkai, then defeat Kakashi, and then he will be the genius Uchiha Obito. This is a question for you to do. Remember to do it well. Mu Yue handed the test paper to Obito. The flames on Obito's body were extinguished instantly. Looking at the questions waiting for him to do one after another, his head suddenly became big. And yours, Akai? Mu Yue smiled and handed over Metkai's share, looking at the black and white test paper. The smile on Metkai's face gradually disappeared, and his originally straight thumbs bent down. Even a tough man can't bear this pain. P.S. Please read, recommend, monthly votes, and various data. We are at a critical moment recently, so please read as much as possible, especially on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. There will be more updates once it is released. If you see any bad comments in the comments, you can tell me in the latest chapter or at me directly in the comment area so I can read more of my chapter. I hope everyone can still have a harmonious discussion and try not to quarrel. Please call me to delete any outrageous comments. I've been slow lately, so the update is late. Do you have any interesting ideas? Do you want to go back together? Shisui asked Obito, who was putting out test papers. Shisui, are you going back early today? Obito asked with some confusion. He and Shisui are both from the Uchiha clan, and their homes are not far away, but they rarely go back together because Shisui often goes back later than them. It's not that Obito doesn't want to practice more, but he's worried that his grandma will be worried about him if he goes back too late. Well, teacher Mu Yue said to go back early today to recuperate and prepare for tomorrow's practice. Shisui nodded and said, the reason why he goes home late every day is because there is no one at home, no matter where he is. Then Shisui, you really need to take a good rest. Tomorrow's training will definitely be very tiring, Obito reminded, looking at Shisui with a hint of pity. After all, Mu Yue said so. The training that Ji Shui will face tomorrow will definitely not be easy. After training at this level, Mu Yue didn't even remind him to take a good rest. I probably guessed that I should strengthen my physical exercise, Shisui said. Mu Yue Du has already said that the new teleportation technique will put more pressure on the legs. So physical training is definitely a must. Maybe I'll join your fight and I'll do my best when the time comes, Shisui joked. Hope that's not the case. Obito clasped his hands and silently prayed to the Sage of Six Paths. When he was doing the questions, he had seen Shisui practicing the teleportation technique. The speed was too fast, and he would definitely not be able to react in a fight. If the opponent were replaced by Shisui, I'm afraid he would have to answer twice as many questions in one battle. <laughs> Probably not. If that were the case, 
Teacher Muyue would definitely have said it in advance. Shisui couldn't help laughing when he saw Obito praying devoutly. To put it somewhat hurtfully, neither Obito nor Metkai can put any pressure on him now. So Muyue will not arrange for them to train together, unless Muyue's purpose is to put pressure on Obito and the others. The two were walking and Obito suddenly stopped. Shisui looked at Obito behind with some doubts. Shisui, wait a moment. There is an old woman over there who seems to need help, Obito said, pointing to an old man hunched over with a big bundle on his back. Shisui looked in the direction Obito pointed. There was indeed an old man on that street who seemed to be walking hard. Is Obito so observant? Shisui was a little stunned. He didn't even notice it just now. After Obito asked the old man what difficulties he had, he immediately helped to carry the luggage and send the old man to his destination. Grandma, I'm fine. Don't look at me because I'm still young. I'll be a ninja next year. I'm very strong. Obito patted his chest and said with a smile. After speaking, Obito also performed a set of taijutsu movements, which really frightened the old lady, and finally handed the luggage to Obito. Obito walked in front, and the old lady followed. Shisui, who walked at the back, showed a thoughtful expression. After helping the old man, the two walked back to the road home. After walking for a while, Obito stopped again and helped an old woman on crutches go home. Shisui finally understood why Obito was called an alien. The first principle that Uchiha children learn is not to respect their teachers, nor to respect their elders, but to respect the strong. And the power of ninjutsu is number one. Nothing is as important as increasing your strength. As long as you are strong enough, nothing is a problem. Shisui is not old, but his talent and strength are here. Even children who are several years older than him must take him as the leader. Obito was different. He didn't have much enthusiasm for training that could enhance his strength. Instead, he was very interested in helping the old man. Shisui thought that this might be why Obito noticed the need to help the old man. Stop water. After entering the Uchiha clan, you can gradually meet acquaintances of the same age. Uchiha Tiho said hello after seeing Shisui, but he was a little confused when he saw Obito standing next to Shisui. Iron fire. Shisui also greeted, then I'll go home first. Obito was anxious to go back to see his grandma, so he said goodbye to Shisui directly and went back. He didn't say hello to Uchiha Tiho because the two of them were really unfamiliar. Um, Shisui nodded and said, Shisui, why are you with him? Uchiha Tiho asked curiously. Before this exam, Obito had always been an oddity among Uchiha in his eyes. He had poor grades and didn't know how to make progress. He looked stupid and his behavior was not like an Uchiha at all. After the exam, I no longer have so many labels, but I still feel that Obito is a strange Uchiha. This was not his own idea, but was recognized by Uchiha of his age. What's wrong? Shisui asked. Well, I just feel surprised. After all, he is the Uchiha Obito. Uchiha Tieho thought for a while and said, In fact, after getting to know him, you will find that Obito is a very good person, Shisui said. Shisui didn't explain much and returned home without a few words of conversation. Could it be that Obito's strength improved because Shisui taught him some training secrets? Uchiha Tieho thought, as he looked at Shisui's leaving figure, he was a little unwilling to be defeated by Obito, and he had been practicing hard recently just to regain his face in the final exam. In the morning, Shisui and Obito got up early and went to the training ground in the southern forest. As Jisui thought, Muyue arranged a lot of physical training for him. All the push-ups and squats were basic, and he also had to swim and run circles around Konoha. The amount of training was beyond Shisui's imagination. Isn't it a bit excessive to conduct such training at my age? Shisui couldn't help but ask. Although some people say that the ninja body has unlimited potential. In fact, excessive exercise can leave hidden wounds on the body. Hearing what Shisui said, Obito came over to take a look out of curiosity and was stunned when he saw it. He suddenly felt that his cultivation was very easy. Normally, of course, it is impossible to train with such a large volume, but I have a special secret medicine that can relieve fatigue after exercise and heal the body. 
Muyue said. Jisui didn't know that this was actually Muyue's reward for giving him a good reward. Because the secret medicine provided by the system is limited, Muyue will keep two for future research and use one less for the remaining ones. Among Muyue's three current disciples, only Metkai can only take the path of physical arts. He originally left all of them to Metkai, but seeing how well Shisui performed, he decided to give Shisui two of them for intensive training. Ji Shisui's potential is the highest among the current disciples. Mu Yue hopes that Ji Shisui will enter the period of explosive growth as soon as possible, so that the chakra provided by the apprentice and returning master will be considerable. Secret medicine? Shisui was a little surprised. It would make sense if it was a secret medicine with special effects. Judging from Mu Yue's usual training plan, he is not a teacher who will increase the amount of training without any reason. Teacher Mu Yu, how much does this secret medicine cost? My family left me a lot of money, Shisui asked. Although his grandparents and parents have passed away, their assets have been left to him. You don't have to worry about this. Your serious completion of cultivation is the best reward for me, Mu Yue said with a smile. Seeing the sincere expression on Mu Yue's face, Ji Shui was very moved. He could feel that these were Mu Yue's words from the heart. To be honest, Mu Yue brought him more warmth than his uncle. Ask for various data, the training to build up his body was much harder than Shisui wanted. Before that, he usually only exercised through running and rarely ran to exhaustion. But today was different. Shisui had done exercises to exercise almost every part of his body. After doing 800 push-ups, Shisui felt that his arms no longer belonged to him. After 800 squats, his legs felt as heavy as lead. After 800 sit-ups, his abdomen felt distended and painful. After completing all these basic exercises, Shisui, who was sitting next to a tree, felt that he had lost control of his body. Normally, he didn't feel much when watching Metkai practice hards there. It wasn't until he did it himself that he realized how uncomfortable it was. At the end, he was almost relying on his will to hold on. His body's perception was very blurred, and he was just relying on his will to complete mechanical repetitive movements. Shisui almost couldn't help but want to use chakra to assist movement. He was too tired. Imagine that the constant flow of sweat blurs your eyes, and the salt contained in it makes your eyes uncomfortable. Every movement of the heavy limbs is a test of will and strength, but you can't stop because you haven't reached the training level yet. Target. 412, 413. Seeing Metkai, who was still doing leapfrog training not far away, Shisui couldn't help but admire him. He and Metkai started training almost at the same time. Metkai's movements were even more difficult to complete than him. When he did push ups, he was just doing push ups. While when Metkai did push ups, he also had to put a stone on his back with weights. Even so, Metkai still did more than him at the same time. And after he was exhausted, Metke still had energy left to continue exercising. In fact, even in a purely physical battle, Shisui would not lose to Metkai, and would even be better than Metkai. However, if it was just a comparison of physical strength, he was much worse than Metkai. When Metkai was resting, Shisui couldn't help but ask, a Kaizen must have been exercising regularly before, so he can complete such a large amount of training. Metkai nodded and replied, it started before I went to ninja school. It was my father who took me to practice together. Hearing Metkai's words, Shisui felt a little melancholy and envious because he no longer had his parents at that age. Shisui believed that if his parents were still alive at that time, they would have taught him ninja knowledge. Shisui, do you feel too tired to finish? I have a training secret here. Do you want to hear it? Metkai decided to give Shisui the exercises his father passed down to him. He didn't have the same kindred relationship as Obito and Shisui. He didn't have much contact with Shisui, but they often trained together and ate together. Metkai already considered Shisui a trustworthy companion. What's the secret? Shisui became interested, exercise self-discipline, and regard the completed training as a challenge. If you fail to complete the challenge, you will be punished. For example, if you do not complete 3,000 push-ups on time, you will punish yourself by doing 500 more push-ups, Metkai said. 
Pushing yourself by putting shackles on yourself is indeed a good way to exercise. Shisui thought for a moment and said. He felt that Medkai's method was similar to Muyue's battle problem. Shisui didn't expect that a seemingly careless person like Metkai could think of such a way to motivate himself. Very good. This is what my father taught me. Every time I encounter a challenge that is difficult to complete, I must exercise self-discipline. Metkai scratched his head and smiled. Then your father must be a very powerful Junin, Shisui praised. To be able to raise a son like Metkai, he felt that Metkai's father could not be bad. <laughs> it's just a Janian, but I think my father is very powerful. Metkai laughed, although he is only a 10,000 year Genin. This does not prevent Metkai from believing in his father's strength. Genin. Shisui looked a little surprised, and he was even more curious about Metkai's father. Considering Metkai's age, his father must be over 28. It is normal to be over 30. It is rare for him to be a Jinin at this age. I have a chakra usage technique for taijutsu here. Let's discuss it. Shisui reciprocated and said, Ninja school, in the classroom of one class per year. The ninjutsu theory course one is over here. The final exam is in two weeks. Next, I will review and prepare for the final exam, Muyue said. Originally, it was enough to finish the lecture a week ago, but Muyue spoke faster, so two weeks of review time were left. Teacher Muyue, don't forget my dumplings, Enko said. As long as you do well in the exam, you will be indispensable for the group, Muyue said with a smile. Teacher Muyu, I want to eat snacks. Gangziti raised his hand and said, You prepare well for the exam, and you will be rewarded when the time comes. Muyu has sorted out the lesson plan and said, Ring, ring, ring. The bell for the end of get out of class soon rang, and along with it came system information. Lecture completed, evaluation. A reward. Fire release, impatience, flower claw. Red Moo. Yue picked up the lesson plan and nodded secretly in her heart. This can be regarded as a more practical fire escape ninjutsu. I actually have to review for two weeks, and I feel very tired just thinking about it, Gangziti complained. Then don't review. Anyway, it's not like you haven't been listening in class. Kamizuki Izumo suggested. Because steel is so unreliable, Shen Yu Izumo feels that he has to rely on himself to find a girlfriend. He had already found out that the neighbor's girl was also attending a ninja school. In class six of the first year, he was going to get first place in the theory test and then approach it as the first one. Although Gangzidi was a few points lower than him in the last exam, the recent mock test has been almost the same as him. Shen Yu Izumo felt that Gang Ziti was a strong rival for the first place. So he wanted Gang Ziti to give up the idea of reviewing. No review. This sounds good. I heard my senior cousin say that sometimes if you don't review for the exam and face the exam with a more relaxed attitude, you will do better on the exam. Gang Ziti nodded and said, in fact, Gang Ziti's first complaint was to pave the way for this sentence. He wanted Shen Yue Izumo to give up the idea of reviewing. And then he won the first place. Because he had already boasted in front of Mihui that he could get the first place in theory. And Izumo Kamizuki was his strong rival for getting the first place. Hey, is that really the case? Hongdu was a little excited. She felt that reviewing the two stars was very tiring. Gangziti and Shen Yue Izuyun nodded in approval. Shisui. Do you usually review for exams? Anko asked Shisui from behind. Shisui shook his head. He had memorized everything in class. Seeing that Shisui, the person who ranked first in theory in the last exam, said this, Anko's eyes lit up instantly, and she felt that she really didn't need to review. Then let's go play together this weekend. Hongdu extended an invitation to the two good brothers. No, I have something to do at home over the weekend. Gangzidi shook his head and refused. He didn't want to play. He just wanted to study and review and win first place. What about you, Izumo? Anko looked at Shen Yu Izumo. Shen Yu Izumo also shook his head and said, My family has a lot of things going on recently, and I can't go there. After finally deceiving someone into not reviewing, of course he had to read and review at home. That's it. Then I'll find someone else to play with. Anko didn't doubt what the two said. The real test had already begun outside the field, 
and Hongdu had already been eliminated. Finally, finally finished. Obito, who finally finished the last question, couldn't help but cheer. After more than 10 days of hard work, he finally finished the questions in each installment. From today on, he no longer has to do questions every day. What's done, Uchiha Obito? What are you yelling at? Get up and answer the question. Ikea Isamu, who was frightened by Obito, said angrily. But to his surprise, Obito got the answer correct. Isamu Ikegaya had no choice but to nod his head and let Obito sit down and listen carefully to the lecture. Lin, let's go out at night. Obito chuckled as he sat down. Tonight? Tomorrow is Saturday. How about going out to play tomorrow, Nohara Lin said. Ah, is it the weekend again? Obito asked with his eyes widened and a look of shock on his face. He had just finished the questions for the installment. So why was it the weekend when he was to receive the questions? Obito, you may have been confused in your studies recently. Today's already Friday, Nohara Rin joked. She has seen Obito's recent efforts, and they are really different from before. It's finally the weekend break. I feel like the class time passes very slowly and the weekend passes in the blink of an eye. Yes, those semester breaks don't feel as long as five days of school. Obito, the joys and sorrows of human beings are not the same. He only thinks that they are noisy. He felt that his time from Monday to Friday had been stolen. Every time he realized it, it was almost time to get out of school on Friday. And then it would be an extremely long weekend. Lynn, let's do it tonight. I have to practice during the day tomorrow, and I may not have much energy at night, Obito said weakly. As the final exam approaches, weekend training is even more difficult than before. When he was fighting with Metkai before, he could still pull through the forest terrain, but later he was placed on the flat ground. He really could only rely on speed and movement skills. So Obito decided to go play with Nohara Rin tonight, and Friday's training was pretty easy. Well, let's do it today. I'll go find you after school, and then we'll go find Kakashi together. Nohara Lin nodded and said, Obito wanted to ask why Kakashi was there, but he opened his mouth and didn't ask in the end. Maybe he thought that Kakashi had no one to play with, so he took him with him. Obito thought on to himself. After school, Obito went to the training ground as usual, and he was still the last to arrive. It's still the same as before. First do various physical exercises, push-ups, pull-ups, squats, etc. After exercising for a certain amount of time, it's time to fight. Today I will change the rules of combat. Muyue called Metkai Obito together and said, Every time you hit the opponent, the opponent will get two more questions, and you will lose one question. The battle time is seven minutes. If you win two more questions at once, you still have seven minutes. Obito seemed to see Maki Hideyama rushing towards him. Previously, it only took one hit, and it only took five minutes to fight. This is super doubled. The only advantage is that hitting the opponent can eliminate one question. As long as you hit the opponent enough times, you don't have to do a single question. The problem is that he has been at a disadvantage in previous battles. He was glad that he had the foresight to ask Nohara Rin to play tonight. According to this intensity, I will definitely be very tired on the weekend, and it will take several days to recover. Sharingan, Sharingan. Obito kept mumbling, very eager to open the limits of Uchiha's blood inheritance. Teacher Muyue, what about the 50 questions that come with me at the beginning of the battle? Metkai looked at Muyue expectantly. Reduced to 40, Muyue replied. For the sake of balance, it cannot be removed directly for the time being, because Metkai's physical skills are much stronger than Obito's. Although it was not canceled directly, it was still 10 less. Metkai was quite happy, and you can use exercise to offset the questions. Up to 60% of the questions can be offset. 300 push-ups can offset one question, and other exercises can also be used. Mu Yue added, One hit will lead to two questions, which will suddenly increase the number of questions. Mu Yue decided to use training to offset the questions to recover the expanded questions. After all, the original intention of doing the questions is to improve the two people's learning and master more knowledge, rather than a pure punishment mechanism. He has to talk about those topics, not just finish them. Offset by 60%. Obito's eyes lit up when he heard this, but when he heard that it took 300 push-ups to do one question, he felt very stressed. 
300 questions. <laughs> Metkai burst out laughing, so he must have been 60% full. Looking at Metkai, who was laughing wildly, Obito was inspired by the thought that he would have a look of confusion on his face later, and calmly said, Teacher Mu Yui, isn't this right? The purpose of the exercise offset question is to allow us to get better exercise. This should be based on personal cultivation progress. How can we fix a specific number? He didn't want to do a bunch of questions alone. What Obito Jen said makes sense, so Akai will pay a thousand questions for one question. Mu Yue thought about it and thought it was okay. Metkai looked at Obito with a question mark on his face, and the smile on his face froze. Akai, I know, you definitely want to get better training, right? No need to thank me. Obito smiled and gave Metkai a thumbs up. Well, Obito, you must also be longing for an all-out battle. Metkai began to press his legs to warm up, preparing to fight with all his seriousness. The battle ended after seven minutes. Obito had 100 questions, and Akai had 20. Mu Yue announced the result of the battle. Obito, I know, you want more topics to study, right? No need to thank me. Metkai showed his shining white teeth and gave a thumbs up. Obito suddenly wanted to slap himself seven minutes ago. Tell me what you were trying to do. This is fine. Both sides will suffer. There are so many questions that it is impossible to finish them in one day. We can only offset part of the training and use part for periodization. Since Nohara Rin said that she wanted to play with Kakashi, Obito simply asked Metkai if he wanted to go with him. Anyway, it was no longer a date between him and Nohara Rin. And Metkai and Kakashi also had a very good relationship. What Obito didn't expect was that Metkai refused, saying that he had made an appointment with Shisui for a night run to exercise today. But they still met in the evening, and while they were playing, they met Shisui and Metkai, who were running. Shisui, believe me, try tights like mine next time. They are very suitable for exercise. Metkai tried to sell the green tights he was wearing. Shisui looked at Metkai, who was posing, imagined himself wearing this green tights, and quickly shook his head in rejection. It was too strange. Who is next to Kai? Kakashi asked, looking at the figure he had never seen before next to Metkai. Our Uchiha genius, a person who is more talented than you, Obito said deliberately. Huh, what are you, Uchiha's tail? Kakashi said calmly. I'm not the last Uchiha. I ranked third in actual competition last grade. Obito saw that Kakashi's impression of him was still before studying with Muyue, so he directly revealed his last test results. If being third is also considered a bad thing, then there are only two people in a grade who are not a bad person. And I was careless last time, so I will definitely be first next time, Obito said unconvinced. Kakashi was stunned for a moment. Of course, being third in the grade does not mean he is at the bottom of the rankings. After thinking about Obito's performance in the junior ninjutsu competition, he felt that third place was quite normal. However, Kakashi couldn't stand Obito's arrogance, so he said, I really don't know if third place is considered a loser, because I have always taken first place, and I don't know what it feels like to be third. Obito opened his mouth and found that he could not refute, because this was the fact. Kakashi had absolute dominance in the school when he was in school, and he was always number one. By the way, were you third in the theory test? I also ranked first in the theory test, Kakashi said with a last strike. Obito felt like he had been shot in the heart. The theory was that he would always be in pain. Not to mention the third place, he barely passed because of Mu Yue's tutoring. Although the theoretical results were really not good, he would not admit it when faced with Kakashi Obito. So he said stubbornly, During the last theoretical exam, I didn't sleep well the day before and my performance was slightly worse than the actual test. But this time, it is definitely different. If it's slightly worse, it's not even a passing grade, Kakashi, who knew Obito very well, said deliberately. As he expected, Obito immediately burst out on his own. No, I just passed the test. Obito retorted that this was his first time passing. Just passing is a little worse than third place, which is a bit big for you. Kakashi couldn't help but have a smile on his face as he spoke. Obito was silent. If he could become Hokage, he would definitely issue an order to abolish the theory examination of the ninja school. It was too torturous. Obito has been working very hard recently. I see that he is studying every day, and his grades in the final exam 
may improve by leaps and bounds. Nohara Rin spoke for Obito. Obito, who was originally a little depressed, instantly recovered and felt that the world was so beautiful. Looking at the back of Metkai Shisui, who is gradually going away, I feel a little cute. No, Akai and Shisui are exercising, and I'm wasting time arguing with Kakashi? Obito suddenly thought of a question. Under this ebb and flow, Metkai will definitely become stronger than him. By then, he will have more problems to solve and will have no time to play with Nohara Rin. If you play with Lin, you will have to do more questions. If you do more questions, you will have no time to play with Lin. Therefore, if you play with Lin, you will have no time to play with Lin. Obito came up with such a strange logical chain in his mind. Obito didn't understand why Metkai and Shisui would exercise together at night. One of these two people is of his own race and the other is his classmate. Why does he feel like an outsider? Obito recalled it and found that he seemed to be called, but he wanted to go play with Lin, so he refused. Obito was very entangled at this time, thinking about how to solve this problem. Then he saw Kakashi, and an idea came to him. No matter how hard he refused to admit it or how hard he spoke, Obito had to be sure in his heart that Kakashi was really powerful. He graduated at the age of five and became a chunin at the age of six. When they were still in the second grade of the ninja school, Kakashi had been promoted to chunin, the same level as the school teachers. If he could learn something from Kakashi, he might be able to gain an advantage in the battle with Metkai. Kakashi, if your opponent is faster and stronger than you, how should you deal with it? Obito asked Kakashi. Get some distance and use ninjutsu, Kakashi replied, only using physical skills. Obito added a condition. I know ninjutsu, why don't I use ninjutsu? Kakashi refused to answer. Obito scratched his scalp and roared in his mind, damn Kakashi, because the chakra was almost gone at that time and I couldn't use ninjutsu. Obito thought for a moment and said, then fight him head on. Why, strength and speed are both disadvantages? How can you beat him head on? Obito was very confused. This way, you can die more heroically. Don't you need chakra for taijutsu? Kakashi replied politely. Obito was a little crazy. This damn Kakashi didn't play according to the routine at all. Feeling that he was almost amused, Kakashi said, Since the strength and speed of the body are not as good as those of the enemy, it is necessary to focus on body skills and skills. The so-called battle is nothing more than how I hit the enemy and how to prevent the enemy from hitting me. Movement skills can allow you to avoid the enemy's attacks and avoid injury. Stronger skills can make up for the lack of strength when attacking. Obito felt that what Kakashi said made sense, but he didn't seem to say anything. Thinking about it carefully, he had already heard similar words from Mu Yue. Are you going to participate in some kind of competition where you can only use physical skills? Is there anyone better than you? Kakashi speculated. It's not a competition, it's a practical test. My two rivals are both good at physical arts. Obito didn't tell Kakashi the truth. He felt that if Kakashi knew that it was a battle penalty, he might not help him and watch him do the questions with a smile. If you really want to improve your physical skills, I wouldn't mind helping you, but I'm afraid you won't be able to endure the hardship, Kakashi said. The thing that I, Uchiha Obito, am not afraid of the most is suffering. Obito smiled after hearing Kakashi's words. What pain can be worse than doing a hundred questions in one battle? My pain is greater than yours, Kakashi. Then Kakashi took the two of them to a nearby training ground. Next I will fight you without using ninjutsu, but I won't hold back. Are you sure you want me to help you train, Kakashi asked finally. Just use your full strength, Obito said with a nonchalant expression. He just wanted to test Kakashi's strength. There is no doubt that Kakashi is better at ninjutsu, so Obito feels that in a pure taijutsu duel, the gap should not be too big. Okay, then I'll start. Seeing that Obito said this, Kakashi decided to fulfill Obito's wish. The next moment, Kakashi appeared in front of Obito using the teleportation technique and kicked Obito away before he could react. Obito, who was chatting with Nohara Rin just now, was a little confused. He patted the dust on his body and said, I was careless and continued. A minute later, Obito's body was covered with dust, 
and there were several shoe prints on his body. Because Nohara Rin was watching from the side, even if he fell down several times a minute, Obito could still stand up pretending to be relaxed and shout to continue. Nohara Lin looked at the two people who were already in the state and hesitated to speak. She seemed to be a little redundant here. P.S. I'm looking for monthly votes and all kinds of data. Everyone, please don't read books during these three days. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I beg you during the time of life and death, recommend a friend's death fanfic book title. The Sunny and Cheerful Boy of Death. After finishing the disciples' training on Sunday afternoon, Mu Yue went to the main city and went directly to Minato's home instead of going home. When they were having dinner at Mu Yue's place last night, Kushina and Minato told Mu Yue that they had almost mastered the meat croquet practice and were going to officially start doing it tomorrow afternoon. Mu Yue could go over and have a look if she had time. When Mu Yue arrived, the two of them had just finished cooking the pork belly and were preparing to color it with soy sauce. When Mu Yue was about to step forward to help, she was stopped by Kushina. Mu Yue, just watch. If there is anything wrong with the steps, you can tell me. No need for help, Kushina said. After eating at Mu Yue's house every night, Kushina was too embarrassed to ask Mu Yue to help. Minato took a fruit plate and poured a glass of water for Mu Yue and said with a gentle smile, Mu Yue, you don't need to help today. You will be the invigilator. Minato and Kushina had an idea that they should do it themselves this time. Then I'm going to be lazy, Mu Yue said with a smile. You can use a skewer to poke some small holes in the skin of the meat and then pour soy sauce. This will make the meat more flavorful and make it looser when fried later, Mu Yue reminded. Kushina Minato realized that she had forgotten such a small detail. Under Mu Yue's reminder, Kushina and Minato completed each step in an orderly manner including frying slices, seasoning, and steaming. And by the time the two of them finished their work, it was already dark. Although this braised pork is delicious, it is also very troublesome to make. Mu Yue, you must be very hungry, Kushina asked. Compared with some of the home-cooked dishes she usually makes, braised pork is much more troublesome. It is obviously one dish, but it actually requires three steps of boiling, frying, and steaming. Fortunately, after all, I was just watching, Mu Yue replied. While the two were talking, Minato brought up the finished pork belly. Next, I asked teacher Mu Yue to give grades. Minato joked, you guys have been busy for so long, why don't you taste the fruits of your labor first? Mu Yue did not rush to taste it, but chose to let Minato Kushina eat it first. Then let's eat together. Kushina, who was already very hungry, decided not to do so many foolish things. The three of them quickly served the rice and said, I'm going to start. Then they started eating. Yes, it's this fat, but not greasy feeling. Picking up a piece of meat and putting it in her mouth, and then taking a mouthful of rice with her chopsticks, Kushina showed an excited expression on her face, feeling full of accomplishment. She felt that her time was not wasted, and she successfully learned a delicious dish. Although she felt that Mu Yue's cooking was more delicious, Kushina felt that there was no one in the world who could cook better than Mu Yue. Isn't it normal to be slightly worse than the best in the world? When Jiraiya Sensei comes back, I will make sure to give him a taste, Minato said as he ate. Minato was also very satisfied with this plate of pork, so he wanted to share it with Jiraiya. Well, the finish is very high and there are no big shortcomings. Mu Yue also praised it after tasting it. It's not that I just want to gain a good impression, but this dish is not difficult to cook at home. And with his guidance, the finished product will naturally be good. However, an embarrassing scene soon occurred. That is, they finished eating the braised pork very quickly, and the three of them stared at each other. Sorry, I forgot to cook other dishes. Looking at the empty plate, Minato came to his senses. I was so focused that I forgot about it. Kushina smiled sheepishly. Let me stir fry two dishes. Mu Yue stood up and said, this is not good. You are a guest. How can you let the guests cook? Kushina was a little moved, but it felt bad. Do you want me to cook it at home and bring it over? Mu Yue asked with a smile. I'll wash the dishes. Minato stood up silently. Kushina thought about the taste of Mu Yue's cooking and finally nodded uncontrollably. Mu Yue, 
Aren't you interested in sealing techniques? Have you been learning any sealing techniques recently? I can teach you some sealing techniques. Jusin, who was sitting at the dining table doing nothing, couldn't help but ask. Kushina was really embarrassed and wanted to repay Muyue for having a meal at her own house. I'm still reading various theoretical books. Do you have any recommendations for sealing techniques, preferably those available in the library? Muyue thought for a while and said, If you haven't started learning yet, how about I teach you an introductory sealing technique for our Uzumaki clan, and also test your sealing technique talent. If you learn it in one day, you are a genius in the sealing arts. You have the talent in the sealing arts in a week. If it takes more than a month, it is not recommended to waste time on the sealing arts, Kushina said. So Kushina, how long did it take for you to learn it? Muyue asked as she heated up the oil. One day, Kushina replied with a proud look on her face, and she waited for Mozuki to ask. Then you are not a genius in sealing, Muyue praised. Generally, that is, we have learned most of the sealing techniques of our Uzumaki clan, Kushina said as usual, the smile on her lips could no longer be controlled. After eating, Kushina handed Muyue a scroll and then went to wash the dishes, with Minato explaining to Muyue. Muyue listened very seriously, more seriously than ever before. This sealing technique is called one finger speed sealing. It creates a seal that blocks chakra very quickly. However, the binding force is not strong and it is easy to break. It has no practical significance and is generally only used for entry-level practice, Minato explained. I don't know whether it's because Minato has a high level of sealing skills and is good at giving lectures, or because Muyue has a talent for sealing skills. He feels that this one-finger seal seems quite simple. Muyue did not show this aspect, but only asked questions from time to time. On Monday, Gangziti went to the ninja school early. Seeing that Shenyue Izumo, had not yet arrived, he nodded with satisfaction. He put a novel on the table and started reading. After feeling that Shenyu Izumo was about to arrive, Gangziti put the textbook away, leaving only the novel on it. Ziti, didn't you say you don't need to review? Why did you come over so early to read? Kamizuki Izumo, who studied until one o'clock in the morning last night, asked in surprise. Gangziti raised the novel in his hand and said, There's no need to review it. This is a new ninja novel that was published recently. It's really good. Kamazuki Izumo looked at the cover pattern and the book title and then felt relieved and said with a smile, reading novels to relax is indeed a good choice. It turns out that Zidi likes reading novels. I will buy him a best-selling novel tomorrow and let him read it for two weeks, Shen Yue Izumo thought to himself. He felt that his number one position was becoming more and more stable. Izumo... Why do you look so lethargic? You don't know how to stay up late to study. This is not good for your health and is not good for exams. Gang Ziti tried with a concerned look on his face. No, I was playing games with my cousin last night and lost track of time. So I didn't go to bed until very late. Shen Yu Izumo said with a natural expression, playing games to relax is not a bad idea. Gang Ziti smiled, feeling that his number one position was becoming more and more stable. He liked playing games, so he decided to ask more about various games after school and tried to let Shenyu Izumo play various games every day for two weeks. What novel or game? Anko entered the classroom and became interested. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday are really important. Please read them. Seal up. In the southern forest on Monday afternoon, Mu Yue was practicing the one-finger seal taught to him by Kushina. Since it was a sealing technique used to seal chakra, Mu Yue used his shadow clone to experiment. Unable to condense chakra, he succeeded. The shadow clone responded. But I feel like I can break through with all my strength, the shadow clone added. Mu Yue nodded. No wonder Minato said this sealing technique had no practical value. Although he has just learned it, no one can be instantly broken through by a shadow clone with only half of his chakra. This restraint strength is unparalleled, but I have learned it. Do I have a talent for sealing? Mu Yue thought in her heart. The sealing technique was given to him by Kushina last night, and he practiced it today. According to Kushina, he is considered a genius in the sealing technique. Strictly speaking, he only practiced for less than half a day. 
He practiced for a while last night, plus a short period of time this afternoon. Many speculations flashed through Muyua's mind, whether it was the original owner's own talent, his own talent, or the result of the sum of the two. It doesn't matter what the reason is because this is absolutely good news. Even if he didn't look to the future to learn those powerful sealing techniques, he was only limited to the present, and he saw the dawn of breaking the root curse seal. After reading books about sealing and curse seals, and then learning another sealing technique, Mu Yue already knew that curse seals were actually a subcategory of sealing techniques. The seal of tongue disaster is essentially a sealing technique, a relatively special sealing technique. Sealing techniques can generally be solved in two ways. The first is to break through directly through powerful chakra, and the second is to use the corresponding decryption technique to lift the seal. Relying on chakra to forcefully break through the seal, Mu Yue felt that this method was very unreliable because the level of the tongue bane eradication seal was not low. If he could forcefully break through, it would not be difficult to kill Danzo. So Mu Yue is planning to learn more sealing techniques, then study her own tongue eradicating seal, and finally develop the decoding technique for the tongue eradicating seal. He deliberately left a ninjutsu proficiency scroll unused and prepared it for the sealing technique. The system rewards him with chakra attribute ninjutsu that he has not mastered and will directly give him certain knowledge of corresponding property changes. Therefore, Mu Yue speculates that if he directly upgrades a certain sealing technique to a proficient level, he can also gain some knowledge of sealing techniques. Mu Yue was not going to use the skilled scroll for the one finger seal. He felt that this sealing technique should be equivalent to the three body technique in the sealing technique. It would be a bit of a loss to use the skilled scroll for the sealing technique. After finishing the disciples training, Mu Yue went directly to the main city area. Since Kushina and Minato were invited to dinner yesterday, Mu Yue naturally called the two of them to their home to have dinner together. Today, Mu Yue made chili omelet, tempura, and potato stew. Mu Yue's personal favorite is chili omelet, a dish that his mother often cooked for him in his previous life. It can be said that Mu Yue likes eating eggs very much, and he can accept them whether they are steamed, boiled, or fried. In addition, he also prefers spicy food, so there are few leek omelet in his house, and they are basically chili omelet. First, beat the eggs in a bowl, quickly beat them with chopsticks, then pour the chili directly into the egg liquid, stir, and then pour it into the pot. Although with the blessing of chef skills, he has become better than his master. But every time he cooks this dish, he will recall the relevant memories from his previous life. Mu Yue, what's wrong with you? Are you still afraid of being spicy by the food you cook? Kushina joked, as she watched Mo Yue pick up the chili omelet without eating it. It's amazing that chili and eggs can taste so delicious when fried together, Minato praised. If you ask him to cook, he will definitely not be able to combine peppers and eggs, let alone fry them together so roughly. Yes, the chili omelet is delicious. Mu Yue stopped recalling, said with a gentle smile, and then put a piece of chili omelet into her mouth. Well, delicious. The three of them chatted while eating, and finally talked about the sealing technique that Mu Yue was learning. Mu Yue, can you use that one finger seal now? Kushina asked. Mu Yue shook her head and said, Every time I rehearse it in my head, it goes well, but I just can't use it smoothly. I feel like something is missing. Mu Yue was not prepared to say what she had learned in half a day, which was a bit shocking because Kushina even said, that she had learned it in one day. Wherever Kushina is, there are always an embu under surveillance, and he doesn't want to act too exaggerated. He was going to pretend that he had practiced it for seven days, so that he would not be too talented, but also show that he was talented in the sealing technique. This is normal. Few people can learn it in one day. This is normal for you, Minato said comfortingly. He was worried that Mu Yue would be affected by Kushina's previous words, causing mental problems. Yes, as long as you can learn it within a month, there will be no problem. Kushina added, If you don't understand anything, just ask us. You're welcome, Kushina said while cooking. Minato also nodded, indicating that there was no problem. As long as you don't find it troublesome. Mu Yue sighed and said, Thursday afternoon in Konoha Southern Forest. 
Obito had 85 questions, and Metkai had 30 questions. Mu Yue announced the result of this afternoon's battle. There are only 85 ways. Obito couldn't help but show excitement on his face. He felt that the beating he received from Kakashi was not in vain. This was the one with the fewest problems since the battle rules were changed, which showed that he had improved, being beaten less and hitting more. Obito planned to use 40% of it for training, do 10% on the same day, and use the remaining 50% for periodization. After the allocation, he even felt that there were not many questions. There are actually 30. Metkai clenched his fists in disbelief. This was the most problematic time since the rules were changed. Even if the ratio of questions to training is maximized, 12 questions will still have to be done. Yes, you have all made great progress. If you want to do the questions in installments today, you can waive the interest, Mu Yue said with a smile. Obito's eyes lit up instantly, feeling that he could do more in installments. Madkai thought for a while and thought that there was no interest in the installment. Isn't this a free gift? No matter whether it is free or not, he also applied for an installment with Mu Yue. After the training, Metkai found Shisui, hoping that he could help him with some intensive training. Obito's progress gave him a strong sense of crisis. Although he still had a great advantage, Obito was not allowed to use ninjutsu during the battle, and he did not even have half the strength. Metkai recalled what Mu Yue once said, that fighting is also an important part of improving strength. It is not a training battle like Obito, but a real fight with all your strength. All the strength, Shisui asked. Metkai nodded in confirmation. Then I'm going to take action. Shisui informed him in advance. Metkai also tensed his muscles, ready to explode with physical skills at any time. But the next moment, after Shisui finished speaking, a big tree emerged from the ground and tied up Metkai. When Metkai was still wondering what ninjutsu Shisui had used, the big tree that tied him suddenly disappeared, and Shizui had already put a kunai on his neck, and the battle ended. Metkai understood what had just happened. He was under Shisui's illusion. There is still a long way to go to become the strongest. Metkai, who was instantly killed by one blow, thought, Please, come again. Although the road is long, Matt K will not admit defeat. Recommended book. Something is wrong with this Hinata in Konoha. Time travels to a time when Hinata's family is separated. Sarutobi hates him at the beginning, and he has a close friend from Uchiha. It's a start filled with buffs. Let's see how the protagonist changes his destiny. Tilda Obito, have you encountered anything good recently? You seem to be in a good mood. Nohara Lin saw that Obito was particularly happy today, so she asked curiously. Of course it's because better times are coming, Obito said with a smile. Although the number of questions seems to increase after the battle rules are changed, this is offset by training. There are also questions in installments. In fact, the number of questions done every day does not change much. Now he's getting stronger and has fewer and fewer questions. If there are offsets and installments, good times are not coming. Obito, you finally remembered the date. Do you want to play together tomorrow? Nohara Rin thought that the good days Obito mentioned were weekends, so she invited. Date, let's play together tomorrow. Obito looked a little confused and then thought of a terrible possibility. Today is Friday again? Obito asked Nohara Rin. That's right. Isn't the good day you mentioned Obito the weekend? Nohara Rin nodded and asked. Obito was silent. He felt like yesterday was Sunday. Why is today Friday again? In a daze, Obito remembered that he had experienced this scene several times. Am I trapped in a world of Fridays and weekends? Obito held his head, unable to accept the fact. What's wrong with Obito? He looked very distressed. Nohara Lin didn't understand. Why do some students look miserable as soon as the weekend comes? Isn't it okay to have a holiday? Because I love school so much and love learning, the thought of not being able to go to school makes me very uncomfortable. Obito explained forcefully. Obito would not tell Nohara Rin because he was afraid of the embarrassing thing of accumulating a bunch of questions over the weekend and not being able to finish them. So, Obito, do you love studying so much? Nohara Rin was a little surprised. 
feeling that this might be related to Obito's progress this semester. Do you still want to play tomorrow? Nohara Lin asked. Go tonight, Obito replied. I really didn't have the energy to play on the weekend after the rule change. He practiced and did exercises almost all day during the day, but at night he didn't want to move at all. Every time I think about the fact that Metke can practice Obito on his own, in addition to training, his scalp feels numb. What kind of body and will is this? Akai, isn't he tired? Obito looked at Metkai, who was lowering his head to do the questions and thought in doubt. I hope there will be interest-free installments on weekends as well. Obito thought about yesterday and then silently prayed to the kind-hearted Mugetsu Senin in his heart. After school, Obito went to the training ground as usual, and he was the last one to arrive. Mu Yue called the three of them together and then arranged the task. Kai, kick that tree with all your strength. Mu Yue casually pointed to a lush tree and said, Metkai nodded, walked to the tree, exploded with chakra, and kicked out a very fast tornado kick. Bangta! The trees fell down in response and were directly broken by Metkai's kick. My strength is enough to break a big tree. Metkai was a little surprised. At that time, he thought it was cool when he saw Mu Yue quickly kicking down the big tree, but he didn't expect that he could do it so quickly. Then, Mu Yue used ninjutsu to create a big pit, then filled it with water escape and said to Obito, Obito, use your full power to attack the puddle with Go Fireball. Obito started forming seals, as Mu Yue said, and then spit out a huge fireball, instantly evaporating all the water in the puddle, leaving only a piece of scorched earth. This is the power of the fire escape I released. Obito's eyes widened. This was a puddle several meters wide. Three months ago, his little fireball couldn't evaporate even in a half meter puddle. Then Mu Yue took them to review a series of training projects, such as climbing trees and treading water. Obito suddenly realized that he had really become much stronger. Those training and treading water that once made him extremely embarrassed. He could now run around on it without being knocked over by the waves. No matter how tall the tree is, he can comfortably walk up it. He can easily melt two ice cubes as big as a human head, and he can easily get huge fireballs and huge dragon fires. Finally, Muyu made a simulation roll for Obito and Metkai. 60 points, is this my score? When Obito saw the scores on the test paper, his expression was even more surprised than when he saw the fire release evaporating puddle just now. It was the first time I scored 30 points in the last exam. The 60 points is an unprecedented high score. 54 points. Matkai burst into tears while holding the test paper in his hand. He felt the same as Obito. That is, it was too high, too high to be realistic. Obito couldn't help but ask, Teacher Muyue, are you really the sage of six paths? The hard work for so long was not in vain. Everything paid off. Nature changes, ninjutsu, taijutsu, chakra control, and even theoretical achievements. Obito feels that he has become stronger in all aspects, much stronger. At this time, Obito felt that it didn't matter if he did the questions every day and trained all day on weekends because he had gained so much. If he continues like this, he might actually become the Hokage of Konoha, you speak so nicely. Do you want to be interest-free today? Mu Yue asked with a smile. <laughs> it's best if you can avoid it tomorrow. Obito smiled naively. Although it feels like it's no big deal to do the questions now, I think I should do less if I can. What a beautiful idea. The special benefits are only for yesterday. Mu Yue brought her fingers together and tapped Obito on the head. The reason why I suddenly created such a training summary is to let the disciples see their progress and become more motivated to practice. Timely positive feedback is very important, and Mu Yue plans to conduct such a training summary every once in a while. The disciples' emotions were stirred up, and Mu Yue did not waste any time and directly gave the calligraphy she had written recently to the three disciples. You gave your disciple Uchiha Obito's handwritten calligraphy as a gift. Because the disciple was very grateful, he was rewarded with a critical hit and received the Ninjutsu Earth Release and Earth Spear, proficient level. A lot of experience in practicing the Earth Release. Earth Spear appeared in Mu Yue's mind, and he instantly realized the various uses of this Ninjutsu in actual combat. Mu Yue nodded secretly in her heart, 
feeling that this reward was good. This is a very practical earth release ninjutsu that can harden any part of the body. It can be said to be a combination of offense and defense and is extremely practical. It is very useful whether it is used to defend when being pressed in the face or to harden the offensive part when attacking. Don't forget your original intention. Obito thought for a while, but finally couldn't think of any special meaning and finally chose not to. God rewards those who work hard. Metkai scratched his head and vaguely felt the meaning and smiled. Even if the summary of this training is not included, he is still full of motivation. Those who have attained the Tao will receive more help, while those who have lost the Tao will receive little help. Jishui also couldn't understand what Muyua's calligraphy meant. What is a gainer and what is a loser? P.S. I'm looking for monthly votes and all kinds of data. Everyone, please don't read books during these three days, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I beg you during the time of life and death. Recommended book. I am in Konoha, starting from Anbu, to subvert the ninja world. Hinata Mochizuki woke up from the dungeon and found that he was in a certain death situation. He just wanted to protect himself, but he tore off Konoha's bright veil. When you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you. The boy who slays the dragon will eventually become the evil dragon. Wearing a cat face mask and an unbu cloak, he stood on the Hokage rock overlooking the village. His dark figure was stretched by the sunlight and whispered softly to himself, with the darkness of Konoha, overthrow the ninja world. On Sunday evening, while preparing dinner, Muyu had told her about practicing the one finger seal. Have you finished practicing, I calculated. It's exactly seven days. Kushina counted on her fingers and found that Muyue learned it in exactly seven days. You learned it in seven days, which shows that Muyue has a very good talent for sealing, Kushina said with a smile, feeling happy for Muzuki. With such talent in the sealing technique, if you continue to learn, it will not be difficult to be promoted to a special junior by relying on the sealing technique. I think the reason why I can learn it so quickly is mainly because you, Kushina-sensei, and Minato-sensei teach me well. Muyue put the dishes on the table and said with a smile, this can be considered a comeback. Minato and Kushina also jokingly called him Muyuki-sensei before. Hey, no, I taught Minato all his sealing skills step by step, Kushina said proudly. After her relationship with Minato got better, Kushina hoped that Minato would become stronger, so she often took Minato to practice sealing techniques together. Under her careful teaching, Minato has become a master of sealing techniques and has mastered many advanced sealing techniques. Maybe I'm suitable to be a teacher. Kushina felt that she might have a talent for teaching. She has taught both Minato and Muyue the sealing technique. Minato has become a master of sealing techniques, and Muyue has also learned to seal with one finger in a week. Kushina sensei, stop talking and get ready to eat, Minato teased as he helped Kushina serve the rice. Student Minato, who asked you to talk to the teacher like this? As a punishment, you can pick up food for the teacher, Kushina said, imitating the tone of her former ninja school teacher. Well, Minato showed a helpless smile and cooperated with Kushina's performance, helping Kushina pick up the food. Muyue next to her was in a slightly subtle mood. Even though she was at his home, he had the idea of going out to eat with the bowl in hand. If you continue like this, I will finish all the food. Muyue directly turned on the rice cook mode and cooked rice quickly. Quickly pick up the vegetables and put them into your mouth together with the rice, and then repeat this operation. Hey? <laughs> Seeing the dishes on the plate gradually dwindling, Kushina and Minato no longer had time to continue role-playing and began to immerse themselves in cooking. Soon the three of them had wiped out all the dishes on the table, and then Kushina and Minato went to wash the dishes. Since the meal was too frequent, they usually helped Mu Yue with other tasks, such as washing vegetables and dishes. Mu Yue would also help when she went to eat with them. After washing the dishes, Kushina asked Mu Yue to familiarize herself with the one-finger seal and the sealing techniques on the scroll. In a few days, she taught Muyue the three-finger seal. The three-finger seal is an advanced version of the one-finger seal. 
With your talent, you should be able to learn it in a month, Kushina said. Is there a four-finger seal or a five-finger seal on it? Mu Yue felt that the name was a bit careless. There is no four-finger seal, only a five-finger seal. Kushina replied, there really is. If you can master the five-finger seal, learning most sealing techniques is not difficult. And the five-finger seal itself is also part of an advanced sealing technique. Kushina explained, Kushina said this, and Mu Yue understood the meaning of the sealing techniques of one-finger seal and three-finger seal. Whatever you want to eat tomorrow, I will prepare the ingredients in advance, Mu Yue said. Although everyone was already familiar with each other, he had to show some appreciation when Kushina and Minato taught him the sealing technique. Stir the meat, Kushina replied immediately, sout ed mushrooms. Minato thought for a moment and replied, Kushina's answer was what he expected. As for Minato, Mu Yue felt that she had to remind him that the fungus must be cooked and also leave a mark of the flying thunder god in Konoha Hospital. Then on Monday, Gangziti went to school early. He skillfully placed the novel on the table and started reading. This was the last week. The final exam would be held directly on Monday next week. After three days of exams, he would be on vacation. When it was time for Shen Yu Izumo to arrive, Gang Ziti put the book away and opened the novel. Ziti, good morning. Shen Yu Izumo greeted Gang Ziti with a smile. Are you reading a novel again? Shen Yu Izumo looked at the book placed in front of Gang Ziti and breathed a sigh of relief after confirming that it was a novel. Yes, the exam is only a week away. There is no point in studying at this time. It will only make you anxious. It is better to relax. Gang Ziti replied with a smile. By the way, Izumo, I recently discovered a good game. Come and see if you like it, Gang Ziti said, and took out a square iron box from his bag. This is when he inquired about the popular game Backgammon, which is said to be very addictive. Once you play it, you will continue to want to play it. Doesn't Kamazuki Izumo like to play games? Such an excellent game cannot be played for a week. Backgammon and I played this once at a relative's house. It was so fun. Ziti, you are so loyal. Kamizuki Izumo was very moved. Unexpectedly, the lies he told to cover up his studies were actually remembered by Gang Zitai, which made Shen Yu Izumo feel a little guilty. Gang Ziti treated him like this. How could he? I've recently bought a lot of good ninja novels, and I can't finish them all. I'll give you three of them as a gift. Shen Yue Izumo smiled and took out the novel and handed it to Gang Ziti. Although brotherly love is good, he wants to win the heart of his neighbor's sister. Since you like reading novels, let's read novels for a week. Anyway, Gang Ziti himself said that he would relax for a week. These are all hot-selling novels recently, Izumo. Looking at the novel handed over by Izumo Kamizuki with a smile, Gang Ziti was very moved. His usual disguise was actually taken seriously by Shen Yu Izumo, and he even used this poor excuse to give him a gift. There is no novel that I can never finish, and good novels will only become less and less interesting the more I read them. I have recently collected various games. Izumo, you can take them. Gang Ziti was worried that backgammon was not enough, so he handed a piece of paper to Shen Yu Izumo. There are more than a dozen games written on the paper, both indoors and outdoors. The main thing is that they are complete. I'm sorry for the sake of Meihui Izumo. Gang Ziti apologized inwardly. Shisui, do you want to read a novel to relax? I think you are very tired from studying every day, and I can't finish all these books in one time. Gang Ziti asked Jisui behind him. The games on my side can also be shared. Shen Yue Izumo also said quickly. But to their regret, Shisui shook his head and declined. Are you two good brothers anymore? You can ask Shisui, but not me. The red girl put her hands on her hips and glared at the two of them. Gangziti, Shenyui, Izumo. They were afraid that if Hongdu continued like this, his grades would not be as high as last time. Um, Hongdu, maybe you should review it. Gangziti couldn't help but said. Hongdu was no threat to him. He was more worried that Hongdu would do poorly in the exam. Why review? Isn't it better not to review? Have you reviewed? Anko asked, confused. Gang Ziti naturally didn't dare to admit it and shook his head directly. Have you reviewed Izumo? Anko asked again. 
No. Shen Yue Izumo also shook his head. That's it. Anko nodded with satisfaction. Shen Yue Izumo and Gangzi Timin looked at each other and finally shared the novel and game with Hong Du as Hong Du wished. That's what good brothers should be like. Anko patted the two of them on the shoulders and smiled happily. Recommended book. Summoning of Heroic Spirits. I have one more talent traveling to the world of Yuling. Ye Ming discovered that he could not only evolve the history of heroic spirits, but also replace key holy relics. Next, you have to do 25 questions every day for 10 consecutive days to pay off all the installments. On the way to the Southern Forest, Obito was calculating the problems he was burdened with. I couldn't finish it even during the holiday. Obito scratched his hair, feeling a little stressed. Not only are there a lot of old debts, but new debts are acquired every day, which is very difficult to bear. Obito felt that he would have to answer questions every day for the rest of his life, if he continued like this. After Obito arrived, Muyua called Metkai and Obito together and said, Next week is the final exam, so I will change my practice plan. Change your training plan? There's only one week left, so there's no need. Obito was a little nervous. The last change was from more than 30 questions in one battle to hundreds of questions in one battle. Obito was really a little scared. Temporarily cancel the physical combat and train separately. Muyo had told the specific changes and then looked at Obito with a smile. Are you sure there's no need to change? I think it's necessary, Obito replied with a serious look. The battle is not important and the questions are not important but it is important to him that there is no battle and no new questions are added. Teacher Muyu, your decision is great. It is simply a stroke of genius and otherworldly strategizing. Obito used what he had learned throughout his life to pat the rainbow fart. And when he said it, he no longer knew what he was talking about. You are exaggerating too much. Muyu had knocked Obito on the head. One more thing, although I am no longer fighting, the questions from the previous installments must be completed on time. Obito covered the place where he had just been knocked and said with a smile, I promise to complete the task. If being knocked down could reduce the number of questions, he would rather be hit all over the place than do so many questions. What do you think of Akai? Muyue asked. Obito looked at Mataka nervously, fearing that Mataka would say something bad. I feel great too, Metkai replied quickly fearing that Muyue might misunderstand his meaning. Metkai didn't say anything because he saw Obito had already said it. What good person would like to do questions? Obito breathed a sigh of relief and gave Metkai a thumbs up with a smile on his face. Metkai nodded and gave a thumbs up with a bright smile. They have reached an agreement. Let's all practice hard. I won't interfere with you this week. You can train according to your own ideas. You can practice how you want and leave when you want, Muyue said with a smile. So good. Obito felt that Muyue's body was simply glowing. Shisui, come here. Muyue called Jishui over who was practicing. Jishui stopped practicing and walked over to Muyue. After a month of intensive training, your body has become much stronger, and you can begin to practice the new body blinking technique, Muyue said. This month, Shisui temporarily put aside other training and spent the entire month training his body. The effect of the huge amount of training was also very obvious. Shisui's body was much stronger than before because she has the secret medicine in the system to repair the body and relieve hidden injuries. Mu Yue can be said to challenge Shisui to her limits every day. In addition, Jishui was indeed talented in the teleportation technique. So Mu Yue felt that she could pass it on to Ji Shui, hearing that it was the teleportation technique that Mu Yue mentioned before. Obito and Metkai couldn't help but start to pay attention to Mu Yue's side. Didn't it mean that you have to be first in the grade in actual combat? Obito asked. Shisui was rewarded to him before. And do you think Shisui will not get first place in grade? Mu Yue replied with a smile. Obito thought about it. He would have been able to kill him in the first grade, let alone Shisui, who was stronger than him. With Shisui here, the results of the first year practical exam had already been announced before it even started, leaving no suspense at all. 
Mu Yue grabbed Ji Shui with her hand and appeared more than 10 meters away. Obito couldn't help showing a longing expression when he saw Xiao's teleportation. If you can do such a teleportation technique, you must be very cool at ordinary times. When others see him entering the classroom, as soon as he walks through the door, he instantly appears on his seat. When the teacher asks him to come to the podium to answer questions, he can also instantly disappear and appear on the podium to surprise the teacher. Helping grandmothers and grandfathers can walk faster and directly let them experience the wind-like feeling. I must win the first place in actual combat. Let Lin know that I have become strong and let the hateful Kakashi dare not underestimate me anymore. Obito swore secretly in his heart. He had been taunted by Kakashi too many times and he had to prove himself this time. It's so fast. If you master this teleportation technique, you might have a chance to defeat Kakashi, Metkai thought to himself as he watched Mu Yue disappear instantly and then appear in the distance. His speed was fast for Obito, but it was not enough against Kakashi. Medkai felt that if he learned this teleportation technique and could catch Kakashi off guard with his speed, even if he could not defeat Kakashi, he would not be as embarrassed as the last time. In order to defeat Kakashi, he must obtain this teleportation technique, and he must win the first place in this practical examination. Medkai's blood was already boiling, and he wished he could skip this week, skip the theoretical exam, and take the practical exam immediately. Muyue, who paid attention to Obito and Metkai with his peripheral vision, nodded secretly in his heart. This was exactly the effect he wanted to achieve. Sometimes it is better to stipulate how much training content is required and allow students to use their subjective initiative with the reward of instant body technique as bait. There is no need to worry about running out of motivation. Coupled with the fact that Metkai is a very self-conscious training fanatic, he is not afraid that Obito will be destroyed without his control. Watching Metkai, his classmate's competitor, train fiercely, can Obito leave with peace of mind? The main difficulty of this instant body technique is to strengthen the body with multiple bursts of chakra in a short period of time to achieve high-speed movement. Mu Yue began to concentrate on teaching Zhi Zhi Shui the instant body technique. The shave in one piece moves at high speed by relying on the reaction force erupted from stepping on the ground dozens of times in a split second. Mu Yue thought it was ridiculous when she first watched the anime. But if she thought about it carefully, with her body in the world of pirates, it might actually be possible. The ninja world version modified by the system is very ninja. If you change the name Mu Yue, it feels like a native taijutsu. The ninja world's version of shaving does not rely on the reaction force, of stepping on the ground. Instead, it uses special chakra techniques to strengthen the legs several times while stepping on the ground quickly, thereby bursting out at super high speeds. It can be seen that the core of the ninja version of shaving is the special chakra technique, which is very ninja. Strengthened several times in a short period of time? Shisui was a little surprised. It was the first time he heard this technique. No wonder Mu Yue wanted him to train his body for a month. The instant body technique he learned before was only strengthened at one time and would make him tired if used too much. This one sounds much more advanced than the previous instant body technique. He is very much looking forward to the next practice. If he masters this teleportation technique, his speed will definitely be much faster. Don't keep books, everyone. The recent life and death moment is over. After the end, the good day for explosive updates will come. Review of review of on Monday. Because it was already the exam day, Gangzidi didn't go to the ninja school too early. He has been reviewing for two weeks, so there is no need to fight for the 10 or 20 minutes in the morning. On the way, Gangzidi met Shenyu Izumo, who was also going to school. Izumo, good morning. Gangzite smiled brightly and said hello. Good morning, Ziti. Kamizuki Izumo saw his good brother and responded with a smile. How was your weekend? I spent both days reviewing my lessons. Gangzidi asked with a friendly look. A review? Reviewing is shit, Kamizuki Izumo said with a smile. Kamizuki Izumo asked, Are you reviewing? I don't review. Gangzidi shook his head and said, No serious person can review before the exam. Can the results obtained through temporary review be true? 
Kamizuki Izumo nodded in agreement. The two looked at each other and then laughed. Backgammon is really fun. You must try Zidi after you finish the exam. Kamizuki Izumo said like a serious game enthusiast, but he was thinking in his heart that he must be stable now. Gang Zidi must have really not reviewed, and his only enemy was Shisui. I will try it when I have time. The few novels I have read recently are indeed very good. Izumo, you can read them when you have time. Gang Zidi recommended novels to Shen Yu Izumo with a smile, as if he had actually read those novels. It should be stable. Izumo really hasn't been reviewing and has been playing games. My opponent in this exam is Shisui. Gang Ziti thought to himself, Ha ha, I will definitely watch it when I have time. Kamazuki Izumo responded with a smile, feeling very good. What are you two talking about so happily? Anko appeared from behind and patted the two of them on the shoulders. Talking about how we spent our weekends, Gang Ziti explained with a smile. Play? Haven't you reviewed at all? Anko asked. Of course, Hongdu. Have you been reviewing for the past two days? Kamizuki Izumo asked with a surprised look on his face. No, I just reviewed it all day yesterday. Enko thought for a moment and said. In fact, she only read the book for half an hour on Sunday night. But when Izuku Kamizuki asked, it was two days of review. Enko felt that it was shameful to say that it took half an hour. So she just lied and said it was one day. Oh, I reviewed for a day. That was good. Gang Zidi said with a smile. It was only one day, and there was no way it could pose a threat to him who had been reviewing for half a month. Gang Zidi even felt that Hongdu had not reviewed enough, and should have reviewed in the last two days. If you do well in the exam and are rewarded by your family, don't forget your brothers. Kamazuki Izumo joked with a smile. <laughs> Considering your games and novels, it's not impossible. Hongdu was in a good mood. Then the three of them walked to the ninja school together, talking and laughing, and entered the class to wait for the exam to start. Soon, Mu Yue and Aya Ueda entered the first year class, and this time, Mu Yue was selected into her own class to invigilate the exam. Teacher Mu Yue! The students in the class greeted Mu Yue one after another, and Mu Yue responded with a smile. Teacher Mu Yue, are you here to invigilate the exam this time? Gang Ziti asked. Mu Yue nodded in affirmation. Teacher Mu Yue, can I ask you some questions later? Anko asked knowingly. Despair. Mu Yue pressed her fingers together and tapped Hong Du's little head and said, You can ask, but the only answer is this. It hurts. Anko covered the place where she was knocked and suddenly became honest. Please check if you have brought your exam tools. The exam will start in 10 minutes, Mu Yue reminded. Some cautious students began to check after hearing Mu Yue's reminder. Teacher Mu Yue, you are so popular among students. Aya Wei aside. She just noticed that almost all the students greeted Mu Yue. This is a rare situation. After all, in a class of 40, there are always some who are introverted or not talkative. And some people feel that so many people are saying hello. And even if I say hello, they won't notice me or make a sound. After all, I am their class teacher, Mu Yue replied. Ten minutes later, Mu Yue announced the start of the theoretical test and then handed out the test papers with Aya Ueda. The students in class one also gave Mu Yue a lot of face. No one spoke during the entire exam, and they all worked on the questions quietly. Mu Yue and Ueda Aya took turns patrolling. During the inspection, Aya Ueda glanced curiously at the students who were working on the questions. This kind of quiet atmosphere was still rare. Probably because it is a ninja school, the students are more lively. After reading it, Aya Ueda was a little surprised. She looked at a few random people and felt that the questions were all correct at a glance. Teacher Mu Yue, your class average score in this exam is probably leading the whole grade again. Aya Ueda told Mu Yue what she had just seen in a low voice. It's hard to say until the test results come out. Maybe the results in other classes are also very good. Mu Yue responded softly. Although it is true that her grades are good, Mu Yue feels that it is better to keep a low profile. When the exam was over and the test papers were collected, the atmosphere in class one was different. It is finally over. Gang Zite showed a smile as if he was liberated. He reads seriously every day and has to find a way to stop Shen Yu Izumo from studying. He is also very tired. Yes, after the practical exam, 
It will be a long vacation. Kamazuki Azumo also said with a relaxed smile. After finishing the theory test, he finally no longer had to act every day and think of ways to keep Gang Zidi from reviewing. Zidi, Izumo, how do you feel about the test? Anko came closer and asked, In general, this exam feels quite difficult. Gang Zidi sighed and said, Yes, there are many questions that I have no idea about. They are all written casually, and I don't know how many points I can get. A sad look appeared on Shenyu Izumo's face. Ah? Uh, is it difficult? I think it's quite simple. Could it be that yesterday's review played a role? Anko scratched her head and said why she felt like she had seen this scene before. Shisui, how do you feel about your exam? Anko asked when she saw Shisui preparing to leave. So-so. Shisui paused and replied. He felt that it was similar to the last exam, and there was nothing much to say. Why am I the only one with simple ideas? Did I do well in the exam? Anko felt that the rewarded dumpling was getting closer and closer to her. Tomorrow is the practical exam. Everyone must perform better and let the female invigilator see our ninjutsu level. Anko recalled their plan to persuade their taijutsu teacher to quit a long time ago. Definitely. This time we must ask the school to find a reliable physical arts teacher. Gangziti nodded and said, In fact, I feel that it would be good to have teacher Mu Yue teach, but this would be too tiring for teacher Mu Yue and requires so many classes. Kamazuki Izumo said regretfully. Other students also responded, saying that they would give 120% of their strength and perform well tomorrow. P.S. I'm looking for monthly votes and all kinds of data. Brothers, don't keep books on these three days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Life or death depends on these days. Book recommendation. My stand-in is Steve Boyd. You know what this is? Thanos raised his golden glove, and the six infinity stones flashed with pleated light. I will snap my fingers, and you will turn into dust in the wind. Dad doesn't believe it. Fang Mo, who was wearing the infinity suit, shook his head slowly, pointing the universal sword in his hand directly at Thanos' shiny purple head. Let alone the infinity stones today. Not even the heart of the universe can save your life. Do you know what this is? This is the Taoist jade. Uchiha Madara stood in midair and laughed wildly. It is the strongest spear and the strongest shield. There is nothing it cannot destroy. You've really never seen anything hard before. Fang Mo took out a piece of bedrock with a grim smile. Don't you dare to touch it. Is this the philosopher's stone? Edward stared blankly at the red crystal in front of him. Can it ignore the law of equivalent exchange? Well, in a sense, it can only be regarded as the basis of equivalent exchange. Fang Mo touched the portable transformation table in his hand. But if you want it, I can consider giving you a set. When the fourth natural disaster encountered the mysterious island module, this cube man finally began to bring disaster to the world. The actual test the next day was still held at the training ground as before. After all students completed the lottery, Mu Yue announced that the practical exam had officially begun. Please invite candidate Namu, one gang Zidi, and candidate number two Kojimine to enter the examination room. Gang Zidi knew that as number one, he would definitely be the first to take the exam. So he had already warmed up in advance. Let me take the lead. Remember to cheer for me. Gangzidi said goodbye to his two good brothers and walked into the examination space. Zidi don't lose in the first game. Shen Yue Izumo cheered Gangzidi up in a very considerate way. Mein Xingji and Gangzidi walked into the venue together. The two did not communicate much. They formed a seal of opposition and waited until Mu Yue shouted and started fighting immediately. Although it is said that the taijutsu teacher should be driven away, it is not to act as an actor in actual combat, but to show one's specific qualities so that the invigilator can see the gap between the student's ninjutsu level and taijutsu level. At the beginning of the battle, both of them were testing each other using physical skills. In the first wave of testing attacks, Gangzidi temporarily suppressed Mein Koji with greater strength. Then, Minekaji began to play tactics. First, he used the avatar technique 
to confuse Gang Zidi to distance himself. And then he separated into two avatars to confuse his vision and look for an opportunity to attack. Minekoji is quite good at practicing the three-body technique, but Gang Zidi is more skillful than him. Gang Zidi first created a chair clone and then two normal clones. He used his normal clone to confuse Mind Koji, then took the opportunity to cancel the chair clone and create a normal clone, and finally turned into a chair using his transformation technique. Naturally, Minekoji would not be wary of a strange moving chair and was directly defeated by Gang Zidi with one blow. Hey, isn't this Gang Zidi, one of the three great ninjutsu talents that was rumored about in the school before? I didn't expect that this technique of confusing enemies could have such a wonderful effect. Ayaweda praised Gang Zidi's fighting wisdom. Moreover, I'm already very proficient in the art of clone and transformation, and I'm already better than the students in my class, Ayaweda exclaimed. She was teaching the second grade ninjutsu class. And even the person with the best ninjutsu scores in her class was not as strong as the one in front of her. Purely in terms of the level of clone technique, Aya Weta believes that Gang Zidi has reached a level sufficient for graduation. Jinyi is a very standard clone technique. Gang Zidi's opponent, Koji Min, also performed very well, enough to beat most of the students in her class. Aya Weta praised Gang Zidi while giving her a score. For this part of the score, she directly gave Gang Zidi a perfect 10 points. It's really too much to not give full marks to first year ninjutsu of this level. As for physical training, Aya Weta only gave seven, one points. In comparison, ninjutsu can only be said to be above the passing line. Not to mention Maini Koji's physical fitness, Ueda Aya only gave five points. Both of them performed averagely in shuriken throwing and Aya Ueda only gave five points. However, both of them have pretty good seal skills, with Gang Zitai scoring eight points and Mind Koji scoring 7.5 points. In the end, Aya Ueda calculated the total score, and Gang Ziti's score was as high as 30, one points. This score is already considered a very high score. The actual grading in the ninja school is very strict. Generally, if a score exceeds 20, it means that the level is very good. And if a score exceeds 30, it is considered excellent. Zidi usually studies very hard. Mu Yue nodded and said, although he didn't know whether Gang Zidi practiced at home, he was sure that Gang Zidi would study at home. When collecting the papers, he knew with a simple glance that his score would be very high. The second exam is about to begin. Candidate number three, Kamizuki Izumo, and number four candidate, Yuki Koizumi, are preparing to start the exam. Mu Yue shouted after finishing the scoring. This time it's up to me. Shen Yue Izumo high-fived Gang Zidi, who was walking towards him and said with a smile, Izumo, come on. Anko raised her little fist and cheered for her good brother. Kamizuki Izumo fought more steadily than Gang Zitai. Instead of disguising a chair like Gang Zitai, he found the opportunity to use the enemy confusion technique to conjure up a three-meter-tall monster with a green face and fangs that frightened Yuki Koizumi and captured him in one fell swoop. Next fight, Kamazuki Izumo. This is also one of the three great ninjutsu talents. He is indeed a talent. Ueda Aya feels that Gang Zidi and Kamazuki Izumo are indeed talented people, and they are commendable talents. Kamazuki Izumo's ninjutsu level is also very good. Ueda Aya also gave Kamazuki Izumo's ninjutsu a perfect score, with a total score of 30.5. Kamizuki Izumo's seals are a little higher than Steel's iron score. Weta Aya originally thought that the quality of the students in the first two games was relatively high, but later she found out that she was wrong. By the fifth game, she did not give any student a score below eight points for tolerance. All students performed extremely well in the three-body technique. Candidate number 11, Anko Mitare, and candidate number 12, Keiji Shima, prepare for the exam. You two watch carefully. Let me show you what the real art of confusing enemies is. Hongdu said that neither Gang Zidi nor Shen Yu Izumo's techniques to confuse enemies worked. What's wrong with the chair? It's okay if we can win. Gang Zidi was unconvinced. Could it be anything scarier than my vision? Kamizuki Izumo also feels that his own direction is the best. Hongdu did not respond to the two of them. 
actual combat was the best demonstration. Shima Keiji's physical skills were not as good as Anko's, and he was suppressed by Anko from the beginning. Anko was unyielding when she gained the upper hand and quickly formed seven or eight clones of Keiji Shima's appearance, and then used the transformation technique to look like Keiji Shima. In an instant, the examination room was full of Shima Keiji running around, and Anko disappeared. Teacher Muyue, your student is indeed a talent. Ayo Ueda was stunned and said that she had been a teacher for several years and had invigilated exams countless times. This was the first time she had seen this happen. Her thinking is different from ordinary people. Mu Yue thought for a while and said, Shima Keiji looked at himself running around and felt very confused. He was careful about everyone, but in the end he was unprepared and was killed by Anko with one blow. Anko's ninja was, of course, given 10 points. Aya Ueda could even say that Anko's 10 points were because the full score was only 10 points. Anko's ninjutsu level was stronger than that of steel goddess Getsuki Izumo and the others. In the end, Anko received a high score of 36, with perfect scores except for physical skills and shuriken throwing. Ueda Aya felt like she was not invigilating the first grade exam, but like the third and fourth grade exam. The level of ninjutsu among these students was too high, beyond her imagination. She also proctored the first year exam last time. Although she was excellent at that time, she was not as exaggerated as she is now. At that time, she said that the level of the first year class was almost the same as that of the second grade class she taught. Now she feels that her class is not worthy. Teacher Mu Yue, the level of ninjutsu in your class is really amazing. The teachers in the entire ninjutsu school should learn from you how to teach ninjutsu. Aya Wei appraised. One or two students may be outstanding because of their own talent. The outstanding performance of the whole class in ninjutsu must be due to the teacher's good teaching. How can there be so many geniuses? It's all the students' own efforts, and I just try my best to teach, Mu Yue said modestly. Mastery level three, ninjutsu plus teaching skills, let alone school teachers. There is no one in Konoha who can teach these three ninjutsu better than him. Contestant number 38, Uchiha Shisui, prepares for the exam. Hearing Shisui's name, Aya Ueda also cheered up. This was the student she was most looking forward to. Last time she showed strength comparable to Kakashi of the same age. Please invite candidate number 37, Isamu Akasaki, and candidate number 38, Uchiha Shisui, to enter the examination room. When Isamu Akasaki heard that his opponent was Shisui, he froze on the spot for a while. There is no doubt that Shisui is the opponent that all the students from class one don't want to meet without him because Shisui is simply too strong. In the last exam, Shisui won the first place in the class and the first grade in a crushing manner. Even Anko, who was second in grade, could only be crushed in front of him. The score of the actual combat test is determined by your performance during the battle. If you are instantly killed, the invigilator will not be able to see your performance, and your score will be lower. But now that Shisui has been drawn as his opponent, Akasaki Isamu could only admit that he was unlucky and entered the examination room. After Mu Yue announced the start of the exam, Akasaki Isamu didn't care about anything else and directly used the three-body technique all over to show off his proficiency in the three-body technique. The student has a pretty good understanding of the exam scoring rules. Aya Ueda nodded and said, not feeling anything wrong with Isamu Akasaki. Jisui watched Akasaki Isamu's performance quietly, and when he felt that it was almost done, he threw out two shurikens to destroy the clones, and then rushed forward and knocked Akasaki Isamu down with two punches. The difference in strength between the two is huge. Aya Ueda can't see any change in Shisui's strength compared to last time. Akasaki Isamu's strength is so different from Shisui's that it's hard to tell. When the battle between student number 39 and student number 40 ended, Aya Ueda completed the first round of scoring. She glanced casually and saw that among the 40 students, not a single student scored below eight points. The average score was extremely exaggerated. In this exam, Muyu, I guess you will get praise from the Sande Masama again. I will probably be called in for questioning when the score is reported. 
Ayaweda said jokingly, then we probably have to be questioned together. Muyue looked at Ayaweda's score, which was almost the same as Ayaweda's. Although he is a student in his own class, he is excellent if he performs well. He does not need to avoid suspicion and deliberately give low grades. As the battle continues, students will inevitably encounter battles with friends. Kamazuki Azumo eliminated Gangzi Tai with tears, and Anko tearfully eliminated Kamazuki Azumo. Ha 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 ha, Ziti. Your enemy baiting skills are not good at all. Izumo Kamazuki, who defeated his friend, covered up his sadness with a smile and comforted his good brother, Steel and Iron. He vowed to practice every day during the holidays, and next semester, he would definitely defeat Shenyu Izumo to regain his face. Ha 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 ha. How could two ninjutsu talents like Izumoko Tetsuo and the others be the opponents of my genius Anko? Hongdu, who entered the class practical finals, was very proud with his hands on his hips. The two looked at each other and decided to hit Hongdu hard on the day when the theoretical results came out. Invite candidate Mitarashi Anko and candidate Uchiha Shisui to enter the examination venue. The class practical examination has entered the final stage. Ayaweda watched the battle seriously. Anko was the second grader in the last exam. It can be said that the first grader is second only to Shisui in strength. She should be able to show Shisui more things. Anko knew that Shisui was difficult to deal with, so she used the confused technique directly at the beginning of the battle. But this time, she made some changes. She first separated seven Shisui clones, and when the clones hindered Shisui, she used transformation techniques to transform herself into Shisui's appearance, and then separated another one that looked like herself, a clone. However, Shisui is not as easy to fool as ordinary students. Even if there are many illusions that are constantly interfering with his vision, he still does not lose the vision of the real Anko. He reaches Anko with a teleportation technique and defeats Anko. Regarding the teleportation technique, I guess I have to put him in the fourth grade for actual combat to see more. Aya Ueda secretly said, the battle between Shisui and Anko was also a one-sided battle, but Shisui showed a little more. As Shisui won the first place in class practice, the class practice on the second day of the exam ended. When Mu Yue and Ueda Aya returned to the office together, they met Ikegu Yong, who was shouting on the road. Why on earth, why are Metkai and Uchiha Obito so strong? Chigu Yong was puzzled. He didn't see the two of them competing in class during class. This time he was also selected to be the invigilator of his own class. After watching the performance of Metkai and Uchiha Obito for a day, he felt that even Hyuga Kamen might not be able to beat them. Chiguyong felt very strange. Why were the two famous cranes so powerful in his hands? Could it be that he was still a hidden teaching master? Ikegu Yong, who still has some calculations in his mind, quickly rejected this answer because he still has a third year class and the overall level of the class can only be said to be average. Chiguyong saw Mu Yoshang Tiankai and told the two of them. Maybe the two of them have accumulated a lot of experience, Aya Ueda said uncertainly. No matter what, isn't it a good thing that students are strong? Mu Yue said with a smile. Chiguyong felt that what Mu Yue said made sense. No matter why they were so good this semester, the bonuses given by the school were not empty. On the third day, the grade level practice begins. The grade level practical grading teacher was randomly selected by the invigilator teacher of the grade. Aya Ueda was selected, but Mu Yue was not selected. But after all, she was a first grade teacher. So Mu Yue went over and watched for a while. Ueda Aya did a round of scoring and then found that the top two sent by some classes were not as powerful as the few ninjutsu talents in Mu Yue's class. The limit of two students per class needs to be changed. If it were not for this limit, there would be at least six students in one class per year. Among the top eight students, Ayo Weta thought to herself. She felt that such a rule was a bit unfair to a class like the first year class that was overall particularly outstanding. Although he is strong enough, he has no chance to participate in the great actual competition. Mu Yue left after watching the first round and went to the fourth grade practical examination room. There is no suspense about Shisui taking the first place in the grade. 
He is more concerned about the situation in the fourth grade. Both Metkai and Obito have the training mission of getting first place. With two months of hard training and improvement, Mu Yue felt that the rewards from the training mission settlement would be very good. And he was looking forward to it very much. When Mu Yue arrived, the fourth graders had just completed the first round and were progressing from eight to four. Please invite candidate number one, Xiang Huomen, and candidate number four, Matkai, to enter the examination room. When the invigilator's voice sounded, the students' onlookers began to discuss quietly. Judging from the results of the last exam, this battle is undoubtedly the focus of this year's actual battle, because the two sides fighting are the first and second place in the previous exam. Metkai, do you still remember me? You are really good, but after you met me here, you can only stop here this time. Hinata Huomen's seal of opposition said with a pity look on his face. Although Metkai has the second best strength, he can only fall in the second round when he encounters the first. Aim your? Metkai scratched his head and tried to remember the opponent in front of him, but found that he couldn't remember it. Could it be that you are the Huga Gate? Metkai vaguely remembered what the invigilator had just said. It's hard. The fist is hard. Hinata Kamon felt that Metkai was humiliating himself. I am Hinata Kamon, who defeated you in the last exam. I am a Kamon, not a gate. Hinata Kamon couldn't help but corrected him, saying that when he decided to fight, he must ask Metkai for some color. I see. Metkai formed the seal of opposition and nodded. The exam begins. As soon as the invigilator finished speaking, Hinata Kamon opened his eyes and the meridians around his eyes bulged, making Hinata Kamon's face look a little ferocious. With the blessing of Byakugan, everything about Metkai was seen through by Hinata Kamon. He could easily see Metkai's meridians and acupuncture points and the flowing chakra. Without hesitation, Hinata Kamon chose to concentrate chakra in his palm and take the initiative. With two powerful melee weapons, the soft fist and the Byakugan, Hinata Kamon didn't think anyone in the ninja school could be stronger than him in close combat. The Byakugan allows him to see through the enemy's movements, and the soft fist combined with the Byakugan can directly drive chakra into the acupuncture points in the enemy's body to block the flow of chakra. But something Hinata Kamon didn't expect happened. The fist he swung at Metkai was quickly pinched by Metkai. Hinata Kamon's other hand continued to attack Metkai's meridian points but was also caught. Hinata Kamon very quickly started to attack with his legs, but the kicking skills were what Metkai was best at. Metkai directly let go of Hinata Kamon's hands and kicked out a very fast tornado kick, which knocked Hyuga Kato back three feet. Rice, how is it possible? I have obviously seen through it, but my body... Hinata Kato's hands trembled, and he looked at Metkai in disbelief. He had seen through Metkai's movements just now, but found that his body had no time to react. This is the first time he has encountered such a situation. Hinata Kamen was actually at a disadvantage in the physical battle. The onlookers were stunned. Since Kakashi graduated, their class has basically been under the rule of Hinata Firegate. Everyone who tried to compete with Hinata Firegate in Taijutsu eventually learned a painful lesson. Is this Metkai so fierce? Last time he reached the second place in his grade. This time, he will reach the first place in his grade. Metkai's ferocious performance immediately surprised many people. Come on, Metkai. Ikigaya Yong saw that Metkai actually suppressed Hinata Kamen, who ranked first in grade in the last exam, and couldn't help but cheer for Metkai. He seemed to see a generous bonus waving to him. Ahem, teacher Chigu, you are the invigilator this time. Please pay attention. The invigilator next to him saw Chiguyong excitedly shouting, Come on! and couldn't help but remind him in a low voice. Only then did Chiguyong react and quickly closed his mouth, but he couldn't stop the smile on his face. Although Metkai had the upper hand, the final result was hard to predict. As long as he was hit by a soft punch once, the offensive rhythm would be gone, a teacher commented. Some teachers nodded. If Hyuga Kato makes a mistake, it will only hurt for a while. But if Metkai is hit by the soft fist, things will be very serious. Chakra being injected into the body 
is no joke. In other words, Hugo Firegate has many opportunities to make mistakes, while Metkai is in danger of losing as long as he makes one mistake. Ikea Isamu took a look and found that the person speaking was Hinata Huomen's homeroom teacher. He did not refute. After all, Hinata Huomen had won the first place so many times, and Ikegaya Isamu was not very confident. What happened next was beyond many people's expectations. Hyuga Homon worked very hard to launch several attacks on Metkai, but failed to hit Metkai once. Instead, Hyuga Homon took the opportunity to kick Metkai again when he attacked. Good guy, cover your eyes. Those who don't know think that Metkai is the one with white eyes. The students were impressed by Metkai. In the past, Hinata came and could see through his opponent's movements and dodge easily. But this time, the roles were completely reversed. You have only seen Akai's current physical form, but you don't know what he has experienced. Obito heard the discussion of the students next to him and couldn't help but think of his tragic experience with Metkai. If you are hit once, you have to answer two questions. There are dozens of questions at the beginning of the battle. You must hit the opponent without being hit to reduce the number of questions. It was precisely after experiencing this kind of terrifying training that Metkai's body skills were developed today. Obito's previous assignments are still almost unfinished. Damn it, what's going on? Hinata Kamen, who had always been at a disadvantage, was a little anxious. He didn't understand why it was like this. Metkai wasn't that strong the last time he fought. So why had his strength improved so much in the past two months? Hyuga Kamen, who was anxious to reverse the situation, revealed more flaws. Metkai concentrated chakra on his legs and exploded, seizing the opening to kick out his best kick at a very fast speed. Big whirlwind in Konoha. Boom! The high-speed rotating legs enhanced by chakra kicked Hinata Kamen hard, knocking Hinata Kato to the ground and losing his ability to fight. Candidate number four. Metkai wins. The invigilator announced Metkai's victory. All the grading invigilators gave Metkai a perfect score of 10 for his physical skills. Hinata Kamen's Taijutsu score was given to 9.9, .9, but the teachers knew that the difference between the two was more than just zero, one points. It was really difficult for Metkai to hit Hyuga Kamen, but fortunately, he was not hit by the soft fist once, otherwise it would have been miserable. Ikegu Yong said with a smile that he could already feel the breath of the bonus. Hinata Kamen's head teacher opened his mouth, but finally said nothing. The first choice this time is Metkai. Even Hyuga Firegate was defeated by him. The onlookers felt that the first place in this year's grade exam had been announced ahead of schedule, not necessarily Uchiha Obito's fire escape. Ninjutsu is very strong. No matter how strong Metkai's physical skills are, can he still resist the fire escape ninjutsu at this stage? Uchiha Tiho couldn't help but retort. He lost to Obito again in this class actual battle, so he hopes that Obito can reach the first position. Soon, Obito also used his fighting power to prove that Uchiha Tiho's words were not lies. The Nomi, one Shiranui Genma of class 6, was directly defeated by Obito easily. The powerful fire escape and good taijutsu directly allowed Obito to replace the defeated Hinata Firegate and become the number one contender. If it weren't for the invigilation and grading, Ikegu Yong would have already wanted to take Muyue to an izakaya for a drink. With these two students in hand, are you still worried about whether there will be any bonuses or not enough bonuses? Candidate Metkai, candidate Uchiha Obito, is invited to enter the examination room to prepare for the exam. As everyone thought, it was Metkai and Obito who finally competed for the top spot in the grade. Metkai defeated the first Hyuga Kamen in the last exam, while Obito showed great strength in the battle with other players. Obito, come on. Nohara Rin, who was watching the battle from the side, clenched her fists to cheer Obito on. Lin, just wait and see. I will win. Obito waved to Nohara Rin with a confident smile and said, this time, he is really determined to win first place. In order to increase his strength, he suffered a lot from that nasty guy Kakashi. After one month of changing his nature and training in ninjutsu, and one month of intensive training in taijutsu, Obito is no longer the Obito who was beaten by taijutsu two months ago. 
and cannot let go of ninjutsu. Teacher Muyu, let me show you my progress. Obito noticed that Muyue also arrived at the exam site. I will be the first. Metkai showed a bright smile, and his two rows of big white teeth were particularly dazzling in the sunlight. In terms of confidence, he would not lose to Obito. Even when he failed the ninja school entrance exam, he still believed that he would become the strongest. Moreover, teacher Muyue is watching, so we can't lose, Metkai thought in his mind. He has always remembered Muyue's kindness to him, and he has not forgotten Muyue's words, that the improvement of a disciple's strength is the best reward for him. He wants to show Muyue his strongest strength. Then let's give it a try. Unlike the previous training, you can't use ninjutsu. In the actual combat test, Obito said, as he formed the seal of opposition, then let's compete to see whose youth can burn more fiercely. Medkai also formed the seal of opposition according to the rules. Looking at the two people who formed the seal of opposition, Mu Yue made some deductions about the outcome of the game. There is not much difference between the two in terms of strength, although Obito is not as good as Metkai in Taijutsu. Obito knows two fire escape ninjutsus, while Metkai only knows three body ninjutsus. However, Mu Yue feels that Metkai's probability of winning will be slightly higher. Although Metkai looks a bit dull at ordinary times, he is actually very calm when fighting. While Obito is a little jumpy and is more easily distracted during fighting. So even though the strength is almost the same, Mu Yue is still more optimistic about Metkai. The exam begins. Not long after the two formed a seal of opposition, the invigilator announced the start of the fight. Konoha Whirlwind. As soon as the invigilator finished speaking, Metkai rushed out instantly and kicked Obito with his best taijutsu at top speed. Obito had already been kicked by this kick countless times, and he was already on guard. He instantly retreated to the side to avoid this kick. Then Obito quickly threw out several shurikens and stabbed at Metkai while retreating. Metkai vaguely guessed Obito's tactics, but Obito's shuriken throwing skills were good, forcing Metkai to dodge backwards. Art fire escape ho fireball. After Obito pulled away, he didn't dare to waste a second and immediately formed a seal and used his best fire escape. Hoo ho ho! Raging fire continued to spit out from Obito's mouth and a huge fireball, two people high, quickly formed and then smashed towards Metkai. Family ninjas are good and they can learn this powerful ninjutsu even if they haven't graduated yet. Some students looked at the terrifying fireball and couldn't help showing an envious expression. He is also a fourth-year student, and the only ninjutsu he currently masters is the three-body technique taught in school. Ninjutsu is not easy to learn, and you may not be able to learn it if you are given a ninjutsu scroll. The second-generation shinobi next to him retorted, His family is not a ninja, but his parents are both ninjas, and he has only mastered the three-body technique so far. This level of fire escape is not what a student should be. No, it's not even the level that a genin should have. The Chunin teacher who knew how to use the fire escape ninjutsu couldn't help but sigh. The fire escape ninjutsu he performed himself was only at this level. Yes, I can only say that he is worthy of being a student of the Uchiha clan, some teachers said together. The fireballs kept hitting Metkai, but Metkai avoided its sharp edge and quickly retreated to the side, soon running out of the attack range of the fireball. Obito quickly threw out several shurikens to block Metkai's movement and the Go Fireball couldn't turn around. But beyond Obito's expectation, Metkai actually used a kunai to block all the shurikens he fired and successfully evacuated before the Go Fireball exploded. Fortunately, Obito's shuriken throwing was worse than Shisui's, otherwise he would have been injured. Metkai took a deep breath and felt a little lucky. When fighting Shisui, Shisui's shuriken throwing caused him a lot of trouble. Having felt Shisui's pressure, it was just right to deal with Obito now. It's still too difficult to hit people with the How Fireball. I should have used the How Dragon Fire. Obito felt a little regretful. He also felt that gory fire would be better, but last time he won the first place in the junior ninjutsu competition with gory? Fireball. Obito felt that it would be more meaningful to use gory? Fireball to win the first place in the great actual combat. But there was no time for Obito to reflect next. 
as Metkai had already taken advantage of this opportunity to burst out Chakra from his legs and rush forward, Konoha Whirlwind. Metkai once again played his best kicking skills. Kai, your speed is not as fast as Kakashi's teleportation technique. Obito couldn't help but smile proudly after dodging Metkai's attack. He felt that Metkai's physical skills were not that difficult to deal with. Obito then attempts a taijutsu battle with Metkai. Then, Obito discovered that he still thought too much, and his strength and speed were not as good as Metkai's. Soon, Obito was beaten back and forth, and he could only rely on his excellent body skills to dodge. Although Uchiha Obito is good at fire escape, Metkai's taijutsu is also very good. If this continues, Uchiha Obito will lose. Some teachers noticed Obito's shortcomings. If you don't make good use of your own strengths, how can you possibly compete with Metkai in physical skills? Ikegu Yong smiled and said nothing. Anyway, both of them were students in his class. It didn't matter who won. The prize money couldn't be lost. Seeing that the ending was going in the direction she had deduced, Mu Yue's heart did not fluctuate much. In fact, it doesn't matter who wins. Anyway, both of them have training tasks. Compared with the winner, he is more curious about what rewards will be settled later. Big whirlwind in Konoha. Metka played his best kick so far, surpassing any previous kick. Metkai's sudden display of speed caught Obito off guard. He failed to dodge the attack and was kicked several meters away. The fourth grade practical exam is over and the final winner is Metkai. The invigilator announced that the final exam was completely over. At the moment when the exam ended, Muyue's system also broadcast a report that the training mission was being settled. Everyone, try your best to catch up on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Next week is the last chance. Whether you save or not depends on this time. Disciple Metkai completed his training mission and received rewards. Chakra plus 1,000. Breath of Rock. Mastery level. Disciple Uchiha Obito completed the training mission and received rewards. Chakra plus 700, powerful fire extinguishing, skilled level. Several messages quickly popped up on the system panel. It seems that the final degree of completion still has a great impact on rewards. Looking at the difference in rewards between the two, Mu Yue roughly understood the reward mechanism of the training mission. The training mission reward consists of two parts. One is the strength improved during the training mission, and the other is the mission goal. During the mission, Obito's physical skills were similar to those of Metkai, but he did not complete the first goal, so the rewards were much lower than those of Metkai. Mu Yue set his sights on the reward of Breath of Rock, and he recognized at a glance that this was not a ninjutsu from the Hokage world, because he had seen a certain destruction. With the experience of getting shaved last time, Mu Yue knew that the system would also reward things from other worlds and then localize Naruto, recalling the memories of decades of rock breathing practice that suddenly appeared in his mind. Mu Yue's mind was indeed localized. After reading the memory, Mu Yue felt that the Hokage version of rock breath was enough to be called a forbidden technique. Mastering the breath of rock can use the full concentration of breath at critical moments to instantly burst out with terrifying power. Proficient in rock breathing, you can be in a state of fully concentrated breathing 24 hours a day. Fully concentrated breathing always can effectively exercise physical strength and improve strength. After mastering the breath of the rock, you can use stronger breathing to let the chakra burst all over the body and strengthen yourself into a striped state, greatly improving your strength in all directions. However, Using the zebra state is extremely depleting of chakra and puts great stress on the body. It is more suitable for me than eight-gate dunjia. Mu Yue nodded secretly in her heart. As long as he does not actively enter the striped state, the breath of the rock is absolutely beneficial and harmless to him. It can better train his body in peacetime, and he can also explode with considerable power in battle. After thinking about it carefully, Mu Yue discovered that the Eight Gate Donjia and the Breath of the Rock are actually a perfect match if used together. The Eight Gate Dungeon can open the door in the body to increase chakra, but the chakra is too violent to use ninjutsu. But the patterned state of Breath of the Rock does not require detailed manipulation of chakra at all. 
The huge amount of extra chakra from the eight gates can be used to maintain the chakra required to maintain the stripes state. When using the eight gates and stripes at the same time, the only thing to consider is whether the body can withstand it. This is where the beauty of learning breathing techniques comes in. Breathing techniques can improve physical strength. Mu Yue felt that eight doors plus breathing method was a good combination, and seven doors plus markings was much safer than opening the death door directly. Mu Yue felt that this time it was really a big explosion. The skilled fire extinguisher exploded by Obito was good, but it was much worse than the Hokage version of Breath of the Rock. Mu Yue opened his personal panel. Name, Hanyu Muyu. Age, 18. Chakra, 11300. Skills, Chef, Three Finger Seal, Fire. Release, Fire Extinguishing, Shave, Earth. Release, Earth Spear, Rock Breath. Evaluation. You have mastered many ninjutsu, including high-level ninjutsu and forbidden arts with terrifying power. You can explode with amazing strength when you want. Your strength is also considered elite among many junin. Seeing the chakra that successfully broke through to five digits, Mu Yue felt happy. It only took him one semester to go from the 4,030. He had just traveled through to the current 11,300. Ninja school has three semesters a year. If he can maintain this growth in each semester, he can increase his chakra by 20,000 chakras a year excluding the increase during holidays. The current chakra should be considered to be four. Five kilocalories, Mu Yue thought on to herself. In the past life, people often used Kakashi as the unit of chakra measurement, but he used Kakashi as a child, so he called him Kakashi. The first place came out, the exam was over, and the teachers and students left. Are you okay, Obito? Nohara Rin asked as she jogged up to Obito. What can happen to me? It's just a kick. Before Obito could finish his words, he moved too quickly and twisted the spot where Metkai had just kicked him, causing him to gasp in pain on the spot. Don't be brave. I'll help you. Nohara Lin helplessly raised her forehead and said, No, I'm really fine. I just lost because I was careless. What could happen? Obito gritted his teeth and continued to speak harshly. He was really unwilling to lose this time. He lost under the watchful eyes of Mu Yue and Nohara Rin. In the future, Kakashi would mock him for not taking first place, and he would not be able to refute. Teacher Mu Yui. Seeing Mu Yue walking towards him, Obito's eyes dodge a little. How are you? Are you feeling well? Do you want me to take you to the infirmary? Mu Yue asked with a concerned look on her face. Failed students need timely comfort. No, it's actually not bad. Obito answered honestly that he felt nothing but a little pain. He had previously refused the invigilator's suggestion to go to the infirmary. It's better to go take a look. It won't be good if you get injured, Mu Yue said warmly. Teacher Mu Yue is right. It's better to go to the infirmary. Nohara Lin agreed. Nalin, please go back first. Teacher Mu Yue and I will go to the infirmary. Obito found it difficult to refuse the simultaneous suggestions from both of them. Let me go, too. Nohara Rin was a little worried about Obito. No need. Teacher Mu Yue is here, right? Obito didn't want to trouble Nohara Rin too much. I'll go with Obito. Metkai spoke. Fighting with all his strength does not affect his feeling that Obito is a companion. Look, there are two people with me. Lin, please go back first, Obito said. Nohara Lin thought about it and felt that Mu Yue was a reliable teacher. Coupled with Obito's strong persuasion, she finally went home alone. While in the infirmary, Mu Yue found a reason to push Metkai away, and then started chatting with Obito. Don't be affected by winning or losing in one exam. There are two exams in a semester and six exams in a year. If it doesn't work this time, just work harder next time, Mu Yue said seriously. Don't think that you will be sorry for me if you don't get first place. Then one of you and Akai must be sorry for me and you have to be sorry for me twice every semester, Mu Yue said in a joking tone. Obito laughed, then thought about it, and felt that Mu Yue's words made sense. The exam is not just once. There will be another chance next semester, so just keep working hard. As long as you practice hard and improve your strength, you will not be sorry for me. 
Mu Yue touched Obito's head and said, Teacher Mu Yue. Looking at Mu Yu's sincere and serious expression, Obito was very moved and decided to get first place in the next semester to prove that he was no worse than Metkai and worthy of Mu Yu's teaching. Disciple Uchiha Obito sets training tasks. Training mission, get first place in the grade of ninja school. Practical examination, looking at the system. Prompt that popped up, Mu Yue smiled happily. After comforting the defeated disciples, Mu Yue did not forget to reward the winning disciples. He walked out of the infirmary with the returning Metkai. I remember that Naruto himself has a seven-day breathing method. The breathing method is actually not against harmony. I will not add anything that is too serious. And all foreign items will be localized. If you want to see anything, you can leave a message, and I will refer to it as appropriate. Akai, congratulations on getting first place in your grade, Mu Yue said with a smile on her face, looking at Hexi's smiling face like the warm spring sun in Mu Yue. Metkai felt a little dazed in front of his eyes. He has always been a person with sufficient self-confidence and has always believed that he can become the strongest through hard work day and night. Even though he hasn't graduated from the ninja school, he has already suffered many failures and setbacks. He failed the entrance exam and entered the ninja school after a supplementary enrollment. His grades were very poor and he was called a loser. The first time he challenged Kakashi, he was killed with one blow. Most of the time, he laughs it off and keeps trying, occasionally having some doubts, but quickly getting back on target. Even so, Metkai did not expect the change to come so quickly. In the practical exam last semester, he couldn't even get into the top 20 in the class. As a result, his worst grade this semester was second in grade. At the end of the semester, he got first in practical exam, becoming the strongest in the fourth grade. He knew very well who brought about this change. It was Mu Yue. Mu Yue taught him physical skills and gave him precious secret medicine. Mu Yue made him grow up in such a short period of time. This is all thanks to your teaching, teacher Mu Yue. Metkai made a fist with his right hand and was already moved to tears. Don't ignore your own efforts. My teachings are effective, but your hard work is the key to getting first place. If you continue to work hard like this, you will definitely be able to realize your dreams, Mu Yue encouraged. Metkai's blood boiled with excitement when Mu Yue said it, as if he had already seen the day when he would become the strongest in physical skills, and he wished he could just start doing push-ups to exercise on the spot. This is the practice method and experience of shaving. Take it back and take a look at it first. I will teach you how to practice it during training tomorrow morning. Mu Yue handed the scroll to Metkai with a smile on her face. You gave the disciple a training scroll. The disciple was very grateful. He was rewarded with a big critical hit and obtained the Konoha Dragon God Mastery. Under the huge emotional impact, Mu Yue directly exploded a master level advanced physical technique, and a large number of memories about the cultivation of Konoha Dragon God appeared in Mu Yue's mind. It's this physical skill, which can't be left to students for the time being. Mu Yue recalled the memory of this technique in the original work. In the animation, this taijutsu is an advanced taijutsu developed by a taijutsu ninja named Teacher Chen. According to the plot, even Teacher Chen's own disciples have not yet learned the Konoha Dragon God. It would be a bit abstract if someone else uses it. However, even if there were no copyright issues, Mu Yue was not prepared to teach this taijutsu to her disciples. This taijutsu had high requirements on the body and chakra and was not something that should be learned at this stage. Teacher Mu Yue, I understand. I will watch it carefully when I get home. Metkai replied with a grateful expression. When Mu Yue taught Shisui before, he really wanted to learn the teleportation technique called Shao. So when Mu Yue gave him Shao's training scroll, Metkai immediately put it away as if he had found a treasure. You don't need to go to my place to practice today. Just relax and do something you want to do. Mu Yue thought for a moment and said that he was preparing the ground for Metkai's training mission. Obito was comforted and inspired by him to set up a new training mission to win the first place in grade. But Metkai has not started a new training mission yet. There is no doubt that training tasks are an important part of obtaining rewards. Once completed, you can obtain a large amount of chakra and various high-level rewards. 
So Mu Yue started thinking about how to trigger a new training task after the first task was settled two weeks before the final exam. The disciple who didn't get the first place easily got the first place again through words of comfort and encouragement. As for the disciple who gets the first place, a new training mission will be triggered based on the disciple's character, goals, and dreams. As for Metkai, Mu Yue felt that the training task of defeating Kakashi was good and would be easier to trigger, so Mu Yue asked Metkai to do something he wanted to do. His strength has greatly increased, and he also ranked first in his grade. With such an improvement, he must not challenge his best friend and old enemy. When Metkai is defeated by Kakashi, it will be a good time to inspire training tasks. Although previous similar attempts failed and only triggered a task of formulating training, Mu Yue felt that this was not a problem with his thinking. It could only be said that there was not enough trust at the time, and Metkai did not know his abilities. After all, the mission was indeed triggered, but it was different from the mission he imagined. Metkai nodded and decided to go find Kakashi later. Since he started intensive training, Metkai has never asked Kakashi to fight. Metkai's hands have been itchy for a long time. After Mu Yue finished treating Obito, he also went back to practice the sealing technique and watched Kushina give him the sealing technique knowledge. Ten days had passed since Kushina gave him the three-finger seal. In fact, he had initially mastered it on the sixth day, and he continued to improve and learn more about sealing techniques in the following days. As he continued to learn about sealing techniques, Mu Yue also gained a better understanding of sealing techniques, and he discovered some interesting mechanisms in sealing techniques. Under the same chakra condition, the smaller the impact of the sealing technique, the stronger and harder the seal will be to break. Take the one-finger seal as an example. The effect of the seal is to seal the chakra throughout the body, which is extremely easy to break. But if the effect of the one-finger seal is improved to seal the chakra of a certain limb of the body, the strength will rise sharply. Without changing the sealing effect, the more chakra and the stronger the chakra, the stronger the sealing technique can be performed. The six Earth Blast stars that conceal Kaguya Otsutsuki is definitely the strongest sealing technique in Hokage. And the Six Paths Earth Blast stars are also very limited and can only be activated with the power of Six Paths Yin and Yang. Mu Yue probably guessed why the Uzumaki clan has a unique talent for sealing. Because the Uzumaki clan is born with powerful chakra. Chakra is everything. Mu Yue deeply felt the importance of chakra amount. I can only say that it's a good thing that I brought a plug-in during time travel. Otherwise, even if I had the advantage of knowing the plot, it would be difficult to gain a foothold in the ninja world. As we enter the holidays, the chakra increase may slow down a bit, Mu Yue thought in her heart. Entering the summer vacation, except for the reward of exam settlement in two days, Mu Yue has no way to brush up on chakra and ninjutsu through the ninja school for the time being. Taking classes is also a huge amount of chakra income. If all the classes for one month are used to brush chakra without brushing ninjutsu, almost 800 chakras can be brushed. The advantage of not having classes is that Metkai and Obito can have more time to practice with him. More training can accelerate the growth of students. By then, the chakra of apprentices and returning teachers should be improved. After evening, Mu Yue bought the fish and went to his home into the main city. Today, he was going to make a delicious and beautiful new dish for Kashina and Minato. Please give me monthly votes. Please continue to read, and I will add an update on Monday. I will fight for the last time. Squirrel Mandarin fish? Would squirrel and fish be delicious together? Kushina expressed her doubts. It's probably not that squirrels and fish are cooked together. Maybe it's just that the finished dish looks similar to squirrels, Minato said after finishing washing the dishes. Since he didn't even wash the squirrel, there shouldn't be any in the dish. Minato was right. There was no squirrel in this dish. Mu Yue washed the scaled and gutted fish and explained, Squirrel mandarin fish is a very classic dish in Subang cuisine. It can be said that it has both color and flavor. Mu Yue had seen many videos of this dish in her previous life, and had tried it herself once, but because of her poor knife skills, the final product could only be said to not look like the original dish. But now, with her chef skills, 
Mu Yue had already prepared the fish in her mind when she picked it up, but she just hadn't started to do it yet. Mu Yue first used a knife to cut off the fish bones on the back of the fish, leaving about one centimeter of backbone at the tail of the fish. Then she spread the fish skin down and cut into flowers with a diagonal knife. The knife reached as deep as the meat, four out of five. This step is very important. Once a mistake is made, the appearance of the final product cannot be guaranteed. With the help of the cooking skills, Mu Yue finally perfectly recreated the squirrel mandarin fish in her memory. The golden and crispy fish meat looks like a squirrel and is poured with the prepared sweet and sour soup. It not only looks beautiful, but also smells full of fragrance. Um, how come I just chatted with Minato and this fish became like this? Kushina stared at the squirrel mandarin fish on the dining table in shock. It is no exaggeration to say that she has never seen such a beautiful dish. In her impression, the first thing about food is that it fills the stomach, and the second thing is that it tastes delicious. Minato stood up and walked to the dining table to take a close look at the freshly cooked squirrel mandarin fish. He was also very surprised that there was such a beautiful dish. This is the first time I think a dish looks good. Minato praised, Mu Yue's squirrel mandarin fish was really pleasing to the eye. Don't just look at it, taste it, Mu Yue said with a smile. Kushina and Minato were not polite. They picked up their chopsticks and picked up a piece of fish each. The moment he ate the fish, the first thing Minato felt was the sweet and sour taste, followed by the crispy outside and tender inside of the fish. And then the sweet and sour taste that penetrated the fish. After getting over the trance-like environment, Minato quickly packed a bowl of rice for himself and started cooking. This sweet and sour dish was really appetizing. No, one of Minato and I must know how to cook this dish, Kushina said seriously after finishing the meal. Although she still prefers to eat braised pork, the appearance of squirrel mandarin fish adds too many points. No problem, I'll teach you, Mu Yue said with a smile. However, this dish is much more difficult than braised pork. So, be mentally prepared, Mu Yue reminded. You don't need to consider the appearance of the pork belly. If the steps are good, the final product will not be too bad. But the squirrel mandarin fish is different. The appearance is the soul of the squirrel mandarin fish dish. Once there is a problem with the appearance, it is basically a failure. I don't believe that this dish can be more difficult than those advanced sealing techniques. Kushina has good confidence in herself and Minato. Muyue, to what extent have you mastered the three-finger seal? Have you encountered any problems? Minato asked about the practice of Muyue's sealing technique. It feels much more difficult than the previous one-finger seal, and I still have no clue after practicing it for ten days, Muyue said with a sigh. Although he completed it in six days, Kushina estimated that he should complete it in one month and Mu Yue was ready to say that he had completed it in 27 days. Then, Mu Yue talked about the problems she encountered on the first day, looking like she was eager to learn and knew. Kushina and Minato answered Mu Yue enthusiastically. Mu Yue did not waste this opportunity. In addition to some questions about pretending to practice progress, Mu Yue also asked some questions about sealing techniques that he really did not understand with Minato and Kushina, two masters of sealing techniques, to solve the puzzle. Mu Yue gained a lot and felt that the skill of chef was really just right. Without the skill of chef, the progress of the friendship plan will be much slower. Two days after the final exam, Gang Ziti made an appointment with Shen Yu Izumo and Hong Du to go see the results. The three of them arrived at the appointed place and headed to school together. I got second place in actual combat again. If my theoretical score is better, I can ask for more rewards from teacher Mu Yue. Hong Du was in a very good mood today. When Hong Du Qian finished the exam before, didn't she think the questions were quite simple? She must have scored very high, Gang Ziti said with a smile. Yes, we were in a bad situation and we were not sure about many questions, Kamizuki Izumo said with a sad look on his face. It's okay. I'll treat you to breakfast after I see the results, Anko said with an air of grandeur. Hongdu, is it really true? Gangziti looked forward to it. When have I lied to you? Anko asked with her hands on her hips. 
Gangzidi and Shen Yui Izumo looked at each other and shook their heads. They were wondering who could be deceived by Hong Du. When they were almost walking to school, Hong Du remembered something, looked at the two of them suspiciously and asked, you all did so well in the exam last time. Couldn't you be lying to me about not doing well in the exam? No, I was lucky last time. Gangzidi refused to admit it. Yes, we probably won't be so lucky this time. Kamazuki Izumo sighed and said, for the final exam, you can go to the bulletin board to read it, or you can go back to the classroom and read the handed out test papers directly. The three of them returned to the classroom directly, and Muyue had already distributed the test papers to the corresponding students. The three of them greeted Muyue and returned to their seats to read the test papers. Hey, why is it only 78 points, two points less than last time? Hongdu put down the test paper and scratched her hair. It was different from what she thought. 87 points was about the same. Ziti Chuyun, what about you? Hongdu asked with a sad face. How could he have the nerve to ask for a reward from teacher Mu Yue? I seem to have good luck in this exam, a little higher than you. Gang Ziti put the roll of paper on the desk with the backside up and said with a smile, Me too, slightly taller than Anko. Kamizuki Izumo also smiled when he saw his results. A little higher? Hongdu immediately burst out and grabbed the test papers from the two of them. Do you think 100 is higher than 78? Anko gritted her teeth as she looked at the results on the two people's test papers. Zidi is also 100. Izumo is also 100? Both Gang Zidi and Shenyu Izumo looked shocked. They promised not to review but failed to do well in the exam. What happened with a 100% score? Izumo, did you lie to me two weeks before the exam? In fact, you didn't play the game at all and had been studying seriously. Gang Ziti couldn't help but ask. Ziti, you are also reading novels. In fact, you are reviewing them every day, Kamazuki Izumo retorted. You two? Anko looked at the two of them dumbfounded. It turned out that these two bastards said they didn't want to review but secretly they kept studying. Hongdu, who couldn't hold himself any longer, chased and beat the two of them. You two bastards have made me miserable. You still have breakfast, so take a punch from me first. Looking at the energetic three people, Mu Yue smiled. Looking at the rewards that popped up in the system, she felt that this final harvest was very good. This one is a bit rushed and will be revised later. Disciple Uchiha Shisui worked hard and achieved perfect results in the academic assessment and received rewards. Chakra plus 300, ninjutsu proficiency. Scroll disciple Met Kai worked hard and achieved excellent results in the academic assessment and received a reward. Chakra plus 250. Disciple Uchiha Obito worked hard and achieved good results in the academic assessment and received a reward. Chakra plus 200. After settling the rewards for the final exam, Mu Yue's total amount of chakra increased slightly again. Name, Hanyu Mu Yue. Chakra, 12050. It seems that only double firsts can get proficiency scroll rewards. Mu Yue thought as she looked at the three reward messages in the system. Except for Shisui, who was the first in the grade and couldn't advance, the rewards for Metkai and Obito were slightly higher than last time. Last time, both Metkai and Obito's rewards were only 110 chakras. This time, Metkai received 100 more chakras, and Obito received 50 chakras. Metkai and Obito have indeed made a lot of progress not only in terms of practical combat, but also in theoretical scores. They have already passed the test in excess of 50. Although the ninjutsu proficiency scroll is a good thing, Muyue is not prepared for Metkai and Obito to invest too much time in theory to achieve the perfect score, because their learning efficiency is really too low. He often lectured on small topics like this. Metkai and Obito only scored over 50 points in the exam, and they could have scored full marks easily even if they were red beans. If she wanted Metkai and Obito to get perfect marks, Mu Yue felt that it would be possible to stop all training, let him come to class, 
and let the two of them read books and do questions every day. But it's not worth it. It's better to practice normally and become stronger early so that Mu Yue can get more rewards. Hehe, <laughs> teacher Mu Yue, the reward I mentioned before. After teaching the two cheaters a lesson, Hong Du walked up to Mu Yue with some embarrassment. You have the nerve to ask for a reward for regressing, right? Mu Yue brought her two fingers together and tapped Hong Du's little head. No way, he was still second in grade in the practical exam. Shisui was so strong that he couldn't beat him. Anko tried to muddle through. I mean, your theory has regressed, two points less than last time. Mu Yue points out the fact that he clearly remembers the grades of everyone in the class. Oops, it's all Zait and Izumo's fault. Hongdu couldn't wait to go back and punch these two cheaters again, and they actually teamed up to fool her into not having to review. Take it and eat it. If you regress next time, you won't have it. Mu Yue finally gave Hongdu the dumplings she needed most. He bought it on the way to school, and everyone in the class had a share. Teacher Mu Yue is the best. Hongdu took the dumpling and immediately began to praise Mu Yue's greatness. The atmosphere in the first year class was pretty good. We didn't leave even after seeing the results and getting the test papers. We chatted together in the classroom until noon before leaving. At noon, Mu Yue and other teachers went to the lecture theater to attend a meeting. Ninja school teachers also have meetings, but not many. This meeting is mainly to summarize the teaching work of this semester, and then announce the list of outstanding teachers. For Mu Yue, this meeting is of little significance. Unlike ordinary ninja school teachers, he is not interested in outstanding teachers and bonuses. But what was unexpected was that the third generation actually appeared at this meeting. According to Aya Ikagaya, this meeting is usually held by the monitor of the teacher's class, Lord Sandame. Mu Yue greeted Sandai respectfully. The third generation looked at Mu Yue and nodded with a smile. Since he hasn't been very busy recently, Sandai took a look at Mu Yue's first year results and was shocked. The last result was already the only one in the ninja school, but the test results of class one were even better than last time. The average theoretical score reached an astonishing 81 points, which is already an excellent score in other classes, which means that every class in the year is excellent. The average score in the practical exam is 24 points, which is also a very exaggerated score because the average class score is about 16 points. The third generation took a closer look and found that the score of Shinobu in the first class of the year was very high. There was no one in the whole class with a score lower than eight, followed by Yin. Mu Yue brought up such an excellent class, and since he, the principal, had not shown up at school meetings for a long time, Sendai came over, perhaps because there were three generations present. The meeting went quickly without any interruptions. The list of outstanding teachers for this semester is announced below. Hanyu Mu Yue, Mu Yue's name, was directly ranked first. Teacher Mu Yue, you are indeed here. Ueda Aya whispered congratulations. Although Mu Yue did not feel any fluctuations in her heart, she responded to the congratulations from her colleagues with a gentle smile. Ikari Isamu, I am also an excellent teacher. Ikegu Yong looked surprised. The students in Ikigaya Yong's class ranked among the top two in the grade, so he guessed that he might have an excellent teacher, but he was still surprised when he actually got it. This is an excellent teacher. There are only four in a semester. He has been teaching for several years and has never received one. Damn it, why didn't then any of the students in my class suddenly break out? Kimura Shirin felt envious. He was not envious that Mu Yue got an excellent teacher, because he thought it was strange that Mu Yue was not an excellent teacher. But he still doesn't know what level Ikari Isamu is. The reason why he was able to obtain this excellent teacher is entirely due to Metkai and Obito. It's a pity that you complained that Metkai and Uchiha Obito were the weakest. But... This excellent teacher depends entirely on them. Ueda Aya is also very envious. When Ikegu Yong took over class two of the fourth year, everyone was comforting him. But at the end of the term, he experienced such a reversal. It's just that I'm too blind to recognize the true genius. Ikea Isamu admitted that he underestimated Metkai and Obito. The bonuses are given out and we are invited to drink. Teacher Muyu, you must come. You deserve a share of the credit for this outstanding teacher, Chiguyong said with a smile that Mu Yue helped him teach too much. 
If you have time, you can. Mu Yue smiled and nodded. I would like to commend Mr. Han Yu here. The students in class one have achieved amazing results under his guidance. Sarutobi Hiruzen began to speak. Then, Sarutobi Hiruzen read out the various results of Mu Yue's class and said that everyone should study hard with excellent teachers like Mu Yue and train the next generation for Konoha. After being named and praised by the third generation, Mu Yue could feel the eyes of all the teachers in the room looking at her. Maybe it was because he had such a good image, but he didn't encounter any vicious and jealous eyes. Everyone was very friendly. Mu Yue, you are very good. Keep it up. After the meeting, Sarutobi Hiruzen patted Mu Yue on the shoulder and encouraged him. Sandaime sama, I will do my best to teach my students. Mu Yue once again told her answer in the principal's office. The Sandame laughed twice after hearing this and seemed to be in a good mood. The end of the meeting also means that teachers like Mu Yue have also entered the holidays, obtaining an outstanding teacher and being named and praised by three generations did not affect Mu Yue's heart. Metkai's failure to trigger a training task in the past two days made Mu Yue a little confused. Mu Yue made some indirect tests and found out that Metkai hadn't fought Kakashi yet. So she felt relieved. Kakashi may have gone on a mission, but Metkai hasn't found anyone in the past two days. Since it was officially the holiday, Mu Yue told his disciples about his special holiday training plan. Please give me monthly votes and follow up on reading. I've recently made a recommendation. Please follow up on reading. I will update more tomorrow. Is it the special holiday training? It's finally here. Obito took a deep breath, as if he could already foresee the tragic experience of the next month and a half. When I was in school, I had a buffer of five days of school time. Now I have a long vacation and every day is a weekend. Obito just hopes that the combat training can return to the previous state. Otherwise, there will be more than 200 questions a day. The vacation is over and his life is over. When he heard about the special training, Medke's eyes lit up. But when he thought about the extra questions on the weekend, he felt tremendous pressure. There was no change in Shisui's expression. Unlike Metkai Obito, he had already mastered the Shadow Clone and had already learned from it. Except for going once during the exam, Zisui basically spent the rest of the time practicing with Mu Yue. So even if Mu Yue said that he should practice every day and on weekends during holidays, it would be no different from his usual practice. Thursdays and Sundays are off. On other days, you can come to my place to practice in the morning and afternoon. You can go home at noon. If you don't go home, I will cook, Mu Yue said. Although I came to Mu Yue's side every day when I was in school, except for weekends, from Monday to Friday, I actually didn't have much time to practice at Mu Yue's side. Therefore, even if I practice five cultivation too. During the holidays, the actual practice time will be much longer than when I was in school. Two days off a week, Obito said in surprise. He did the math and found that it seemed easier than when he was in school. When I was in school, I had to have classes from Monday to Friday and I had to go to Mu Yue's place to practice. And I practiced at Mu Yue's place all day on weekends. In addition, the battle practice is suspended. Obito, you continue to practice the change of fire attribute chakra properties. Shisui Akai and I learn to shave. Mu Yue revealed her new training plan for the holidays. During the training mission of the junior ninjutsu competition, Obito practiced the nature change for a period of time but he still only mastered the superficial knowledge and he had to continue to practice. Without Naruto's cheating vitality and chakra, he couldn't use the multiple shadow clone training method. So he could only do it in cycles. No need for battle practice. If the two-day holiday surprised Obito, then the suspension of battle training completely made Obito like the long holiday. Without combat training, there wouldn't be a lot of questions. Although practicing the change in nature is tiring, he would rather practice the change in nature than doing the questions. After the training tasks were arranged, the disciples began their own training. Obito was holding a large ice cube by himself and constantly bursting out chakra, while Shisui, Metkai, and Muyu were learning to shave. Watching Muyue flashing around with Shisui and Metkai, Obito holding the ice cube felt the coolness of the ice cube flowing along the meridians 
of his hand to his heart. Teacher Mu Yue, what is the physical challenge you mentioned before? I also want to learn the teleportation technique, Obito couldn't help but ask. He remembered Mu Yue saying that in addition to finishing first in grade, he could also learn to shave by completing the physical skills challenge he assigned. But at that time, Mu Yue directly said that Obito couldn't complete it. So Obito didn't ask what the specific challenge was. But in the past month, his strength has improved a lot. And he might be able to complete the challenge Mu Yue mentioned. The physical challenge is a very difficult one. Are you sure you want to try it? Mu Yue created a shadow clone to communicate with Obito. But everyone is learning the teleportation technique. If I don't learn it, I will fall behind, Obito said. Okay, I'll set up the venue today and give it a try tomorrow. Mu Yue nodded and said, Obito's actions were what he expected. The reason why he did not directly teach Shao to all his disciples, but restricted the conditions, was to provide intensive training to the failed disciple. Rather than forcing training directly, he felt that it would be better to find ways to stimulate the enthusiasm of his disciples. He will arrange some mechanisms that cannot be completed without enough speed and strength. When the time comes, Obito will definitely work hard to train his body in order to learn how to shave. When the challenge is completed, the body becomes stronger and it becomes easier to practice shaving. And this kind of reward obtained through one's own efforts will make Obito study more seriously. After all, it is hard earned. In order to allow the disciples to better enhance their strength, Mu Yuezhen considered all aspects, including the student's psychology. After the training, Mu Yue went to the house in the main city as usual. Today, he made sushi and tempura. However, there was an episode during the meal. When the three of them were eating and chatting and the atmosphere was just right, an eagle call came from outside. Why this time? Kushina, who had just finished eating a piece of sushi, was a little unhappy. Let's go. Something big must have happened so suddenly. Minato said as he stood up. Sorry, Mu Yue. We have to excuse ourselves for the time being. The Jonin meeting has been convened urgently. Whenever something big happens in Konoha, ninja beasts will be sent to give emergency notifications to the Junin. This is not the first time Minato has experienced this. Mu Yue, please remember to leave some time for us. This kind of meeting usually doesn't last long. And with Minato's speed, we will be back soon. Kushina didn't forget to ask Mu Yue to leave some food before going out. There was so much that I couldn't eat it all by myself. Mu Yue smiled and nodded, guessing that something big had happened. Judging from the timeline, Mu Yue guessed that it would be related to the Third Ninja War. Is an all-out war about to break out? Mu Yue thought. Kushina and Minato didn't keep Mozuki waiting for too long, and they came back within half an hour. I thought something big had happened. But it turned out that the third Kazakaji of Sunagakure disappeared. Kushina complained as soon as she entered the room. The Junin meeting was convened in such a hurry, and those who didn't know it thought it was the third Hokage of Konoha who had disappeared. After hearing Kushina's words, Mu Yue secretly thought that a war was indeed about to break out. Kumogakure, which had already completed the accumulation of strength, was already ready to make a move. If the third Kazakaji disappeared at this time, Kumogakure would not miss this good opportunity. No matter which cage it is, it has an important influence on the structure of the ninja world. The third Kazakaj suddenly disappeared, and a war is very likely to break out. Unlike Kushina, Minato's expression was a little solemn. Indeed, Sunagakure is going to be miserable this time. Kushina nodded, picked up a piece of sushi, and took a big bite. Listening to the conversation between the two, Mu Yue felt in a subtle mood. Perhaps no one could have imagined that the Third Ninja War, which started with the disappearance of the Third Kazakai, would be the worst siege for Konoha, although they still won in the end. The war is about to break out, and Mu Yue feels even more insecure. He could only say that it was lucky that he was the hidden child at the root. Even if Danzo had the brain to send his men to deliver them, he would still be one of the late ones. Muyue didn't have any hope for Danzo. He only hoped that he could increase his strength to the so-called Kaj level before the flames of war burned Konoha. Strength is the most important thing in this dangerous world. Without strength, everything is empty talk. 
It's very important to catch up on reading on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Don't keep reading these days. There are two levels in the physical challenge. The first one is forest sprint. I arranged a large number of traps in a certain area of the forest. Each time I hit a trap or was hit by a trap, one point will be deducted. After three points are deducted, it will be regarded as a challenge. Fail. There are three chances. Obito felt that the challenge Mu Yue mentioned was not too difficult. Setting traps is also one of the lessons that ninjas need to learn. And Obito is no stranger to this. And I will send a shadow clone that is slower than you to follow you. If you are too slow and get caught by the shadow clone, it will be considered a failure, Mu Yue added. If you walk slowly, step by step, it will be easier to avoid the trap. But it may not be possible if there is someone chasing you. There is also Teacher Mu Yue's shadow clone chasing behind. Obito suddenly felt that it was not that simple anymore. As long as you can maintain a good speed, the shadow clone can't catch up with you, Mu Yue said with a smile. Then Teacher Mu Yu, please take me to challenge for a try. Obito wanted to try it first. Well, let me give you the challenge fee first. Mu Yue took out three test papers and said, There are almost a hundred questions here. Just think of it as the cost of starting the challenge. Ah? Obito was dumbfounded when he looked at the test paper Mu Yue handed over. He actually paid for the challenge. But why Mu Yue paid him? Teacher Mu Yue, I think this is wrong. How can any boss give money to customers? Why don't I give you three test papers as challenge fee? Obito was already a little dizzy after seeing the three test papers and started talking nonsense. Snapped! Mu Yue brought her two fingers together and struck Obito, who was unconscious, and said with a smile, You are a teacher and I don't need time to set up the venue. I don't give you any price. If you fail the first time and keep pestering me to challenge, I will be exhausted from setting up traps. After being knocked out, Obito suddenly regained consciousness and showed an embarrassed smile. He felt that what Mu Yue said made sense. Teacher Mu Yue, thank you for your hard work. Obito stood on the stone and squeezed Mu Yue's shoulders. But I think the numbers 103 are both bad, but two is very good. Why don't we discuss it and do only two questions? I promise not to trouble you too much, Teacher Mu. Use some force. Muyua prompted. What about the topic? Obito looked happy. It's easy to say if you really like the number two, then change it to 250 questions. Muyua showed a kind smile. Well, I actually like three and 100 too. Obito immediately performed a face change at the speed of light and immediately changed his words. Stop talking nonsense. I'll take you to a challenging place. Muyu grabbed Obito and directly used the shaver to quickly reach the challenge location. Obito looked around for a while, but he didn't find anything different between this place and other parts of the forest, except that the trees were thicker. You just need to keep walking towards the east to reach the end. My shadow clone will start taking action three seconds after you set off. Muyu pointed in a direction and said, Hearing Muyu's words, Obito nodded, took a deep breath, and ran out with all his strength. As he ran, he looked back at the shadow clone worriedly. However, the consequences of not watching the road well when running can be very serious. Obito stepped directly on the rope trap set by Mu Yue and was hung from the tree. Deduct one point. Mu Yue's warm voice reached Obito's ears. One more thing. If you don't get out of the trap quickly, the shadow clone is about to set off. Hearing Mu Yue's words at this moment, Obito remembered the ticket cost for his hundred questions. He absolutely couldn't just fall at the door like this. This was three whole papers. Obito exploded with abdominal strength, performed handstand crunches, grabbed the rope with his hands and burned it, and then ran all the way to the east. After suffering a loss, Obito paid special attention to the condition of the land. He would not step on anything that was unnatural at all. It seems that as long as I take it seriously, this challenge is not difficult. After running for a minute, Obito didn't fall into another trap and smiled. But the next moment, Obito couldn't laugh anymore. He clearly didn't touch anything. Suddenly, several thick logs hit him, swinging back and forth quickly like a swing. Obito finally understood why Muyue said he couldn't finish it at the time. That is to say, Obito is used to Kakashi's teleportation technique and kicks him. 
and his reaction speed has improved. If it were him a month ago, he would be knocked away by the wood. Although Obito was able to avoid the attack of the mechanism, his speed slowed down and he was directly caught by the shadow clone that followed. And the challenge failed. If I had known earlier, it would be better to get hit and lose one point. Obito was a little annoyed, but he could have been faster just now. Why can't you make yourself faster and react faster so that you can pass through the agency area faster? Muyue reminded. His challenge was not to practice Obito's ability to take beatings. The purpose of obtaining the challenge of shaving is to train Obito's ability to cope with it and practice shaving better when the time comes. It would be great if I knew the teleportation technique. I would definitely be able to dodge all the traps and pass them in an instant. Obito came to a conclusion after thinking. Go practice quickly. Muyue said it was a good idea, and she should not think about it next time. Since today is Saturday, Muyue went to Asma's house in the afternoon, preparing to take Asma to start practicing this week. Lord Sandame. Muyue found that Sarutobi Hiruzen was at home, so she said hello. When Muyue arrived, Sarutobi Hiruzen was sitting on a chair in the living room, puffing out smoke as if thinking about something. Come and take Asuma to practice. He is waiting for you in the backyard. Sarutobi Hiruzen took off the pipe in his mouth and responded with a smile. Suddenly, Sarutobi Hiruzen remembered Muyue's outrageous results yesterday and suddenly asked, Muyue, if a war breaks out in the ninja world and Konoha is involved, what will you do? Muyue thought for a while and replied with a smile. As a teacher, I will conduct special training for students to enhance their strength and do my best to enhance the strength of the village. As a Konoha ninja, I am willing to fight for the village. Based on the news that the third Kazakaj disappeared yesterday and combined with his own abilities, Muyue vaguely guessed what Sarutobi Hiruzen was thinking. Not only did Muyue not mind what Sandai thought, he was even worried that he was overthinking it and deliberately guided Sandai to continue talking in the direction he wanted. Sarutobi Hiruzen nodded. He was very satisfied with Muyue's answer. Then Sarutobi Hiruzen told Muyue that the disappearance war of the third Kazakaj would break out soon. I think we can gather the graduating fourth year students for special summer training to enhance their strength, and outstanding performers from other grades can also join. Muyue expressed her suggestion. In this case, Obito and others can not only train with higher intensity, but he can also continue to earn class rewards. There are two more updates in the evening. Please vote for me and follow up. Special training for graduating students and outstanding students. Sarutobi Hiruzen thought for a while and said, I think, Muyue, you have underestimated your ability. How about this, based on your special training plan, and then promote the Jinin who have graduated this year. If you are interested, you can join you. Special training plan. After saying that, Sarutobi Hiruzen looked at Muyue with a smile and asked, Muyue, what do you think? Since the third generation recognizes my ability so much, I will try my best, Muyue said respectfully. Muyue didn't mind that there were too many students. He wished he could teach hundreds of students a day. According to Muyue's inference, the number of students during lectures will also affect class rewards. So he will receive class rewards when he attends classes at the ninja school. If the number of people in the class for Obito and the others did not meet the standard, there would be no class reward. If we gather all the fourth-year students, plus outstanding students from other classes, and some graduated genius. There will be no problem in gathering more than 300 people. Mu Yue wondered if it would be better to reward more than 200 people for taking classes together. Mu Yue, if you complete this special training and improve the strength of students and Jinin, you don't have to wait until this year is over. You can be promoted to special Junin after the special training, Sarutobi Hiruzen said with a smile. If Mu Yue can continue to replicate the teaching results of the first year class, let alone the special Junin, the monitor of the teacher's class, Sarutobi Hiruzen, can be replaced by Mu Yue. But when that time comes, he will have to have a good chat with his old friend Danzo about Mu Yue's identity. The teacher of the ninja school can be a member of the root, but the monitor of the teacher's class 
cannot be a member of the Root. I will notify the Ninja School to cooperate with your work, and this matter will be carried out with you as the leader, Sarutobi Hiruzen said. Mu Yue thanked her with a grateful face, then walked to the backyard to take Asma away to start this weekend's practice. Teacher Mu Yue, are you really going to have special training? Asuma asked curiously. He happened to overhear the conversation between the two just now. Since the third generation Sama trusts me so much, I naturally cannot let him down, Mu Yue said with a smile on her face. I think the old man wants you to be a coolie. You are a student of the same grade and a graduated genin. It will be very tiring to teach so many people at once. Asma defended Mu Yue, and he didn't even say how to calculate the salary during the special training period. If the salary is the same as the normal period, teacher Mu Yue, you will suffer a big loss. Hearing Asuma's words, Mu Yue thought that if Asma was also a disciple, his trust level would probably be quite high. And they all started to help Mu Yue talk about Sarutobi Hiruzen. I am not a teacher to make money. I just want students to be better, Mu Yue replied with a smile. If another teacher said this, Asuma would be dismissive and just think that this person is easy to do. But when Mu Yue said these words, Asma felt it was natural. If it was just for money, Mu Yue could definitely mess with him. There was no need to try her best to get him to train. Since you really want to organize special training, teacher Mu Yue, I must take my teammates to study hard. Asuma said that he would bring his teammates to support Mu Yue. He was a genin who just graduated this year. To be fair, Asuma felt that Mu Yue might not be as strong as a junin, but his teaching ability was definitely much better than that of his jonin teacher. Every time he finished practicing with Mu Yue on weekends, he felt that he had gained a lot. Going to study with Mu Yue for a month will definitely gain much more than their usual cultivation. Kakashi, let's have a competition full of youth and passion. I understand the truth, but can you please not come in when I'm taking a shower next time? Kakashi, who was lying in the bathtub, looked at Metkai, who suddenly jumped out and said speechlessly. He was also convinced why the timing of Metkai's appearance was so hellish. Because I was practicing during the day, I came here at this time, Metkai explained. So, can you go out first? Kakashi felt a little bit of pain in his head when he looked at Metkai, who was standing still and explaining. Why does it feel like among his few friends, Nohara Rin is the only normal person? Metkai just walked out. When he reached the door, he had looked back curiously, which made Kakashi unable to hold back and threw a bottle at Metek. Next time, I will definitely place a trap at the bathroom door, Kakashi warned Metkai after taking a shower. Metkai ignored Kakashi's words, clenched his fists, and shouted with blood on his face. Kakashi, let's have another passionate battle with all our strength. This time, my strength is different from before. If I am careless, I will lose. Go out into the yard and hope your strength is as strong as your mouth, Kakashi said calmly. This time, I got the first grade in the ninja school. Don't underestimate me. Metkai gave a thumbs up and laughed. Isn't that the kind of thing where you can get first place as long as you participate? Kakashi, who had never failed the ninja school exam, said calmly. The two walked into the courtyard, looked into each other's eyes and nodded to each other, and the battle began. Big whirlwind in Konoha. Metkai knew that Kakashi was strong, so he immediately used the newly learned chakra burst technique to quickly rush in front of Kakashi and kick out the tornado kick. Although I haven't fully learned how to shave yet, I can still use my shaving skills to speed things up. Um, this speed. Kakashi did not expect that Metkai could show such speed. He had no time to dodge and directly resisted Metkai's kick with his arm and took a few steps back. Metkai gained the upper hand and immediately rushed forward, trying to prevent Kakashi from using his ninjutsu through the ultimate attack rhythm. But Kakashi is not Obito, and Metkai surprisingly found that he did not take advantage of the taijutsu duel and gradually fell into a disadvantage. Konoha Whirlwind Kakashi, who gradually regained the situation, directly kicked Metkai away with a tornado kick and used a teleportation technique to put the kunai directly on Metkai's neck. Kakashi, there's something wrong with you, Konoha Tornado. Metkai corrected him honestly. It's okay if you can win the battle, Kakashi said as he put the kunai away. I have only seen Kai use it a few times, 
So how could he directly reproduce it perfectly? Kakashi just wanted to avenge Metki for breaking into the bathroom and make Metki depressed. It turned out that Metkai didn't react even when defeated by his physical skills. As expected of my pursuit enemy, he is too strong, Metkai said with pride. Kakashi defeated him in this battle without even using ninjutsu. Kakashi didn't know what to say when he saw Metkai's expression. He didn't know and thought that Metkai had won the battle. I will be stronger next time I challenge you. Once again, he felt that Metkai was already on fire between the two of them. He said hello to Kakashi and ran directly to exercise. Kai's strength has grown much faster recently, Kakashi thought to himself as he looked at Metkai's retreating back. Metkai's performance today was a bit surprising to him. The kick at the beginning was true and made him a bit confused. This was something that could not have happened before. Please read and vote monthly. If you don't vote, it will expire. There will be another chapter later. Recommended book, Killing the Immortal, The Male Protagonist's Succubus System. Body fluids make women addicted. The author is the god of NTL New Original Book by the author of Restricted Naruto Wo. Akai, you look in good condition today. On Sunday morning, Mu Yue came to the place where she practiced daily and found that Medkai had arrived and was doing squats while holding a big stone. I think what you said before, teacher Mu Yue, is very reasonable. Fighting with strong men in an upright manner can better transform training results into one's own strength. So last night, I... Metkai told Mu Yue about his defeat in the challenge to Kakashi last night. The teacher is very happy that you can take the teacher's words into your heart. Mu Yue said with a smile, as long as you keep working hard in the next time, the teacher believes that you will surpass your best friends until you become the strongest because you are a genius who works hard. Hard-working genius. When Metke heard this word, he immediately shuddered and felt that it was indeed suitable to describe him. With your help, Teacher Muyu, I'm very confident in my strongest path, Metke said with a bright smile. Every time he recalled the changes that had taken place in him, Metkai understood the importance of Mu Yue more and more. In fact, after being Mu Yue's disciples for a long time, even the relatively slow ones like Metkai and Obito noticed something was wrong. The strength that Mu Yue showed in front of them was not at the level that a Chunin teacher should have. But Metkai didn't care about this. He could feel that Mu Yue was sincerely good for him. Whenever their disciples' strength improved significantly, he felt that Mu Yue was happier than them. Apart from Mu Yue, he had only seen similar behavior in his father. With the teachings of teacher Mu Yue, Kakashi will be defeated sooner or later. Metkai is very confident in himself and Mu Yue. Disciple Metkai sets training tasks. Training mission. Defeat Kakashi. Reward. Depends on task, completion, and strength growth. During the task, looking at the training mission that finally popped up, Mu Yue nodded secretly in her heart. His idea was indeed correct. He had basically mastered the triggering mechanism of the training mission. More than two months have passed since the first training mission was triggered. Mu Yue learned some of the conditions for the training mission through constant testing. The training tasks mainly depend on the subjective wishes of the disciples. In situations like Metkai and Obito, it is easier to trigger, but it is difficult to stop water. Because Shisui is so invincible among his peers, no one puts pressure on him at all. He has no goal to surpass, and he just takes the first place casually. Mu Yue once tried to get Ji Shui to give him a training mission, but after trying for a long time, he just couldn't get it out. Mu Yue guessed that the training mission might not be able to trigger some long-term goals. Otherwise, with Shisui's character, it would not be impossible to create a mission that would change Uchiha's predicament. It may also be that the trust level is not high enough. Only trust level 3 can unlock training tasks. Maybe there will be new changes at trust level 4. Although there are no training tasks now, Mu Yue still attaches great importance to Jishui. Perhaps because of Shisui's better talent and more training, Shisui's chakra has grown rapidly. Currently, the apprentice and returning master have given him the most chakra, 
more than Obito and Metkai combined. And Shisui is currently the only disciple who has triggered a strength growth reward. Muyua estimated that it would take some time for Obito and Metkai to trigger. Not long after, Shisui also came over to prepare for training. Seeing that both of them had arrived, Mu Yue called them together and started to teach how to shave. Obito was the last to arrive, and when he saw Metkai and Shisui learning to shave, he couldn't help feeling envious. But when he thought about the ticket fee and difficulty of that physical challenge, Obito had another headache. Dodge quickly while maintaining forward speed. Obito was practicing changing properties while thinking about how to solve this problem. If you don't solve the problems you encountered before, even if you challenge it again, you will only get three more test papers. Let's run an exercise at night from now on. It should be somewhat useful. Obito thinks it can strengthen his legs. Stronger legs not only allow you to run faster, but also make you less likely to tire when using chakra. With the third Hokage, Hiruzen Sarutobi, coming forward, the special summer training was quickly settled. For fourth grade students, unless there are special circumstances, all students will return to school to receive special training. Outstanding students in other grades may refuse the special training invitation. The main training target of this special training is not the genin who graduated this year, nor the outstanding students of other grades, but the fourth year students who will graduate soon. Ninja School directly sends teachers to the door to inform and complete communication with parents. Mu Yue felt that in this cruel ninja world, there should be no parents who didn't want their children to be stronger. No matter how great Konoha's textbooks say ninjas are, ninjas are still an extremely dangerous profession. The news of the disappearance of the third Kazakaji has spread throughout Konoha. Anyone who understands the current structure of the ninja world knows that a war is inevitable. Thinking back to the previous friction between Kumogakure and Konoha, there is a high probability that Konoha will not be able to stay out of it. The specific selection of outstanding students in each grade was decided by Mu Yue. Eight were selected for each grade, and he directly asked the teachers to select them based on their actual scores. Because Mu Yue's first year class is relatively dominant in the first grade, four people from Mu Yue's class were selected, namely Shisui, Hongdu, Gangziti, and Shenyu Izumo. Hongdu didn't know how others felt, but when the teacher came to tell her that she would have to undergo special summer training for another month, she was very confused. This vacation has not even lasted a week. Why should I start school again? Fortunately for Hongdu, this summer special training only involves practical training and does not require theoretical classes, and it is still taught by her favorite teacher, Mu Yu. Outstanding students in grade almost never refuse. On the other hand, after graduation, there are very few people who apply for special training. Only a dozen people. Mu Yue can understand that most people will definitely trust their instructors after graduation more than the Chunin teachers in the ninja school. Having a suspicious boss can be troublesome. Because of this summer special training, Mu Yue also conducted a separate report to report the whole story of this special training to Danzo. After all, this matter is not a big deal. It is the first time that the ninja school has held special summer training, and even the genin who graduated this year have been notified. Danzo seemed to feel that Mu Yue's mission had been completed well, and while replying, he also rewarded Mu Yue with the secret cultivation medicine from his roots. In his reply, Danzo said that Mu Yue should perform as well as possible and let the third generation directly promote Mu Yue to become a special junin. The rest is some meaningless PUA content. Mu Yue can only say that the original owner may have feelings after reading it, and he will only hate Danzo even more after reading it. He didn't even want to use the secret medicine as a salary. After all, it was given to him by Danzo. This chapter has been deleted and edited many times, so it's a little late. What is it like to teach more than 300 people? He was stared at by more than 200 people at the same time. There was curiosity, expectation, and doubt in those eyes. Mu Yue had reason to believe that if she was a more introverted person, it would be difficult to speak when she was being stared at by so many eyes. But Mu Yue is not an ordinary person. The more students there are, the happier and more excited he becomes. Hello everyone, I am Hanyu Mozuki, 
the teacher in charge of this summer special training. Mu Yue introduced herself with a gentle smile. Although he is well known in the school and there are classes where he is taught as a substitute, Mu Yue doesn't think everyone knows him or his face. So self-introduction is a must. Teacher Mu Yue. Some students who were familiar with Mu Yue greeted Mu Yue enthusiastically. Mu Yue smiled and nodded in response and then continued. I know that everyone has a lot of doubts in their hearts. Why should we hold a special summer training after the holiday? And what is the purpose of the special training? I can tell you clearly here that this special training has only one purpose, which is to improve the strength of the students participating in the special training and become more qualified ninjas in the future. Mu Yue didn't say anything if it was too cruel, such as dealing with possible war crises. After all, the war has not officially broken out. Even Konoha ninjas, who have a sense of crisis, will most likely not think that Konoha will gradually become the center of the war and be surrounded by the four major ninja villages. In what form the special training will be carried out, we Genin cannot be allowed to undergo the same special training as the students. The strength of official ninjas and students are not at the same level. Bing Zule asked the same question. He was a teammate with Asma and was pulled over by Asma. Ningzu Raido felt that he had been deceived. How could a Chunin teacher be as powerful as a Suma claimed? I have arrangements for this, but don't underestimate the students of the ninja school. Mu Yue did not answer the same question first, but called Zhai Shui out. His name is Uchiha Shisui, and he is a student in the class I teach. He is currently in the first grade. You can fight him to test the level of a ninja school student, Mu Yue said with a smile. Mu Yue had long expected that something like this would happen. Because the Jainin have seen more ninjas and been mentored by Junin, their mentality will be different when they face the students of the ninja school and the Chunin teachers. In the ninja world, the strong are respected, so Mu Yue's solution is also very rough. If you think the ninja school student is not good, then come and fight him to see if you can win. Seeing Shisui walking out calmly, Asuma's eyelids twitched uncontrollably as he recalled the scene of being tortured two months ago. He may never forget that scene for the rest of his life. He, a graduated genin, was defeated by a freshman. I absolutely can't stand the sameness, just a first-year student, Asuma said quietly to Minashiri. He couldn't wait to see Ming Zule's expression of disbelief after being defeated. He couldn't bear this pain alone. Isn't that good? I'm just a first-year student, Yuhi Hong said softly. She felt that this was unethical. Then I will come as a senior graduate to see if the level of ninja school students has declined. They walked out together. Mu Yue didn't care about calling out a fourth grader, but she actually called out a first grader. Bing Zudu suddenly felt underestimated. Coupled with Asma's fanning the flames, he couldn't help it anymore. The students all retreated to leave enough space for the two to fight. If you can't hold on any longer, just admit defeat. If you accidentally get hurt, don't blame me. Hinashiro took out a kunai from his ninja bag and reminded, Thank you, senior, for reminding me. I won't show off. Shisui politely thanked him and said, Seeing that Shisui knew how to respect his seniors, he was quite polite and decided to wait until Shisui loses better, so it won't be too miserable. Obito had already covered his face, unable to bear to watch the cruel scene that followed. He knows the same and knows the strength of the same. Hinazakuri could not even defeat him now, so how could he be Shisui's opponent? This battle was a battle of abuse without any doubt. But the one who was abused was not the first year Shisui, but the graduated Mizuchi. Come on, Shisui, defeat that guy who looks down on the current students. Hongdu squeezed to the front to watch the battle and cheered up. Gangziti and Shen Yui Izumo also squeezed to the front to cheer with Hongdu. Uchiha Shisui. Isn't he a first-class super genius? I heard that all his grades were perfect. Some of the fourth-grade students have heard of Shisui's genius. No matter how talented he is, he can't defeat an official genin in his first year, right? Although the students all hope that Shisui will win, most people are not optimistic about Shisui because the victory of a first-year student against an official genin is too shocking. Start! Mu Yue, who acted as the temporary referee, shouted after the two of them finished their preparations. Going to get on, Namizu reminded him in the same way, 
and then rushed towards Shisui with the kunai. Shisui calmly took out a kunai and a kunai from his ninja bag and started a head-on collision. The sound of clanking kunai colliding continued. No matter how fierce the attack was, it was calmly blocked by Shisui. There's something wrong with the similarities. With the strength, speed, and reflexes, is this a first-year student? He moved his feet backwards and quickly formed a combat clone technique to create five clones, trying to interfere with Shisui. Art fire escape, ho fireball! Shisui formed a seal on the spot very calmly and also used ninjutsu, spitting out a three-meter-high fireball. Who is the student of ninja school, me or him? Bingzu Lei Tong looked at the huge fireballs that kept coming and then looked at the disembodied clone next to him, and his mind went completely topsy-turvy. Fortunately, Howe's fireball didn't fly very fast, and after reacting, he ran with all his strength and escaped from the attack range. Just when Namashiri was thankful that he was out of the attack range of Gu's fireball, a kunai stretched out from behind him and placed it on his neck. Feeling the cold edge of kunai, Minami realized that Shisui had appeared next to him without anyone noticing. I lost. I shouldn't underestimate the students of the ninja school. Namashiru admits his defeat. If Shisui was an enemy, he would be dead. Senior, I accept it. Shisui put away his kunai and said modestly, he is fully capable of directly killing Nizuri, but Nizuri's performance is not bad. The previous words were probably unintentional. Shisui didn't want to embarrass him too much, so he let it go. He still held back. This fireball was not as good as the one he used on me before. Asuma thought to himself, Senior, do you have a grudge against him? Why are you smiling so happily? Gang Zidi noticed that there was a person next to him who was smiling very happily. He thought he was a student from the ninja school who shared the same hatred, but it turned out that he also had a forehead protector, which puzzled him. No, I just remembered some happy things, Asuma said in denial. Let me explain one point about this chapter. In the manga, Mitsubishi is not Asuma's teammate, but in the Chunin exam in the anime's recall story, Asuma, Yuhi Kuranai, and Misato are taking the exam together. Nohara Rin, also called Kakashi, a Junin to celebrate. Them. In addition, I don't know who Asuma does teammates are, so I set it up like this according to the storyline. In fact, there are many confusing plots for Naruto. For example, Kakashi graduated early and became a Chunin but he was still able to team up with Rin Tsuchinohara, who graduated several years later and was even able to take the Chunin exam. It was outrageous. I can't guarantee that everything will be perfect. I can only say that I'll try my best to make it perfect. And Zule returned to the team with a depressed look. He was not unconvinced by the defeat because Shisui's strength was indeed very strong and he was no match, but he felt aggrieved by the defeat. He, an official Genin, was defeated by a student who had just entered the ninja school, and he was defeated so cleanly. This Uchiha Shisui is too strong, even defeating the official Genin. Even if Kakashi is the same age, he may not be able to do better, right? There is another possibility. It is the opponent. Hearing the similar comments made by the students from the ninja school next to him made him feel even more ashamed. As Asuma walked back, he saw the unstoppable smile on Asuma's face. Asuma, do you know something? Mizurai looked at Asuma with a suspicious look on his face. When he thought about it carefully, something was wrong. When Asuma brought them in for special training before, he said that Muyue was his tutor. So Asuma might know that there was a genius named Uchiha Shisui in Muyue's class. What knows what? Asuma said, pretending to be stupid, I didn't know that first-year student was so good. He could take care of you in just two or three strokes. Hearing Asuma's words, I felt like I'd been hit by another arrow. I was really embarrassed to be hit by a first-year student two or three times. Everyone, please be quiet. Muyue pressed her palm down to signal everyone not to discuss anymore. We have students from first to fourth grade here, as well as Jinin, who have graduated. We are all companions of the same village. I hope you can live in harmony. Later, I will conduct a strength test on you and then divide them into groups for special training. 
There are three groups A, B, C, and the three groups will receive different special training. Mu Yue answered the same question as before. With so many students of different grades, and some graduated Jinin, Mu Yue couldn't teach them all the same thing. So he chose to teach them in groups. Anyway, they are all in the same training ground. After teaching here, he will go to another group. With the help of shadow clones, he can teach the three groups as three students. The strength test is also very simple. That is, students are asked to demonstrate their level of basic ninja skills, such as ninjutsu, taijutsu, and shuriken throwing, and are then scored by the teacher. Mu Yue called some teachers from the teacher's class over and completed the grading and specific grouping of more than 300 students in one class. Mu Yue positioned group A as a Jinin level group prepared for graduating Jinin and outstanding ninja school students. The main special training contents include chakra control, physical fitness, and taijutsu, and the teleportation technique. Group B is the outstanding students in the school. The main special training contents are three body techniques, chakra control, and body and body techniques. Group C is a group of ordinary students in the school. The content of special training is similar to that of group B, but the teachings are shallower and the amount of training is relatively small. Mu Yue took a look at the list of Group A and immediately saw many familiar names. Needless to say, Obito, Shisui, and Metkai. There are also Asuma, Yuhi Kurenai, Shiranui Genma, and Shizuna. Those who can enter Group A, except for Shisui, are basically either Jinin or fourth year students entering the grade rankings. In Group B, Mu Yue only saw three acquaintances, one Abisu. Moonlight Hayate and Nohara Rin. Abisu's performance was a bit embarrassing. Compared to the other members of Group B, his level was very good, but he was a little worse than Group A. Moonlight Hayate had just entered the third grade. Hongdu, Gangziti, and Shenyu Izumo, the three troubled brothers, went to Group C together because the definition of outstanding and ordinary is scored according to fourth grade standards. Although the three of them can control thunder and lightning in the first grade, they are ordinary by the standards of the fourth grade. Mu Yue first went to the area where Group A was and said, Those of you who have completed the training of treading water and climbing trees stand on the right side. Those of you who have only completed the training of tree climbing stand on the left. And those of you who have not completed the tree climbing training stand in the middle. Most people walk to the left. A small number of people stood on the right and a very small number of people stood in the middle. Then he asked the person standing on the left to try climbing a tree and the person on the right to tread water. Looking at the students who were training, Mu Yue roughly understood the level of chakra control of the students in Group A. Obito, Asuma, Shisui, and Metkai no longer need to practice treading water, and the others still have to practice. That doesn't mean you have completed the training. You just know a little bit. Mu Yue said to a student who was climbing a tree. Immediately afterwards, Mu Yue asked Obito to perform what it meant to complete the training of climbing trees and treading water. Obito rushed up to the big tree, then put his feet close to the branches and rotated his whole body 360 degrees for more than 10 times while the soles of his feet were firmly attached to the branches. Immediately afterwards, Obito performed a show of running freely on the water surface, despite the interference of water dragon bombs. Only when this level is reached can the training be said to be completed. Mu Yue pointed at Obito and said, Currently, only Asuma, Shisui, and Obito among you can do this. I went to challenge it without any hesitation, but I didn't last for three minutes and started drinking water. Asuma can? Bingzu felt that Mu Yue might have overestimated Asuma's strength. Li Tong, don't underestimate me. My chakra control ability is very strong. Asuma saw that his good brother didn't believe him, so he went down to show off his skills. Why does it feel like Asuma has secretly become stronger? Hazuru looked at Asuma, who was as steady as an old dog in the waves, and was confused. Asuma, I feel like you have become more powerful, old Jirihong said. Haha, actually, it's just average. It's all basic skills. When Asuma heard Yuhi Kurenai's praise, the corners of her raised lips could no longer move down. He instantly felt that the water he drank during Mu Yue's training was not in vain. 
Chakra control is a must for ninjas, and I hope all of you will be on the right side in two weeks, Mu Yue said after demonstrating it several times to the students in Group A. Then Mu Yue went to Group B and asked the question again. However, the situation in Group B is different. Only Ebisu stands on the right, most people stand in the middle, and a few people stand on the left. Mu Yue asked them to show their chakra control level, which was much worse than that of Group A just now. Except for Ebisu, Mu Yue asked everyone else to do tree climbing training, while Ebisu continued to practice treading water. As for Group C, Mu Yue did not continue to ask questions, but directly started teaching Group C physical skills. Mu Yue's training plan for Group C is to train their bodies and practice physical skills in the morning and practice three body skills in the afternoon. When these two catch up, they can do chakra control exercises. Mu Yue left a shadow clone in each group. The main body patrolled back and forth between the three groups and demonstrated and corrected any students who saw mistakes in their training. The morning passed quickly, and Mu Yue also announced that get out of class was over. And it was lunch break. Complete a major lesson and settling the bill. Recommended book. My troops evolve infinitely. Lord game, starting from recruiting small skeletons. Infinite evolution. Evaluation. B reward. Chakra plus 40. Complete the large-scale teaching for the first time and receive a bonus appraisals. Skill strengthening volume only. I... Muyu commented that he was not too surprised. It was also the first time for him to teach so many people at the same time. He lacked experience and failed to do a lot of things. Moreover, the test grouping took a lot of time, and he did not attend the whole class. However, Mu Yue was still very satisfied with the reward given by the big class. For the same level of evaluation, the reward for a large class is twice as much as for ordinary teaching. A B-level evaluation for ordinary teaching only has 20 chakra points. On the surface, it seems a bit of a disadvantage to teach 40 people at 20 points and 300 people at 40 points. But in fact, Mu Yue couldn't complete two ordinary teachings at the same time. So she was also taking classes. Taking a big class would increase her upper limit. If the reward for the big class only satisfied Mu Yue, then the achievement reward for completing the big class for the first time was a surprise for Mu Yue. He had long felt that the identification technique was almost meaningless because there were too few things he could see. I don't know to what extent it can be achieved after strengthening. Mu Yue thought after using the strengthening scroll. After completing the strengthening paper, Mu Yue ran over to Lin's side and got an appraisal from Obito. Name Uchiha Obito. Chakra, 750 potential. S, basic talent, plus six bloodlines, plus time and space talent. Skills, great fireball. Jutsu. Entry level, 100 and 500. Great Dragon Fire Jutsu. Entry level, 35 of 500. Fire Attribute Chakra Property Change. Entry level, 25 of 500. Evaluation, a Jinin with some fighting ability, but a weak brain. It suddenly became much clearer. Mu Yue looked at Obito's panel for identification and nodded secretly. The enhanced appraisal technique was simply inferior to the previous appraisal technique. Not only could he see the specific composition of potential, but it could also display all the skills and even the proficiency of the skills, allowing him to see the growth of his disciples more intuitively. Mu Yue even felt that the enhanced identification technique could also play a big role in battle. Ninja battles were very demanding for information. Then Mu Yue cast another identification technique on Metkai and Jishui, name Uchiha Shisui. Chakra 800 Skills The Art of Fireball Entry 235 hundredths The Art of Dragonfire Entry 145 hundredths The Change of Fire Chakra Properties Entry 7500 Shaving Not Yet Started 6100 Potential SS Basic Talent Plus 6 Bloodlines Name Matt K Chakra 680 Skills Konoha Whirlwind. Entry, 305 hundredths. Konoha Great Whirlwind. Entry, 
265 hundredths. Shave, not yet entry, 36 one hundred. Potential S, basic talent plus will. Those who are still learning can also see their proficiency, which makes Mu Yue feel good. After looking through it with the appraisal technique, Mu Yue was able to determine the potential assessment mechanism. Basic talents refer to the talents of a series of basic ninja abilities, such as ninja phantasm. Superhuman will can improve potential evaluation. Special talents, such as time and space, can also improve potential evaluation. Then there are bloodline advantages, such as six paths bloodline. Mu Yue found the skill proficiency display setting to be very interesting. Although the starting point was only 500 points, the difficulty of increasing proficiency was different due to the difficulty of ninjutsu. The proficiency of relatively simple taijutsu, such as Konoha Whirlwind, increases very quickly. But it is difficult to increase the level of fire escape, such as dragon fire, and more difficult training, such as nature change, is even more difficult. After watching the students, Mu Yue also opened his own dashboard. He was a little curious about what his detailed skills would be like. Name Hanyu Mu Yu Skills. Change in the nature of fire, attribute chakra. Mastery, 7,545, 15,000. Change in the nature of water, attribute chakra. Mastery, 7,515,000. ,000. Fire release, 2 keku. Mastery, 0, 15,000. Konoha Dragon God. Mastery, 0, 15,000. Mu Yue was a little surprised. They were all system exploded general level rewards. But the proficiency levels were actually so different. The change in chakra properties seemed a bit special. She started with half the proficiency level of that level. He also practiced the changes in the properties of fire chakra when teaching his students, so it increased a bit. Otherwise, it would have been 7,000 and 5,000. As for Tokeku and Konoha Dragon God, he was not surprised when it was revealed that Mu Yue had not used them yet. There is a one hour break at noon, and training starts again at 1 p.m. With the morning as a foundation, the afternoon teaching went much smoother. Whether it is guiding and training chakra control skills or teaching the three body technique, Mu Yue has good experience. He has gained successful experience in training chakra control skills with people like Obito Asuma. And the three body technique has a mastery level of three body technique and teaching skills. No wonder this teacher has such high popularity, even though he has only been in school for a short time. He is indeed powerful, Mao Yue Xian thought to herself as she looked at Mu Yue, who was explaining the transformation technique. She compared the ninjutsu teacher in her class with Mu Yue and felt that the teacher in her class was completely blown away. Mu Yue's explanations are more detailed and easy to understand, and the class atmosphere is also very good. Not only is he not stiff when interacting with students, but he also gives people a sense of comfort, like a spring breeze. If class is compared to cooking, then an ordinary Chunin teacher would just tell the students what the main ingredients of the dish are, and then demonstrate the cooking on the spot, and that's it. And Mu Yue told the students all the ingredients and seasonings for the main dish. While cooking, she also told the students how to make it more delicious. If it was not done well, what might be the reason? Mu Yue tried his best to take care of most of the students in all classes, basically without stopping all afternoon. Even if no one asked him questions, Mu Yue took the initiative to find students' problems and correct them. After a day of classes like this, Mu Yue could only say that it was fortunate that he was a strong ninja. If an ordinary person played like this, he would be so exhausted that his voice would become hoarse after the whole day. When the time reached 5.30 p.m., Mu Yue announced that school was over. Complete a large class teaching evaluation. B reward, chakra, plus 40. Mu Yue was very pleased when she saw the reward from the system. I'm a little tired, but this is equivalent to double the experience bonus in the game, so I have to worry about it. With the support of summer special training, although it is a holiday, the actual benefits are greater than those of normal school classes. It will still be this training ground at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Mu Yue told the students tomorrow's class time. His special training plan is to start class at 7.30 in the morning and go to 12 o'clock, with a half-hour break in between. In the afternoon, he will have classes from 1 o'clock to 
with a half hour break in between. Teacher Muyue, do we still want to go to the forest? After the others left, Obito asked Mu Yue, You can go home to eat first and then go. Mu Yue gave the answer. There are a lot of people in the special training area, and there are some things that he can't teach, so he just lets a few of them exercise normally. There is a lot of data in this piece, and it may look a bit watery, but it won't work if we don't write it down. I'll try to keep the data as small as possible. In addition, it has officially hit the market, and the recommendation failed. If nothing else happens, it should be on the shelves on Friday. By then, if you can, try to subscribe to Kidian. I can only say that failure always runs through life. This is life. I'm used to rushing into the street. Don't worry, I will finish it well. Ah? Uh? Obito thought that after one day of special training, he wouldn't have to go to Mu Yue's place to practice again. Ah, what? I don't want to learn how to shave through challenges. Mu Yue tapped Obito's head with her finger and said, I really want to learn but I feel a little tired, Obito said honestly. Unlike Shisui and Metkai, Obito rarely practiced all day except on weekends, so he was a little unaccustomed to this training rhythm. When you feel tired, you can rest directly and study what I teach seriously, Mu Yue explained with a smile. He has to take into account a lot of things when giving special training to all students, but when it comes to his disciples, there are no such restrictions then I will definitely study hard. Goodbye, teacher Muyue. Obito chuckled and said goodbye to Muyue, preparing to go home for dinner. Even if Muyue didn't explain that sentence, he would still go there after dinner. He could still tell clearly who was nice to him. After saying goodbye to her disciples, Muyue also returned to her home in the main city. He would read the ceiling technique information given by Kushina every night and try to solve problems by himself when he encountered problems. Only those who really had no idea would ask Minato or Kushina. In the past few days, he had not discussed the topic of sealing with the two of them. He had accumulated some problems and planned to solve them after dinner. After dinner, Mu Yue smoothly brought the topic to the practice of sealing and asked her questions. Naturally, questions from beginners like Mu Yue were not difficult for Minato and Kushina and Mu Yue quickly got the answers he wanted. By the way, Mu Yue, if you have time, can you demonstrate the squirrel mandarin fish in detail again? We went back and tried it, and it was completely different from what you did. It was too difficult. Kushina took the opportunity to ask. That will have to wait until four days later. I'm currently helping students conduct special summer training and do not have time from Monday to Friday, Mu Yue explained. Today is Tuesday. Not counting today that has almost passed, there are still three days until Saturday. It's okay, you can teach us when you have time on Saturday. Kushina expressed understanding. Summer training? Isn't the ninja school closed for summer vacation now? Minato's focus lies in another place. Not really, it's because I went to the Sandames house before Mozuki told Minato and Kushina the whole story. This is not something worth keeping secret. It's better to say it. Special training for students who are about to graduate is indeed a good way to strengthen the strength of new genin, Minato said with a nod. Nowadays, the situation in the ninja world is chaotic. Even if a war breaks out, newly graduated genin will not be required to go to the battlefield. However, it is always a good thing to have strong strength and let new genin become qualified ninja as soon as possible. This also shows that the Sandai Masama values you very much and entrusts you with such an important task. Minato smiled gently. It seems that I will have to call you Muyue Junin in a month, Kushina joked. Before, she had thought that Muyue could become a special jonin by practicing sealing skills if she practiced them seriously. It turned out that Muyue was a better teacher than she thought and could use her teaching ability to become a special junin. You have to achieve results that the Sandame is satisfied with before you can be promoted. I'm not sure that I can accomplish it. Even if I succeed, it won't be comparable to official Junin like Minato and Kushina. Mu Yue said modestly, How to describe the position of special Junin? It cannot be ruled out that some special Junin have similar actual combat abilities as Junin, but most special Junin are just relatively strong Chunin with special abilities. For example, if Mu Yue becomes a special Junin after the special training, 
his relevant information will definitely be marked as a talent in education. However, Konoha has very high requirements for Junin. Even a special Juna can be regarded as entering the middle and high level ranks of Konoha and is eligible to participate in Junin meetings. No matter what Junin he is, Junin is better than Chunin. And if he meets the standards in the future, he can continue to be promoted. Kushina's words are rough, but not rough. After solving the problem of the sealing technique and chatting with Kushina Minato for a while, Mu Yue went to the southern forest. When Mu Yue came, Shisui and Metkai had already arrived and were exercising. Come all over. I will continue to explain to you the chakra burst technique of shaving. Mu Yue waved to the two of them. Before the two of them started shaving, Mu Yue would teach this physical technique during this period. After teaching, he will teach other ninjutsu and taijutsu. For Shisui, he can learn some other fire escape techniques to enhance his aggressiveness. For Metkai, Mu Yue is ready to teach him the breath of rock. First, breathing of the rock is very difficult. In the original Demon Slayer, breathing of the rock is the most difficult of the basic breathing techniques. Learn it early and practice it early. Second, the breathing method has a strong bodybuilding effect, allowing Metkai to better exercise his body. Both Metkai and Shisui immediately stopped training and ran to Mu Yue's side. Ten minutes after Mu Yue started teaching, Obito also came. Obito glanced enviously at Metkai and Shisui, who were practicing the teleportation technique, and then began to practice nature changes under the guidance of Mu Yue's shadow clone. During the special training during the day, he basically worked on his physical fitness, which has exceeded his previous training volume. Work out hard for a week and then try another physical challenge. Obito thought in his mind. He didn't dare to challenge it rashly. If he lost, he would get three test papers for white-collar workers the next day. In order to complete the physical challenge, Obito and Metkai borrowed weights and wore them on their bodies and began to run around the training ground frantically to exercise. They only rested when they really ran out of energy and continued to exercise after recovering their energy. Has Obito been practicing so hard? Asuma, who was resting, couldn't sit still when he saw Obito working so hard. Because she is the progress leader, Asma's mentality is relatively relaxed. Mu Yue's requirement for them was to complete treading water and climbing trees in two weeks, but he had already completed it before coming to the special training. Even if he sat and did nothing for two weeks, he would still be qualified. Asuma saw that Obito, who was also head of the curve, was so diligent. Asuma became a little uneasy. He looked at Shisui again and found that Shisui was practicing fire escape ninjutsu. He felt that if Group A had a practical exam, he would not be able to secure second place, let alone first place. These people are practicing too diligently, as if taking a little more rest would cause any great loss. In the end, Asuma patted his butt and stood up, continuing to practice fire escape. With an extraordinary genius like Shisui, it's normal to not be able to win first place, but you can't lose to Obito. After losing to Shisui and Obito, will he have to lose to other students in school? Then he will lose his face. Recommended book, The Pirate Journey of Arceus. This is a great book that has been ordered by almost 10,000 people. If you are interested in pirates, you can read it. Now our enemy conjuring technique doesn't seem to be much different from the ordinary clone technique. During the break, Gangzidi couldn't help but sigh. Yes, whether you turn into a monster or an opponent, there is not much difference from the ordinary clone technique when facing an expert. Kamazuki Izumo nodded and said, From class actual combat to great actual combat, they watched two battles between Anko and Shisui. From their perspective, Anko had already done a good enough job, and only after creating a clone that looked like Shisui did he play with the real and fake Anko. Even so, Anko still failed to confuse Shisui and was easily defeated. I think we should follow my idea. Instantly create a clone that is enough to attract attention, and then take advantage of the opportunity to take action. Kamazuki Izumo felt that his idea was correct, but the monster he transformed now was not scary enough. But Izumo, you didn't even win against Anko. Gangzidi denied. But I won Zidi Yu. Kamazuki Izumo said that he at least defeated Gangzidi. If you have the ability to defeat Shisui, I think your idea is fine. Gang Zidi wanted to change the topic to Shisui. 
But Shen Yue Izumo had already seen through Gang Zidi's thoughts and laughed and said, I just need to win ZT2. You were beaten violently by Anko. I beat you. Kamazuki Izumo seizes the pain points and attacks. Steel couldn't stand it any longer and felt that the final exam was a major failure in his life. I think you two really don't understand anything. Abisu, who was passing by, heard the conversation between the two and raised the nose pad of his sunglasses with one finger and said with disdain, What a waste for such a good idea to turn into a monster. Are you... Gangziri scratched his head and felt confused. He seems to be the senior of Group B. Kamizuki Izumo said softly, because Ebisu was wearing sunglasses, Kamizuki Izumo had a certain impression of Ebisu. Senior, since you know that we don't understand, then come and give us some pointers. I feel like I can brainstorm ideas. As he spoke, Gangziti took out a bag of potato chips and handed them to Ebisu. Ebisu looked around for a while and saw that no one was particularly close to them. Then he accepted the potato chips. Ebisu sat down and waved to Izumo Kamizuki and Gangziti motioning them to come closer. Your idea is good. The most important thing about the clone technique is to interfere with the enemy, but you shouldn't think about turning into a monster. Ebisu said to Kamazuki Izumo, instead of turning into a monster, it is better to transform. As Ebisu spoke, his voice became much softer, and the eyes of Kamazuki Izumo and Gangzidi became wider and wider. Senior, are you a genius? Gang Zidi said with sincere admiration. He imagined the trick that Ibisu said to confuse the enemy, and he felt that he would definitely fall into it. Which man could withstand this kind of temptation? I think this technique has great potential. Kamazuki Izumo can't wait to develop according to Ibisu's ideas. Ahem, if you use it, don't tell me it's my idea. Ibisu looked around for a while and said, Gangziti nodded. Then he asked, Senior, what is your name? My name is Gengziti. My name is Shenyue Izumo. Kamizuki Izumo introduced himself. Ebisu. Ebisu stood up and said without looking back. Gangziti and Kamizuki Izumo silently wrote down their names and watched Ebisu leave with respect in their eyes, which was a gift from preaching. Today, Ebisu helped them open a door to a new world. When it was almost time for school to end in the afternoon, Mu U.S. stopped the training and gathered everyone together. Starting from this week, there will be a strength test every week and a practical test every two weeks. Those who excel in the test can be promoted to a higher group for training. Mu Yue told the arrangements for the next special training and examination. In the end, Mu Yue couldn't help but want to test whether the system could be stuck with bugs. Disciples who perform well in the exams will be rewarded. He has no rights in the ninja school and cannot affect the number of exams. However, he is fully responsible for this summer special training and can take the exams as he wants. Although he had thought that this might not work before, now that he had the ability to try, he still wanted to give it a try. Anyway, it doesn't matter if there is no reward. If it succeeds, it will be a huge benefit. Is there any difference between these two? Anko asked aloud. The strength test does not require you to fight, but test your mastery of ninjutsu, taijutsu, etc. in the form of an exam. The actual combat test is for group members to fight according to the ninja school actual combat examination pattern, Mu Yue explained. Hong Du understood when Mu Yue said this. The strength test was just like the group test yesterday, and the actual combat test was a fight. After Mu Yue finished talking about the arrangements, it was time for a get out of class to end. Mu Yue did not waste time and directly announced that school was over. Next, Mu Yue went back to the main city area to eat like yesterday and then went to the southern forest to teach the disciples. However, after the disciples left, Mu Yue did not return to the main city, but continued to practice on her own, finished. Mu Yue looked at the shimmering chakra pills in her palms, and the already started Rasengan in the skill bar, and nodded with satisfaction. Although he knew the training process of the Rasengan and the changes in the form of chakra at the proficiency level, he spent too little time on the Rasengan, so he had not completed the training of the Rasengan until now. Mu Yue has to attend classes and teach disciples every day, and also has to study the sealing technique. Recently, he also added a breathing method to exercise. He will only start to develop the Rasengan 
when all the necessary tasks are completed. The reason why he doesn't pay much attention to the Rasengan is mainly because the Rasengan doesn't help much in improving his strength at this stage. The Rasengan consumes too much chakra. Don't look at it. The Rasengan is just a palm-sized chakra ball, but it contains highly compressed chakra, which requires a lot of chakra. For him now, the benefits of using the Rasengan are not as good as other advanced ninjutsu. Muyo's main purpose in developing the Rasengan was to help Minato develop the Rasengan in the future so that Minato would owe him a favor. The Rasengan was inspired by the Tailed Beast Jade. It is impossible for Kushina to use the Tailed Beast Jade to fight Minato. Taking into account the time factor, it can only be inspired by meeting the Tailed Beast on the battlefield during the Third Ninja War. So Minato probably hasn't completed the development of the Rasengan yet. Before she had invincible strength, Mu Yue hoped to have many good friends. Secondly, although it is useless now, it does not mean that it will not be useful in the future. In the future, when he has more chakra and has mastered the sage mode, he can twist the Rasen Shuriken and develop various properties of the Rasengan. If it is not possible, it will be good to use it to reward his disciples. Recommended Book I established the Kua Kua Cult in Naruto High Quality Naruto. Tends to be relaxed and daily, if you are interested. You can take a look. The chakra required to climb a tree is very subtle. If you find that fixed feeling, you can stay attached to the tree by maintaining it unchanged. Water is flowing. Don't apply the experience of climbing trees to treading water. Pay attention to feeling the fluctuations of the water to continuously output chakra. You must practice more seals. The speed of seal formation is very important. If you can use ninjutsu in one step faster, you have a better chance of winning. Mu Yue wandered around the training ground, constantly giving guidance to each group. It's Friday afternoon now. After a few days of big classes, Mu Yue is almost used to the rhythm of big classes. He is becoming more and more skilled and takes care of everyone as much as possible. Mu Yue also encouraged students to communicate more with each other. Sometimes a person can get inspiration by communicating with others about things that he cannot figure out by practicing hard. The class format of the summer special training is relatively free. Unlike the theoretical class, you can only sit in your seat and listen to the class. Students are gradually getting used to this kind of training. At first, Anka was a little unaccustomed to it, and she spent the whole day practicing. After a few days of experience, she felt that this was it. The rule was that there were two big classes in the morning and afternoon, with a half hour break in between. But if you were really tired and sat down to rest, Muyo wouldn't care at all. The first strength test will be held on Monday afternoon. I really want to be promoted to Group B. Shisui is already in Group A. I am second in grade. Isn't it very shameful to be in Group C all the time? During the break, Hongdu and the two good brothers told her what she thought. It's not that I don't support you, but Hongdu, you really don't have the strength to go to Group B now, Gangziti said bluntly. I've seen Brother Ibisu's performance during training, and he's not even the slightest bit better than you. Kamazuki Izumo nodded. Many fourth-year students were still in Group C. It was a bit whimsical for Anko to want to go to Group B after just a few days of special training. Who is Ebisu? Hongdu scratched his head. Why did the good brothers suddenly have an unknown eldest brother? The fourth-year senior currently in Group B is very strong and a true genius. Gangziti replied, Oh, you guys just look down on me. I will practice hard over the weekend and I will show you my promotion when the time comes, Anko said with her hands on her hips. Gangziti and Shenyu Izumo feel bad. After all, you can't really roll it. Just kidding, Hongdu. You are the strongest female student in our first grade, and you can easily test your strength. Gangziti and Shenyu Izumo quickly spoke to comfort Hongdu, worried that Hongdu would really get something out of his training. If they were the first to enter Group B, it would be worse than if they failed the test. Complete a large class teaching evaluation, a rewards obtained. Earth escape, earth flow, wall water escape, water prison technique. Sure enough, it's also a double reward, Mu Yue thought to herself. When he saw that the B-level reward had double the chakra, he was thinking that the A-level reward should be two ninjutsu. In fact, Mu Yue would like the system to directly give to the same ninjutsu so that many ninjutsu can be quickly upgraded to the proficiency level. 
but it's okay if the two are different. If you rate A all day long, you can get four ninjutsu in one day. This is so efficient in learning ninjutsu. The disciple never has to worry about not learning ninjutsu. After class, Muyue returned to the main city, and Kushina and the others decided to have a detailed teaching of squirrel mandarin fish on Saturday, and then returned to the southern forest to continue teaching the disciples. Metkai and Shisui are still working hard on the practice of shaving. In fact, the two of them have been able to use the shaving technique initially, but they are still new to the identification technique. But their proficiency is higher. Muyue understood the entry-level standards for appraisal. Being able to use it does not count as entry-level, but mastering it counts. For example, if you use a fireball but can only spit out sparks as big as a fist, this is obviously not an entry-level. Even though it was an inexperienced shave, Metkai was delighted. He used his special chakra technique to condense chakra on his legs several times in an instant, and then exploded. In the blink of an eye, he appeared several meters away, and at the same time, he kicked a big tree with his legs at extremely high speed. The speed is much faster than before. If Kakashi was kicked like this, would he still be able to react? Metkai was very excited. However, he knew that Kakashi also knew the teleportation technique. So after being excited, Metkai practiced even harder. Disciple Metkai has practiced seriously under your guidance and gained a certain increase in strength and received a reward finger gun, proficient level. Akai also triggered it, leaving Obito alone. Muyue glanced at Obito, who was practicing the changes in chakra properties. Maybe it was stimulated by Metkai and Shisui who were learning to shave. Obito has also been diligent in training in the past few days. He has been running with weights during special training during the day. It is estimated that he will soon be able to receive promotion rewards. Muyue calmed down and began to check the memory of the finger gun in her mind. This reward is also one of the six moves. Like shaving, the finger gun has also been localized by the system and turned into a physical technique. Muyue found a big stone, condensed a large amount of chakra in her index finger, according to the experience of practicing the finger gun in her mind, and then easily left several holes in the stone. It is quite similar to the third Reichage's health thrust. Adding changes in the properties of Thunder Chakra should greatly enhance its power. Mu Yue came to a conclusion after the experiment. I don't know what rewards Obito can trigger. Mu Yue thought in her heart. If Obito's reward was also the sixth form, then he hoped it would be the moon step. There are very few means of flying in the ninja world, and being able to fly is a huge advantage. Although Uebu can't fly, it can jump high. After practicing the changes in chakra properties, Obito did not go home to rest, but asked Shisui and Metkai if they wanted to go for a night run together. The two readily agreed, and the three of them went on a night run together. Ha ha ha, Obito. Have you finally realized that the youth lies in exercise? Metkai gave Obito a thumbs up, his shining white teeth particularly dazzling at night. There is nothing youthful about youth. I just want to learn the teleportation technique through physical training. Obito looked at Metkai with a dark look. Every time he watched the two of them practicing the teleportation technique together, while he practiced the nature change alone, Obito felt extremely uncomfortable. It's like living in the same dormitory. Your roommates have all finished their homework and are playing black games together, but you are still doing your homework alone. It's an incredible feeling. Come on, teacher Moyu is definitely looking forward to you completing the challenge, Shisui said. He felt that it wasn't that Muyue didn't want to teach Obito, but that Muyue was laying the groundwork for teaching Obito how to shave. Well, I will try it again on Sunday. After hearing Shisui's words, Obito became even more motivated. Isn't it just a hundred questions? It can't stop him, Uchiha Obito, from moving forward. It will probably be put on the shelves at 12.05 tomorrow noon. Please support me. Another recommendation for this Hokage. I, Naruto Uzumaki, do not need approval. It's written about Naruto, who defected. If you're interested, you can read it. If nothing else, it should be on the shelves at 12.05 noon tomorrow. First of all, I would like to thank my friends who have followed along and voted for rewards. The free period cannot be updated too much. It can only be 4K per day. No wonder you said it was short. Next, let me have a hard time selling this book. 
It can be said that this book is quite miserable. There is nothing written, but chapters are always blocked, which makes me lose my smart recommendation. I may not be recommended, but I was also blocked the day before the PK. Related to the shielding chapter. In fact, it was supposed to be put on the shelves next week, but I couldn't compete with others for recommendation and was rejected. So I put it on the shelves early. Although the current results are not very good, this is my first book after graduation. I will definitely write it well and will work hard to update it. You don't have to worry about me being a eunuch, and I also hold a bit of fantasy in my heart. Even if my results are not good in the past, my results may be better later. This is not without cases. I hope that everyone who has the ability can come to Kidian and subscribe. Orange is here to give a thumbs up to all the parents who have basic needs. The current collection of this book is about 25,000. Now, the starting point is anti-theft, and the collection ratio of relatively strong authors is generally around five. But I feel I don't have the strength, so my expectation for the first order is 2,500, which is also a subscription ratio of 10. If I reach this number, I will be very satisfied. If it is higher, it will be a surprise. I wonder if you can give me a surprise. Starts dreaming. Regarding updates, there will be a minimum of five updates on the day of release, and I will post as many as I can write. If you want to add more updates, it will start from the first order of 2,000, and one update will be added for every additional 200 orders. The average order will be calculated from the second day after it is put on the shelves. One update will be added for every 100 orders, permanently valid. That's all I have to say. I hope everyone can subscribe and support it. Next, I will dedicate a series of books. I hope this one will achieve better results after it is put on the shelves. I, Uzumaki Naruto, don't need recognition. Chikshuanyu. I founded the Kua Kua Cult in Naruto, starting as a Hokage as a worker, is a book filled with thick ink. The House Witch, Salted Fish Becomes an Immortal. Inazuma's Daily Monster by Taoist Priest Ying Ying. What bad thoughts can Batman have? Mr. Skeleton One Piece, the first partner is Tomcat. Want to Eat Popsicles, The Pirate Journey of Arceus. White Dove, Begin Anew from Conan. Lee Siang. My substitute is Steve, Kiyue Yulan. Death, The Sunny and Cheerful Big Boy, Ten Sounds Saturday Morning. Because he had made an appointment with Minato and the others to give a detailed lesson on the squirrel mandarin fish, Muyue sent his shadow clone to guide the disciples while his real body was cooking for Minato Kushina, who was tutoring in the main city of Konoha. The reason why we don't change it and let the Shadow Clone teach the cooking disciples is mainly because the Shadow Clone does not have the blessing of chef skills. Mu Yuehui's ninjutsu Shadow Clones can be used, but only for skills such as chefs and professors. Shadow Clones cannot enjoy the bonus. Mu Yue took out a fish and put it on the chopping board, letting Minato and Kushina look at it. While cutting the fish, he explained, to process the fish, first make a diagonal cut behind the gills and cut off the backbone. Mu Yue chopped off the fish head and then reminded, after cutting off the fish head, do a little processing and cut off the gill cover so that it can be shaped when fried and it will look much better when placed on it. No wonder it didn't look good when I made it. It turns out there is still this step Kushina showed an expression of realization. When handling the fish, Mu Yue told the two of them to control their strength and cut into four-fifths of the fish. Don't cut the skin, otherwise it would be considered a failure in appearance. When this step was reached, Mu Yue took out two fishes prepared in advance for Kushina and Minato to try. Minato's performance was okay. Maybe he was afraid of cutting the fish flesh, so it was a little shallow and Kushina cut the fish skin directly. Ha 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 The fish meat was too soft and it was cut off in one go. Muyu, do you have any fish with firmer meat here? Kushina tried to find the reason from the fish. If the meat is too hard, will you eat it? Muyue showed a helpless smile. Fortunately, Muyue was well prepared and gave Kushina another fish to try. With this first experience, it took Kushina three cuts to cut through the fish skin which was considered a great improvement. From now on, I'll leave the fish cutting step to you, Minato. Kushina said solemnly, in order not to waste Mu Yue's time, Kushina decided not to compete with you for the time being. The teaching continued, 
Mu Yue explained every step in great detail. After the explanation, the two of them were immediately asked to practice. This teaching was very slow. When the time reached noon, Mu Yue had not yet led Kushina and Minato to make a complete squirrel mandarin fish, but had almost completed the decomposition teaching. It wasn't until after two o'clock in the afternoon that Mu Yue led the two of them to make their own squirrel mandarin fish. It's complete to say it's done, but the appearance is quite different. I obviously followed step by step, but why was there still so much difference in the end? Kushina felt that there was still a big gap between her and Minato's finished product compared to Mu Yue. After all, we are novices, and the appearance should be better with more practice, Minato said. Minato was quite satisfied that he actually completed a dish that looked so complicated. If there were levels of difficulty in learning dishes, Minato felt that this squirrel mandarin fish dish would be at least a B level. He immediately added this dish to Jiraiya's menu when he returned. Lecture completed, evaluation. B reward, magic maple tofu. Just when Mu Yue was about to say something, the system suddenly popped up a prompt. Does teaching cooking count as teaching? Can I also settle lecture rewards by teaching two people? Two doubts popped up in Mu Yue's mind instantly. He also taught before why the rewards were not triggered and why the lecture rewards were not triggered when teaching disciples. After thinking carefully, Mu Yue had some guesses. The judgment of lectures may not only be based on the number of people, but also the strength of the people being taught. Although he only taught Minato and Kushina, they were very strong. As for why it didn't trigger when teaching cooking before, Mu Yue felt that it should be because the time and depth of teaching were not enough. The results of this lecture were indeed a bit beyond Mu Yue's expectations. And the reward was a bit abstract. It was actually a recipe. If he remembered correctly, it was the recipe of the Chinese little master's family. Kushina and Minato each took a bite of the squirrel mandarin fish they made, and both showed a satisfied smile. Although it was a bit lumpy, the taste was still very good. However, during the meal, Mu Yue's squirrel and mandarin fish was eaten first. What he cooked was good, but Mu Yue's was so fragrant that I couldn't resist it. Mu Yue, it was really troublesome this time. She spent most of the day teaching us how to cook. Minato smiled gently. No trouble, no trouble. You often help me solve my doubts about sealing techniques. Mu Yue responded with a smile, saying that the two of them didn't need to care. Speaking of sealing techniques, Mu Yue, how is your three-finger seal practice going? Kushina asked. There are already some clues. Mu Yue shared her thoughts on the first three days of practice. The progress is pretty good and the time it takes to successfully practice should be about the same as I estimated. Kushina nodded in affirmation after hearing this. Kushina would like to call Mu Yue the strongest when it comes to cooking. But when it comes to sealing techniques, Kushina feels that there should be no one stronger than her in the entire ninja world. I'll go back and write down some insights from my previous practice of sealing, and I'll give it to you after I finish. Kushina thought for a moment and said, she is a person who knows how to repay kindness. Just now, Muyu taught her and Minato how to cook so carefully and meticulously, and Kushina also liked it. That's really troublesome. Mu Yue was very satisfied. Mu Yue, you are still talking about us. What kind of trouble is this? You're welcome. It's a simple matter. Kushina laughed loudly. In the evening, Obito told Mu Yue in advance that he would apply to start the Taijutsu challenge again on Sunday. Are you ready? Mu Yue asked Obito with a smile and slowly took out three test papers from the scroll. Looking at the three test papers that appeared in Mu Yue's hand, Obito's face suddenly fell. In any case, he didn't want to do the questions. But when Obito looked at Metkai and Shisui who were practicing shaving not far away and then remembered their conversation yesterday, Obito instantly ignited his fighting spirit and said, Teacher Mu Yue, I am ready. I will definitely succeed this time. He had been training hard for a week since his last defeat on Saturday, and Obito chose to believe in the results of his training. Seeing that Obito was so confident, Muyui gave Obito the ticket fee and started to arrange the venue. Early next morning, Obito came very early, arriving at the training place earlier than Shisui for the first time. After Obito did some warm-up exercises, 
Mu Yue took Obito to the challenge area he had arranged. Just like before, keep walking towards the east and you will see the end point, Mu Yue reminded. Obito nodded and sprinted in the direction Mu Yue pointed with all his strength. With the lesson learned from the last time, Obito did not look back at the shadow clone, but always paid attention to whether there were any traps or traps near him. Relying on a cautious attitude, Obito missed a trap and arrived at the big pendulum level where he failed last time. A large number of thick trees swinging back and forth may appear here at any time. Obito didn't hesitate and rushed in using his extremely fast speed to rush through without any injuries. Obito was used to running with weights, but after not carrying weights, Obito felt that his body was incredibly light and his running speed suddenly became faster. After getting over the place where he failed last time, Obito suddenly felt much more relaxed with a bright smile on his face. As long as I take it seriously, this challenge is just that. However, Obito was not handsome for more than three seconds. Not long after he finished speaking, he fell directly into the big pit dug by Mu Yue. Deduct one point, Mu Yu's warm voice reached Obito's ears. Obito quickly jumped out of the pit and then ran all the way carefully not daring to be careless again. The price of carelessness is too heavy. Not only do you have to start the challenge again, but you also have to add another hundred questions. The former is uncomfortable but acceptable, while the latter is a bit scary. After running cautiously for a long time, Obito saw a kunai stuck on a wooden stake. 